Everyone despises the trashy beginner equipment, but you want to increase the price for recycling. Even you have to collect a hundred thousand items at once. Others think you have a hole in your head. Little did you know, this is the way you become stronger. Just because you were the strongest in the heavenly ranking in your past life, but he was betrayed and killed by his girlfriend in the battle for the ultimate artifact. What you didn't expect is that the ultimate artifact is actually soul binding, came back with you through time travel. I thought that this time, I would be able to start off with a bang and dominate everything. You were dumbfounded when you saw the attributes of the ultimate artifact. This artifact surprisingly has no attribute bonuses or any skills, only one unique effect. And after reading the introduction, you finally understand the amazing features of this artifact. Infinite fusion effect. Can infinitely fuse equipment. No level quantity limit. The newly integrated equipment will inherit all the attributes of the previously integrated equipment. And as the fusion quantity increases, the unlocking of artifact features is possible. Current progress 0 out of 100. You took a deep breath and felt relieved. Truly the ultimate artifact. According to the description of this effect, this equipment is simply invincible. In other words, each time a new novice longsword is fused, it adds 5 attack power. If it is possible to integrate 10,000 beginner long knives, attack power will directly increase by 50. 000. zero, zero. This is very abnormal. To know, the biggest pain point in playing games in the later stages is to abandon old equipment. And the new equipment may not necessarily have the attributes that you need the most. But now you will only become stronger as you keep brushing. The desired attributes, once obtained, will always be obtained and will never be restricted again. And due to the soul binding feature of the ultimate artifact, no need to worry at all about weapons dropping or getting damaged. It can be said to be a combination of human and clothing. Just need to purchase beginner equipment. Now, the game Shin 2 has been online for several days, and global players have exceeded 1 billion. Many players have upgraded their equipment to green common quality. The beginner equipment from Jibon has long been outdated and left unused in the equipment slot. You looked at the 10 gold coins in the backpack as a beginner's reward. Suppressing the crazy smile at the corners of your mouth, you walk straight towards the trading market. You look at the long queue in front of you and shake your head with a bitter smile. No one has yet obtained the first kill of the boss in the beginner village. So players are all stuck in various newbie villages. The crowded market caused the transaction market to be overcrowded. Godland is a 100% realistic simulation game. The transaction can only be completed by meeting in person in the game. Some people criticize that this mode is not as convenient as traditional online games. But some people also feel that this gameplay has an overwhelming sense of immersion. Only you know that Shintu is a gamified real world. Nature cannot be played according to the pure game mindset. I need a booth. You come to the NPC in charge of managing the market. The administrator is a blind monk. Players like to call him blind monk. The blind monk didn't look up. Coldly extended his hand. Nine gold coins. You know that the beginner village has seven NPCs. They all have their own hidden plots. This blind monk is one of them. You naturally cannot hand over the gold coins. Thinking about the background setting of the blind monk, you smile faintly. Master, I have a question to ask you. The blind monk withdrew his wooden gaze and looked at you. Two people fell into a trap. The person who is dead is called a dead person. What is a living person called? After pondering, the blind monk said, Living beings, help me. The players behind me in line felt embarrassed. My friend, the joke you told is too cold. You are probably the first person since the beginning of time to tell a cold joke to an NPC. Unfortunately, he definitely won't understand. Just as players are complaining, a burst of hearty laughter erupted. The blind monk, who took a long time to stop smiling, threw a wooden plaque. I haven't laughed in three years. I have high hopes for you. Young man, your booth fee is waived. Booth number 9527. Let's go. The players in line behind were all confused. What? They are giving away stalls for free directly? To know that 9 gold coins is already a significant wealth in the beginner's village. General green equipment only sells for 2 or 3 gold coins. Which player here hasn't worked for a long time before being able to afford a stall? Damn. Can it get any more nonsensical? The hidden way to get a free booth is to tell NPCs a bad joke. And although these players complain with their mouths, their bodies are actually very honest. Confidently, they approached the blind monk and started telling jokes one after another. The results, however, we're all transcended by the blind monk with a stick and reborn in the spring water. You catch a glimpse of the fate of these players. Can't help but smirk in a dark way. This blind monk has experienced years of misery and chronic depression. No one had ever discovered his hidden attributes in the previous life. Your good brother, the fat-mouthed one, is still dead. Just discovered the hidden plot of the blind monk. Lin Yen, just as you were looking for your stall, someone called out to you. Because the game characters are all generated from scanning real body data. 
so it's normal to be recognized by acquaintances because you look almost identical to how you are in real life. You turned your head and in an instant, a chilling feeling arose deep within, but there was no change in expression. Mu Qingwan, this woman betrayed herself in the final battle. Mu Qingwan is wearing a luxurious green mage outfit, looks delicate and charming, very captivating. She is indeed very beautiful. Otherwise, she wouldn't have been voted as the most beautiful campus belle in the history of Jiangcheng University. Are you finally saving enough money to buy equipment as a gift for me? Mu Qingwan's expression was cold and her tone was rejecting people from a thousand miles away. The Divine Land has just opened its server. You are still not the unrivaled top-ranked powerhouse. And Mu Qingwan is the daughter of the CEO of one of the top 10 gaming companies in Xia Kingdom. Family assets worth billions. In her opinion, she has countless pursuers. You are just an ordinary lickspittle among them. However, she is very skilled at manipulating men. She will try to squeeze out the last bit of value from even the most ordinary men. I am indeed missing a blue, high-quality staff. Mu Qingwan looked at you and rarely showed a hint of a smile. This is a task I'm giving you. If you can complete it, I will consider agreeing to have a meal with you. Hoomph. You sneer. At this stage, players who can gather a complete set of green common equipment can be counted. Blue excellent quality main weapon is worth at least 10 gold coins. In the previous life, you worked hard for 10 days and 10 nights. The result only brought a thank you from the other party. Even the promise of having a meal together was not fulfilled. You can't help but vomit your past self in your heart when you think of it. Surely, lick dogs deserve to die. Mu Qingwan frowned, feeling a strange sensation welling up in her heart. Always feel that the boy in front of me has changed. Why, you don't want to? Mu Qingwan incredulously asked. Move aside. You can't be bothered to deal with the other person. If it weren't for the market being unavailable, you would have wanted to kill Mu Qingwan and get a lot of gold coins. Mu Qingwan is completely confused. Is this still the same lickspittle loser she knows? Just as Mu Qingwan was filled with uncertainty and doubt. But you saw the figure that you have wanted to see the most since your rebirth. You directly pulled Mu Qingwan aside. Walk quickly towards that graceful figure with determination. You dare to touch me. Mu Qingwan almost sat on the ground with her buttocks. Mouth wide open. O-shaped pupils. Earthquake. Yoi. You pat on the girl's shoulder. Xin Yue turned around and saw that it was you. The watery eyes immediately widened with surprise. Lin Yen. You started playing this game too. You look at the girl in front of you with mixed emotions. Looking back at your past life now, you suddenly realize, the person who loves you the most has always been this silly and sweet girl. Shun Yu Wei, no matter what decision you make, the girl will unconditionally and firmly choose you, even during the invasion of reality in the game. Willing to sacrifice oneself to save you, you still remember the warm blood that the girl attached to your chest, whispering the belated confession. You really want to hug Shun Yu Wei right now and say it's so good to see you again, but you still restrained yourself. It's because last night I said I wanted to team up with you. Are you just starting to play this game? Shen Yue blinked her big eyes and asked eagerly. However, when she saw Mu Qingwan behind you, sighed inwardly, feeling a little disappointed. It's probably because of Mu Xuejie after all. You invite me. How could I refuse? You know Shen Yue misunderstood and laughed readily. You started playing Shen Tu because of Shen Yue's invitation. Really, Shen Yue is very happy and quickly opens her backpack. Did you choose the warrior profession? I just obtained three pieces of green common equipment. You just registered an account. So you must be a blank slate. These few pieces of equipment are being sent to you first. You feel warm in your heart and jokingly said. You only have a total of four green outfits from head to toe. Give me three directly. So generous. In addition to her main weapon. The longbow. No way to give to you. The warriors. This silly girl actually plans to give you all the other three green outfits. Cough. It's because all these equipment pieces are too ugly. I don't like them. Shin Yue looked up and stubbornly said. Silly girl, keep your equipment properly. I can handle it myself. You sent a friend request to Shin Yue and became friends in the game. However, Shin Yue's big eyes are moving. Still want to use other words to persuade you. She wants to team up with you as soon as possible to go monster hunting. I will take you to grind monsters in a little while. You go offline first and take a rest. Remember to eat more food. This time going to the wilderness may not be short. You tapped Shin Yue's smooth forehead and smiled. Okay, when she heard that you wanted to team up with her, Shin Yue nodded without hesitation and happily went offline. Only when the bulging mouth couldn't fit any more food did they realize it. My level is clearly higher. Why did Lin Yan say that he was the one who brought me? Immediately, she shook her head and continued stuffing bread into her mouth. Anyway, brother Lin Yan always has his reasons. He he. Mu Qingwan's mind went blank as she watched the scene. Lin Yan was unexpectedly abandoned by another woman. She feels inexplicably angry and jealous. Xin Yue looks pretty good. 
but in terms of family background and temperament, which aspect can compare to her? At most, it's just a silly and naive person. Lin Yen, stop right there. Unfortunately, you completely ignored her enthusiasm. You quickly found your own stall and wrote a sign. High price acquisition of warrior profession novice whiteboard equipment. Limited time and limited quantity. Pre-order now. There is a distinction between gold, silver, and copper coins in the divine land. Exchange is done in decimal. One gold coin is equal to 100 copper coins. Players are often short of money in the early stages of the game. Work hard to obtain a green equipment and prioritize arming oneself. Even if there are extras, selling one is only worth two or three gold coins, and the healing and mana potions needed for exploring the wilderness and dungeons are not cheap. So players are very eager for money. You don't need to worry about finding sellers to exchange money for new beginner equipment. Oh my, bro, you actually bought completely useless whiteboard equipment. Is your brain full of holes? As soon as the sign was put up, many people stopped to watch. Ha ha, I've been playing games for so many years. It's the first time I've seen someone buy worthless beginner equipment. If something unusual happens, there must be something supernatural. Many people feel that there must be pitfalls here and are all waiting and watching. A bearded man squeezed in and looked at you suspiciously. I will give you a complete set of beginner equipment for one gold coin. You rolled your eyes. Are there any lower bids than his? I only want five silver coins. As soon as someone sees that you really want it, they immediately start bidding. Damn it, why don't you go and rob? Give me three silver coins for a broken beginner's equipment and I'll exchange it. After all the commotion, you have also figured out the bottom line of these people. One silver coin. If there were even less, it still wouldn't be enough money for them to waste on idle talk. After all, a silver coin in reality is only worth 10 yuan. Okay, one silver coin to purchase a set of warrior whiteboard equipment. Three copper coins per item. Need to change quickly. Everyone immediately started fighting over it. One after another. Equipment is crazily smashing towards you. Afraid of not being able to find a bargain. Fortunately, the backpack capacity of Shintu is very large and can be fully loaded. Ten gold coins were quickly spent. You look at the densely packed new beginner equipment in your backpack and feel very satisfied. Turned around and left the trading market. Before leaving, he didn't forget to tell the blind monk another cold joke. Added a wave of goodwill. You found a secluded place. Looking at the hundreds of sets of new beginner warrior outfits in the backpack. Eagerly rubbing hands. You stack the two new long knives in your hands. The merging begins with a single thought. Shining brightly. Half a minute later, the two rusty long knives in your hands merge into one although the appearance hasn't changed, but obviously sharper. You click on the equipment details. Rusty long knife whiteboard attack plus 10. Indeed, that's the case. You wave excitedly. A rusty long knife has the attribute of plus 5 attack power. After the fusion of the two handles, the attack power increases by plus 10. Continue. In your hands, one after another. New novice long knives are fused. After the 10th fusion is completed. Equipment panel sudden change. The white light emitted by the longsword equipment icon has become even more intense. Sharp long knife whiteboard attack plus 50. Sharp characteristics with an additional 10 armor penetration. This shakes you even more in your heart. Just a 50 point attack bonus is terrifying enough. You only have 100 health points. Must die after being slashed twice. And the characteristics that only have a chance to be possessed by excellent blue equipment. There was actually a whiteboard weapon. Even if you were once the number one powerhouse on the heavenly rankings. I have never heard of this situation at all. This weapon with excellent quality cannot be compared. You play with the sharp long knife and can't bear to let go. Sharpness trait can deal an additional 10 points of damage to armor. In the beginner stage, it is a very good attribute. You are extremely looking forward to the attribute changes after merging 100 new beginner long swords. The most anticipated is still the first feature of the ultimate artifact that is about to be unleashed. The light on your hands keeps shining. 100 rusty long knives merge together in succession. The equipment icon of the long sword emits a brilliant white light. 100 refined treasure sword. Whiteboard. Attack plus 500. Sharp feature with an additional 100 armor penetration points. Balian gang. There is a 1% chance of severing a high quality weapon. 10% chance to sever ordinary quality weapons. 100% new. High quality weapon with a whiteboard. You looked at the attributes of the 100 refining treasure sword and swallowed a mouthful of saliva. This attribute is absolutely amazing. 500 attack points plus 100 armor penetration. You will die if your skin is scratched by this knife. You can't even imagine using this knife to refresh the wild monsters in Shotsuan. How satisfying can it be? And the newly added feature of Bai Lian Gang is also extremely abnormal. Even high quality weapons have a chance of being broken. It is worth knowing that the number of players who currently possess high quality weapons is limited. 
Even wealthy heiresses like Mu Qingwan lack high-quality main weapons. The first characteristic of the ultimate artifact should have appeared, which combines 100 pieces of equipment. You are anxious and uneasy. The ultimate magical artifact that can transform decay into wonders. How terrifying its own characteristics can be. You open the equipment details of the ultimate artifact. His expression suddenly changed. Ultimate artifact only. Only effect unlimited fusion equipment second order. Current progress 100 of 1000. A first order characteristic attack can permanently increase one point of armor value. You take a breath of cold air. The ultimate artifact is indeed terrifying. The first unlocked feature is incredibly powerful. Armor value is more important than health in the early stages of the game. To make the enemy lose health, you need to completely remove its armor. And it is troublesome to restore blood volume, medicine, rest points, slow self-recovery, and skills. These four methods of regaining health all require a lot of money or time. And the armor only needs to be out of combat to quickly recover. So, armor is even more useful than health when exploring in the wilderness. Self can be infinitely stacked. And it is permanent. A level 10 armor stands there. Allowing beginner village players to attack. Breaking the knife. Even if afraid. Cannot harm oneself a drop of blood. There were hardly any enemy units in the early stages that could cause real damage. Your gaze is intense. Excited emotions. What is this again? The plus sign behind the next level feature you clicked on did not respond. It is estimated to be used for feature upgrades. Just that I haven't integrated enough equipment. You put away the panel. Full of anticipation in your heart. Need to quickly make money and integrate more equipment. You immediately start blending the coarse cloth pants and coarse cloth top from the new beginner's outfit. The light keeps flickering. Just over an hour later. The super powerful equipment made from 100 pairs of coarse cloth pants and coarse cloth jackets has appeared in the world. You click on the details of two pieces of equipment. Gold silk armor whiteboard armor plus 900. Lightweight features. Wearing does not affect flexibility. Entangle. Reduces enemy attack speed by 10% when under attack. Golden silk pants whiteboard armor plus 900. Lightweight features. Wearing does not affect flexibility. Entangle. Reduces enemy attack speed by 10% when under attack. Not bad. You smile with your mouth open. Once the equipment is fused, it becomes bound to the ultimate artifact. At the same time, it also inherits its unique attribute. Once equipped, soul binding, not transferable, cannot be discarded, cannot be replaced, cannot be destroyed will not fall. The future evolves continuously through integration. These few pieces of equipment will grow to an unparalleled level. Even each one surpasses a divine artifact. Just now, already showing invincible momentum. This feeling of rapidly becoming stronger is addictive. You can't wait to go crazy in the wilderness and kill monsters to earn gold coins. Online. Let's slay monsters. You give the list a unique friend. The girl who loves to eat salt sent out a team invitation. Shin Yue quickly appeared in front of you with a puffed up little mouth. I have eaten two boxes of bread. If you don't invite me again, I will kill myself. You are at a loss whether to laugh or cry. Did you buy enough medicine? Lin Yan? This game is very troublesome to recover health. I have saved quite a few health potions. Let me give you half of them. Please make sure to follow behind me for a while longer. Although you are very good at playing games. But this game is really different from before. You look at this girl who is all yours. The corners of the mouth unconsciously soften. You patted Shin Yue's head. Don't worry. Leave everything to me. One kilometer away from the novice village was the wild monster zone. Where all kinds of monsters lurked. Hiding deadly dangers. Shin Yue walked in front of Lin Yan. Holding her longbow tightly. Her small face full of vigilance. Lin Yan looked at her level. Level 4. This upgrade speed was not slow amongst players. The divine soil itself was very difficult, and dying once would result in a level drop, making previous efforts fizzle out. Whoosh! A python leapt out swiftly from a corner and opened its bloody mouth to bite at the two men's heads. Ah! Xin Yue let out a high cry as she was caught off guard. The first monster encountered was a level 5 green scaled python. This luck was too backward. Lin Yen, retreat quickly. This is a level 5 monster. We can't handle it. Xin Yue's eyes were firm, even if she died. She had to stall for time for Lin Yan. If a level 1 player died, they would be penalized by not being able to go online for 12 hours. She struck her bow and shot in one fluid motion. Snort! The arrow hit the green scaled python squarely, causing minus 16 to emerge from its head. Level 5 green scaled python has a full 223 points of blood. Once I get close, I can't deal with it at all. Shin Yue's eyes showed despair. Now she only hoped to be able to buy Lin Yan more time, even if it was one more second. The moment before she was hit, a force pulled her back and dodged the attack. Lin Yan. Xin Yue realized that she was being protected in Lin Yan's arms. Her little face swished red, but she immediately reacted. 
Why didn't you? Snort. Before the words fell, there was a flash of cold light, only to hear the long roar of sword energy in her ears. The expected damage of being knocked away did not appear. Xin Yue turned her head in doubt, and her soft body instantly stiffened. The terrifying green scaled python had actually been decapitated with a single slash, and its corpse was on the spot. The experience ball merged into Lin Yan's body, causing him to directly rise to level 2. My god, Xin Yue was flabbergasted in Lin Yan's arms, and for a moment, she didn't know if she was in a dream. A level 5 monster, synonymous with power in the novice village, was actually killed in seconds with a single slash. Although she didn't see exactly, Lin Yan's damage from this slash was at least over 200 points. A level 1 hit for over 200 points of damage. Shen Yue's eyes showed confusion, and her little brain couldn't figure out how exactly Lin Yan did it even after thinking about it. Lin Yan, you won't have a hang up right. After holding back for half a day, Shen Yue asked with a suspicious little face, Ahem. Lin Yan touched his nose. Is this a woman's sixth sense? The guess was really accurate. What are you thinking? It's clearly me who has good skills. Really? Xin Yue blinked her big eyes, pondering, then suddenly realized. I know, brother Lin Yan, you're experienced and it's only natural that you're better, worthy of being a man who can be the president of an online gaming club. Lin Yan cried and laughed as he shook his head. This silly girl was also too good at brainstorming, but since she had figured it out on her own, he wouldn't add to it. Thought I could take you flying this time but it turns out I'm still a rookie. Oh, Shen Yue thought, saddened, her small face filled with frustration. Lin Yan laughed, somewhat reluctantly letting go of the girl in his arms. You're already very powerful. Next just follow me and strive to ascend to level 9 together in less than 3 hours. 3 hours to rise to level 9 together. Shen Yue was so surprised that she even forgot to be shy. Her eyes glazed over. Level 9 was the level limit before obtaining a career template. It didn't sound high, but so far in the entire novice village, there were only a handful of people who had reached level 9. Professional online gamers all have to spend days to rise to level 9 in 3 hours. But thinking about Lin Yan's exaggerated slash just now, she was filled with confidence again. Next, it's hunting time. The corner of Lin Yan's mouth quirked. Walking through the jungle, all the monsters he saw were killed with a single slash. The highest level of the novice village wild monsters was level 9. And even if it was a level 9 normal monster, its blood quantity was only about 400. They simply couldn't withstand a single slash from Lin Yan. Exploding equipment. Xin Yue's eyes lit up. After taking out more than 20 monsters, they finally exploded equipment. Lin Yan swept a glance at the exploded equipment. Short sword, normal. Attack power plus 10. Instantly, he lost all interest and casually put it away in his backpack. Upgrading like this is too slow. He was dissatisfied. The nearby monsters were not high leveled and had a low density. Brushing them up was too slow and efficient. It took a full 20 minutes to brush up to level 4. The most crucial thing was, that he needed to attack in order to stack his armor. These monsters are too weak. None of them can resist his slash. Completely unable to stack ah. Follow me. Lin Yan led Shen Yue towards the depths at breakneck speed. The further they went, the more desolate they became. And the trees became even more withered. With eerie burial mounds and miserable cries surrounding them. Gulp. Shen Yue's palms were sweating with fear. For a girl. This kind of scene was too terrifying. She couldn't help but follow closely behind Lin Yan, almost almost close to his back. There should be a brush point near here. Lin Yan carefully recalled, and in passing, he slashed a level 8 sword wielding skeleton. Run away. Three wretched players rolled out of the jungle, all leveled 6 or 7, which was considered impressive in a novice village. Too scary. I'll never play games again. Mom I'm going to study hard. So many, so many monsters. They looked terrified and yelled at the two. If you don't run, it'll be too late. The monsters hidden here are too scary. They're probably bosses. They're not something we can deal with at all. Lin Yan almost laughed out loud. If they really encountered a novice village boss, these three people were afraid that they wouldn't even have a chance to escape, and would be sent back to the spring in a single glance. Looks like the direction is correct. Lin Yan put his heart down, turned his head, and smiled at Xin Yue, afraid? As long as I follow you Lin Yan, I'm not afraid of going anywhere. Xin Yue was clearly scared, but still stood up her puffy chest and said firmly, Follow me. Soon, a large collapsed grave appeared in front of Lin Yan. The grave emitted a ghostly black gas, attracting many undead monsters to gather here. Sensing the scent of the living, these skeletons and zombies looked at them in unison. Their eerie, empty eyes filled with horrifying killing intent. Good. So many monsters. Xin Yue gulped and tightly grasped her bow and arrow. There were at least hundreds of monsters here. And although those zombies were at the highest level of 9, they were obviously much stronger than the skeletons. As soon as she scoped it out, 
she immediately blanched. Graveyard Zombie, Elite. Level, 9. Blood, 900. Armor, 80. Attack Power, 40. Physical Resistance, 15. Resistance, 8. Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive. Bite. Frenzy. More than twice as powerful as the monsters we encountered before. Xin Yue looked at the dozen or so zombies in the undead swarm with great pressure. Lin Yan shook his head and lost his smile. The three players who had just fled in a daze were clearly treating the elite monsters as bosses. Should we retreat? With so many monsters, it's safer to follow the crusade team. Xin Yue held her bow and arrow, although she was only level 5. As long as Lin Yan said fight, she would never hesitate. Retreat? These are all our experienced babies. Lin Yan's eyes looked warmly at the densely packed undead creatures in front of him, and the corners of his mouth brought up an excited smile. Only seeing him carry his long sword upside down, he rushed headlong towards the zombie group. Roar! The undead swarm was clearly enraged by Lin Yan and hissed as they rushed towards him. The charge of hundreds of undead creatures had an incomparably terrifying aura. Xin Yue's face was pale, but her hands didn't stop. Her arrow shot out one after another to help Lin Yan reduce the pressure. Unfortunately, with only level 5, even if her archery skills weren't bad, the damage dealt couldn't even be talked about as a scrape for these high-level skeletons and zombies. Snort! Lin Yan's stance was athletic, and with a single slash, he chopped the level 9 bone lance skeleton that was charging at the front and had a blood level of up to 409 into pieces. The momentum of the undead creature's charge was obviously stalled. The explosive damage of this slash stunned the zombies. This slash is only good enough. Lin Yan slashed one by one, cutting down a dozen skeletons in no time. Snort snort! In the distance, a number of arrows from the skeleton archers came, a wave of them knocking off close to 200 points of his armor. Finish you guys off first. Lin Yan's eyes were cold and sharp. These archers were the only existence that could pose a threat to him. So naturally, he had to prioritize getting rid of them. Immersed in a state of killing, his brain was incomparably calm. In the next moment, Lin Yan displayed a perfect grade stance, his body slightly moving to avoid most of the arrows. At the same time, he used the enemies around him to create a visual dead zone, causing the skeleton archers to lose their target. In this way, he killed all the way to the skeleton archers, and apart from the first wave of arrows, he was not hit by a single arrow. Xin Yue looked dumbfounded, and the speed of shooting arrows in her hands slowed down. This stance, this blade technique, is also too handsome. Although she had teamed up with Lin Yan before to play other online games, she knew that Lin Yan was highly skilled, but it wasn't at the same level at all as what was shown today. I see, it must be that those previous online games limited him. The battles in God's Earth are closer to real-life combat, so he was able to utilize his full strength. This, is his true strength. The young girl was completely mesmerized. Lin Yan's set of sword and stance techniques that had been honed through blood and fire could be called the art of killing. At this current point in time, it was a complete descending blow. Snort! Even the elite monsters, graveyard zombies, could not stop him at all, and would surely die within two slashes. Lin Yan seemed like a tiger entering a flock of sheep, lifting his sword to kill into the skeleton archer squad, one slash at a time. In a matter of moments, the skeleton archers were cut into a pile of broken bones. With the frantic killing, his level continued to rise and soon broke through level 5. After level 5, the amount of experience needed rose dramatically, and the experience bar advancement slowed down with the naked eye. Roar! The earth trembled for a moment. The number of undead creatures plummeted startling the terrifying existence in the collapsed great grave. A stiff white hand suddenly broke out of the grave, the black gas disturbed, and in a flash, lightning flashed and rain flowed. Gulp! Shin Yue gulped. This scene was too bizarre. Finally out. Instead of being afraid, Lin Yan's eyes flashed with joy. He had come here for the guy in this grave. Pfffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffffff
Lin Yan froze after looking at the data of the white stiffs in the graveyard. However, I remembered it wrong, did it turn out to be this week? Back then, when the graveyard white stiff first appeared, it was known as the nightmare of the novice village. He had practiced his techniques for a long time before he managed to kill it. Commander, was the strongest monster class in the novice village besides, boss, was hoping you'd let me stack a few more points of armor. Lin Yan shook his head in disappointment. It seemed that with his current explosive output, if he wanted to stack armor, he could only go to the novice village boss, without waiting for him to think more. The white stiff had already killed over at breakneck speed, clearly much faster than the other undead creatures. Corpse Chi filled the air and invaded Lin Yan, slowing him down. Roar! The white stiff erupted with black aura, its blood and attack speed rising by 20%. It was very cautious, coming up and turning on its berserk and corpse chi corrosion skills, so it could be said that it was giving its all. Let's see how many slashes you can catch me. Although Lin Yan didn't have skills, he had a top-notch combat knife technique. His figure retreated as he advanced, slashing out two slashes a second. The legendary stacked blade technique? Shin Yue's small mouth opened in shock. The stacked blade technique could cancel the backswing, enabling the user to realize the effect of instantly doubling their attack speed. There were only a handful of such techniques that even the top online game gods could use. Snort! As the two slashes went down, minus 585 and minus 588 numbers immediately emerged from the top of White Stiff's head. The White Stiff panicked. How strong was its blood? Even a level 9 player only had 400 points of blood, while in its berserk state, it had over 3,500 points of blood, counting the armor. The total amount of blood armor was close to 4,000. It was knocked down by nearly a third in a single shot. It became even more berserk. Its sharp nails flying like knives. Unfortunately, before Lin Yan's subtle stance, the white stiff couldn't even touch him. Snort snort snort. Lin Yan seemed like a cat playing with a mouse, prancing and moving. His knives were quick and precise, each one dealing close to 600 points of damage to the white stiff. The white stiff, whose blood was at the bottom, became anxious and began chanting, preparing to unleash the skill, Undead Summoning. However, before he could cast the spell successfully, the chanting sound came to an abrupt end, because it had already been hacked to death by the chaotic swords. Lin Yen, you're so handsome. Xin Yue couldn't help but wave her pink fist. Such a terrifying white stiff was put to death without even having the time to release its summoning skill, collecting the equipment that the white stiff had exploded. Lin Yan turned his head and began to harvest the remaining undead monsters. The originally ghastly graveyard quickly became silent. Only level 8? It seems like it's still too few kills. Lin Yan spat out with less satisfaction. Due to the 50-50 experience sharing group rule being on, Xin Yue had also reached level 8. Lin Yan, you're too strong. I thought it would take at least 10 days before I could reach level 8. Xin Yue excitedly hugged Lin Yan, unable to hide her happiness. Ding, you have completed the commander level monster single first kill achievement. It's about to be announced across the entire service. Do you want to hide your ID? The game prompt appeared in front of Lin Yan. Lin Yan's eyes lit up and his tone was firm. No, the next moment, a magnificent announcement resounded in everyone's ears. Announcement. Congratulations to player Emperor Yen for reaching the achievement of killing a commander class monster solo for the first time. Rewarded with skill book asterisk 1. Fine weapon asterisk 2. Free attribute points asterisk 10. Blood restoration potion asterisk 50. We hope that players will know this and continue to work hard to create their own legend in the world of God's Earth. What? This game actually has a hidden achievement system? Getting a skill book. Two fine weapons. 10 free attributes. And dozens of potions all at once. How come I can't take my turn with this heavenly wealth? Commander class monsters? Never seen it before. But since it can be killed alone, it means it's not strong. This Yen D is really lucky. If I had run into it first, this reward would be mine. As soon as the announcement fell, the novice village exploded with discussions. And the ID Yen D was memorized by quite a few well-intentioned people. In the forest graveyard, a crusade team consisting of more than 50 players marched in aggressively. Yen D? Humph. Just a guy who got lucky. The leader of the crusade team frowned and snorted coldly. Beside him, Mu Qingwan had trouble calming her heart. That guy's ID seems to be called Yen Di as well? No, he's clearly only level 1 in the morning. It can't be him at all. I'm probably remembering it wrong. Don't be dumbfounded. According to the brothers who scouted the map, the gathering of monsters to be crusade this time has at least 100 high-level undead. It's very difficult to chew on. The old man beside the chief bellowed. The purpose of this mission is to brush the young chairman and also miss Mu with equipment. As soon as you get the equipment, retreat immediately. Do you hear me? Got it stewardly. The crusade players were talking and laughing. Not nervous. The youth leading them was none other than the young president of the White Wolf Guild. 
one of the nine major gaming guilds in the Summer Kingdom, the Poison Duke. The members of the Crusade team were all White Wolf Guild experts as well. They were all level 7 at the weakest and were confident in their skills, completely disregarding the undead gathering. It's here. Everyone be careful. The old man cautiously looked over, but directly froze. The graveyard that should have been stuffed with undead creatures was now empty, with only two players standing there. Emperor Yen, seeing the ID above Lin Yan's head, the youth's eyes narrowed. What a coincidence. Lin Yan. Mu Qingwan couldn't believe that Emperor Yen was actually really him, but he was clearly still only a level 1 in the morning. It's unbelievable. She quickly suppressed her surprise and began to calculate in her mind. Regardless of how Lin Yen did it, she would have to rethink Lin Yan's utilization value. Rather, he's a guy worth utilizing. Perhaps I should really consider rewarding him with a meal and giving him a bit of hope to hang on to. You just completed a hidden achievement? Young President Poison Duke swept a glance at Lin Yan. Which guild are you from? I didn't expect to be preempted by you. He didn't think that Lin Yan could exterminate the monster gathering by himself, and subconsciously assumed that he had the support of a large guild behind him. As for why there were only two Lin Yan left here? The probability was that the guild members who had come with him had all been killed by the monsters. He's my classmate, not someone from any guild. Mu Qingwan opened her mouth, her voice clear and cold. Oh, Duke Poison was a bit surprised. Qingwan you know him? Mu Qingwan nodded and walked straight forward. Lin Yan, I didn't expect you to be quite capable. Maybe you picked up some kind of leak, but luck is also part of strength. Congratulations. Lin Yan swept a glance at Duke Poison and Mu Qingwan, his heart chilled with coldness. In the starry sky battlefield of his previous life, where all races fought for supremacy, no individual could reverse the stars even if they were strong, especially the final god battle, which required a small team of five people who trusted each other to raid. Mu Qingwan was his girlfriend and was naturally cultivated by him as a core teammate. As for Duke Poison, as Mu Qingwan's male best friend and highly talented, Lin Yan had similarly cultivated him as his right-hand man for the final divine battle's consideration. However, when Mu Qingwan stabbed him in the back, Mr. Poison even made a move to stop his other teammates from coming to his rescue. This pair of dogs were clearly accomplices. Not only did they betray themselves, but they also betrayed Blue Star and the entire human race. You don't have to worry. I'm not blaming you, Mu Qingwan said to herself. Lin Yan all froze. I haven't even made a move to take revenge yet. What are you going to blame me for? I know that you ignored me in the morning to look for this girl. You're deliberately angry with me, trying to prove your existence. Mu Qingwan tilted her swan like noble white neck, confident beyond measure. She had seen a lot of this kind of play in her desire to escape, commonly used by high-level dog lickers, and she thought she was sincere as she continued. As long as you give me the achievement reward you just got as a gift and join the White Wolf Guild. Tomorrow. No. Tonight I will go out for dinner with you and allow you to treat me. How's that? Lin Yan grinned out. He was truly infuriated and laughed. How had he been mesmerized by this kind of woman in his previous life? It was clear that she was the one who had asked for something. But she still put on a smelly face as if she was giving herself a handout. Sure enough. It's still the same line. Yuck. Licking dogs shall not die. When Xin Yue saw Lin Yan smile. She lowered her head a little sadly. Did Lin Yan just want to use her as a tool person to fight with school sister Mu? Qing Wan rarely rewarded her face and agreed to eat with another man. You have to cherish it, Poison Duke said falsely. By the way, if you join the White Wolf Labor Union, I won't treat you badly. Let's do it this way. $2,000 a month. For a college student like you, that's a high salary. Think about it? He had read the private chat Mu Qing Wan had given him and knew Lin Yan's details. After knowing that he was just a poor student who had no power and earned his living by playing games, the Poison Duke couldn't help but sneer out. If it wasn't for the fact that his father had seen the potential of divine soil and ordered him to recruit more experts, he wouldn't even bother talking to Lin Yan. Give me the equipment first. Mu Qingwan looked at Lin Yan's face full of smiles and thought that he had agreed. A proud look appeared in her eyes and she rightfully extended her hand. Poor loser. Really good to hold it. However, what responded to her was a biting blade light. What? Mu Qingwan was completely unable to react. The incident was too sudden. And Lin Yan's strike was too decisive. You, without even spitting out half a word, he saw of minus 330 emerge from the top of Mu Qingwan's head. With a flash of cold light, his head was thrown high into the air. A knife decapitated the head. Painful. The anger that had been pent up in Lin Yan's chest since he was reborn finally dispersed a bit. And his thoughts were much more enlightened. And everyone except him was dumbfounded. No one uttered a word for a long time. You, 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 how dare you? The poison duke was shocked and angry. A poor student. How dare he kill his sweetheart? The ten billion dollar group's thousand dollar daughter. Where did he get the reason? Where did he get the guts? 
It's just a matter of killing if you want to. Lin Yan sneered and looked at the poison duke. If you want to die, I don't mind sending you away with me. Fuck, you have a big mouth. The poison duke's anger was sky high. He and Mu Qingwan were a little arrogant just now. But it wasn't as if they were saying that they would move a killer. Most importantly, it was always him who bullied others. When was he ever bullied? Your Excellency, calm down. Butlerly beside him was in a cold sweat. He just killed Miss Mu with a single slash. So what? We have dozens of experts. Are we still afraid of him alone? The poison duke gritted his teeth. He's only level 8 right now. And he just hit at least 330 points of damage with one slash. If the boss knows that we've fallen out with such a top expert, he'll definitely be unhappy. Stewardly advised. He was clear that 330 points was only the upper limit of Mu Qingwan's blood, and was by no means the upper limit of this Yen Di's damage. Ha! Making a scene? I'll kill him once and dump 5 million signing fees on him. I don't believe you won't come to kneel and lick me. Kill him. Duke Poison shouted. Holler. Behind the Poison Duke. The White Wolf Guild's experts all sneered as they walked forward. In online games, numbers were truth. Otherwise, players wouldn't have been labeled as the fourth heavenly tribulation. Even if you were a god, as long as you dared to light up the blood bar, you would have to be slowly consumed to death in the face of endless players. A crusade team of 50 people would be qualified to challenge a boss in any other online game. It still couldn't beat a single player. Lin Yan sneered and protected Shen Yue behind him. Don't get involved in the fight. It will be over soon. Aha! Shen Yue nodded her head obediently. The moment Mu Qingwan was decapitated she realized that Lin Yan did not take her as a tool person. And at this moment her heart was sweet and honeyed. As for Lin Yan being in danger, it was simply impossible. That was the man who had wiped out an entire gathering of monsters with the strength of one man. It could be said that at this point, her confidence in Lin Yan had already reached a point of no return. These people might not even be able to crush the white stiffs, let alone Lin Yan. Since you're begging for death, I'll fulfill you. Lin Yan held his sword and slowly walked towards the White Wolf Guild. The Divine Soil didn't encourage private fights between players. The experience gained from killing a player was very little, and the probability of dropping equipment was also very low. And killing a player also increases the infamy value. Killing one person requires killing 10 wild monsters of the same level to wash it away. But with his monster killing speed, this punishment is completely equivalent to not existing. Die. The two White Wolf Union players launched a joint attack. One on the left and one on the right. Lin Yan just sidestepped and slashed horizontally with the 100 refined treasure blade in his hand. Minus 258. Minus 292. Cold light flashed by. And two damage values floated out from the tops of their heads. Pom pom. Before the two could react, they fell to the ground one after another. Their blood-stained corpses quickly shattering and dissipating. Killing two people with a single slash. These experts chilled inwardly. This tactic was horrifying. There was only one explanation, the damage of this slash was even higher than the blood of the two players combined. Snort snort. Lin Yan was like walking idly, killing ten people in ten steps as figure after figure fell at his feet. In the blink of an eye, the White Wolf Union had been decimated by more than thirty people. How is this possible? What kind of monster are you? The Poison Duke subconsciously took two steps backward. You're afraid you're not a head humanoid boss. Not bad. Although it doesn't provide much experience, it allowed me to stack over thirty points of armor. Lin Yan nodded. This was an unexpected gain. Stop. The Poison Duke waved his hand repeatedly. We're sort of not fighting. The White Wolf Union is recruiting experts like you. I'll make the call and give you an annual salary of $300,000. Be my little brother. Go cure your brain if it's not working well. Don't appear in front of me again in the future. I'll kill you once you appear. Lin Yan didn't bother to talk nonsense. Like no one was there. He walked up to the Poison Duke and split him in half horizontally with one slash. Gulp. You. You killed our young chairman. The White Wolf Guild experts were sweating and shivering as they spoke. This man in front of them was simply an unreasonable killing god. Lin Yan looked askance at the White Wolf Guild's group of experts. Roll by yourselves or shall I send you back to the spring? How could these people dare to talk back? They were all scared shitless and fled. White Wolf Guild building. Duke Poison was furious and storming. Mu Qingwan was sitting across from him. And her chest was also heaving violently. She had actually been struck down by a lickspittle who didn't give a damn about her at all. This classmate of yours is simply too arrogant. The Poison Duke was so angry that he slapped the table. And didn't you say that he was a poor student who lacked money? I rewarded him with a $300,000 annual salary and he called me sick in the head? I'm also strange. Obviously as a weak character poor licking dog is right. How with the changed person like? Mu Qingwan also couldn't figure it out straight shaking her head. But soon she didn't care. His kind of character is destined to only fight alone. Without joining a guild. It won't go far. Hoomph. That's also true. 
with the support of the entire guild, I'm going to surpass him with no effort at all. Poison Duke said viciously, after a few days of leveling up, I will definitely kill him a few times to relieve my anger. He didn't think about retaliating in reality, playing a game. If he had to beat someone up because he was killed in the game, then he wouldn't be able to retaliate. What's more, once something like offline retaliation was exposed, the White Wolf Guild and even the Mu Consortium behind it would be affected, so it wasn't worth it at all. Forget about him first, the most important thing right now is still the boss first kill. Mu Qingwan gruffly said, this game of God's Earth has amazing insider secrets. Once we grab the first kill, the significance will be immeasurable. Not bad. Duke Poison also nodded his head. One step forward, one step back. As long as we grab the first kill of the boss, we might be able to make White Wolf Guild sit in the top three of the nine guilds. As the powerful and noble class, they naturally knew some inside information in advance. This game, God's Earth, was heavily involved. Ha ha. Say what you will, the announcement of the novice village boss copy is about to open has been released, and the nine major guilds have all begun to act. Duke Poison checked the message and said excitedly, Oh, what actions? Mu Qingwan raised an eyebrow. My old man has put his blood on the line this time. He's formed a 1-000 man crusade team, vowing to take down the boss first kill. Duke Poison was proud, this is the power of a guild, a poor student fighting alone. What can he compare? Novice village, trading bazaar. What a rich harvest this time. Xin Yue looked at her level 9 experience bar and marveled. Lin Yin you're so strong. It hasn't even been 3 hours and we're both level 9. Lin Yin smiled faintly. Surprised? Don't worry. There will be many more things that will surprise you in the future. Because of the announcement of the boss copy about to open, the novice village was obviously more lively than when he left. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. Lin Yin mused. Killing the white stiff was the hidden condition for the opening of the novice village's boss copy. And originally, the boss copy would open at least 10 days later. His return had clearly changed the original timeline. According to the butterfly effect, this might affect the direction of many things in the future. I also don't know how big a storm this butterfly of mine can fan out. Lin Yan shook his head and smiled, no longer thinking much about it. The most important thing today was still the boss first kill. The boss first kill of the novice village was a part of his layout that he must not miss. He must get it. The exact opening time of the boss copy was midnight. He must seize all the time to strengthen himself, otherwise he would probably fail to grab the first kill, because his opponent is never someone, but, the nine guilds, once the boss copy opens, the nine guilds respective thousand man level crusade teams will immediately start brushing, that is to say, he, alone, would have to stand up to a thousand troops, tough task ah, although the pressure was quite high, Lin Yan was confident, the harvest he got from this wild fight was enough to make his strength qualitatively change again, hungry, Right? Get offline and have a meal first. Brother will take you to brush the boss at night. Lin Yan smiled at Xin Yue. I just nibbled on two boxes of bread. I'm not hungry at all. Xin Yue shook her head dully. Cough. Then go sleep for a while. The boss copy won't open until 0 o'clock in the morning. By the way, if you wake up from sleep and it's not yet 0 o'clock go to the blacksmith store first. There might be unexpected gains. Lin Yan smiled mysteriously. Blacksmith store? Well, I'll remember. You should also pay attention to rest oh. Although Shun Yue was very reluctant, she obediently went offline. The blacksmith store was one of the seven special NPCs in the novice village, and it would be great if Shun Yue could trigger his hidden quest. Lin Yan swept a glance at his loot. First is the free attribute points. Free attribute points could enhance a certain attribute at will. It was difficult to obtain and only appeared with special quests or completing hidden achievements. It could be considered exceptionally precious to other players. However, he didn't care. With the ultimate artifact in place, as long as he fused equipment that could add the appropriate attributes, it would be a complete substitute for free attribute points. Add points. He added all of his free attributes to attack speed, which was currently the most needed. It's really hard to raise a high level attribute like attack speed. It's only gone up by zero. One. He shook his head. If he wanted to grab the first kill with the thousand man crusade, he needed a faster and stronger violent output. The blood restoration potion isn't much use to me but it can be used for Yun Wei. As for this one star skill book, Lin Yan mused, the difficulty of acquiring skill books was high in the early stages. Normally, there were only three ways to get them, killing commander level monsters, worshipping NPCs, and special achievements. Therefore, even the lowest one star skill books were more expensive than the fine weapons sold. The price of an elite weapon was between 5 to 10 gold coins, and a one star skill book, right now, could sell for at least 20 gold coins. Let's look at the specific effects of the skill first. After checking the skill description of the skill book, 
he immediately dismissed the idea of selling it and decided to learn it. A one-star skill has been learned. You have obtained the skill, Folding Waves 3 Blades. Lin Yan looked at the introduction of the Folding Wave 3 Blades. Swing 3 slashes in 1 second. Each slash increases damage by 20%. For 30 seconds after casting, attack speed is increased by 10%. Mana consumption, 10. Cooldown time, 1 minute. So strong at only 1 star. Its potential is high. As long as there is enough proficiency, the skill can be starred. In the future it's enough to become one of my killer weapons. Lin Yan's gaze was venomous, so he could naturally see the potential of this skill. High burst with an attack speed bonus. It was equal to a godly skill for warriors. Phew. Basically it's all settled. Lin Yan turned his gaze to the most important harvest for him the. The equipment popped out by the monsters. This time, a total of 39 pieces of green normal equipment and 3 pieces of blue refined equipment had been brushed out. One of the fine and two of the common equipment are bows and arrows. Lin Yan put these three pieces of equipment away first, preparing to replace them all with white plate bows and arrows in a while. For each class of equipment, the ultimate artifact could fuse one piece. Helmet class, sword class, upper body armor class, lower body armor class, and naturally, the bow and arrow class as well. In the future, all the bow and arrow equipment you hit will be used to create an exclusive divine bow for Yun Wei. Lin Yan's eyes burn. This time, it's important to lay out the groundwork for the final divine battle early. The first and foremost thing to do is to cultivate four trustworthy teammates. In his previous life, cultivating Poison Duke and Mu Qingwan was also a hopeless move. They were backed by large guilds and consortiums and had extremely large resources. When the Starry Sky Battlefield opened, they were also the strongest group in terms of strength. And at that time, when all the races were fighting for supremacy and the human race was in danger, it was simply too late to train newcomers. Now, everything is different. I can build a core squad that truly trusts each other and is absolutely invincible from scratch. He looked at the remaining pieces of equipment and revealed an expectant smile. The attribute bonus that green equipment can provide is roughly two times that of white plate equipment, so it's too much of a loss if you directly fuse it. Lin Yan shook his head. The price of ordinary equipment ranged from two to three gold coins, and selling it for white plate equipment would increase his strength even more. For example, this green short sword could only have plus 10 attack power, but it could be sold for two gold coins. Two gold coins could be exchanged for 20 sets of white plate warrior equipment with plus 100 attack power and 360 armor after fusion. Therefore, these green equipment should definitely be exchanged for white plate equipment as soon as possible. After a while, the gold coins needed would become more after players had all advanced. At that time, no one would waste time selling white plate equipment. As for the refined equipment, Lin Yan looked at the two pieces of refined equipment in his hands. Starting from the refined quality, the weapons would have traits or attribute bonuses. These two pieces, one could provide an additional 10 points of armor breaking, and one could provide plus zero, one attack speed. 10 points of armor breaking isn't much use to me, but the attack speed attribute is important to me. The attack speed outfit will directly melt, and the other armor breaking outfit will be sold for white plate equipment. Lin Yan made up his mind. In the later stages, attributes were much more important than mere damage values. Returning from rebirth, he naturally had a long-term vision. After arriving at the bazaar, he skillfully went to stall 9527 and started selling equipment. Since the boss copy was about to open, the trading bazaar was also on fire. He had just set out his equipment and it was snapped up. It's still crazy. Lin Yan spat with his mouth, but his hands were counting the money. No more, no less. Exactly 100 gold coins in hand. Afterwards, he put up that acquiring white plate equipment. Buy it as soon as possible sign again. With the previous reputation, no one questioned it this time. And just by putting up the sign, he attracted a group of players. Come on dear, that fool is here again. This is a good opportunity to exchange the useless white plate equipment for money. Older brother. Don't ink. Hurry up and get online. If you're late, it'll be too late. In the trading bazaar, player nicknames were hidden. And no one recognized Lin Yan as Yen Di. Selling high level equipment and then acquiring whiteboard equipment. It's just laughable. I guess it's a professional equipment dealer. We're taking advantage of it anyway. It's not worth selling. Although they laughed at Lin Yan's stupidity on their lips. Their hand speed was unaffected and they all rushed to sell. For one silver coin, they could all buy a bottle of blood restoration potion. In their opinion, Lin Yan was purely being charitable. Handing out potions here. Soon, the hundred gold coins that Lin Yan hadn't warmed up in his hands were spent. Looking at the densely packed white plate equipment in his backpack, he grinned. This was a complete development. Your Emperor Yen, right? Lin Yan looked up to see a competent short-haired man, to be able to recognize himself in a trading bazaar with hidden nicknames. He was obviously prepared. 
he didn't bother playing dumb and nodded. Not bad, you have something? The blacksmith in the novice village is taking orders for customized equipment. If you pay him a hundred gold coins, it's entirely possible to exchange a few pieces of customized equipment. But you chose to come and acquire white plate equipment. This is really confusing. The dry, short-haired man smiled slightly. And as the first player in the world to unlock a hidden achievement, Mr. Yen Di is clearly not a stupid person. What exactly are you going to say? Lin Yen frowned as he scanned the man's attire. Upon seeing the red star symbol on his clothes, his heart fluttered and he probably guessed the identity of the other party. I'm from the newly established Eastern Guild. You probably haven't heard of it. Although it's a newly built guild, our strength and background is definitely stronger than all the nine major guilds. The capable man had a serious expression. If you're willing to join us, in addition to the $1 million signing fee, you'll also be able to get $500,000 a year in annual salary, with additional welfare guarantees. Lin Yen waved his hand, not interested for now. The background of the Eastern Guild was indeed frighteningly large, and was even fully qualified to say that it was the largest in Xia. This was because he knew that the background of the Eastern Guild was the official Xia state itself. In his layout, the Eastern Guild was an important part, but for some reasons, he didn't want to have too much contact with it before he had absolute strength. It's fine. Mr. Yen Di can add me as a friend first. When you see the strength of the Eastern Guild and are interested in joining, feel free to contact me. The able man was not disappointed. The higher-ups of the Eastern Guild also wanted to observe Yen Di's potential again. Okay. Lin Yen friend the other party and glanced at the inch-haired man's nickname, Cold Front. After saying goodbye, he walked out of the bazaar and prepared to go fuse equipment. Boss, I can see. This kid took out dozens of pieces of equipment in one breath. He's rich as hell. Let's do him a favor. Outside the bazaar, the squatting thief player said with sharp eyes. Ha, huh, he's actually Yen Di? This time, the thief boss rubbed his chin. He still has at least 50 bottles of blood restoration potion on him. So it's indeed worth doing a job. The vice commander at the side was stupidly excited. They didn't dare to rob the big guilds, but Lin Yen, a solo traveler, who still dared to take so much equipment out to sell was a pure and simple big fat sheep. If they didn't rob it, they all felt ashamed of their professional ethics as thieves. Follow me. The thief boss was completely moved, waving his hand and leading the thief players to quietly follow him. Lin Yan's awareness was very sharp, and he immediately noticed that he was being followed. His mind turned, and he had a plan. Because of their stealth skills, the thieves were all incredibly confident that it was impossible for any player to notice them being followed. He went into the alley. Great time. It's now. Do it. The thief boss gave the order, and the thieves were incredibly excited, surging into the alley with a brain. There's no one? How can that be? I saw him go in with my own eyes. He's not a ghost. I'm afraid. The thieves were in a cold sweat. Looking for me? At the entrance to the alley, Lin Yan stepped in, blocking these thieves in the courtyard. He wore a faint smile, his eyes cold and sharp. You've been surrounded by me. Quickly bind your hands and surrender. What madness are you talking about? The leader of the thieves' impossible part-time job laughed in exasperation. To be able to discover our trail, you do have a couple of tricks up your sleeve, but there are more than a dozen of us, and you're just one person. How dare you say you have us surrounded? I think you're out of your mind. Finish him off. Instead of surrendering, you dare to return fire at me? Then go take a bath in the spring. Lin Yan stepped forward and killed the sharp-eyed thief standing at the front with a casual slash. Crap. This slash turned the thief leader's face white with fear. The one who was killed just now was his right-hand man, already a level 8 thief, with a blood volume of more than 300, and he was actually killed in seconds with a single slash. What the hell kind of damage was this? No wonder he was able to take out so much equipment for a lone thief. It was too perverted. Brother? No. Great. Great God. This is all a misunderstanding. The thief leader impossible part-time job waved his hands repeatedly and begged for forgiveness. Misunderstanding? Lin Yin sneered. A bunch of professional thieves with infamy values on their heads that are about to explode. What misunderstanding is there? Hand over all the equipment you've stolen so far, or I'll block you in the spring and kill you until you all drop back to level 1. Holy shit, so you want to rob us in turn? Impossible part-time job instantly realized, and was speechless. Our profession is thief, and your profession is gangster, isn't it? Cut the crap, I'm going to count to 3. If you don't hand it over, start killing. Lin Yan's blade flashed. Don't don't don't. We admit it. Impossible part-time job cried without tears. If he dropped back to level 1, it would take at least a few days to brush up again. Moreover, thieves were not protected by security. And if they were killed, the equipment drop rate was much higher than normal players. If Lin Yan really blocked the spring to kill them to level 1, 
then all this equipment on their bodies would have dropped almost as much. Clatter clatter clatter. The thieves emptied their backpacks and offered them to Lin Yan along with the equipment on their bodies. Lin Yan didn't even leave them with white plate equipment. And in the end, these guys only had pants left on their bodies. Exempt, you guys really didn't steal much. Lin Yan was satisfied. The theft skill could directly steal the player's backpack items. In just a few days, this group of thieves had stolen hundreds of pieces of white plate equipment alone, plus various potions, trinkets, and even two pieces of fine equipment. In addition, dozens of gold coins were also popped out. TSK, it's almost comparable to my total income from this wild hunt. No wonder you guys chose to become thieves. It's so easy to make money. Lin Yan looked at the impossible part-time jobs and gave a belly laugh. If you regularly brush the thieves as wild monsters, it can be much more cost-effective than playing the wild ah. That's all there is. We earn really hard money. Impossible to work part-time, lamented. His life creed was to never work part-time. That's why he chose the thieving profession. As a result, today he was actually hoard out and worked for free. It was simply a strange shame. Eh, you guys can get this kind of thing? Lin Yan looked at the potion in his hand with some surprise. Uncontrol potion, reduces control time by 10 seconds for one time. Special potions were rare in the early stages. He didn't have the means to uncontrol nowadays. And this potion made up for this shortcoming. Grabbing the first kill with the 9 guilds and even the Eastern Guilds Crusade team was essentially grabbing time. If the decontrol potion was used well, it might work wonders. He was getting more and more excited about regularly cracking down on a wave of black forces like the Thief Corps. Alright, you guys can roll. Lin Yan waved his hand. Many thanks, great god. Impossible part-time job ran away in a mess with his men. Just as they exited the alley, they turned on their concealment skills to hide the fact that they were only wearing pants. Lin Yan didn't take the stolen goods that he had gotten from knocking around and sell them again. Because these equipments all carried the thief tag, going to the trade bazaar to sell them would be mistaken for a thief. And novice village players could be said to hate thieves with a passion. In case he attracted a few thousand players to beat him up, he would die of exhaustion. Although the earnings from being a thief are high, the things you steal can only be sold at a low price in the black market. So the gold earnings aren't as exaggerated as one might think. Lin Yan found an unoccupied place and started fusing equipment. And after calculating, he fell into silence. Nowadays, there were only 8 hours left before the boss copy opened. And he could only fuse a white plate equipment for 20 seconds. A normal equipment for half a minute. And fine equipment would take a minute. Even if all 8 hours were used to fuse white plate equipment, he would only be able to fuse over 1,400 pieces. And now he had a thousand sets of newbie equipment plus stolen goods, totaling more than 3,000 pieces of white plate equipment. Even if he didn't rest for a second, he wouldn't be able to finish fusing. It's true, Ma Shofu was right. Being too rich is also a worry. Lin Yan smiled to himself. Raise armor or attack power first? How much would each be boosted? What an extravagant annoyance. Lin Yan thought as he fused. The first kill of the novice village boss was a very important achievement, and the more beautifully it was completed, the higher the reward would be. He planned to take Xin Yu Wei with him to brush it, but didn't intend to let Xin Yu Wei participate in the output. As long as the output was all from him, it would count as a single kill for him. For a single kill of the boss, the achievement reward would be doubled. In addition, the copy had four difficulties, normal, difficult, nightmare, and hell. With each difficulty level, the rewards would increase accordingly. I have to get the single first kill achievement for the hell difficulty. Lin Yan's gaze was fixed. Only then could he explode the strongest equipment outside of the hidden plot of the novice village. Most importantly, this achievement was also a prerequisite for perfectly clearing the hidden plot. Since we have to fight for time, the output must be stacked. As for armor, one can only try to rely on positioning to make up for this shortcoming. Lin Yan made up his mind. Fuse all the attack power first. Fusion successful. 100 refined treasure blade attack power plus 10. Fusion successful. 100 refined treasure blade attack power plus 20. Attack speed plus zero. One. Light continued to flash from his hand, and the value of the hundred refined treasure blade continued to soar. Finally, after fusing another 900 knife type weapons, the hundred refined treasure blade's weapon luster became even more blazing. Has it evolved again? Lin Yan's eyes lit up as he tapped on the equipment details in succession. Magic knife thousand blades. White attack plus 5210. Attack speed plus zero. One. Characteristics, sharpens iron like mud, comes with 300 points of armor breaking. Blow hair, 1% probability to cut through rare quality weapons. 10% probability to cut through fine quality weapons. 100% probability to cut through weapons below common quality. Thousand blades, can be broken down into shattered blades, which can fly with the user's will, or can be turned into pieces at any time. 
Note, consumes one point of mana per second. What a magic blade thousand blades. Lin Yan sighed with emotion and excitement. This weapon. Not to mention level 9. Even his level 50 self from his previous life would have to smile when he saw it. Just this, white? He frowned. He had never heard of a weapon with a great suffix of, white. But after all, it was a strange weapon that came from the fusion of the ultimate artifacts, so it was normal for it to be somewhat special. There's also the newly appeared Thousand Blade Straight, which is also extremely strong. The more Lin Yan looked at it, the more he liked it. A warrior's biggest dilemma was that he could only engage in melee combat, and only after advancing to the third rank, elite professional, would he have the opportunity to unlock long-range damage skills. But with the Thousand Blades trait, his knife could completely transform into thousands of flying blades, moving at his own whim, and his melee blades instantly turned into long-range weapons. With this blade in hand, even if you have a thousand-man crusade, so what? Lin Yan was in a good mood and turned to the ultimate artifact page. The thousand pieces of equipment required for the second stage of the fusion effect had been achieved, and the second characteristic of the ultimate artifact should have been unlocked. What could it be? With unbridled anticipation, he clicked on the ultimate artifact's equipment details page. Ultimate artifact, unique. Unique effect, infinite fusion equipment, third order. Current progress, 1200 slash 10, 000. Level 1 feature, attacks can permanently increase armor value by 1 point, plus. Second order feature, attacked can permanently increase 1 point of counter damage, plus. Another growable trait? Lin Yan was a little surprised. Being attacked increases counter damage, and if the stacked counter damage is high enough, then in the future, how much damage others hit him with will be rebounded. If it's combined with high blood absorption or fast armor recovery skills, it's also almost equal to being invincible. Lin Yan sighed with emotion. It was worthy of being an ultimate artifact. Any one of its characteristics could be invincible when developed to the later stages. He, on the other hand, had so many invincible traits at the same time. This time, how else am I going to lose? He was in a great mood and seized the time to continue fusing his equipment. Nowadays, although the attack power had exceeded the current level's limit by an unknown amount, the blood and armor were not very high. If he went to fight the hell copies, he would probably fail. Prioritize fusing defensive equipment with physical and legal resistance attributes. Lin Yan thought clearly. Physical resistance and legal resistance were much more precious than consumable attributes like blood and armor. And their importance was completely no less than attack speed and movement speed. Because physical resistance and normal resistance were fixed attributes. For example, if one's physical resistance was high enough, it was the same as being immune to physical attacks. It's a pity that items that can increase physical resistance and legal resistance are extremely rare in the Divine Earth world. And out of so many items, there are only two. Ding. Fusion successful. Golden silk armor physical defense plus two. Armor plus ten. Ding. Fusion successful. Gold silk armor legal defense plus one. Armor plus twenty. He didn't stop with his hands. Fusing the equipment frantically. Eight hours passed in a flash. After the magic blade thousand blades evolved, he fused another five hundred pieces of equipment into the golden silk armor. He looked at the attributes of the equipment after fusion. Golden Silk Armor, White Plate, Armor plus 5550, Physical Defense plus 2, Legal Defense plus 1, Characteristics, Lightweight, Wearing it does not affect Dexterity, Entangling Silk, when attacked, Reduces the enemy's attack speed by 10%. Sure enough, it didn't evolve. Lin Yan wasn't surprised, judging from the evolution requirements of the main weapon, to evolve the upper body armor. One would also need to fuse a cumulative total of 1000 pieces of equipment to do so. Time is running out. It's time to head to the boss copy entrance. Lin Yan had some regrets. If he had enough time to fuse all of the equipment in his backpack, his grasp would be even greater. He glanced at his attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 7049. Attack, 5235. Armor break, 300. Physical resistance, 10. Legal resistance, 6. Movement speed, 1. Attack speed, 1, 2, mana, 40. Equipment, gold silk armor, white plate, armor plus 5550. Gold silk pants, white plate, armor plus 900. Magic sword thousand blades, white, attack plus 5210. Ultimate artifact, unique, effect, infinite fusion equipment, third order. Skills, stacked waves three blades, first star. Ability, none. Armor breaks 7, 0, 0, 0. Attack power breaks 5. 000. With the current strength to grab the first kill, it should barely be enough. Lin Yan let out a long sigh of relief. Even though he had been number one on the heavenly ranking, he had never attempted to solo a hell level copy. 
This was considered something that could never be done in the divine soil world. Coming to brush the boss, Lin Yan sent Xin Yue a group invitation. Soon, Xin Yue came bouncing to him with a happy smile on her small face. Yo, so happy? Lin Yan raised his eyebrows in surprise. Lin Yan you're so awesome. I just chatted with that blacksmith NPC for a while and he gave me a super awesome equipment. Xin Yue raised the handsome bow and arrow in her hand. Lin Yan scanned the attributes of the bow and arrow. Lian Yun Bao, fine, attack plus 25. Attack speed plus 0. 3. Attribute, armor break, inflicts an additional 20 points of damage to armor. Good fellow. Lin Yan slurped. The attributes of this Lian Yun Bao were top of the top even amongst refined weapons. Looks like my guess was correct. Lin Yan grew more and more confident in his layout. Conjecture. Xin Yue scratched her head in confusion. Ha ha, let's go raid the boss first, and when we come back I'll give you a big gift. Lin Yan laughed. Good. Xin Yue was happy to hear that Lin Yan was going to send her a gift. The two of them arrived in front of the boss copy. It was already 2359, and there was still a minute left before the boss copy would open. At this moment, the entrance to the boss copy was overcrowded. As far as the eye could see, it was densely packed with players. If it wasn't for the fact that the novice village had a capacity cap, as the first boss copy in the Divine Lands, there would be at least a few hundred million players coming to watch tonight. A huge countdown was displayed in the sky, and as the time approached second by second, the atmosphere of the scene became more and more agitated. The nine guilds won. Zero 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 man crusade teams entered one after another, their auras surging, becoming the most attractive presence in the room. Underworld Village was just a mediocre one amongst many newbie villages. Yet the nine major guilds were able to gather a one zero 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 member crusade team in just a few hours, and their calling power and heritage was evident. This meant that they had most likely placed thousands of members in each of the novice villages. It seems that these big guilds are determined to win this boss first kill. After all, it's the first boss first kill. It's very significant, and the guild that gets it will inevitably increase its influence. The players were talking a lot. It'll be fun if some absolute dark horse steals this first kill from the nine major guilds tonight. It's not possible at all. The difference in strength between the other guilds and the nine great guilds is too great. And at most, they've only organized a hundred man crusade. It's not even on the same level. And the momentum is lost. Let's just say. What if? I'll just put it out there. Never. I've been studying the online gaming scene for more than 10 years. And if there really is such a dark horse, I'll live stream the show and eat shit. Okay? I'll remember you. The guy with the ID called Online Game Understanding Brother. The lively square gradually quieted down. Because the countdown had already started. 10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1. The novice village boss copy opened on time and on schedule. And the players were thrown into a state of ecstasy as everyone chose to enter at the same moment. There were crusade teams from all the major guilds. And there were also free player squads that combined to put together a brigade to paint the copies. Players disappeared into the square in batches. Lin Yan looked at the replica difficulty selection page in front of him. Normal. Hard. Nightmare. Hell. And decisively chose hell. Swish. In the next moment, he and Xin Yue arrived at a huge underground burial space. Brother Lin Yan. Is it just the two of us? Shen Yue, because of her natural dullness, only reacted when she arrived at the copy and asked in surprise. She had seen that all the other copy crusade teams had at least hundreds of people. Don't worry, it's enough to have the two of us. Don't make a move when you kill the boss in a while, just watch from the sidelines. Lin Yan instructed. Aha! Xin Yue now had complete trust in Lin Yan and nodded without hesitation. Lin Yan looked at the group of zombie monsters that pounced towards him just after entering the copy. The corner of his mouth revealed a sharp smile. Next. It's killing time. How are the attributes of these monsters so high? Xin Yue's eyes shook. Lin Yan swept the values of the monsters in front of him. Earth Palace Zombie, Elite. Level, 9. Blood Volume, 4500. Armor, 400. Attack Power, 60. Physical Resistance, 15. Resistance, 15. Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive. Self Explosion. Bloodlust. Bite. Frenzy. Poison Gas Attack. Lin Yan wasn't surprised. In the Hell Copies, the weakest ones were elite monsters and would receive a fivefold increase in their combined strength. It could be said that an elite monster here could beat at least 10 level 9 players at this stage. Don't panic, just keep your distance and output. Lin Yan gave Xin Yue a reassuring smile. The girl nodded and began to draw her bow and shoot. Beginning level 9 to level 9 full experience required the sum of experience from level 1 to level 9. And brushing wild monsters in the wilderness to increase experience was slow. So Lin Yan decided to bring Xin Yue to the hell copy to speed brush her experience. Snort. Lin Yan quickly stepped forward and slashed. The head of the zombie with the powerful aura at the head was directly chopped off by this slash. 
As a large minus 4,900 emerged from its head, the entire room fell silent, and the zombies all stopped screaming in fear. Gulp! The elite monster of the Hellcopy was killed in a second with a single slash. Shin Yue looked dumbfounded. No one would believe this scene even if they said it, they would only think she was bragging. Although Lin Yan's attack power in the morning was terrifying, it was still a level she could barely comprehend. But, this slash of 5, 0, 0, 0 damage, even if she was stupid, it was clear that this was not something that could be done with skill. Die. The blade light was bitterly cold as Lin Yan cut down all of these zombies one by one. The zombies' movement and attack speeds were relatively low, and with a dozen zombies surrounding him, they couldn't even touch the corner of his coat. Soon, a dozen or so zombies with over 4,000 blood, all of them died miserably and collapsed to the ground, and a huge number of experience beads flew out, integrating into Lin Yan and Xin Yue's bodies. Continue. Lin Yan looked at the bronze gate in front of him and blasted it up with a fist. The majestic bronze gate shook, then slowly opened. Densely densely packed monster figures appeared after it, and the dense death aura transformed into black mist gushing out, terrifyingly resembling a hellish picture scroll. The same moment, the copy of the free player crusade team where the online game brother know is located, because brother understanding's connections are good, the crusade team that joined is very strong, more than 300 people, it was considered to be the strongest group among the crusade teams formed by free players, however, at this moment, online game brother knowledge's face was twisted and distorted due to being dominated by fear, what kind of goddamned horrible copy is this, the game planning is unconscionable, what kind of first boss copy is this difficult, Opening a dozen heads of physical defense up to 15800 blood elite monsters guarding the door. Siege half a day. It's not easy to solve these monsters. Who knows that after the bronze door opened, hundreds of elite monsters actually emerged from inside, and the deadly aura was suffocating. And, what the fuck is that? He was trembling as he looked at the white zombies that were wreaking havoc amongst the players, killing like nobody's business. Blood plus armor of more than 3000, attack power close to 80 and physical resistance is still as high as 25, this is still a fart, the attacks falling on him are completely tickling him, the online gaming know-it-all spat madly, white stiff, overlord, level, I remember, this is the unified monster that was single killed by Yen D in the announcement, the captain of the crusade team exclaimed, what, he was able to single kill this kind of terrifying monster, there's a bug in the system, isn't there, online game understanding completely froze, he had previously analyzed that a monster that could be single killed must be very weak. From this, it could be seen that the commander level should be a level sandwiched between normal and elite monsters, only that the number was scarce. Looking at it now, it was a slap in the face, with three white stiffs holding down the fort, plus hundreds of elite zombies. The players were madly harvested like wheat, falling in pieces. Soon, the online gaming know-it-all was stomped to death by the white stiffs, respawning and returning to the replica square. Here players are densely packed, obviously all failed to break into the copy of the rebirth of the return. The square was filled with curses and grievances, obviously the difficulty of the duplicates made them unable to stop cursing. This wasn't surprising, because Lin Yen killing the white stiff had caused the boss copy to descend at least 10 days earlier. Other than Lin Yen, no player had even seen a white stiff, let alone being able to accurately judge the strength of the boss copy strategy. I'm going to write a post crusading against the production team. It's simply too unreasonable. I'm going to complain about this injustice. The online gaming know-it-all was furious. A large crusade team of 300 players hadn't even entered the door of the replica before they were all hacked to death by the monsters that rushed out. And this was still playing a snakeskin. At the same moment, White Wolf Guild crusade copy. Thousands of White Wolf Guild members were clearly divided. The meat shields were at the front to stop the monsters from rushing the line. The mages and archers prioritized surrounding the white stiffs that posed the greatest threat. The warriors rushed into the monsters, and when they were injured, they returned to the defense line to be healed by the priests. Everything was in order. From the time the zombie swarms and white stiffs rushed out to now, it was less than three minutes before most of them had been exterminated, while the white wolf guild had only lost a few dozen people. Poison Duke and Mu Qingwan stood in the center of the white wolf guild's team, not contributing anything at all but sharing most of the experience beads from killing the monsters. This copy is indeed a bit difficult, but it's still not enough to look at in front of my White Wolf Guild's 1-0-0-0 man crusade team. The Poison Duke shook his fan and smiled bashfully. Indeed, if we can maintain this progress, the first kill will be 80% ours. Mu Qingwan also nodded. It was just that a figure loomed in her heart, giving her a bad feeling. At this moment, in front of Lin Yen, hundreds of zombie limbs were broken and he was fighting the last white stiff. The white stiffs of the hell copies are really powerful. He sank his eyebrows. 
the elite monsters of the Hell Copies were a five-fold increase in their combined attributes, while the Commander monsters were a ten-fold increase. Hell Palace White Stiff, Overlord, Level, 9, Blood Volume, 29, 999, Armor, 2600, Attack Power, 150, Physical Resistance, 30, Legal Resistance, 25, Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive, Self Explosion, Bloodlust, Corpse Aura Corrosion, Undead Summoning, Bite, Frenzy, Zombie Finger Blade, Sudden Flight, 30,000 Blood, Almost Comparable to a Normal Copy Boss, Lin Yan's eyes also stared, just after entering, there were heavy guards, inside this dungeon, it was bound to be uncomplicated, snort, the final blade fell, splitting the white stiff vertical in half, enter the underground palace, he knew there was no time to hesitate, he was grabbing the first kill with a thousand man crusade team, and he was still fighting a copy of hell, Shen Yue nodded her head in confusion, Lin Yan's bravery really caught her by surprise, 2-2, after entering the underground palace, Lin Yan led Xin Yu Wei to explore in it. The layout of the underground palace was designed according to King Lu's tomb, and on the way, there were countless organs and hidden weapons, as well as new monsters, corpse crappers infesting the area. Although the attributes of the corpse cubes were not high, their numbers were extremely high, and one would die in the tide of corpse cubes if they were not careful. Snort! He swung his sword like rain and slashed an unknown number of monsters along the way. When he came to the depths of King Lu's palace, his armor, which was originally at the beginning of 7,000, had stacked up to more than 9,000. After this copy is finished, I'm afraid that it'll make my armor directly break 10,000. Lin Yan's heart was overwhelmed with anticipation. Snort snort. Lin Yan's body shifted and his blade flashed, dodging the hidden weapons and at the same time, he was able to chop down the hidden arrows that were shot at Xin Yu Wei. The girl's eyes were filled with admiration as she watched the handsome maneuver. Snort. Chopping down the last 10 corpse cubes with a single slash. Lin Yan brought the girl to the deepest part of the underground palace. This place was empty, as if a mountain had been hollowed out internally. Underground dark rivers converged into a lake here. On the island in the center of the lake, a coffin was imprisoned by chains and lay there quietly. And around this coffin, eight figures stood silently. The ghastly white bodies emitted an eerie green light. Eight armored white stiffs guarding? Lin Yan's heart was heavy. These eight armored white stiffs were even more difficult to deal with than ordinary white stiffs and legend had it that they were the eight generals under the king of Lu, with almost equal amounts of blood and armor, earth palace white rigid armored general, commander, level, 9, blood, 29, 999, armor, 26,000, attack power, 180, physical resistance, 35, resistance, 30, skills, necrotic poison, passive, armor art, self explosion, bloodlust, corpse corrosion, undead summoning, bite, frenzy, Zombie finger blade, sudden flight, out of the water, a miserable white human head emerged, its black eyes full of greed, dungeon water ghost, elite, level, 9, blood, 5400, armor, 2400, attack power, 70, physical resistance, 20, resistance, 18, skills, corpse poison, passive, strangle, water swimming, bite, frenzy, poison gas attack, Lin Yen, Xin Yue squeezed the bow and arrow in her hand, just the monster guarding the boss is so terrifying. How terrifying must the boss be? There's no need to panic. Watch me decapitate them. Lin Yan's voice was reassuring. You don't enter the battle to pull the hate for now. I'll be alone next. After saying that, he revived his sword and rushed along the path leading to the island in the center of the lake. The vicious water ghosts in the lake leapt out of the water at the same time, pouncing densely towards Lin Yan. The scene was horrifying to the extreme. Die. Lin Yan's blade flashed. His positioning was subtle always finding a stance to face the least number of enemies, but even so, under the siege of so many enemies, he still could not avoid being injured with his limited movement speed, the armor began to cut down continuously, stacked waves 3 blades, Lin Yan no longer hesitated and utilized his skills, the stacked wave 3 blades combined with the stacked blade maneuver, instantly decapitating the two water demons in front of him, utilizing the attack speed bonus after the stacked wave 3 blades were cast, his forward speed instantly increased by quite a bit, attack speed potion. He had planned to charge up to the lake island before using the attack speed potion, but these ferocious water ghosts broke his plan. The attack speed potion was seized from the thieves and there were only three bottles in total, making it very precious. Snort! The magic sword thousand blades in his hand transformed into thousands of shattering blades, constantly changing form and even transforming into a shield to ward off attacks. Just like that, he impacted all the way, against a near constant stream of water ghosts, and finally rushed to the island at the center of the lake. 
What had been over 9,000 armor had fallen to less than 7,000. Together, after arriving at the island at the center of the lake, the water ghosts that could only survive in the water were unable to harass him. He looked at the eight armor generals with a sharp gaze, his battle intent boiling over. Roar! The eight armor generals roared loudly, all clearly enraged. The chains on the center coffin also trembled crazily, and then one after another broke, and a terrifying death aura rushed out from it, seeing that the boss was about to come out. The great battle. It was about to start. At the same moment, White Wolf Guild copy, Poison Duke's face was ugly. There was only one road leading to the lake island, and it was only wide enough for three people to walk side by side. There was no way for the White Wolf Guild's battle formation to be set up. It could only rely on the number of people to keep piling up. One after another White Wolf Guild experts were pushed into the water by the water ghosts to be strangled. Almost every meter advanced forward. A dozen or so members of the crusade team were lost. The short 50 meters of road had actually caused the White Wolf Crusade to lose nearly half of them. Report the number. Count the number of people. After getting onto the island, the White Wolf Guild Crusade team immediately turned into a circular defense formation. Only 350 people left? How could this copy be so terrifying? Poison Duke was a bit flustered. Originally, he had said that he would grab the first kill, but now it was hard to say whether or not he would be able to finish off the boss. An unprecedented thousand-man crusade team had lost two-thirds of their team without even seeing the face of the boss. Young chairman, these eight guys are too scary. Their attacks are frighteningly high. Even meat shields can't withstand four or five of their attacks. The defense line is probably going to be broken soon, the captain exclaimed. Poison Duke clenched his teeth. Hang in there. As long as we finish off a few of them, we can kill the boss. Mu Qingwan shook her head and said in a deep voice, Boss, has revived. Not even 30 seconds from when they were on the island, the chains of the center coffin all snapped. A terrifying figure, three meters tall, slowly crawled out of the coffin. It had runes attached to its head and was dressed in ancient noble princely attire, with death aura turning into substance wrapped around it, and a large seal held high in its hand. Roar! With a wave of his great seal, the ground of the lake island shook, and hundreds of zombies broke out of the ground, following the eight great armor generals as they stormed the defense line. The Poison Duke's face turned white as he screamed that it was not good. Subsequently, the terrifying figure that was three meters tall stepped in front of the defense line. The zombie chi in its eyes transformed into green flames, and the large seal in its hand slammed downwards. In just an instant, the dozen or so meat shield players in front of it were all smashed into mincemeat. Holy shit! Poison Duke screamed. Even Mu Qingwan couldn't remain calm. And for the first time, a look of panic appeared on her face. This boss, too strong. Boom! The great seal smashed down. Lin Yen rolled to avoid it, but the shockwave still shook off over 200 points of his armor. Worthy of being a novice village boss that has dissuaded countless people, Lin Yan's gaze was grave as he looked at the attributes of the tall zombie in front of him. Lord of King Lu's Palace, Boss, Inferno. Blood Quantity, 303066. Armor, 56,000. Attack Power, 275. Physical Resistance, 45. Legal Resistance, 45. Skills, Corpse Poison, Passive, Deadpool Summoning, Seal of Life and Death Shock, Bite, Corpse Chi Infestation, Human King Shock, Death Trample, Poison Arrow, Corpse Fire Burning Body, Armor Increase, Life Eating, The Hell Copies Combined Increase for Bosses is also tenfold, Lin Yan dodged King Lu's pursuit while battling the 8 Armor Generals, only by killing the 8 Armor Generals first could he focus on this terrifying Hell Boss, Snort, Lin Yan took all of the attack speed potions, instantly reaching an attack speed of 2. Stacking swords, he utilized the stacked blade technique, and could now make 3 slashes a second, reaching a staggering 16, 000, 000 damage per second. If the cooldown of stacked waves 3 blades ended, he could even have 4 blades a second, with second damage surpassing 21,000. Therefore, although the 8 armor generals were very terrifying, they quickly fell one by one under his terrifying output. However, it wasn't as if he hadn't paid the price because he had been avoiding the battle. He had taken a number of skill hits from King Lu. The armor had fallen to over 4,000. He only had 400 blood today, and once his armor fell off, King Lu could take him away with a single skill. The effect of the attack speed potion is over. Lin Yan watched the last armored white stiff fall inside in relief. Roar! Seeing all eight armored generals die, the three meter tall King Lu zombie roared in rage. His large seal raised, and on the center island, hundreds of zombies crawled out from the ground. Deadpool summoning skill. Lin Yan didn't panic. These zombies together were not as high a threat as the eight armored generals. He could kill them with a casual slash. With the stacked armor trait, these zombies were nothing more than his armor charging treasures. Snort. After casually clearing the zombies around him, 
he fought with zombie Lu Wang. Buzz, he dodged King Lu's great seal smash with a single walk, and backhanded a vicious slash at the bend of its leg. Pying, taking advantage of King Lu's leg bend being injured and kneeling on the ground, Lin Yan turned around and ruthlessly chopped at its neck, which hit the vitals and triggered a bludgeon. Minus 11,200. The damage that broke 10,000 caused the zombie Lu King to hiss in pain. Its eyes turned into green flames, its mouth spat, and green poison arrows rushed out. Lin Yan's magic blade thousand blades turned into a shield, blocking the poison arrow and only taking 30 points of impact damage. Ho ho ho. The green flames in King Lu's eyes spewed out, hitting Lin Yan squarely in the torso. This flame was like a maggot attached to the bone. There was no way to dodge it. Minus 50. Minus 20. Corpse fire burning body came with double damage of flame and poison, burning down Lin Yan's 70 points of armor per second. Die. Lin Yan took advantage of King Lu's skills backswing to charge up, his killing nature bursting forth. Snort. The stacked wave triple blade landed on it, and with the stacked blade technique, it instantly knocked out over 21. 000, 000 points of damage from the King Lu zombie. The King Lu zombie waved its great seal and battled with Lin Yan. The Divine Earth game had a blocking mechanism. As long as one could block an attack, then one would only suffer a very tiny amount of impact damage. Therefore, the sword and stance during the battle was very important. And in the later stages, almost everyone was a master of the sword and archery. In a battle between masters, attacking ten times might not even be able to inflict effective damage on the opponent once. Of course, Lin Yan was reborn as the number one strongest person on the heaven ranking. And at the current point in time, he was technically a complete descending blow. Even the hell boss was powerless to fight back. Snort. After another slash that exchanged wounds for wounds, Lin Yan prejudged in advance, and with a backward displacement plus roll, he dodged the seal of life and death shock skill. After getting up, the magic blade thousand blades transformed into a hole, traversing a distance of 5 meters, and slashed at King Lu's neck, hitting another 10, 000, 000 bludgeoning points. Between the life and death struggle, King Lu's blood level was quickly knocked down to only 100, 000, 000 blood left. Lin Yan, on the other hand, only had over 2000 armor left. The attack speed and movement speed are too low now. And it's too restrictive. There's no way to perform many blades and techniques. Lin Yan shook his head. But where his attack speed and shift speed reached too. He was confident in killing zombie Lu King without any injuries. At the same moment, the White Wolf Guild copy. Gollum. Quickly, fight to the death to finish him off. If you're about to die, drink a self-destruct potion and blow him the hell up. Poison Duke was frantic. His eyes bloodshot. There were less than a hundred people left in the crusade team, and they were still frantically attritioning. Unlike the tactics taken by Lin Yen, they were all focusing their firepower on the boss and completely ignoring the rest, using meat shields to die blocking. Grandma, is there any justice? A novice village boss with 30, 000 blood and over 5, 000 armor. Poison Duke was desperate. Even if everyone focused on attacking the boss, it still had 10,000 blood today, and as the White Wolf guild members around him continued to fall, their attack efficiency getting weaker and weaker. He knew very well that this crusade was bound to end in failure. As expected, 10 seconds later, the leader of the White Wolf Guild's crusade team was smashed in the head by King Lu's seal of life and death in order to protect the Poison Duke. Shit. Poison Duke yelled. I'm not willing to do this. How could this happen? Mu Qingwan was also unwilling to believe that the thousand man crusade team actually failed in their crusade. Both of their faces turned pale, and in the end, they were both unwillingly trampled into mincemeat by death trample. Dog days, this goddamned planning, who can beat this perverted boss? The reborn and returned poison duke ran to the square and cursed. It was then that he realized that three big guild crusades had already declared defeat, and White Wolf Guild was the fourth top guild to be eliminated. The square was filled with resentment. I don't believe anyone can brush this boss. If anyone can succeed, I'll take his name. The poison duke was so angry that his eyes glowed red, and at this moment, Eastern Guild copy. Beside Long Fong, a crusade team consisting of thousands of well-trained special forces calmly surrounded the boss. The boss blood level has dropped below 10. 000. The first kill should be secure. Long Fong calmly said, hunting a monster was just a monster. For the battle-hardened special forces, it wasn't a difficult task. Killing this boss was just a matter of time. Another half a minute and we should be able to get the first kill. The adjutant at the side reported. Long Fong nodded his head. It was only natural for the official to make a move and get first place. He had never thought that anyone would be able to snatch the first kill from their hands. The nine major guilds weren't even close. You won't live for more than half a minute. Lin Yan fought hard, his battle spirit surging. He knew from the start that his biggest opponent wasn't the nine guilds, but the eastern guild. Behind it, 
It was the official Xia state. Faster, be faster. Lin Yan continuously swung his sword to fight King Lu. When King Lu only had 30, 000 blood left, the maniacal it directly crushed the great seal in its hand. A terrifying power of deterrence was released, as if it could command life and death. One-time control technique, human king shock and awe. Lin Yan's body was instantly suppressed by the enormous force of life and death, unable to move a single step. Oh no, Lin Yan is being controlled. Xin Yue's heart jumped as she watched, her nails gouging tightly into her palms as sweat poured out. Uncontrol me. Lin Yan didn't hesitate at all and directly crushed the uncontrol potion that had long been prepared in his hand. The human king's shock could control him for 9 seconds. If he didn't uncontrol in time, not to mention grabbing the first kill, with the 2000 armor he had left, 9 seconds would be enough for the King Lu zombie to shock him to death. The uncontrol potion could immunize him from the control for 10 seconds at a time, and his body immediately regained its freedom. King Lu froze, clearly surprised at how the guy he was controlling could move in an instant. Snort! Stacked waves 3 blades. Lin Yan's blue amount instantly bottomed out after using stacking waves 3 blades. Stacking slashes. 4 slashes in 1 second. Over 21,000 damage. Die for me. Lin Yan roared as he swung out his stacked knives, the light of the knives chilling through the entire belly of the mountain. The 3 meter tall King Lu zombie was even directly chopped into two by this knife. Pying. The zombie Lu Wan fell heavily to the ground, splashing up high dust. At the same moment, the system tone also followed. Congratulations on completing the novice village boss first kill achievement. Congratulations on completing the hell replica boss first kill achievement. Congratulations on completing the inferno copy boss first kill single achievement. Your feat will soon be announced throughout the entire service. Is your nickname hidden? No. Lin Yan completely put his heart down after seeing the words first kill, exhaled a long breath, and confirmed in a firm and incomparable tone. On the plaza, the chatter boiled over, almost all of them spewing about the game's outrageous difficulty. After the White Wolf Guild and other top guilds were eliminated, the curses became even louder. Online Game Understander took the opportunity to write a Divine Earth Boss copy is so ridiculously difficult that it's impossible for anyone to pass it post, which was bursting with likes and was extremely hot. Five top guilds have already been eliminated, and at this rate, I'm afraid there won't be a single person who passes tonight. He he, pass? A copy that my White Wolf Guild can't even get through. There's absolutely no one in this world who can. Duke Poison said with a cold face. Mu Qingwan also nodded slightly. Tonight's first kill would determine the ranking of the top guilds in the future. And with Mu's consortium being the boss behind White Wolf Guild, she naturally did not want to see other guilds succeed in their crusade. Right at this moment, the plaza's canopy shook. Everyone's gazes were drawn over. A magnificent voice resounded everywhere. Congratulations to player Yen D4 completing the Hell Copy Boss single first kill achievement. Hereby rewarded. Boss first kill. Fine equipment asterisk 5. Rare equipment asterisk 1. Free attribute points, 10. Skill book, 1. Blood restoration potion, 100. Silver advancement template, 1. Health boss first kill additional rewards. Fine gear asterisk 15. Rare gear asterisk 3. Epic gear asterisk 1. Free attribute points, 50. Skill book, 3. Decontrol potion, 5. Experience potion, 5. Potion to restore blue. Blood. Defense. Attack. Agility asterisk 100 each. Silver advancement template, 3. Single kill additional rewards. Fine equipment asterisk 15. Rare equipment asterisk 3. Epic equipment asterisk 1. Free attribute points, 50. Skill book, 4. Decontrol potion, 5. Experience potion, 10. Potion of blue return. Blood return. Defense. Attack. Agility asterisk 100 each. Silver advancement template, 3. We hope that players will know and continue to work hard to create their own legend in the world of God's Earth. After the magnificent voice fell, the square fell into extreme silence. Every player who had crusaded for a copy was baffled. Could it be that what they had crusaded for was a fake copy? This is simply impossible. Poison Duke's veins rippled. A thousand people went on a crusade for a normal difficulty copy and all of them faltered. What makes him kill a hell difficulty boss alone? Unbelievable indeed. Mu Qingwan looked at the large word Yen Di out of her mind. Feeling dreamy. It's too outrageous, for a person to single-handedly brush a boss. Normal difficulty bosses have tens of thousands of blood. How scary must a hell copy be? He's really playing the same game as us. The rewards are too generous. I have to read them halfway through. I'm dazzled. Epic equipment, skill books, and advancement templates are all treasures that money can't even buy. Not to mention epic equipment. I haven't even seen what rare equipment looks like. Yes, after a long period of silence, the square exploded. The original atmosphere of despair turned into shock, vibration, 
envy, and excitement. Lin Yan's success showed one thing, the boss copy was not impenetrable. How on earth did he succeed? Everyone was pondering. As long as they found the trick to Lin Yan's success, they believed they could succeed as well. I get it. Online game understander slapped his head. The mechanism of this copy, we thought wrong from the start. Oh, many people looked over. Online game understander puffed out his chest and proudly said, to put it simply, the mechanism of the divine soil is, most likely, the more people that crusade for a copy, the more difficult it will be, and the stronger the monsters inside will be. Right, there are many games that are like this. We did overlook this. No wonder he succeeded in his crusade. Maybe if a person goes in, the boss will only have a few hundred points of blood. That must be it. Immediately, there were many players frantically rushing towards the entrance of the replica. As a result, not even 10 seconds later, these players crawled out of the spring with pale faces. Bullshit, brother understanding. Don't talk nonsense if you don't understand. The monster values didn't decrease at all. I just went in and was torn to pieces by a bunch of zombies. This, impossible. If one person and a thousand people face a copy with the same difficulty, then him, brother Noel's face paled down. The players fell into deep self-doubt. At this point in time, there seemed to be only one explanation left. He hung up. While the players were scratching their heads, Lin Yan and Shen Yue were caught up in a hidden plot. Brother Lin Yan, that coffin moved. Shen Yue's face turned white. Is there still something wrong? Obviously remind the first kill ah. Lin Yan's eyes were excited. Finally, Gollum, blood gurgled out of the coffin in the center of the lake, dyeing the entire underground lake red. A bloody shadow rose from the coffin. His body was entangled with countless wrong souls, and his horrifying aura was suffocating. Upon closer inspection, it was none other than the already dead King Lu. Finally relieved, King Lu released a smile. His eyes were vicissitudes as he looked at Lin Yan. It was you who killed my zombie body, allowing my soul to break free from the sea of blood. As a reward, the seal of life and death will be entrusted to you. He opened his hand, and a large seal floated out from the blood coffin, emitting the two chi of life and death, and eventually landing in Lin Yan's hand. A look of incredulity flashed across Lin Yan's eyes as he took the seal of life and death in his hand. Surprisingly, it's the seal of life and death, known as King Lu's most legendary treasure. Treasures were different from equipment. Each treasure had its own unique function. This party, the seal of life and death, was of an extremely high grade. Even if one looked at the entire pre-middle stage and even the late stage, its power was self-evident. He opened the introduction of the seal of life and death. Seal of life and death, unique, treasure, attribute, een, formation, supreme earth, effect, can transform undead into een soldiers and summon een soldiers to fight for oneself, in fully awakened state. It can summon 100, 000 een soldiers. When the een soldiers cross the border, the living will retreat and no grass will grow. Current state, awakened, initial. It seems that the only way to get it is to fulfill the three conditions of single, inferno, and first kill. Lin Yan staggered. This trigger difficulty was outrageous. In his previous life, no one had been able to perfectly clear the level in the novice village. So the first time the seal of life and death appeared was still more than a year away. It seems that my return has indeed caused a huge change. Lin Yan put away the seal of life and death. The seal of life and death was an unexpected blessing, but it wasn't what he had waited for. It will definitely appear within three days after I'm freed. Escape from the novice village. Or, you will die. King Lu's voice was low. This is a directional teleportation talisman. When you are strong enough, crush it to return. At that time, perhaps you will receive unexpected benefits. Remember, there is only one chance. I came here just to kill it. I won't leave. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Hmm. The pupils of King Lu, who was about to dissipate, shrunk, and his blood shadow resolidified. You actually know who it is. It seems that you are not an ordinary descender. King Lu's eyes were deep, wanting to see through Lin Yan. Lin Yan didn't deny it. Normally, the plot of the first stage of the novice village ended here. These words from King Lu were forcing the player to leave the novice village within three days of clearing the copy, when they advanced and reached the limit of a level 30 professional, and then came back with the teleportation talisman. They would encounter the hidden boss of the novice village here the Thousand Year Blood Corpse. However, Whatever secrets you are harboring are no longer my concern. King Lu flicked his long sleeve. I have already traveled the path that should be traveled. I have kept the Tao that should be guarded. And from now on, there will be a crown of justice for me to keep. Goodbye. World. He wore a sprightly smile as his blood shadow gradually dissipated. Lin Yan frowned. Whether it was the gift of the seal of life and death or King Lu's farewell, both were hidden plots that he had not heard of in his previous life. It was completely beyond his expectations. These two hidden plots. 
Could they be related to the legendary God-given template? Lin Yen mused. After reaching level 9, if one wanted to go further to reach level 10, one needed to obtain an advancement template to become a professional. Advancement templates were categorized into three grades, bronze, silver, and gold. The higher the level of the template, the higher the enhancement and growth potential one would receive after advancing. Above the gold rank, there was also the legendary divine providence template. God-given templates are of great importance. Only by using a God-given template every time you advance can you become a true god. Lin Yan's gaze was deep. This was top secret information that he had obtained in the starry sky battlefield, and he was the only one in the world today who knew about it. The novice village does indeed have a divine providence template, but I'm not clear on exactly how to obtain it. Previously, I deduced that it was related to the seven special NPCs of the novice village, but now it seems that perhaps it's related to these two hidden plots. Lin Yan kept pondering. The divine providence template was his biggest plot in the novice village. This is the first son of my layout. Only success. No failure. He took a deep breath and collected his thoughts. This battle was treacherous. And I almost died. The hidden boss isn't something I can challenge right now. I have to go back and strengthen a wave before I can do so. There was only one chance to kill the hidden boss. And the teleportation talisman would be consumed when it was used. Fortunately, this first kill reward is very generous. He counted his backpack. Together with the equipment that popped out from brushing the copy monsters, I've gotten a total of 180 pieces of normal equipment, 55 pieces of refined equipment, 9 pieces of rare equipment, and 2 pieces of epic equipment. Lin Yan looked at the 2 pieces of purple epic equipment, rewarding 2 pieces of epic equipment at once. Exploding earned. He grinned. The burst rate of epic equipment was extremely low. Killing a boss 10 times and having an epic burst once was considered lucky. To have an epic come out once should be a bonus from the hell copies. This epic arrow can be used as the main body of young Vivian's weapon. And the rest of the equipment. Ha! Huh, it can actually form a blast set. Lin Yan was pleasantly surprised. The blizzard set was the archer's pre-god set. With attack speed directly increased by 2. Out of these rewarded equipment. 2 newbie god sets had actually been put together. A blast wind archer set and a white armor meat shield set. This set is for you. Lin Yan threw the blast wind set to Xin Yue. Lin Yan was all about you taking me flying just now. I can't take this set. Xin Yu Wei didn't want to accept it. Take it. You're going to be a big help to me in the future. Lin Yan smiled and patted her head. Really? Xin Yu Wei was a bit skeptical. The gap between her and Lin Yan's strength was too great. She really didn't feel like she could do any favors. But since Lin Yan had said so, she firmly chose to believe it. She didn't want Lin Yan to be disappointed in her. Lin Yan didn't explain much and continued to look at his loot. 110 free attribute points. Add them all to attack speed. With such a high attack value nowadays, adding attack speed gain was obviously the highest. Phew. He let out a long sigh of relief as his attack speed reached 2 points after this wave of adding points. A warrior's attack speed increase cost attribute points. If these attribute points were given to a shooter, they would at least increase the attack speed by 2 points. But he knew that it was worth it. From the instant, his damage rate doubled. 8 skill books? Lin Yan looked through them all leaving four of them behind, then tossed a skill book to Xin Yue, the rest, sell them. Skill books were precious during the novice period, so it was estimated that they could be sold for a good price. Learn. He took out a skill called Inferno Blade and studied it. A moment later, the Inferno Blade skill was acquired. He tapped on the skill details. Inferno Blade, one star. Swing out a flaming blade chi with an attack range of five meters. With flame damage attached, one tenth of the attack value. After dealing effective damage, it can inflict burns on the target for 10 seconds at 10 points per second. Mana consumption, 9. Cooldown, 30 seconds. Flame blade chi. Handsome bomb. Must choose. The corner of Lin Yan's mouth picked up. Attack distance was a pain point for warriors in the early stages. But the magic blade thousand blades trait combined with the flame blade skill almost made up for it. Next is the potions. Lin Yan looked at the massive amount of potions in his backpack. And except for the blue restoration potion. Uncontrollable potion and experience potion. He stuffed them all into Xin Yue. A normal blood recovery potion could only return 100 points of blood. It couldn't be said to be a panacea for the battles he was going to face next. It could only be said to be spawn useless. I'm already level 9 and full, just missing the divine providence template. Next, I need to get the divine providence template as soon as possible and advance to professional. After Lin Yan made up his mind, he took Xin Yue and left the boss copy. Just as he arrived at the square, there were countless gazes sweeping in. Blazing, worshipful, jealous and suspicious. Congratulations Lin Yan, you've gotten the first boss first kill of the Divine Lands. Mu Qingwan walked in a graceful manner, with a smile on her face, 
and compared to her indifference when she first met in the morning, she was like a different person. Nowadays, apart from you, only the Eastern Guild has gotten the second kill. The third kill has been slow to appear. Lin Yan nodded, not surprised. The novice village boss was originally supposed to appear 10 days later, and now most players couldn't even put together a normal set. If you wanted to raid the boss, with the same number of people, you would need at least a full body of fine equipment to have a chance. You're calm. Tell me, how did you do it? As long as you're willing to tell me the secret, I'm willing to pay a million dollars to buy it out. The poison duke walked in with a rocking fan, his chest full of confidence. As soon as the first kill announcement came out, he had gone to investigate Lin Yen. Both of his parents had disappeared, leaving him and his crippled brother at home. A poor college student who relied on playing online games to make money to support his family. He was afraid that he had never seen what a million dollars looked like in his dreams. The players looked over, their eyes blazing. Secret? Lin Yen smiled. You really want to know? Fine. Then I'll tell you. The poison duke snorted inwardly. What's the point of pretending? It's not like you'll fall under my money in the blink of an eye. Hoo hoo. Everyone's breathing was ragged with anticipation. The top three kills of the boss would get announcements and tons of rewards. And now that the third place hadn't appeared yet, everyone wanted to get the third kill. The secret is, that I'm strong enough. Lin Yan swept towards the poison duke whose face instantly turned cold. You dare to trick me. The poison duke's fists clenched and crunched. Also, I warned you that I would kill you once I see you. Lin Yan slashed out with a sword, and a terrifying flame blade aura swept out. You. The poison duke's eyes widened as he was instantly chopped in half by the blade chi. His body was burned clean by the flames. Oh. The strong tactics scared everyone silly, and no more ill-advised players dared to come forward to talk more. Mu Qingwan wanted to speak out to teach Lin Yan a lesson, but when she saw his cold expression, she couldn't even utter a word. Her eyes were complicated and incomparable as she looked at Lin Yan's back until he left the square with Xin Yue. Hiss, this Yan Di, what a ruthless man, the young president of the White Wolf Guild, killing him when he says so, clean and sharp, not leaving the slightest bit of face, i have never heard of the character Yan Di before and he doesn't seem to be a veteran online gaming expert on the heavenly or earthly rankings. In any case, he's made a big name for himself today, and all the guilds probably can't sit still. Just after walking out of the square, Lin Yan was forced offline and his consciousness was kicked back to reality. Did I trigger the helmet's forced exit function because I was too hungry? Lin Yan's stomach rumbled and his head was dizzy. Looking at the time, it was already one in the morning. I haven't eaten for a day. If I don't force quit, I'm afraid I'll pass out from hunger in a while. Running to the refrigerator, Lin Yan ate three chocolate croissants in a row and cooked himself two packets of instant noodles. Phew, much more comfortable. He took a bite of ham sausage and shivered on the instant noodles. It seems like I have to get a nutrition pod to make it work. If I play the game with a nutrition pod, I won't have to go offline frequently to eat. Nutrient pods were known as toys that belonged exclusively to the rich and sold for as much as $300,000. He, a poor student who relied on playing online games to earn money to support his family naturally couldn't afford it. Ding. Lin Yan opened his QQ and explained to the anxious Xin Yue the reason why he suddenly went offline. Boss, is the Yen Di who's killing the first boss tonight you? It was a message from Fatty. Fatty's name was Duan De. He was his hairdresser and had been playing online games together since they were young, so he was familiar with his ID and it wasn't surprising that he recognized him. Yes, Lin Yan had no intention of hiding it. Fatty was also one of the core teammates he was planning to train, and as a hairdresser, he knew Duanda's character very well. Although this little fatty was fond of telling bad cold jokes, he was very righteous. Previously, when his younger brother broke his leg and needed money urgently for an operation, his parents disappeared, or the fat man took $300,000 to save the day. Holy shit, boss, you're really an old cow sitting on an airplane, bullish to the sky. I heard that the nine guilds won, 000 man crusade team all hiccuped. Fatty sent a voice in shock. Is this the first day you know that I'm bullish? Lin Yan snickered. That's true. I just registered my account today. Boss you must take me flying. Fatty was excited. This game has been so hot lately. If I can hit a few good pieces of equipment, I can casually make a fortune. Lin Yan sighed with emotion. Fatty's family was also very average. Like him they were all still students and had to think about supporting their family. Don't worry. If you mix with brother, you'll be guaranteed a good meal and a hot drink. Lin Yan's voice came down seriously. After you go online, Go to the trading bazaar. The bazaar manager is a blind monk. He likes to listen to cold jokes, brush his favorability to two stars. Then you can worship your master. Worship? An NPC from a novice village? Fatty was a bit confused. Trust me. Lin Yan replied succinctly. 
God's Earth was different from most games, the water in the novice village was very deep, there were many of its hidden plots, and players could unlock new plots every time they ascended a level and returned to the novice village. Although the seven special NPCs such as the blind monk were only guardians of the novice village, each of them was a big brother. All right lo boss, promise to complete the mission, Duan de grinned. There was actually someone who was willing to listen to his cold jokes, he was willing to do this kind of good deed even without a reward. After chatting for a while longer, Lin Yan turned off his computer and went to sleep. The next morning, Lin Yan came to the living room. His younger brother Lin Fong had already gotten up and made a table for breakfast. No more breakfast I'll do it? Lin Yan looked at the sickly teenager in the wheelchair and sighed. This younger brother of his was too strong. Even though he was in a wheelchair, he would never let anyone else do what he could do. Lin Fong grinned. Brother, I'm also a part of the family. I can't not do any chores, right? Do you have classes today? Lin Yan asked helplessly. Although Lin Fong was disabled, he had never given up on his studies. With his current grades, it was easy for him to get into Qingbei. I don't have class on Sunday, but I'm going to do a few sets of math papers to relax. Lin Fong said, Oh, Lin Yan waved his hand. Since you don't have classes then don't study. Ah, Lin Fong was baffled. Don't study. Then what am I doing? Playing games of course. Lin Yan said rightfully. Lin Fong had perfect scores in math, science and chemistry, and could be said to be a born mage. After the game descended into reality in his last life, he, who had never played a game before, had comprehended forbidden spell level spells in just three days. If it wasn't for starting too late and being too low leveled, Lin Fong could definitely be his core teammate. Such a demonic genius must not be buried. Playing games, Lin Fong suspected he was hallucinating. Brother, is our family short of money again? I've made some money from my part-time tutoring. I'll get paid next week. Lin Yan shook his head. What I mean is that you don't have to put the college entrance exams on your mind anymore. And play games with me wholeheartedly. Ha! Huh? Lin Fong blinked, unable to react for a moment. Brother, I can definitely go to Tsinghua with my grades. Only then can I really change our family's fate. No college entrance exams. Lin Yan's face was serious. What I say to you next. You can't mention it to anyone else. Lin Fong saw this and calmed down. Brother had never been a trustworthy person to rely on. He must have his reasons for doing this. Next, Lin Yan spoke briefly about the game coming down. I've never lied to you before, and this time is no different. You digest the information I gave you first, and come back to me when you've made your decision. After Lin Yan finished speaking, he returned to his computer room. He believed that with Lin Feng's superior intelligence and trust in himself, he would definitely be able to make the right choice. The consciousness returned to the divine soil. Lin Yan had just arrived at the trading bazaar to set up a stall and collect equipment when he was recognized. Yan Di, he's Emperor Yan. Someone's mouth dropped open. The ruthless man who was the world's first boss killer is actually setting up a stall here to acquire white plate equipment. Players quickly surrounded the place. Big brother Yan Di, take a picture with me. Big brother Yan Di, how on earth did you manage to make the first kill? The players were all talking. Lin Yan's face darkened into a pot. Are you guys selling white plate equipment or not? I've seen Yen Di constantly acquiring white plate equipment before. The fact that he's so strong might have something to do with it. Is there some secret hidden in the white plate equipment? Someone let a rhythmic uproar. And as soon as this speculation came out, the players' attitudes towards the white plate equipment in their hands instantly became cautious. Yen Di big brother, if you don't honestly tell us the secret in here, we wouldn't dare to easily sell the only set of white plate equipment we have. The hooded man in the lead said conspiratorially. Eh? Lin Yan recognized the hooded man as the White Wolf Guild expert beside the Poison Duke. He immediately understood that with the White Wolf Guild causing trouble, he was afraid that it would be difficult to buy white plate equipment in the future. After this became clear, he directly turned around and left. He wanted to grab every second to become stronger, and was in no mood to pull his punches here. It's not impossible to sell. If you're willing to buy a piece of white plate equipment for 10 gold coins, I'm still willing to do so. Yan Di, the hooded man continued to provoke. His face filled with mockery. This was both provoking and testing. If Lin Yan was truly willing to buy a white plate equipment for 10 gold coins, it proved that there was indeed a big secret inside. You're dead. Lin Yan gave him a cold look and turned to leave. Emperor Yan really knows how to joke. This is a trading bazaar. You dare to take a shot at me. The hooded man was frantically making a death wish. His mission was to test and provoke Lin Yan. If Lin Yan killed him, at that time, the blind monk would naturally step in to kill Lin Yan. If Lin Yan was killed, it was the same as indirectly avenging the Poison Duke. As for Lin Yan killing NPCs in return, there should be no such possibility. Why don't you dare? Lin Yan slashed out with a knife. The flame blade chi swept out, instantly cutting the hooded man into ashes. 
the ashes floating in the air. What a handsome slash. There's also a nifty flame blade chi special effect. It feels like he and I aren't playing the same game at all. Yen Di was also too impulsive. He's finished. Although he's strong, he doesn't know how to hold back. He can't become a great man. Does he still want to fight NPCs? Many people were amazed at Lin Yan's slash, but there were also many who sneered, thinking that Lin Yan was going to be in bad luck. Lin Yan just calmly walked towards the outside of the trading bazaar, and the players all followed behind him to watch the fun. At the exit, the blind monk leisurely sat there collecting tickets, sensing Lin Yan coming out. He just slightly raised his eyelids without any reaction. Crap, what's going on? There's a bug. Administrator, he just killed someone in the bazaar. You have to sanction him quickly. The people who wanted to see Lin Yan's jokes were anxious. We paid our money to figure out the safety of the trading bazaar. Now that this kid killed someone and you don't care, what's the point of having you? I won't dare to come to the trading bazaar in the future anyway. The White Wolf Guild's people took the opportunity to bring up the tempo. Noisy. Blind Monk frowned and swept his bamboo battle. A terrifying storm instantly descended, and the players who were leading the rhythm were all hit with thunderous precision, directly killing them with a single blow, their souls returning to the spring water. Everyone was dumbfounded. What the fuck is this? Lin Yan laughed coldly inwardly, wanting to scheme against him in the divine soil? Go play for another 20 years. He had long ago brushed his blind monk favorability to one star. With a one star favorability, he had only killed someone in the bazaar who had messed with him first, and the blind monk would never make a move against him. He just killed the person who deserved to be killed. Blind monk drank a mouthful of tea and faintly said, a punk who took the initiative to provoke a strong person resulting in being killed is also worthy of crying foul? Gulp. The players were dumbfounded. This NPC was clearly favoring Lin Yan. Emperor Yan is too scary. His strength is unfathomable. Even the NPC is favoring him. Can't afford to mess with him. Slipped away. The trading bazaar crowd dispersed. Lin Yan nodded his thanks to the blind monk and left. Just as he found a secluded place where he intended to fuse his equipment, his danger perception alerted him and he looked at the grass in front of him, come out, the inch-haired man came out from behind the bushes, it was Lung Fong from the Eastern Guild, he was surprised, worthy of being an inferno emperor, the perception ability is indeed powerful, something wrong with you, Lin Yan raised an eyebrow, in the future, buying white plate equipment would become tough, making him a bit upset, as a talent who single-handedly killed a hell boss for the first time, the above has recognized your potential, as long as you join the Eastern Guild, You'll receive a million dollar annual salary contract plus a 100 square foot hardcover house in the second ring road of the capital. Lang Fong paused for a moment. And we can contact the national doctor of the national hospital to connect your brother's broken leg. Lin Yan's heart stirred when he heard the end. A million dollar annual salary plus a suite in the capital was enough to completely change his family's financial situation. Connecting his brother's broken leg was even more of an unattainable opportunity. But in the end, he still shook his head. With his current growth rate, it was easy to make money. As for his brother's broken leg, he also had his own method to connect it. It was far from the best time to deepen contact with the Eastern Guild. All right. Lang Fong revealed a look of pity. He was very optimistic about Lin Yan. It's a pity that I can't say what the power behind me is. Otherwise you would definitely agree. Lin Yan revealed a subtle smile. Really? Lang Fong smiled with a confident smile. Since you don't agree, Emperor Yan, let's not talk about the signing of the contract. I'm looking for you to discuss another important matter. Well, go ahead. Lin Yan nodded. I know that you've been acquiring white plate equipment, but after your first kill, with the news of the secrets hidden in the white plate equipment spreading, no one was willing to sell it anymore. Long Fong smiled, but you can consider buying it from our Eastern Guild. Lin Yan's eyes lit up. A very good offer. I wonder how much you want to acquire. Long Fong was confident. Behind him was the official Xia State, and his stash of white plate equipment was frighteningly high. I'll need as much as you have. Lin Yan grinned. Long Fong froze, clearly taken aback. What an appetite. It seems like there is indeed a secret in this white plate equipment. Lin Yan didn't avoid it and said directly. There are secrets, but they are only useful to me. Long Fong nodded. True enough, but since we're here to do business, we won't pry into your secrets, but we won't do business at a loss either. Two gold coins for a set of white plate equipment. That's our offer. One gold coin for two sets. Lin Yan pressed the price. You only have us as a channel now. Lung Fong shook his head, refusing to cut the price. One gold coin can only be exchanged for one set of white plate equipment. It means absolutely nothing to me. Lin Yan shook his head and turned around to leave. Two gold coins was the price of a green attack outfit with plus 10 attack after fusion. If he exchanged for a set of white plate equipment, it was equivalent to three novice long knives, 
with plus 15 attack after fusion, the fusion time would also have to be doubled or tripled, calculating that it would even be a loss. It would be better to just use the green equipment to fuse. Wait, it's not like we can't discuss it again. Long Feng loosened up. After a tug of war, Lin Yan finally negotiated a price of two gold coins for three sets of novice equipment. Two gold coins for a green outfit with plus 10 attack. Exchanging three sets of novice equipment was equivalent to plus 45 attack, which was still a burst of profit. Lin Yan smiled slightly and showed the equipment he was going to sell to Long Feng. It's actually this much. Long Feng was startled, guessing that Lin Yan had a lot of equipment, but it was still a billion points more than he thought. These equipments are probably worth 600 gold coins when accounting for the market price. Tomorrow I'll bring 900 sets of warrior novice equipment here to trade with you. There's also these four skill books. Sell you 50 gold coins and exchange them all for novice bows and arrows. Lin Yan displayed the four skill books. This couldn't be better. Lang Feng paused and said with some embarrassment. I don't know about the silver advancement template you got. I'm not going to sell this one yet. Lin Yan balked. He had his own plans and layouts for the silver template. All right. Long Feng sighed. Advancement templates now had a market without a price. In the entire divine soil, the only two people with advancement templates in their hands were just him and Lin Yan. Whoever had the template would be able to advance one step ahead of the advancement. The significance was too great. What's more, what Lin Yan had in his hands was a silver template that was extremely difficult to obtain. If he was willing to sell it, the Eastern Guild was even willing to buy it for a thousand dollars. Then I'll go back to resume my orders first. Farewell. Lung Feng waved goodbye and disappeared in a few moves. The car will turn out to be the best, and the dark flowers will turn out to be a village awe. Lin Yan was in a great mood. He sat down and prepared to further fuse equipment. Rare and epic equipment came with attribute bonuses or words, and he didn't intend to replace them with white plate equipment, so he left them all behind. This is the first time I've fused epic equipment. A look of anticipation appeared in Lin Yan's eyes. Start fusing. Lin Yan had two pieces of epic equipment in his hands. One was the heart protector armor and one was a bow and arrow. The bow and arrow was left for Xin Yue to fuse her main weapon. Since each equipment final artifact could only fuse one piece, he couldn't fuse the defense equipment for Xin Yue anymore. Buzz. A full 10 minutes later, the epic equipment fusion was complete. He tapped on the details of the gold silk armor. Golden silk armor, white plate, armor plus 6550, physical defense plus 10, legal defense plus 10, counter damage plus 181. Characteristics, lightweight, wearing it does not affect dexterity, entangling silk, when attacked, reduces the enemy's attack speed by 10%, heart protection, 30% immunity to physical attacks on the vitals of the heart, armor recovery, when the armor value is less than 20%, restores 20% of armor with a cooldown of 1 hour. Sure enough, the words of epic equipment can be inherited in their entirety. Lin Yan was thrilled. The, heart protector, and, armor restoration, phrases of the epic heart protector armor were inherited in their entirety. In addition, it also gave him an increase of 1000 armor and all 10 points of physical and legal defense, knowing that his overall armor now exceeded 10, 000, just one phrase of armor recovery was equivalent to an additional 2, 000 points of armor when he fought, it caused his defense and endurance to be drastically increased, continue fusing, the white plate equipment that he had looted the thieves plus acquired earlier totaled 3000 pieces, and after fusing more than a thousand of them, there were less than 2000 pieces left. He planned to spend the rest of the day fusing all of them. Sunrise and sunset. Soon the day passed. Except for going offline to eat. Lin Yan spent all his time fusing equipment. Finally. I finished fusing all the defense equipment. Lin Yan let out a long breath. The gold silk armor and gold silk pants had all evolved. He tapped on the equipment details. Soft hedgehog armor. White. Armor plus 11. 950. Physical defense plus 13. Legal defense plus 13. Counter damage plus 200. Characteristics, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, tangled silk, when attacked, reduces the enemy's attack speed by 20%, protecting the heart, 50% immunity to physical attacks on the vitals of the heart, armor response, when the armor value is less than 30%, restores 30% of the armor, with a cooldown time of 1 hour, poison armor, armor with poison attribute, enemy units within a range of 3 meters have a chance of being poisoned, once poisoned, movement speed is reduced by 15%, and 50 points of blood are deducted per second. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 10,200. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Anti-injury plus 110. Characteristics, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, tangled silk, when attacked. Reduces the enemy's attack speed by 20%. Poison armor, the armor comes with a poison attribute. Enemy units within a range of 5 meters have a chance to be poisoned. And once poisoned, 
the movement speed is reduced by 15%, and 50 points are deducted from the amount of blood per second. All characteristics are upgraded. Defense and armor are increased significantly. The corner of Lin Yan's mouth lifted into a smile. Working overtime, fusing the remaining attack weapons before dinner. Soon, he integrated the only remaining hundred warrior weapons into the Magic Blade Thousand Blades, and then helped Xin Yue start fusing her main weapon. This busyness came back to more than 10 o'clock at night. Finally it's all fused. Lin Yan exhaled a long breath. He opened his attribute page. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 28,470. Attack, 5735. Armor break, 300. Physical resistance, 23. Legal resistance, 17. Movement speed, 1. Attack speed, 2. Mana, 40. Equipment. Soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 11. 950. Physical defense plus 13. Legal defense plus 13. Counterattack plus 200. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 10,200. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Counter damage plus 110. Magic sword thousand blades, white, attack plus 5,710. Ultimate artifact, unique, effect, infinite fusion equipment, third order. Skills. Stacked waves three blades, one star. Inferno blade, one star. Ability, none at the moment. Treasure, seal of life and death. This value, in a previous life, wouldn't even dare to think about it. Lin Yan was refreshed and felt secure. However, you have to be cautious when fighting a hidden boss. Wait until tomorrow to melt all of the Eastern Guild's equipment before going to challenge it. Just as he took off his helmet, he saw his younger brother Lin Feng sitting across from him. Brother? Hungry? Lin Feng handed over the prepared dinner. Aha! Lin Yan took the dinner and started eating. How's the thinking going? Thought about it? I believe in your choice brother. Lin Feng nodded. I've already placed my order. I'll start playing as soon as the game helmet arrives tomorrow. Worthy of being my old brother. Lin Yan patted Lin Feng's shoulder. What's the point of taking the Tsinghua exam? Playing games is the future. Lin Feng and Lin Yan glanced at each other and both burst out laughing, exclaiming with unparalleled tacit understanding. Study? Study my ass. There's one more thing. Lin Feng said with some embarrassment. What? Lin Yan raised his eyebrows. Don't I work part-time online as a tutor? My students want to come and visit me at home. Lin Feng scratched his head. What's there to be embarrassed about? Let her come. Lin Yan instantly remembered the appearance of a girl and laughed. But she's a girl. I've seen her in her just online video. Come straight to the house, isn't it? Lin Feng was somewhat embarrassed. Although he is a science bully, he knows nothing about children and women. What's wrong with that? A warm welcome. Lin Yan patted his oldest brother's shoulder. And after cleaning up the dinner plates, he stood up. Eat and sleepy, go to bed. Hey, brother I haven't told you her name yet. Her name is Chu Qingxian. Got it. Lin Yan naturally knew her name. After all, that was his future sibling. Returning to his bedroom, he clicked on the game's message list. There were many applications to add friends. Upon closer inspection, they were all the heads of various guilds. After thinking about it, he passed these friend requests, then logged out and fell back to sleep. The next morning, he scanned the message list. Brother Yen D, you're pretty hot right now. As long as you agree to sign with my Starry Sky Guild, you'll receive a 3 million signing fee plus a 37 live streaming share contract. Big Brother Yen D. The Cold Ice Guild is willing to offer a $5 million signing fee to sign with you. Our Green Dragon Guild is the top of the 9 guilds. As long as you join us, 10 million signing fees will be sent to you with both hands. There were all sorts of messages from various guilds soliciting him. And the most eye-catching one was the last one. Yen D Big Brother. Join our Vermilion Bird Guild. It's full of beautiful girls. We'll give you a date when you enter the guild. And we'll even give you a $5 million signing fee. Rather, none of them are stingy. But unfortunately, I can't look at these. Lin Yan shook his head. His pattern and ambition was not something that these guilds could accommodate. Otherwise he would have already chosen the Eastern Guild. After all, even the 10 million signing bonus given by the highest bidding Green Dragon Guild couldn't match the value of the second ring of the capital's finely furnished houses sent by the Eastern Guild. Looks like I'm completely on fire. Lin Yan swiped the webpage. The heat from the Hell Boss solo first kill was only fully displayed at this moment. And it even rushed to the headlines and hot searches. Many players were hotly discussing topics about him. After all, he had suppressed a thousand-man crusade team from the nine major guilds with just one person. And with this kind of unparalleled performance, who wouldn't be curious as to how he had done it? However, this is exactly a part of my layout. I need fame. The hotter the better. After watching for a while longer, Lin Yan began to log into the Divine Lands. 
It's time to go find Long Fong and get the equipment. Novice Village Forest Plaza. All the equipment you want is here. Long Fong said. Happy cooperation. Lin Yan counted and smiled in satisfaction. The transaction is complete. So I'll take my leave. If you want to join the Eastern Guild, be sure to contact me as soon as possible. Long Fong said. Now that we've finished crusading the boss, we'll be heading to the main city to develop as well. Lin Yan revealed a subtle smile. Going to the main city after crusading the boss? That would be underestimating the plot arrangements of the Divine Soil. Although he knew what was going to happen behind him, Lin Yan didn't remind him. He just collected his equipment and left. 900 sets of warrior equipment plus hundreds of bows and arrows. Lin Yan went out of his way and spent a whole day fusing them all together. Strength sword once again. He tapped on the attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, human, yellow. Profession, warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 44,670. Attack, 9325. Armor break, 300. Physical resistance, 23. Legal resistance, 17. Movement speed, 1. Attack speed, 2. Mana, 40. Equipment. Soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 20,050. Physical defense plus 13. Legal defense plus 13. Anti-damage plus 200. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 18. 300. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Counter damage plus 110. Magic sword thousand blades, white, attack plus 9300. Ultimate artifact, unique, effect, infinite fusion equipment, third order. Skills. Stacked waves three blades, one star. Inferno blade, one star. Ability, none. Treasure, seal of life and death. Armor is about to reach 50. 000 and attack power is nearly 10. 000. Lin Yen estimated. The attack power is definitely over the limit now. But the armor and blood volume are really not optimistic. The copy of the novice village hidden boss. Normally one would have to wait until they advanced to, professional, and reached close to level 30 before they had the chance to raid in a group. With only less than 50. 000 blood armor. It's still a bit unstable ah. Lin Yen pondered. Although he could keep brushing monsters and rely on time to stack his armor up, he was actually pressed for time. Because, only by defeating the hidden boss could he open the hidden mainline of the novice village. Only by clearing the hidden mainline could he get the legendary divine gift template. If he couldn't get the divine providence template, he would have to remain trapped at level 9 unable to advance. Sure enough, is it still too much of a stretch to have to use the divine providence template for the first advancement? Lin Yan fell silent. After a long time, the confusion in his eyes gradually dispersed and his gaze became completely firm. There were some things that had to be done. The ultimate goal of the divine soil was ultimately to become a god. Once the speed of advancement is slowed down, when the starry sky battlefield opens, if he is not strong enough, Shin Yue's tragedy will surely repeat itself again. He couldn't accept losing Shin Yue again. Only by becoming a true god can I hope to turn the starry sky battlefield around with my own strength. If one still ends up only being a god of faith or a bite-sized god, the phrase of changing the destiny of mankind is tantamount to a fool's dream. Lin Yen clenched his fists, his eyes burning with a blazing flame. In this life, he didn't want to see any of the people he cared about die again. He wants to guard Xin Yue and his younger brother. Guard the dead fat man. And guard. The summer country and even the earth's civilization. After his mind was clear, he also made up his mind. Tonight, he would go to raid the hidden copy. After thinking about it, he sent a group message to Xin Yue. Which copy to raid this time? I'm ready. Xin Yue was excited and jumped at the chance. Remember when I said I was going to give you a gift? Lin Yan smiled slightly. Of course. I've been looking forward to it for two days. Xin Yue blinked her bright eyes. Before, the two of them always teamed up to play online games and had given each other gifts. And every time she received a gift from Lin Yan, she was very happy. This bow and arrow was for you. Lin Yan presented the fused bow and arrow to Xin Yue. What a beautiful bow. Xin Yue loved it at first sight. Although the bow emitted white light and should only be a whiteboard weapon, as long as it was given to her by Lin Yan, she treated it like a treasure. Quickly equip it. Lin Yan laughed. Ha, huh, my current weapon should be better than this, right? Although Shun Yue was a bit puzzled, she still equipped it. This is the only equipment? You can't take it off once it's equipped. Lin Yan nodded, yes. Shun Yue grew more and more skeptical, but still chose to equip it. My god. After opening the attribute panel, she exclaimed in shock. Her small mouth turning into an O shape. This, Moonlight Bow, is so powerful. The attack power alone has been increased by more than 5. 000. zero, zero. Xin Yue couldn't believe it. This kind of weapon, at the current stage, could be called an absolute divine weapon. No one would be able to block an arrow. It's good if you like it. 
Lin Yan smiled faintly. He had put together a total of thousands of bows and arrows before and after, allowing Xin Yue's bow and arrow to complete its secondary evolution as well. No worse than his magic blade thousand blades, you can take the seal of life and death first. Lin Yan tossed the seal of life and death to Xin Yue, you're a long-range archer, and having the dead spirit guardian summoned by the seal of life and death makes up for the shortcomings in melee combat. Combined with this moonlight bow, the combined battle power is quite impressive. What a strong treasure. Xin Yue was pleasantly surprised after checking the functions of the seal of life and death. It can actually summon hundreds of elite zombies at once, together with the bright moon bow. I doubt I'll be able to solo a boss copy. Lin Yan would smile. That's exactly what I want you to do. Ah. Shen Yue froze. I'll go brush the hidden copy next. You use this time to brush the boss copy and get the triple kill reward. Lin Yan stated his plan. Together with the seal of life and death, it would definitely be easy for Shen Yue to go brush the normal difficulty Lu Wang Palace. After all, in the normal copy, King Lu only had 30, 000 blood armor value, and couldn't even withstand 5, 000 damage from an arrow. But the hidden copy that he is going to go to is an advanced nightmare copy which is extremely dangerous for Xin Yue, he would be unable to take care of himself by then, where would he have the energy to take care of Xin Yue, therefore, he formulated this battle plan of double opening copies and taking the most rewards, didn't King Lu ask us to challenge the hidden boss after we advanced to, professional, Xin Yue curled the green silk around her ears, going now is probably going to be dangerous, don't worry, I'm sure, Lin Yan patted Xin Yue's little brain, follow the plan and split up, yes, sir, Xin Yue saluted, her little face full of seriousness, promised to complete the mission. After sending Xin Yue into the copy of Lu Wang Palace, Lin Yan's eyes also became serious. He took out his teleportation talisman and without hesitation, directly inspired it. Buzz. The body was wrapped by the power of space and instantly returned to the Lake Heart Island of Lu Wang Palace. However, this time, another path appeared on the Lake Center Island. That path led to a bronze door that was hundreds of meters huge. He walked to the bronze door and miserable cries could be faintly heard behind the door. Blood and water poured outward through the cracks of the bronze door, emitting a pungent and oozing odor. Open. He slashed out with his blade, and his blade energy blasted the hidden bronze door open. Blood rushed out from behind the door in a torrent, as if it was a river. The underground lake was instantly dyed red, and the ecstatic hissing of the water ghosts echoed in the belly of the mountain. Lin Yan's gaze was firm as he took a step into the bronze door. The moment he stepped in, the bronze door closed with a bang. Looking around, before him was a yellow spring road, both sides of the road were filled with graves, and at the same time as the bronze door closed, these burial mounds cracked open one after another, and a horrifying figure slowly crawled out from them, indeed powerful, Lin Yan's eyes were heavy as he probed the monsters crawling out of the burial mounds, these skeletons wearing mottled battle armor had blood mist churning over their bodies, and their eyes flickered with crimson ghostly fire, buried corpse ground bone demon, second order elite, level, 29. Blood, 18,600. Armor, 1,900. Attack power, 200. Resistance, 50. Legal resistance, 30. Skills, corpse poison, passive. Bloodlust, corpse corrosion. Bite, frenzy. Bone demon blade dance. White bone burst. Blood mist demon fire. Bone demon incantation. Come on. Lin Yan's battle spirit boiled over as he rushed towards the bone demons. The bone demons let out grim jeers, seemingly mocking Lin Yan for only being a mere ninth level. A bone demon coldly stretched out his hand as blood mist demonic fire burned and spewed out. If a normal level 9 player were to be tainted by this demonic fire, they would be burned to ashes in less than 5 seconds. Die. Lin Yan's positioning was subtle, avoiding the blood mist demon flame at the extreme distance. Snort. With 2 slashes a second, along with the stack slash technique, he slashed 3 times a second, dealing more than 20, 000 points of explosive damage. The strong bone demon was unexpectedly killed in a single shot. The bone demons were clearly stunned, and all of them paid attention to this human who seemed weak but was actually extremely terrifying. The bone demons swarmed up to him, simultaneously unleashing the bone demon blade dance and white bone spike. Lin Yan utilized his inferior great footwork and killed the bone demons. The wildly dancing bone blades filled every inch of space around him, but he was always able to dance on the tips of the blades, perfectly avoiding all the attacks. How is this possible? The ghostly flames blazed in the eyes of the bone demons, not daring to believe it. Those who block me die. The demon blade thousand blades transformed into sword umbrellas at times, and at times chopped out in a tricky manner, and the many bone demons that surrounded him all fell to their deaths under his blade. A large number of experienced beads surged towards Lin Yan, and because they couldn't be absorbed, they could only be transformed into entities that were put into his backpack. 2-2. Two, two. 
He walked on the Yellow Springs Road, his feet stepping on the bones of the bone demons as he made his way forward. Feel free to leave your soul here. At the end of the Yellow Spring Road, a withered zombie three meters tall stepped forward. On its body, green necrotic poison rose to the sky, and the yellow spring flowers within a 10 meter radius withered, clearly extremely toxic. Behind it, three floating dead spirits surrounded it, emitting a frosty gas that froze the soul. Eh? Lin Yan gazed and probed. Buried corpse ground green stiff, second order, commander. Level, 29. Blood quantity, 150600. Armor, 16. 000. Attack power, 350. Physical resistance, 80. Legal resistance, 50. Skills, corpse poison, passive. Poison stream explosion. Corpse corrosion. Bite. Frenzy. Copper skin and iron bone. Bades in poison armor. Poison mist dance. Green stiff spell. Poison stream advance. Corpse assimilation. Necrotic spirit of the buried corpse ground, second rank elite. Level, 29. Blood, 24,000. Armor, 15,000. Attack power, 250. Resistance, 30. Resistance, 60. Skills, Frost Solization. Soul Freeze. Necrotic Mist. Frost Ray. Vision Sharing. Homunculus Devour. Death Blast. Undead Tear. Green Stiff. Lin Yan's Heart Stirred. The Green Stiff was already considered a rare type of zombie in the ancient legends of Xia. Its strength was boundless. Its evil nature was extremely strong. And it had almost no weaknesses other than sunlight. There are still three dead spirits accompanying it. It seems that it has to be taken seriously. Lin Yan's eyes gazed up. This green stiff leading three dead spirits was definitely comparable to King Lu in terms of combat power. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The three dead spirits rushed in unison, spewing frost and mist at him. Reduced vision. Weakened reflexes. Attack speed reduced to one. Five. Lin Yan unleashed his inferno blade. The light of the flaming blade instantly illuminating the front, cleaving through the mist and frost. The moment his vision was restored, the green stiff's knife-like palm poked head on. Clang. Too late to dodge. He instantly swung his sword to block. 2222. The immense force coming from the knife shook him back more than 10 steps. It's really powerful. Lin Yan looked at his blood level. He had completely blocked the attack, but just the impact damage had caused him to drop a full hundred points of armor. Minus 100. Minus 100. Not good. It's tainted with necrotic poison. Lin Yan frowned. The green stiff's corpse poison was too heavy. As long as it approached within 10 meters, it would definitely be contaminated. It must be a quick battle. His gaze was grave as he chopped out his long blade. The stacked waves triple slash matched the stacked blades, and the explosive output poured out onto the green stiff's head, instantly hacking out several openings in its brain. Minus 9100. Minus 8900. Minus 9300. Minus 8999. Huge damage numbers emerged one after another from the top of the green stiff's head. Roar. The green stiff was shocked and furious, and opened his mouth to spew out a spell symbol to hit Lin Yan's chest. Explode. It hissed. The toxins on Lin Yan's body were detonated along with the spell talisman, instantly blowing away over a thousand points of his armor. Damn beast. Lin Yan's eyes went completely cold. You think you're the only one who can play with toxins? He bullied his way up and battled the green stiff. The three necromancers constantly spewed frost and mist to interfere with his battle. Snort. Lin Yan's human sword united as his sword chi chopped out. Fire rushing into the sky. The green stiff's attacks could only cause impact damage when they hit him while he could accurately find a tricky angle, and his blade broke through the green stiff's block and chopped at its vitals. The poison armor properties of both the soft hedgehog armor and soft hedgehog pants were activated, causing the green stiff to fall into a poison state as well. The continuous blood loss combined with Lin Yan's explosive to the extreme output lifted the green stiff's skull off. Put. The green zombie body collapsed to the ground, its green brains flowing all over the place. The three dead spirits dispersed in a flurry and quickly disappeared from view. Lin Yan didn't go after them because, this place was already the end of the Yellow Spring Road. Beyond the end was the Blood River that was hundreds of meters wide. Now that he hadn't unlocked his flight skill, there was no way for him to chase after it. Just as he was thinking about how to cross the river, a hoarse old voice came. Young man, are you the only one crossing the river? Lin Yan's eyes turned and saw a lone boat slowly leaning towards the riverbank. The old man clad in a straw raincoat was holding up the pulley. His smile was kind and his eyes were cloudy. Not bad. Lin Yan nodded. It seemed that the only way to get to the other side of the river was to take this boat. If you want to go to the other side of the river in my boat, you need to agree to one condition first. The old man supporting the boat said hoarsely. You say. Lin Yan calmly inquired. The hidden copy was extremely difficult to pass, and hardly a few people had succeeded. So there were no relevant strategies circulating since the beginning. 
He had come to challenge it back then when he had just advanced, and had died directly on the Yellow Springs Road, not triggering the plot of the ferryman. Hidden copies only have one chance to raid, so be careful with any decisions you make, Lin Yan said in his heart. I've been trapped here for many years. If you can kill the blood corpse, you need to give me its complete skull. Only by obtaining its skull can I leave this place, the ferrying old man said in a deep voice. An additional task? Lin Yan frowned and guessed. Many copies had additional requirements, and if they were completed, more rewards would be given. The blood corpse's head was most likely its weakness. If one wanted to keep the head intact, one would not be able to attack the blood corpse's head during battle, increasing the difficulty of clearing the level. It's possible. Lin Yan nodded. This additional condition was not difficult for him. Then, get on the boat. The old man ferryman grinned. Lin Yan probed the old man's information out of caution. Buried corpse land ferryman. Can't probe for information? He looked deeply at the ferryman old man. This old man. He wasn't simple. Although he didn't know how the other party managed to block probing, it was always right to keep an eye out for such a mysterious existence when he saw it in a hidden copy. He held the hilt of his sword in his hand and stepped onto the lone boat. Why are you trapped here? Lin Yan asked tentatively. The divine earth was the real world and many hidden mechanisms needed to be actively discovered before they could be uncovered. Ha! The old man's expression stiffened. Then he sighed. It's a very long story. This river is wide enough. I think I have the time to listen to this story. Lin Yan calmly said. The old man narrowed his eyes and smiled. It's been a long time since I've met such a patient young man, so I'll tell it. The world knows that true gods exist in this world. Thousands of years ago, King Lu was given the most precious treasure, the seal of life and death because he believed in the in heavenly son of hell. The seal of life and death can reverse life and death. And once a death spirit creature obtains it, its strength will skyrocket. The king of the necromancers back then, the zombie king, Evil Chi, was one of the strongest who coveted the seal of life and death. It commanded an army of dead spirits and invaded the kingdom of Lu. In order to fight against the necromantic legion, the king of Lu went to the underground palace to activate the seal of life and death with nine of his inner circle. But while activating the seal of life and death, King Lu was betrayed by the shameful traitor. The traitor contaminated the seal of life and death with the blood of the zombie king. The contaminated seal of life and death rioted and continuously transformed the living into the dead. Countless people died as a result, and the kingdom of Lu was plunged into a corpse scourge. The traitors then spread rumors that King Lu intentionally started the corpse scourge in order to resist the evil Qi, with the purpose of sucking in dead Qi to use to enhance the power of the seal of life and death. Oh, Lin Yan suddenly realized. No wonder King Lu would say that when he handed him the seal of life and death. I've done all the roads that should be traveled, and I've kept the Tao that should be guarded. From now on, there will be a crown of righteousness for me to keep, so there is a grievance. Lin Yan nodded, gradually clearing his thoughts. However, he slowly frowned down again, always feeling that there was some key point that he hadn't noticed. What happened later? Later, under the internal and external troubles, King Lu had no choice. For the sake of the living and the righteousness of the people, he decided to sacrifice his life along with his eight beloved ones. The old man continued to narrate. They cut open their hearts and used their essence blood to wash away the tainted seal of life and death. Before he died, King Lu used his last strength to kill all his enemies with the seal of life and death. And those enemies that were too late to kill were sealed here. Lin Yan fell silent. The eight beloveds should be the armored white stiffs at the bottom of the boss level, guarding King Lu's bronze coffin. However, this old man must be hiding something. He frowned. The stories before King Lu's sacrifice were all very detailed. But the story after King Lu's sacrifice was a single sentence, ending with a single sentence. After the story, what does this have to do with you being trapped? Lin Yan was cool-headed and asked directly. The old man ho 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 laughed. I am King Lu's younger brother and volunteered to help him guard this sealed world. My mission is to wait for strong enough adventurers to descend and help them kill the sealed dead spirits. After completing my mission, I will be able to walk out of here. That's reasonable. Lin Yan nodded slightly. The old man's identity was the biggest mystery and the key to breaking the game. However, there was no way to find out if it was King Lu's brother or not. He held the hilt of his sword in his hand, constantly smoothing out his thoughts. To the center of the river, the old man's face was grave, his expression full of remembrance. This is the junction of life and death. My brother placed the seal of life and death here to balance Yin and Yang. He glanced at Lin Yan, realizing that Lin Yan was unmoved. His face suddenly revealed a look of great righteousness. Adventurers, if you want to defeat the blood corpses, the seal of life and death is an indispensable force. The seal of life and death is at the bottom of the lake. Only you can take it out. For the sake of the living and righteousness, everything is on you. Lin Yan had no ripples in his heart at this time, and even wanted to laugh. Acting, you continue to act. 
The seal of life and death King Lu had already handed it over to him, as the only treasure, the divine soil would not have a second seal of life and death. This old man was clearly lying to trick him into going down to the lake. If you want to see through the lies, the key is pressed not to find holes in this old man's logic, but to pass the Lu King's palace copy perfectly. Lin Yan completely understood everything. No wonder almost no one had been able to pass the hidden copy in his previous life. Adventurer, do you think you're strong enough to defeat the terrifying thousand-year-old blood corpse without relying on the seal of life and death? The old man exclaimed, his face eager. Seeing that Lin Yan still did not respond, the old man sighed. Oh arrogant adventurer, you only have two choices here. One is to go down to the lake to get the seal of life and death, and the other is to go to the other side and face the thousand-year-old blood corpse alone. It seems that you have already made your choice. I will send you to the other shore. No, I have a third choice. Lin Yan instantly drew out his demonic knife, the thousand blades, and pointed it straight at the old man. That is to kill you. Why would you do that? The old man was shocked, terrified and helpless. But as Lin Yan's attack approached, extreme malice instantly welled up in his eyes. It seems like you're an accomplice of the evil demon. So turn into blood and melt in this river of blood. He swung the oar in his hand and collided with Lin Yan's long blade. Pying, a terrifying force exploded, and the shockwave blew up a person high wave of blood-colored water around the boat, still pretending even now. Lin Yan sneered, you're not King Lu's brother at all. You're the traitor among those nine heartthrobs who polluted the seal of life and death with zombie blood. How did you guess my identity? The old man was shocked and blurted out in a stern voice. Even if he was attacked he wasn't afraid. What he was afraid of was having his identity guessed. Once it was guessed, the blindfold he used to shield his probing was broken. Dead people don't have to know so much. Lin Yan indifferently waved his sword. In his eyes, the old man's information panel also changed drastically. Lu's 6th Marshal, Wu Cho, 2nd Order, Commander. Level, 29. Blood Volume, 180. 600. Armor, 150. 000. Attack Power, 400. Resistance, 90. Resistance, 80. Special Items, Waterproof Cloak. Skills, Cross Chop. Blood Control. Close Surge. Hypnotic Pupil Technique, Barricade, Corpse Blood Infestation, Blood Arrow Technique, Soul Devouring Tombstone, Six Difficulties Cultivation Chop, Special Item, Excitement flashed in Lin Yan's eyes, and his attacks became stronger and stronger. How can it be so strong? Wu Joker was scared pale. He had only just exchanged blows and he had lost nearly 100. 000 Armor, Cracks appeared on his oars. This attack power was beyond comprehension. Escape. He sprouted this thought and jumped out of the boat and popped into the water in one go. He he, your attack power is indeed heaven defying. It's impossible for your blood quantity to be so heaven defying as well. He sneered. Lin Yan chased after him, and just moments after he entered the lake, armor deduction prompts popped out of his head. Armor, minus 1000, minus 1000, minus 1000. Damn it, no wonder you old thing kept tricking me into going down. Seething anger flashed in Lin Yan's eyes and he chased after none ugly with a burst of output. He now had over 40, 000 armor, counting the armor recovery trait. He had over 50, 000 armor. This amount of blood was already heaven defying enough, but it still didn't last more than a minute. If it was a normal level 29 player, he would have to die in 3 or 5 seconds. Snort snort snort, Lin Yan frantically chopped and killed, spamming all his output. If he couldn't kill this Wu Cho in a minute, his only chance to raid the hidden level would disappear the divine providence template would also be lost to him. This was a loss he could never accept. It's been over 10 seconds. Why aren't you dead yet? Noon Clown's mind exploded from being chased. What the hell are you? Not only was his attack power ridiculously high, his blood level was also deep. You can't escape. Lin Yan shouted angrily. Wu Joker was in a hurry. With less than 30, 000 blood left. If Lin Yan caught up with him again, he would be able to take himself away with a set of moves. You're crazy, even if you kill me, you won't make it back to the ship, Wu Joker yelled. Your blood bar didn't lower because you entered the blood river. You must have a special treasure on you that resists the erosion of the blood river, right? Lin Yan smiled morosely and nailed it with a single word. Wu Chao's face instantly stiffened, and he cursed in his heart. Damn, obviously a young man, why is he so old and cunning? Suffer, Lin Yan once again chased after Wu Clown and swung his sword down. Seeing that Lin Yan was about to kill him, Wu Clown yelled. Lord Blood Corpse, for the sake of me paying so much for you, quickly step in and save me. The entire Blood River, at this moment, boiled over. Lin Yan's rate of armor loss was getting faster and faster. Die. He struck out coldly, his blade shadows fluttering. The stacked wave's triple blade combined with the stacked blade technique, instantly hitting more than 30, 
000 outputs, decapitating Nu Cho. Collect. With a single thought, he collected all the equipment that Noon Clown had exploded. Special item water avoidance cloak. Lin Yen didn't care about the other items and directly tapped on the cloak details. Cloak of water avoidance, treasure. Attribute, water. Formation, supreme, heavenly court. Function, one. Fully awakened can be 100% immune to damage caused by water-based environments. Two. Allows the wearer to be free from the negative effects of water-based environments. And walks on water as if it were flat. Current status. 50% water environment damage reduction. Negative impact. First awakening. Note, in a blood corpse copy, this treasure is unconditionally immune to 100% blood river damage. Indeed. A look of excitement appeared in Lin Yan's eyes. This was the key to breaking the hidden copy. He immediately equipped the water avoidance cloak. And the armor deduction of over a thousand points per second immediately stopped. So close. This copy is really a dog. Lin Yan cursed. The difficulty of the blood corpse copy was too high. He had been cautious enough and his strength was superb. Even so he had almost flipped over. No wonder there wasn't even a guide online in his previous life. He was skeptical as to whether or not any player had ever cleared a hidden copy. There's only 20. 000 armor left. And even with the 30% armor recovery, there's only 30. 000 or so blood armor values left today. Lin Yan frowned and swam upstream. First return to the ship, disengage from the battle state, and return the armor to its full value before going to battle the boss. Just as he was swimming upwards, the blood river's turbulence intensified, and a huge whirlpool even appeared. Even with the 50% negative effect reduction, Lin Yan was still swept to the bottom of the river under the huge suction force, the bottom of the blood river. Countless skeletons were densely covered, half buried in the river sand, a scene of Shura hell. It seems that these skeletons are the forerunners who were tricked into dying down by old six of the nun ugly earlier. Lin Yan's heart was incredibly grave. Judging from the data of the various monsters from before, the difficulty of the blood corpse copy was probably a second order asterisk nightmare difficulty. If you wanted to raid a nightmare second order copy, you generally needed a second order player to form a crusade group, or a third order ordinary player to form a small team. If you want to raid alone, you'll need at least a third order top player. It would take at least a third order top player to be able to do so. It's still a bit difficult for the current me to rival a third order top tier combatant. Lin Yin pondered. His attack power was superb, but his blood armor was simply too low. If he could obtain gold templates at every rank, he would reach the third rank, elite professional, extreme, which was level 49. The blood quantity could completely reach 150, 000, and with the armor weapon, it could easily break 200, 000 blood armor value. As for each rank being a divine template, that blood quantity was even more needless to say, at least several hundred thousand. If he had such a strong blood armor value, this raid would be too easy. Boom. Lin Yan stopped and looked towards the center of the vortex. A withered and evil figure, bound by huge chains, was suppressed at the bottom of the blood river. The figure's entire body was devoid of skin, with its muscles and bones oozing out into the open. It spewed blood all over its body and merged into the blood river, while also drawing energy from it. A thousand-year-old blood corpse. Lin Yan's eyes stared and he immediately struck out, his long knife cutting out sharp edges. Clang. Before he could kill the thousand-year blood corpse, several ghost-like creatures blocked him. Blood River Spirit, Second Order Elite. Level, 29. Blood Quantity, 25,000. Armor, 18,000. Attack Power, 270. Physical Resistance, 40. Resistance, 50. Skills, Death Tumble. Blood River Shock. Water Vortex. Blood Explosion. Vision Sharing. Homunculus Devour. Death Blast. Undead Tear. Click click click. The blood corpse's chains continued to crumble and were about to shatter. Lin Yan immediately struck out. If he waited for the blood corpse to release it and join forces with these blood river spirits, he would be in trouble. Buzz. The Yen Blade started up. Combining with the Stacked Wave's Triple Blade plus Stacked Blade to instantly second a blood river spirit. Seeing this, the other blood river spirits immediately began to tear each other apart. Damn it. Lin Yan let out a low curse. These blood river spirits unleashed origin devouring. A dozen or so blood river spirits devoured each other. Transforming into a strong figure that guarded in front of the blood corpse. Die. Lin Yan and the spirit of the blood river were caught in a fight. The spirit of the blood river moved faster than him and the blood river. And he couldn't get around it. The spirit of the blood river spun crazily and came crashing down with a terrifying vortex. Death tumbled to match the water vortex. Lin Yan flew into the whirlpool. Because it was relying on the Blood River environment to deal skill damage to him, it was completely immunized by the Water Avoidance Cloak. The spirit of the Blood River also saw this and had no choice but to fight with his body. Death Blast. Undead Tear. 
Lin Yan dodged the impact with a single walk and hardened his shoulders as Undead Tear frantically outputted. Snort! He was calm and frantic, his strikes were all vital. As the former number one on the heavenly ranking, he knew exactly where the vitals of almost all types of monsters were. The powerful Blood River spirits, under his frantic attack, fell back and were quickly killed in bursts. Phew! With a wave of his hand, he put away the equipment that the spirit of the Blood River had exploded. Lin Yan arrived in front of the Blood Corpse at breakneck speed and swung his sword. Thousand Year Blood Corpse, Boss Nightmare. Blood, 1503066. Armor, 560. 000. Attack Power, 810. Resistance, 120. Legal Resistance, 100. Skills, Thousand Year Corpse Poison, Passive. Imperial Skin Art. Blood Witch Curse. Tear Bite. Corpse Chi Infestation. Soul Trap. Flying Bone Spike. 18 Blood Air Strikes. Corpse Blood Bathing. Armor Increase. Life Eating. Dan Corpse Streaming Explosion. While the Blood Corpses hadn't gotten out of their traps, Lin Yan kept chopping away. Minus 9588. Minus 9100. Minus 9491. He slashed furiously dozens of times, chopping off most of the armor of the thousand year old Blood Corpse. How refreshing. How nice it would be if I could just stand still all the time and slash him to death. Lin Yan was overjoyed in his heart. These hundreds of thousands of points of damage were purely for nothing. And of course it could have been the time difference he had earned by point blanking the identity of the noon clown. Click click click. The chains finally collapsed all the way. The thousand year old blood corpse broke free. Instantly, the river of blood boiled, and a terrifying killing intent enveloped Lin Yan in death. The real battle. It's begun. Lin Yan's expression also became serious. He still had 18,000 armor values today. What he was facing was a terrifying blood corpse with over a million and a half blood and over a hundred thousand armor points remaining. Although the opponent's attack power was only one-tenth of his own, the blood difference was dozens of times greater. The only way to make up for this is to rely on combat skills. Lin Yan fought clearly. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. The moment the thousand-year blood corpse got out of its trap, the bones in its body transformed into flying spikes that madly stabbed at Lin Yan. It was as dense as a rain of arrows. Get into position. Although he didn't have the stance skill yet today, the pace that Lin Yan had honed between life and death was still enough to deal with the dense bone spikes. Snort snort. Killing from the dense bone arrows, he was only attacked twice, dropping over a thousand points of armor. If it's combined with a stance skill, it's completely harmless. Lin Yan stared at the blood corpse. You must explode a stance skill book that suits me. Ha! Huh? The thousand year blood corpse froze, obviously a little surprised. Extreme killing intense surged out of its eyes as it rushed out with a roar. Starting with a big move, the 18 blood airstrikes. The blood demonic power around the blood corpse surged, and every part of its body was transformed into a sharp weapon for attack. Bang bang bang. The 18 attacks were as continuous as a monstrous river, and each of them carried more than a thousand points of attack power. If they all hit, even if they had 20,000 points of blood, they would be killed in seconds. Lin Yan wielded his magic sword thousand blades, skillfully diffusing attack after attack, but after all, his attack speed was limited, and he was still hit a few times. Buzz. The blood corpse's bite tore into Lin Yan's soft hedgehog armor, and as the armor value fell below 30%, the armor recovery trait was activated. Lin Yan's armor instantly returned to nearly 30,000. You've also reached the end of your blue level, right? It's my turn. With his blade skills, Lin Yan began to stick to the blood corpse in fight. Minus 9,300. Minus 18,500. Minus 9,199. The blood corpse's blood bar fell crazily at a speed visible to the naked eye. In the blink of an eye, it was knocked down by several hundred thousand. In the next moment, Lin Yan felt his soul fall into stagnation and his body couldn't move. Blood Witch Curse in conjunction with Soul Trap, he instantly reacted, crushing two bottles of uncontrolled potions and breaking free from his controlled state. Roar! The Blood Corpse's surefire technique followed. It opened its mouth and spat out a blood dan, which exploded in front of Lin Yan as countless blood souls surged out and tore at Lin Yan. The Dan Corpse stream exploded. Lin Yan immediately retreated violently, his water-avoiding cloak causing him to walk on water as if he were walking on flat ground, while constantly attacking to counteract the impact. Even so, this Dan Corpse stream explosion still caused him to lose more than 3. 000 armor points. It could be imagined that if he didn't have an uncontrolled potion, he would have lost at least 30,000 armor points if he was hit by this sure kill in a controlled state. Roar! The blood corpse went completely berserk. This set was its chain of sure kill techniques and it actually didn't even knock off the opponent's armor skin. Buzz. The light of the armor on its body soared as the armor increased. After the armor increased by 50, 000 points, the blood corpse's blue amount completely bottomed out. 
and at its wit's end, it could only fall into a bloody melee with Ling Yen. This seat still has over a million blood armor points left. I don't believe I can't exhaust you. It roared hoarsely. One person and one corpse, fighting together. There were no more fancy skills at this moment, and there was no longer any battle of wits. It was all the most naked and bloody physical combat. The blood corpse's attack speed attribute was a bit higher than Lin Yan's, and even though Lin Yan's blade technique was at an extremely high level, he couldn't defend himself perfectly. Huge damage numbers kept popping up on the blood corpse's head. Lin Yan's armor value was also decreasing. In the blink of an eye, one person and one corpse had fought for dozens of rounds. Lin Yan was also fighting with real fire. His eyes cold and crazy. Looking at the eyes alone, it was no longer possible to tell which side was a person and which side was a blood corpse. Minus 888. Minus 9178. Minus 779. Minus 8999. Minus 1600. Minus 18100. Damage tips after damage tips kept popping up from both sides of the head, killing from the bottom of the river all the way to the surface. Pying. The two fought all the way to the surface of the blood river, and the moment they broke through the water, the terrifying power churned up meters high waves of terrifying blood. Die. In the hearts of the two, only the obsession of decapitating the other remained. Snort. Under this situation, Lin Yan utilized his supreme blade technique to kill his way out of a huge advantage with a difference of tens of times in blood armor value. The blood corpse's blood was cut down to just over 80. 000, 000 by him, while his blood armor value fell below 10. 000, 000 as well. Corpse blood bathing, devour life. The blood corpse popped and shattered the lower half of its body. The blood water continuously washing the remnants while its body withered extremely quickly. Its attack power skyrocketed under this change, surprisingly doubling directly. With a single claw, it cut down more than 1500 points of Lin Yan's armor. Kill. Lin Yan continuously drank blue recovery potions, and his Yin blade, stacked wave triple blade, and stacked blade technique were offered together. In his last wave of explosive output, the blood corpse's blood slot was finally emptied. Pying. The blood corpse's body fell onto Noon Clown's lone boat, its eyes full of unwillingness. Lord Zombie King, I have waited for you for a thousand years, and it seems that I can no longer serve you. 2-2. Lin Yan walked up to him without the slightest bit of emotion in his eyes. He wasn't a person who liked nonsense. With a slash, the blood corpse's head fell with a hard sound, completely perishing. Ding. Congratulations on completing your single person first pass hidden copy, the Yellow Spring Blood Corpse Achievement. A service-wide announcement is about to be made. Is your ID hidden? The system prompt sounded in response. Lin Yan took a long breath, and then slowly exhaled, firmly saying, No. To solo through a second-order nightmare copy with a level 9 body was simply a mythical achievement in his previous life. And now he had created this myth with his own hands. This dreamy feeling caused his heart to surge. At this moment, in the divine soil world, as long as there was a place where players existed, magnificent announcements resounded in unison. Congratulations to player Yen D for soloing the first pass of the hidden copy and killing the thousand year blood corpse boss. Hereby rewarded. Advanced fine equipment asterisk 10. Advanced rare equipment asterisk 2. Free attribute points, 100. Two star skill book, 6. Advanced decontrol potion, 5. Advanced experience potion, 20. Advanced blue restoration. Blood restoration. Defense. Attack. And agility potion asterisk 100 each. Second order asterisk silver advancement template, 3. Perfect pass hidden reward, relic asterisk blood corpse head. Skill evolution book asterisk 1. Strike reward, legendary equipment asterisk swordsman's helmet. We hope that players will know this and continue to work hard to create their own legend in the world of God's earth. A hidden copy? What's that? After hearing this voice, the players were dumbfounded. Nowadays, the vast majority of players hadn't even cleared their copies of the Ru Wine Palace, so they naturally didn't know about the existence of hidden copies. However, the rewards are all advanced rewards. Does that prove that this is an advanced copy? Granny, we haven't even beaten the novice village boss, and Yen Di has already cleared the advanced copy? He's going against the heavens. This Yen Di, his skills are really great. On the way to the main city, Leng Fong gazed at the hints in the sky, his face serious. It seems that we have underestimated his potential too much before. We must report it to the top and have them give better treatment to recruit Yen Di. Beside Long Fong, the leaders of the Eastern Guild were frantically distraught. Moreover, the clearance rewards given by raiding the hidden copies are too generous, especially the second order silver advancement template. Let's see. Let's go raid the hidden copy now. If Yen Di can do it alone, we can definitely take it as well. Don't be impulsive. Although the advancement template is good, we still have to wait for the leaders to decide. Long Fong persuaded. All right. 
Several leaders nodded their heads and did not object. With the silver template that Long Foam had gotten from the boss to kill, he had already advanced to professional. In the past two days, he had also absorbed the extra experience beads that the guild had stockpiled, and his level had long exceeded level 10, far ahead of the entire service. Let's hope that the higher-ups approve us to raid the hidden copy as soon as possible. Yeah, as long as we can get the second order advancement template, with our cultivation ability, we can completely create a third order top-tier powerhouse in a short period of time, and boast the entire preliminary stage. The members of the Eastern Guild were dumbfounded. Soon after, Lang Fong received a reply. The order came down. First send two people to explore the hidden copies. We'll go. The two leaders beside Long Fong volunteered. Light flashed and they were teleported into the hidden copy. I also don't know about the hidden. Lang Fong didn't even finish his sentence before he received a message from the two leaders in the spring water. It's over. Past? The hidden level is so simple. Lang Fong was a bit confused. Cough. We were eliminated. The two leaders quickly came to Lang Feng's side through group teleportation. Their faces pale and incomparable. That Yen Di is definitely open. A small monster in a hidden copy. Over 200 blood in one slash. How dare you believe that? I didn't even have time to read their data panel in full before I was hacked to death. The blood armor of a normal small monster is nearly 20. 000. The boss blood armor value must have broken through the sky. If Yen Di really passed the level by his own strength, then his strength, how terrifying must it be? The two men said, both feeling shivering. Yen Emperor, too terrifying. Long Fong fell into silence. Then without any further hesitation, his eyes firmly sent a message to the top. As long as we can fight for Yen Di to join the Eastern Guild, I think all the costs are worth it. How can the gap be so big? White Wolf Guild. Duke Poison was so angry that he dropped his teacup. Mu Qingwan's eyes were complicated and she just nodded, not knowing what she was thinking inside. Notify all guild members to get online with Laozi. I'm going to crusade for another copy of Lu Wang Palace. This time, I vow to raid it. Duke Poison immediately got up and entered the virtual game bin. The boss copy plaza was abuzz with people at the moment. Lin Yan's solo defeat of the hidden copy had irritated quite a few experts and guilds. They didn't want to admit that they were actually being left further and further behind by a soloist. It was too humiliating. The big guilds had all reorganized their crusade teams to make a clean break. Blood Corpse Replica On the Blood River solitary boat, Lin Yan counted the rewards he had received, his eyes growing brighter and brighter. 100 free attribute points. Add them to shift speed first. He made up his mind. This time, when he chased after Wu Jiu, he almost couldn't catch up, causing the copy raid to fail. If there was a similar chase in the future, shift speed was the most important attribute. Add points. 100 free attribute points went down, and shift speed increased to 3. The speed directly tripled. Weapons and potions are put away for now. We'll organize them when we get out. Lin Yan dropped his gaze on the skill book. After his speed increased, he was in desperate need of a stance skill. If he had a stance skill for this raiding blood corpse, then there was no way the fight would have been so grueling. Flipping through the six two-star skill books that were rewarded, Lin Yan's eyes lit up. It's really been found by me. Nine Thunder Flash, two star. A quick burst of nine displacements, each displacement has a limit distance of two meters. Each displacement leaves behind a thunder residue and deals a layer of thunder damage to enemies in its path. Mana Consumption, 30, cooldown, 30 seconds. This mana consumption isn't small. Lin Yan sucked in a breath of cool air, then looked at the skill evolution book in his hand. Skill evolution books were precious, and could specify skills to make them rise to the stars. One star to two stars is not a big improvement. Since I'm going to use the skill evolution book, I have to make the most of it. Lin Yan's eyes were firm. Nine thunder flash. Star upgrade. Buzz. Soon. The nine heavy thunder flash upgrade was complete. Nine heavy thunder flash, three stars. Rapidly explode 9 displacements, each displacement has a limit distance of 10 meters, and inflicts 3 levels of thunder damage on enemies in its path. Each displacement leaves behind a thunder shadow, and at the end of the skill, the shadow explodes, inflicting explosive cluster damage of attack power asterisk 10% on enemies within 3 meters. Mana consumption, 40. Cooldown, 30 seconds. The explosion distance has gone from 18 meters directly to 90 meters. There are also two more tiers of thunder damage. There's also an additional residual shadow explosion group damage. Lin Yan nodded. The boost was obvious, but the blue consumption was also truly terrifying. Using it once would empty his current blue bar. However, it was good that he didn't lack potions. Just knock a bottle of blue pill back to full immediately after using it. Next, are the two most important harvests this time. Lin Yan looked at the two items in his hands. Blood Corpse Head, and, Legendary Equipment, Swordmaster Helmet. I can't believe that I actually obtained Legendary Equipment at level 9. 
Lin Yan checked the panel of the sword magnate helmet that was spewing orange light. Broken sword magnate helmet, legendary. Level, second order. Armor plus 9999. Physical defense plus 18. Legal defense plus 18. Characteristics, sword hero's heart. 30% immunity to physical attacks on the vitals of the heart. Sword hero's guard, active. Costs 40 points of mana. Restores 20% of the body's armor, purification, immunity to a spiritual attack that deals less damage than the armor value of the helmet. Cooldown time, 1 hour. Note, a novice village blacksmith seems to be able to fix this equipment. Gulp. A light shone in Ling Yan's eyes. The armor enchantment alone made this helmet nearly 10,000. And the heart of the sword magnate trait, combined with the heart protection trait of my soft hedgehog armor, can already do 80% of the immunity to physical attacks on the heart. Lin Yan was incredibly excited. If he found a blacksmith to fix the helmet intact, perhaps he could make the heart gain immunity to physical attacks. This kind of rule level trait, as long as it made up 100%, it would be a god level trait. From now on, there was no need to worry about physical damage to the heart, and this part of the body would be equivalent to invincibility from now on. What this meant to an expert operator was naturally self-evident. Make sure to fix the sword hero helmet. Anticipation filled his eyes. Click. He put on the sword magnate helmet. Weapons higher than one's equivalent rank could not be equipped normally, but the ultimate artifact was just so unreasonable. It directly ignored equal rank equipment. He tapped on his attribute page. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 55,999. Attack, 9325. Armor Break, 300. Physical Resistance, 41. Legal Resistance, 35. Movement Speed, 3. Attack Speed, 2. Mana, 40. Equipment. Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 20,050. Physical Defense plus 13. Legal Defense plus 13. Anti-Damage plus 299. Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 18. 300. Physical Defense plus 2. Legal Defense plus 2. Counter Damage plus 139. Broken Swordsman Helmet, Legendary. Armor plus 9999. Physical Defense plus 9. Legal Defense plus 9. Magic Sword Thousand Blades. White. Attack plus 9300. Ultimate Artifact. Unique. Effect. Infinite Fusion Equipment. Third Order. Skills. Stacked Waves 3 Blades. 1 Star. Inferno Blade. 1 Star. 9 Lightning Flashes. 3 Stars. Ability. None. Treasure. Seal of Life and Death. Cloak of Water Avoidance. Armor Value Officially Breaks Through 50. 000. Lin Yan's Heart Surged. Counting Armor Restoration in Sword Magnate Guard. His total hidden armor value was now over 80,000. Finally, it's this blood corpse head. Lin Yan's expression had never been more serious. This was the true key to unlocking the hidden plot of the novice village. Who? The unique hidden quest related to the Divine Providence template? Let me see your true colors. Lin Yan exhaled a long breath, his gaze growing more and more grave. The information he had gathered in his previous life was broken by this point in the blood corpse core. He only knew that perfectly clearing the hidden copy would trigger the only hidden plot of the novice village. And by perfectly clearing the hidden plot, he would be able to obtain the God's Gift template. Let's unlock the plot first. He slapped his palm at the blood corpse's head. Buzz. Two projections emerged from the blood corpse's head. One of them Lin Yan was familiar with. It was the village chief of the novice village. He was all righteous and his face was serious. Many years ago, the zombie king made a comeback to seize the seal of life and death. The strong men of the Long Xia Empire fought to the death to seal it, and our village was established precisely to guard the Zombie King's sealing ground. But recently, a cult called the Truth Cult has appeared around the village, and they will stop at nothing to open the seal and release the Zombie King. I desperately need the Blood Corpse head to reinforce the seal. Young man, quickly give me the Blood Corpse head in your hand. The other figure was a black-robed man sitting on a high chair. His gaze was firm and his voice was full of vicissitudes. We originally guarded the seal with the village chief and the others until three years ago. When I crashed through the village chief's secret, he was trying to break the zombie king's seal. There is no doubt that the village chief has been tainted by the will of the zombie king. I led the villagers who stood firm on justice to break out into battle with the village chief's gang. But the strength of the village chief, infested with evil powers, was so terrifying that we eventually fled in defeat and established the truth called just to guard the secret. Never give the blood corpse head to the village chief. Once he gets it, he will use it to unseal the zombie king evil chi. Hand over the blood corpse head to the cult of truth in order to stop the holocaust from coming again. After the two finished speaking, the projections disappeared separately. Making a choice? Lin Yen frowned. Both of these parties claimed to be righteous, and their words were very logical. 
He couldn't really tell which side to hand over the blood corpse head to for a while. Just as he was pondering, the magnificent system beep once again spread across the divine lands. Congratulations to player girl who loves salt for soloing through the copy of King Lu's Palace. Hereby rewarded, skill book asterisk 1. We hope that players will know this and continue to work hard to create their own legends in the divine soil world. On the square, the gathered players were dumbfounded. They had been stimulated by Lin Yin clearing the hidden copy, and were just about to crusade for the monster copy again when someone else soloed the boss copy. Perverts come and go every year, but this year there are especially a lot of them. Are they really playing the same game as me? A copy that hundreds of people couldn't get through. A single person made it through. The gap between man and man is bigger than man and dog. The players were all blown away, and the square was awash with discussion. The girl who loves salt? Duke Poison frowned. This ID is a bit familiar. It's the girl who's been following Lin Yin around. Also from the same university as me. Mu Qingwan said with an ugly face. What? The Poison Duke's pupils shrunk, and he was even more furious when he reacted. Could it be that our White Wolf Guild is even inferior to a pendant that follows him around? Soon, Xin Yu Wei appeared in the square her small face filled with leaps of joy. Although she had cleared the normal difficulty, she couldn't compare to Lin Yen, but after all, it was a solo clearance of a boss copy, and the sense of accomplishment was overwhelming. Hey, is brother Lin Yen still in the copy? Xin Yue looked at Lin Yan's status in her friends list and murmured, Sister Salt Eater, you're too strong too, how did you manage to clear the level solo? Teach us the secret? That's right, did you find any game bugs? Come on, tell us. Instantly a group of people surrounded them. The enthusiasm was too much and scared Xin Yue. I, I just killed all the monsters and then passed the level off. Xin Yue scratched her head and said frankly, Ah this. The players were all hurt by Xin Yue's inadvertent Versailles and cried and laughed for a while. That's where you're wrong. The poisonous duke stepped forward. You're too selfish if you're not willing to take out and share something good. Telling the secret out is to benefit everyone. Do you know what unity means? That's right. We're all from Xia. If you share the secret and we all pass the level to get the benefits, that's strengthening the country and fighting for the country's glory. When the national war opens, if we can't beat the foreigners, it will definitely be because there are too many selfish people like you. Seeing that there was a male son of a big guild leading the way, many people began to follow the trend and spewed angrily. Their mouths spoke in a grandiose manner, but in reality, they were all for the sake of their dirty and sinister thoughts inside. Seeing that Xin Yue was a silly white sweetie who was easy to bully, they threw every hat into her head. What makes you guys think that I must have stolen the opportunity? Xin Yu Wei was aggrieved and explained. I really relied on myself to pass the level. Humph, the boss copy has been open for such a long time. And the only ones who could manage to clear the level solo were the duo of you and Yen Di. The poison duke smiled eerily. And the two of you are inseparable. Saying that you didn't find a bug in clearing the level. Who would believe it? That's right. Don't be a stiff upper lip. Just say it. Many people helped out. Trying to force Xin Yu Wei to reveal the secret. There was too much of a difference in the benefits gained from clearing the level alone and in a group. Xin Yue was so angry that she clenched her silver teeth. Too lazy to tell you guys. If she didn't have to wait for Lin Yan, she wanted to go offline directly. Humph. Obstinate. Selfish guys like you who don't know how to think for the collective need to be taught a good lesson before they learn their lesson. Killing intent flashed in the poison duke's eyes. Having been killed twice in a row and unable to do away with Lin Yan, he had long been holding his breath inside. At this moment, Apart from wanting to know Xin Yue's secret, he also incidentally wanted to take revenge by killing Xin Yue. Little girl, I advise you to speak out obediently. The White Wolf Guild experts all came together. After two days of upgrading and fighting monsters, many of them had reached level 9, and were much stronger than before. Don't come over, you guys. Although Xin Yue was silly and sweet, she wasn't one to be messed with. And at this moment, sensing the crisis, she drew her bow and aimed it at the approaching enemies. If I can pass the copy, I naturally have the ability to kill you guys as well. Ha ha ha. The high level players laughed. Shinyoe's milky ferocious look was really no deterrent to speak of. Many players also came up to try to make a move. This is too bullying. I, the Vermilion Bird Guild's beautiful captain had a fiery temper and wanted to step in to help. Don't act rashly. The red clothed beauty captain stopped her. There is indeed something odd about her in that Yen D. Let's wait and see what happens first. At least don't make a move until that Yen Emperor shows his face. The other few great guilds also watched with cold eyes. You guys are too much. Although Xin Yu Wei had a nerdy appearance, she was decisive in her actions. And after realizing that things were irreparable, she immediately started shooting arrows in return. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Three arrows were fired in quick succession. And the three rank 9 experts closest to her were killed in response. All of them had an arrow through their throats. What? Many people subconsciously rubbed their eyes. 
those were rank 9 experts, and they were also rank 9 experts from the Grand Guild. Counting the equipment armor, a level 9 expert of the Grand Guild had a blood armor value of at least 500. Surprisingly, all of them had their throats sealed by a single arrow. Her attack power is so outrageous. The onlookers suddenly had some faith that Shin Yue was relying on herself to pass the copy. Finish her off at all costs. The poison duke felt his face burning. It was just as well that Lin Yen couldn't be killed. If he couldn't even kill the stupid white sweetie beside him, the white wolf guild wouldn't have to mix in the future. Mu Qing Wan, on the other hand, frowned as her mind raced. Both Lin Yen and this girl have displayed an appalling attack power that surpasses understanding. There must be a big secret on these two. She narrowed her Danfeng eyes. According to the investigation, this girl was just an ordinary player before. To have such a terrifying boost in a short period of time is all because of Lin Yen. It seems that the value judgment of Lin Yen is going to be taken to the next level. This person is not simple. Before, Lin Yen was just barely worthy of the level of eating with her in her mind. And now, she was starting to consider whether or not to use Lin Yen as a spare tire. Whoosh whoosh whoosh. Shin Yue's arrows kept on coming. One arrow was bound to kill one person. But the White Wolf Guild had too many people to kill. The cooldown of the Seal of Life and Death wasn't ready yet. And her own blood armor value was only 500. So once she was approached, it was dangerous. Let's first kill out of the copy square. Then go straight offline. Shin Yue made her plans. Within the range of the copy square, one could not voluntarily go offline except for being killed in device warnings. This little girl is so strong. I didn't expect that under her milky fierce appearance, she hides such a killing and decisive heart. But she's afraid that she won't be able to rush out. White Wolf Guild has too many people. Unless her blood volume is as perverse as her attack power, it won't last. The players commented, clearly all in the mindset of watching the fun. This kind of big guild was acting as a bully. Where would ordinary players dare to mess with it? Blood Corpse copy. Lin Yen had just made his plans when the lone boat docked. Without Wu Joker to prop up the boat, he could only wait for the lone boat to dock in order to reach the other side. The opposite bank is the exit of the replica. What a good plan. Lin Yan once again had second thoughts. The two paths that Wu Joker had said, going down to the lake to get the treasure would result in death by the corrosion of the blood river. And if you don't go down to the lake and go directly to the opposite shore, you will be directly teleported out of the copy. It's simply impossible to pass the hidden copy if you don't pass King Lu's palace perfectly. Lin Yan took a step out, and the light flickered as he returned to the replica square. So lively? He frowned, sensing a hint of abnormality, peeling through the crowd. He was seeing Xin Yue, who was struggling to break out of the White Wolf Guild siege. In a flash, Lin Yen only felt angry. You guys have guts. A violent shout shook the air, and the players around him were directly shaken by the roar and spat out blood. Their blood bars instantly going to zero as they fell to the ground and died. The roar of a powerhouse with nearly 10, 000 attack power, with extreme killing intent, inflicted the same horrendous amount of damage. Many people looked over, and upon recognizing Lin Yen, they exclaimed, Emperor Yen has appeared. The siege all came to a standstill, and the poison duke also followed the sound. And the moment he saw Lin Yen, his eyes turned red. Kill him together for me. Duke Poison shouted angrily. The first time, he had only brought 50 people with him. And the second time, he had been killed just after they met. And this time, he had thousands of people around him. And 30 of them had reached level 9. A sea of people will drown you. White Wolf Guild. Right? After today. There will be no more White Wolf Guild in Underworld Village. Lin Yan's killing machine boiled over, his eyes icy cold to the extreme. Shin Yue was his scales. He would not allow anyone to pose a threat to her. Ha! Just a phantom dream of the weak. Duke Poison shook his head in mockery. He couldn't even imagine how Lin Yan could manage to make the White Wolf Guild disappear in the Underworld Village. Yen Di is too uptight. As strong as he is, is it possible that he still wants to fight a big guild all by himself? Hoomph. I've been looking at him with displeasure for a long time. Today his arrogance has come to an end. Admitting defeat is the smart choice. TSK, at a glance, he's still a student and hasn't experienced the poisonous beatings of society. Many players who were jealous of Lin Yen shook their heads. In particular, the online game understanding brother who had been indirectly punched in the face several times by Lin Yen jumped to his feet. Big talk. Let's see how he gets kicked out of the underworld village by the White Wolf Guild. With a sweep of his gaze, Lin Yen recorded all of these shady players on his death list. Without any nonsense, he instantly moved, disappeared. Poison Duke's eyes almost glazed over. He's a warrior who actually knows stealth skills. However, in the next moment, booming thunder resounded throughout the square. Boom 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 boom. As if the thunder of heaven's punishment, it sounded nine times in a row. And Lin Yen, who had been a hundred meters away a few seconds ago, 
unexpectedly appeared directly in front of him. Crap, the hell. He was so scared that his legs shivered. Die, Lin Yan slashed down. The poison duke was chopped apart in an instant. His blood and plasma shattered body bursting apart and splattering more than a dozen meters. Young president is dead again. The minds of the White Wolf Guild's experts were blank. Unlike last time. This time, Poison Duke was killed in a strong second under the layers of protection of thousands of people. This tactic was simply like a ghost or god. He really isn't playing the same game as us. Is he? This body technique. Before the players could finish spitting, the nine residual shadows left behind by Lin Yan exploded. Although the explosion damage was only one-tenth of his attack power, it was still far more than the White Wolf Society's experts who only had four or five hundred blood now. Pom 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 pom. Nine residual shadows exploded one after another. Within three meters of the explosion range, one white wolf guild expert after another was blown to pieces, charred and blackened limbs flying horizontally in a spectacular scene. Subsequently, more than a hundred experts on the path also died violently one after another due to the three layers of thunder damage constantly dropping their blood. Gulp. This shocking scene dumbfounded everyone. The battle power displayed by Lin Yan was simply a descending blow to all players at this stage. Even the strongest of the nine guilds, the leader of the Green Dragon Guild, had a pale face. How in the world did this happen? Lin Yan calmed down. As a man don't be so impulsive. Mu Qingwan frowned and spoke out to stop it. Making a scene is not going to end well today. If you still expect to have further development with me, just give me this end. Shut up. Lin Yan turned his head and angrily rebuked. His eyes icy cold. What? Mu Qingwan completely froze. How dare you? You. What kind of a thing are you? You're worthy of pointing your finger here? Lin Yan laughed coldly, ignoring the frozen Mu Qingwan and turned to look around the scene. Don't you all just want to know why I was able to pass? Fine, I'll be merciful and teach you all today. It's just a pity that I still need to borrow a teaching tool. Falsehood, what do you need to borrow? Online game understanding brother shouted in displeasure. Your lives. Lin Yan's long knife slashed, his blade energy crossing the air, directly splitting the online game know it all alive through the air. What do you mean? We didn't participate in the siege just now. We were just watching, although you are powerful. Emperor Yen, don't be too overbearing. That's right, do you want to make enemies of everyone? Many weak-minded players shouted angrily. Lin Yen didn't bother to talk nonsense and crossed his sword to kill the crowd that surrounded him. Yen blade. Lin Yen slashed out with his sword, and flaming blade light flew out, sweeping a piece of it. Those who were cut by the blade light were all burned to black charcoal. He killed into the crowd, and blood flowers instantly exploded. Move speed, attack speed, attack power, skills, armor, all around crushing situation, completely as a tiger into the flock, kill to their heart's content. Now that his physical resistance was as high as 41, even a level 9 expert, without a high level weapon, could not even break his defense. Only one point of forced damage could be inflicted. Looking at the minus one, minus one that popped up above Lin Yan's head, the powerhouses that surrounded him were all confused. This, how on earth did this happen? The leader of the Green Dragon Guild went completely pale. Yen Di didn't seem to have any weaknesses. Just pure strength. Strong enough to be unbeatable. Strong enough to be incomprehensible. The onlooker guild leaders were stunned. It wasn't until this moment that they woke up to the fact that Yen Di hadn't lied at all. He was just strong enough. Moreover, it was a strength that completely surpassed the scope of understanding. Report to the president immediately. All of these leaders immediately reported back to their own president and uploaded the video. The duplicate plaza was allowed to record gameplay videos. Many players watched with fervor and also videotaped, rushing to post it on platforms such as Tremendous Sound, Slow Hand, and Thousand Degrees. With the heat of God's Earth nowadays, such a wild and cool video would definitely be able to rush to the top of the hot searches. We just don't believe it. We're going to grind you to death even if we rely on forced blood deduction today. Not bad, although you're powerful. Yen Di, you may not be able to kill us all before you run out of blood. The White Wolf Guild's experts had also been killed out of their fire, and had just resurrected from the spring before coming back for support. No matter if they were level 9 or level 1, they couldn't break Yen Di's defense anyway. They were only there to use their lives to forcefully deduct a drop of Lin Yan's blood. Batch after batch of strong players rushed up and were then mercilessly executed. Just after killing a batch, a batch of experts who had just resurrected from the spring arrived to continue the siege. The corpses quickly spread over the entire square, shattering and filling as they went. The blood flowed into a river. Damn. How do I feel? Yen Di is the boss? You fart. He's more than 10,000 times more terrifying than a boss. If he's a copy boss, we won't be able to get out of the novice village in this lifetime. The players looked dumbfounded. Kill. Lin Yan's killing machine shot skyward. And as soon as his skill cooldown ended, he immediately zoomed in. 
In the seemingly endless sea of people surrounding him, he was strong and unrelenting, between charging back and forth, he had already killed an unknown number of thousands of people. Gradually, the average level of the people besieging him went from level 8 to 9 to being killed to only level 4 to 5. Gulu, the onlookers were numb from watching, he was at least forced to deduct a few thousand points of armor, right? How high is his blood armor value? It's hard not to have tens of thousands of points. The beautiful vice captain of the Vermilion Bird Guild staggered. It's unlikely to have tens of thousands of points. Then he's truly invincible. The beautiful leader of the Vermilion Bird Guild shook her head. It feels outrageous, but he's really handsome. The female players present were all pollinated by Lin Yan's dominance. Charge the crown for the red face, though millions of people would go their own way. Which wistful girl hadn't had such a plot in her dreams? Too domineering, Go Yan Di. Many female fans began to beat the drums for Lin Yan. Is he really an invincible killing god? How surprised the passers-by were. How desperate the people involved in the siege of Lin Yan were. From their initial contempt, to anger, to horror, and now, they were in utter despair. Lin Yan was like an insurmountable mountain, causing them to develop an invincible psychological shadow. Young eunuch, why don't we admit defeat? If we keep killing, all of us in the underworld village will be killed to the first level. The housekeeper was on the verge of crying. Concede with him? I admit his mother. The poison duke was already completely on top of his head, and hearing this kind of admonishment made him even more furious. His blood level must have bottomed out right away. Keep brushing for me. Put out a bounty. I'll send 10 gold coins to anyone who dies in this siege. 10 gold coins was equivalent to thousands of dollars in reality. Giving away so much money for nothing and only needing to participate in a siege. This kind of deal naturally had quite a few people grabbing for it. This, seeing the poison duke so uptight, the butler knew he couldn't persuade him, and could only silently leave to find the poison duke's old man. As the players attracted by the bounty entered, the siege became more and more terrifying, the huge replica plaza was transformed into a battlefield, and the killing sound shook the sky. It's too scary. The more they watched, the more frightened the onlooker players became. Cooling down, Shen Yue paused her archery took out the seal of life and death, and activated it. Roar! Hundreds of elite zombies joined the battlefield, instantly flattening a large swath of besieged enemies and greatly accelerating the rate of plundering. Painful! Lin Yan killed until he got excited, and the more he waved the long knife in his hand, the faster it accelerated. His attributes, under the two major characteristics of the ultimate artifact, sword, attribute 1, attacking once increases armor by 1 point, killing until now. He had increased his armor by 5,000 points. The funniest thing was that the damage these people had inflicted on him wasn't as much as the armor increased by the traits. If the Poison Duke knew that he was helping Ling Yan paint his armor in disguise, he would probably be pissed off and spit out 3 liters of blood. Characteristic 2, increases the anti-injury cap by 1 point just by being attacked. The counter damage cap has been brushed up to almost 5,000. It's a pity that at most the counter damage can only return the damage that the opponent inflicted the damage cap. Otherwise even if you stand here and let them hack, you can drain them to death. Lin Yan felt some pity. Continue. If at the beginning, he killed these people out of anger, then now his heart was blossoming with joy and he couldn't wait for more enemies to come. It would be best if all the players in the entire novice village came to slash him, so that his armor stacking speed would be even faster. Maintaining such a killing speed, he brought Xin Yue to kill from the night to the early morning of the next day killing until everyone was trembling in fear, killing until no one dared to take a step near him anymore. This battle is destined to be recorded in the history of online gaming. Indeed, I doubt I'm dreaming. The leaders of the major guilds murmured. The sun broke through. The onlookers were numb, and many of the people who surrounded Lin Yan had dropped from level 9, directly to level 1, can't be killed at all. He's the god of death itself. Someone murmured, completely losing the will to fight, their spirit crumbling. Yen Di Big Brother. Stop it. This time it's a misunderstanding. This conflict is all because the young president is bent on having his own way. And the president has already taught him a lesson. Lord President has sent me to reconcile with you. The White Wolf Guild Steward's voice trembled. Regretting it now? Lin Yin sneered. It's too late. He was all about establishing authority and making a name for himself. If the president of the White Wolf Guild really didn't support the Poison Duke, he would have called off the battle long ago. It wouldn't be until now when the losses were unacceptably heavy that he came to be forced to beg for peace. I've come to make a deal, the White Wolf Guild steward said evenly. Yen Di Big Brother, the president is willing to offer a thousand gold coins to resolve this misunderstanding. One thousand gold coins? Lin Yan couldn't help but laugh out loud. Think it's less? Then Yen Di, you put forward your conditions. The butler asked directly. I said that after today, there will be no more White Wolf Guild in Underworld Village. Lin Yan's eyes were cold. 
he he, this is the bottom line that cannot be accepted. The steward shook his head. Emperor Yen, you should be more sensible. After all, you're a solo player while we're a large guild. With all due respect, I really can't think of any way that you can make one of our big guilds completely disappear into the novice village. You may be strong, but unless you block the springs every day to guard our members. Otherwise, with you alone, there's no way you can do this. Oh really? Lin Yen grinned, his eyes calm and full of mockery. How about we make a bet? Lin Yen laughed. A bet? The butler was a little surprised, but then he shook his head and laughed. Mr. Yen D, it's useless to make a pretense. Just say what you want to bet. Just bet on whether I can fulfill my promise by the end of today. Lin Yen's voice was ice cold, for the bet. Just a piece of legendary equipment. Legendary equipment. The butler's face was embarrassed. Since the opening of the service, the White Wolf Guild didn't even have a single piece of epic equipment, let alone legendary equipment. I know you guys don't have it yet, but when you do, I'll naturally come to your door to collect the debt. Lin Yen knew that the White Wolf Guild would get a very powerful piece of legendary equipment soon. Although he didn't expect a white-eyed wolf like the Poison Duke to keep the bet, the big deal was that he would come to his door to rob it at that time. With the bet in place, it was only right to rob it. He was going to create a power in the future, so he naturally had to love his reputation. Ha! The butler sneered. This good thing of giving away legendary equipment for nothing, he naturally wouldn't refuse. If you lose, Yen Di, that sword magnate helmet in the announcement can go to our white wolf guild. The bet has been made. You wait for the good news. Lin Yen waved his hand, he dared to place this bet, so he naturally had 100% certainty. Afterwards, he led Xin Yue away. The players couldn't help but follow him, wanting to see how Lin Yen could manage to make the White Wolf Guild disappear in the novice village. But to everyone's surprise, just after leaving the replica plaza, the two of them directly went offline. Nima, what kind of operation is this? I thought he would go to block the spring water it. This directly offline, is he going to use his power in reality? What, in addition to being explosively handsome, Brother Yen Di is also a super big brother in reality. The female fans automatically brainstormed. Does Brother Yen Di still lack a girlfriend? The gender don't get stuck so dead kind. Many male players were also moved. Ha, <laughs> the housekeeper was well aware of Lin Yan's background. A poor student was just a poor student. Who could have a shitload of energy in reality? Just a self-indulgent middle-aged teenager. He'll recognize reality tomorrow. At home. Lin Yan took down his VR device and fell asleep. After battling all night, even an Iron Man couldn't top it. It's really time to get a virtual gaming silo. After waking up from his sleep, Lin Yan rubbed his head. The virtual gaming silo could not only realize nutritional sustenance so that players didn't need to eat, but it could also cause players to fall into a state of hibernation instead of sleep while playing the game. Theoretically, playing games with a virtual game warehouse could be done for 24 hours without going offline. Time to get some money. He took out his cell phone and swiped the open screen to the video of his heroic kill. Good lord. So hot? Even he didn't expect that the video of his fight yesterday would be so hot that some bloggers had even started naming the fight. They all called the battle, the plaza battle. All the major apps. This matter dominated the hot search list. Various forums were discussing why he was so strong, as well as predicting the outcome of his bet with White Wolf Guild. His fans all thought it was a sure win, but the vast majority thought it was impossible. This was because they couldn't even think of how Lin Yen could do it and make the novice village free of the White Wolf Guild again. Brother, you're awake? Lunch is ready. Have some. Lin Feng said. Um, Lin Yen suddenly remembered something. When will that female student of yours arrive? Coming for dinner in the evening. Lin Feng said. Well, that's not urgent. Your helmet has arrived, right? Come into the game with me once first. Lin Yen got up and walked towards the gaming room. Ha, huh, okay. Lin Feng pushed his wheelchair and followed him in. The two put on their helmets and descended into the underworld village. You absorbed all these experience beads. Lin Yan directly dumped a bunch of experience beads on his brother. They were all the extra ones he had gotten from playing copies. Especially the blood corpse copies. The ones that came out of the fight were all second order experience beads, which was a huge amount for a level 1 munchkin. Buzz. In less than a few dozen seconds, Lin Feng had upgraded to level 9. He was a bit confused. I've gathered information and the posts all say that Divine Earth upgrades are slow. So there's this kind of operation? Lin Yan smiled faintly. Let's go. I'll take you to see your teacher. My teacher? Lin Feng was confused. What does he teach? An all-round teacher of mathematics, science and chemistry. Lin Yan said mysteriously. Ha! Huh? Lin Feng was speechless. Brother, it's not that you're not studying? Sentimentally you're just letting me study in a different environment. Just come with me and be done with it. Lin Yan slapped the back of Lin Feng's head and led him forward through the novice village. 
Brother, you seem to be famous. Lin Feng looked at the gazes of either enthusiasm, awe, or hatred on the road and immediately understood. His own brother was definitely a popular figure in the novice village. Sort of. Lin Yan didn't explain too much. With Lin Feng's IQ, a few more glances and he would understand everything. There was no need for him to waste his saliva. This is it. Lin Yan looked at the stone and brick hut in front of him, with the sign, Mage Grass Hut, affixed to the door. He knocked on the door, and the one who opened the door was a long-bearded old man with a pedant's hat, who grumbled with a black face as he opened the door. How many times have I said it? Buy potions and go to the apothecary. I'm an old man who studies spells. I don't sell any damn potions or scrolls. Looks like I'm going to have to write another wooden sign on the door. Don't be angry. We just came to pay our respects to you, old sir. Lin Yan smiled faintly. The old mage froze, looked at Lin Yan twice more and laughed out. Oh, so it's Emperor Yan. Come in if you want to. Lin Feng scratched his head. Are NPCs intelligent to this extent now? I'm just a spell researcher. I don't know anything about people or hospitality. You guys feel free to sit down. The old mage sat down, grabbed a book and read it, not paying any attention to the two Lin Yan brothers. Lin Yan surveyed the inside of the old mage's stone house. The conditions could only be described as simple. In addition to piles of books were piles of books. There was not even a decent set of furniture. Thinking about the old mage's character background, he couldn't help but sigh. Obviously so rich, but living such a simple life. And Lin Feng was shocked when he just came in, constantly rummaging through the scrolls, his eyes bubbling with light. Lin Yan wasn't surprised, letting his brother immerse himself in his own world, while he himself sat down opposite the old mage Qing Daozi. After a long time, the old mage finished reading a book and looked up to find that Lin Yan and the two of them were actually still there, and could not help but wonder. Emperor Yan you're a warrior, right? What are you doing here in my place? Lin Yan went straight to the point, I want my brother to worship you as his teacher. Ha ha ha, Ching Daozi couldn't help but laugh. Emperor Yan you're really good at joking. As far as I know, you players don't even look down on newbie village NPCs like us, right? Lin Yan wasn't surprised. The inhabitants of the Divine Earth World had a set of self-referential logic. They called players descendants, the subjects sent by the outer gods to experience, so that they could be reborn constantly. They also knew that these descendants called each other players and called the natives NPCs. It's because, Lin Yan just wanted to say what he had prepared to say. Forget it, who cares what your reason is, to tell you the truth. I've long since broken the idea of accepting disciples, and it's impossible for me to accept any more. Ching Daozi waved his hand. If you're running towards this, just return the way you came. No farewell. Lin Yan was speechless. This Qing Daozi's attitude was actually so determined. The several special NPCs in the novice village were the best candidates to worship in the early stages. If he was unable to worship Qing Daozi, the gold advancement template he had planned for his brother would be lost. Advancement templates are divided into bronze, silver, gold, and divine gift. The difficulty of obtaining a silver template was high enough, and currently only the top three boss killers had them. In the early stages, out of a hundred people, there are only a few who have the chance to get a silver template. The gold template, even more so, was one in a million, and the difficulty of obtaining it was extremely high. Just as Ching Daozi was about to get up to see off his guests, Lin Feng, who was immersed in his books, suddenly lamented, I really didn't expect this. This is the true application of numerology to the rules of the world. Enlightening, enlightening, he kept deducing with his hands. His mana flowed and he directly constructed a spatial bubble. The spatial bubble then disillusioned in his hands and turned back into fireballs, cold ice, earth spikes, black mist, and poisonous gas. This is the truth of the world. Lin Feng murmured, his eyes getting brighter and brighter. Earth was a world of the end of the world. The rules weren't visible. But in the divine earth, there were traces of rules, and one only needed to calculate these rule traces to cast a spell. This, this this this? Sheng Daozi looked dumbfounded. You, how did you do that? Switching elemental forms at will was clearly a manifestation of having comprehended the origin of mana ah. That's how it's written in the book. So I just did it. It's just that all these formulas are unfamiliar. So it took a bit more time to do the math. When I familiarize myself with it more, I should be able to improve and innovate. And then casting spells won't take so much time. Lin Feng dispersed his mana and scratched his head with a smile. What? You still want to improve spells? There's even the idea of creating your own spells already. Ching Daozi's tongue was in knots and his mind went blank. Genius. No. Just calling him a genius is simply insulting him. This was clearly a peerless demon that would be hard to come by in a thousand years. His hands were so excited that they trembled. This talent was too heaven defying. Just by reading some disorganized manuscripts, he directly comprehended the essence of the law. 
and even had the urge to create his own spells. Checking through the canonical books, this kind of talent was hard to come by in ancient times. Just any one of them would be a saint level powerhouse of great splendor and uniqueness. Lin Yan was not surprised by Cheng Daozi's reaction. After all, he was an absolute demon who had realized the forbidden spell in three days. If it wasn't for the fact that his brother had entered the game too late in his previous life, and his level was too low to use the forbidden spell at all, where would that pair of dogs still be involved in the final divine battle? Qing Daozi's eyes were glued to Lin Feng, like he was seeing a rare diamond in the rough. His mouth was watering. Lin Yan gave a belly laugh. Thinking of Qing Daozi's smelly face just now, he pretended to feel sorry for him and said, I didn't realize that old mister. Qing Daozi doesn't accept disciples anymore. What a pity. It seems that my brother and you are not destined to. Go old brother. Oh, okay. Lin Feng nodded his head and was about to leave. Although there was some reluctance, his trust in Lin Yan was absolute. After all, his life was saved by his brother. AI AI AI. Don't. Qing Daozi was instantly anxious, who said he wouldn't take on a disciple. The old man didn't say that. It was clearly the dog that said it just now. Lin Yan's eyes went wide. This old man could be really ruthless. He cursed himself when he was anxious. Ahem. Let's do it this way. Let's immediately conduct a master worship ceremony. And tonight I'll impart my life's learning. Cheng Daozi looked at Lin Yan's face. The careful appearance was simply a different person from just now. TSK. I didn't realize that you little old man had two faces. Lin Yan laughed in his heart. Then pretended to ponder. But this younger brother of mine. He's a beginner. He doesn't have any treasures ah. He had already made up his mind to trust the village chief's faction for the time being, handing over the blood corpse head to the other side, helped them so much, knock down the bamboo bar, collect some interest is not too much, right? Harm, isn't it just treasure, I have plenty of them, don't look at my humble house, but I'm considered a rich man in the Long Xia Empire, Qing Daozi was filled with the idea of taking Lin Feng as his disciple, where would he think about that much, he directly took out three treasures and stuffed them in his head to Lin Feng, good disciple. Take these as a meeting gift for you from your master. You must accept them. The corners of Lin Yan's mouth tugged. It was said that mages were the richest profession. The name was true. Taking out three treasures at once, he had worked his ass off to get all kinds of perfect passes, and had only gotten two treasures so far. However, what he didn't know was that Chang Daozi had indeed poured out his heart and lungs, with a total of four treasures in his entire body, in addition to the life preserving one all given out. This, Lin Feng was still student minded and was a bit hesitant. Since old sir is kind, then take it. Lin Yan gave Lin Feng a wink. All right. Lin Feng nodded. The gift was accepted. Naturally he had to change his words. Thank you teacher. Ha ha ha. Good, good. I'll definitely do my best to train you to become a future giant in the mage world. With your talent, as long as you learn well, you will definitely be a generation of mage saints who will start a sect. Qing Daozi's eyebrows were wide and his hands were dancing. He had spent his entire life pursuing the truth of spells not being able to understand human feelings, and his personality was that of an old codger. Lin Yan also nodded gratefully. The percentage of mages among divine earth players was extremely small, because the divine soil fighting style was very real. When it came to any profession, one had to really understand the fundamental principles of that profession to be able to do so. Those who could become high-level mages were basically science hegemons. Unfortunately, these hegemons would rarely play the game full-time. This led to the fact that on the starry sky battlefield, the Summer Kingdom simply didn't have a few mage bigwigs who could hold down the field. In large-scale battles, Xia had suffered many bloody losses due to the lack of top mages. Then you study well with the Grandmaster first. I'll go sit at the village chief's place. Lin Yan smiled and excused himself. Qing Daozi favorability was extremely difficult to obtain. But now he had actually brushed straight to two stars. His younger brother, Lin Feng, on the other hand, had directly soared to three stars. Seeing the village chief? The originally smiling Qing Daozi's face instantly turned serious. He looked Lin Yan up and down, his eyes deep, and finally said, The village chief is fishing in the back of the mountain today. You can only find him if you go there. Lin Yan thanked him. Qing Daozi had been a great help. Otherwise he wouldn't have known how long it would take to find the village chief. This was also considered to be a disguised dip in his brother's light. Back Mountain Pond. The village head of the underworld village. Yuan Tianren. Was fishing. You finally came. The village chief's old and decrepit voice came out. Lin Yan looked at the other party's back and lifted his eyebrows. You know that I passed the hidden copy? The village elder shook his head. I sensed the blood corpse head the moment it came out, but didn't know who had obtained it. Lin Yan naturally sat down next to the village chief, grabbed a fishing rod and started fishing. You made the right choice. Village chief Yuan smiled in relief. Lin Yan's gaze was calm and he did not strike up a conversation. 
His purpose was the divine providence template, and he actually wasn't sure if the choice made was right or wrong. After a moment of silence, village chief Yuan narrowed his eyes and smiled as he looked at Lin Yan, it seems that you didn't choose me out of justice. Speak up. What are the conditions? Lin Yan nodded. Dealing with smart people was a time saver. The other party guessed what he was thinking without him saying a word. I have three conditions, Lin Yan said. First, give me a legendary equipment. Second, provide clues to the divine providence template. Third, expel the white wolf guild from the underworld village completely. As the words fell, village chief Yuan's pupils shrank, and his eyes became deep and dangerous as he looked at Lin Yan. How do you know about the divine providence template? Yuan village chief's tone was cold. Everyone has their own chance. Lin Yan smiled faintly and did not answer. Well, village chief Yuan pondered for a long time before the dangerous color in his eyes gradually dissipated. The divine providence template is only a legend to me as well. I don't know exactly how to obtain it. As for the legendary weapons, it's hard to find two in the entire underworld village, and it's impossible to use them for exchange. Village chief Yuan shook his head. I can use epic equipment to exchange with you. As for expelling the white wolf guild, it's just a matter of words. I can promise you now. Lin Yan's face was calm. He had originally just asked for a price and swindled village chief Yuan. There was no expectation of really getting such a big favor. It's only possible if you at least advance to epic equipment. Lin Yan shook his head and said firmly. Village chief Yuan rubbed his chin and sized up Lin Yan. It's not impossible if you have to advance your epic equipment. I happen to have a quest here. And as long as you can complete it, I can give it to you. But there's no harm in saying so. Lin Yan nodded his head. Village chief Yuan said in a deep voice. This is an advanced quest that is extremely difficult. If it wasn't for the fact that you were able to cause havoc in the novice village and obtain the head of a blood corpse, I wouldn't have mentioned it to you at all. Think about it. Do you want to go to the main city to practice for a period of time first and come back to take this quest after advancing to, professional, or, do it now? Lin Yan said decisively. Ha ha, good, vigor. Village chief Yuan nodded and directly released the quest. Underworld village chief Yuan Tianren has released a quest to you. Will you take it? Mission details, overthrow the truth cult stronghold outside the village. Mission time limit, one week. Mission requirement, kill more than 80% of the truth cult stronghold cultists and take back the head of the stronghold leader. Mission reward, advanced silver template asterisk 1. Advanced epic equipment asterisk 1. Whether there are hidden rewards, yes. Accept. Lin Yan accepted the quest, got up and left. There was still a week to go. He wasn't in a hurry. Now it was time to meet his future sister-in-law. Looking at Lin Yan's back as he left. Yuan Tianrun's eyes deepened as he revealed an inexplicable smile. It's a smart person. Just don't know who you will choose in the end. Returning to the novice village. Many players were talking when they saw Lin Yan. Oh, Mr. Yen Di. It's already almost sunset. I wonder if your promise to make the White Wolf Guild disappear into the novice village is still true. The White Wolf Guild steward walked up with a smile and a look of concern. Why don't you hand over your legendary equipment early first, so that our White Wolf Guild can still recruit you? Mr. Yen Di, regardless of previous suspicions, today is about to pass. What are you still holding out for? Several of the White Wolf Guild's experts sneered. Many players had gathered over. Most of them felt that Lin Yan was bragging, and now that the cow's skin was about to break, they all wanted to come and watch the joke. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Before he could say anything, the Underworld Village's NPC enforcement team rushed up. All players from the White Wolf Guild have one hour to exit the Underworld Village or else they will be forcibly expelled. This ban is permanent and shall not be delayed. Such shouts echoed everywhere in the novice village, and the entire novice village seemed to fall silent. The players' heads were confused. Did I hear it right? It's the novice village NPCs who want to expel the White Wolf Guild. My mother, Yen Di's tactics are too heaven-defying, making the NPCs listen to him. How did he do that? I've told you before. My Yen Di is not an ordinary person. What he says can definitely be done. The murmurs immediately rose to the sky. Only after a long time did the White Wolf Guild steward, who was staggered in place, react and looked at Lin Yan with a pale face, as if he was looking at a monster. The White Wolf Guild's experts were unconvinced and rushed up to question him. On what grounds? You are worthy of expelling us players even if you are just some NPCs. Who gave you guys the guts? What qualifications do you have to expel us? The guards of the novice village were at the lowest level of the second rank, and they sneered out at the words. This is an order from Lord Village Chief. If you dare to make trouble. I'll expel you all right now. I still don't believe in this evil. You expel a try. Before the words were finished, the White Wolf Guild expert was slashed to death by the escort leader. Just try. The novice village guard skimmed his lips and took his knife back into his sheath. A level 9 weakling. How dare he speak out against himself. 
Seeing that these NPCs were really trying to banish, the butler immediately felt bad and went straight offline before the knife slashed at his body. Running fast, Lin Yan smiled contemptuously. White Wolf Guild building. The housekeeper's face was pale. That Yen Di, he really did it. He didn't know what means he used, but he actually made the novice village chief issue an expulsion order. Hmm, the poison duke's face was cloudy. A cold aura erupted in his eyes, and he didn't dare to believe it for a long time. What exactly is this kid's origin that he has so much energy? Could it be that he isn't just a poor family's brat? Duke Poison rubbed his chin. Lin Yan had killed all of the White Wolf Guild's experts to below level 3, and this loss was already heavy enough. After this bet was lost, the White Wolf Guild's fame and reputation would also be in tatters. The stock and the support behind it would plummet. The loss was too great. It seems like we have to strike hard to make up for our losses. Ruthlessness flashed in Lord Poison's eyes. After making the White Wolf Guild lose so much, if they could still remain unscathed, then they really didn't need to be in the game. Since they couldn't get it done in the game, they would strike in reality. He had just thought about laying out a plan when he received a call from his old man. Are you trying to lay a hand on Lin Yen in reality? A cold voice came from the phone. Yes. Duke Poison nodded. Father, this is the wisest choice at the moment. He he. The indifferent voice laughed out. I received a call from the military region just now. They won't allow the grudges of the divine earth world to carry over into reality. Give up your unrealistic fantasies earlier. What? What's the military got to do with this? This is just a game. The poison duke was confused. Is it possible that Lin Yan is the illegitimate son of some military region bigwig? To think that even the military region is harboring him. What nonsense. Shut up. The cold voice sank in for a moment. According to my estimation, it shouldn't have anything to do with Lin Yan as a person. But rather, the divine soil is too special. Father, what do you mean? The poison duke was startled his back dripping with cold sweat. Exit the novice village. Head towards the main city. We've already delayed too much. Cold indifference's voice was incredibly cold. Don't make any more mistakes. Divine Earth is too involved. We can't afford to lose. Yes. Duke Poison hung up the phone and gritted his teeth. Damn it. Count yourself lucky. Sooner or later. I'm going to make you pay. Although Lin Yan was perverted, the guild's advantage became more obvious the later it got. There were thousands of people playing experience beads for him and as long as he kept getting advancement templates, the level gap would widen. I don't believe you'll have the last laugh. Within an hour, the White Wolf Guild had indeed all withdrawn from the novice village. The seemingly impossible bet had ended in a sound victory for Lin Yen. The player circle was shocked. Lin Yen had become famous in one battle, the person who started it all. On the other hand, had already prepared a sumptuous dinner with his brother. Ding ding, the doorbell rang. Lin Yen's eyes lit up. Sibling is here. Lin Yan had just opened the door when his hot body and long burgundy wavy hair burst into his eyes. Hello two brothers. Chu Qing Xian greeted herself familiarly. Not at all like it was her first time here. Tutor brother. I finally see the living you. Chu Qing Xian saw Lin Feng behind Lin Yan and immediately gave Lin Feng a big bear hug. Giving this science guy a hug that made his face blush. Eh? You? Hello. Lin Feng was still worried that the other party was afraid of being born. But as a result, he came up and was given a whole wound by Chu Qing Xian. Sit down. Lin Yan greeted the two as they took their seats. Tutor brother. You teach so well. Why did you suddenly quit? Is my mom paying you too low a salary? Chu Qingxian patted her proud breasts. Don't worry. I told her that I'll give you $10,000 a lesson in the future. Lin Feng almost choked. He knew that Chu Qingxuan's family was rich, or else they couldn't afford a tutor. But he didn't think that the other party would be so rich. I'm going to play online games full time. Lin Feng said honestly. Is it God's earth? Chu Qingxuan's eyes lit up. I also came here this time with the intention of persuading you to play this game. I was thinking about how I could convince you, but I didn't expect you to figure it out on your own first. Her family's background wasn't small, so she naturally heard the inside information in advance. Then let's play the game together in the future? Chu Qingxuan's pretty eyes looked at Lin Feng. Very proactive. This? Lin Feng looked at Lin Yan. Lin Yan nodded. Quite good. You two youngsters. It's just right to cultivate a tacit understanding together more often. In the future we'll inevitably have to team up together. Lin Feng almost spat out a mouthful of soup. Brother, you're only three years older than me. Why are you talking in an old-fashioned manner? Is this the legendary elder brother like a father? Look, our brother said so. Chu Qingxian climbed up the pole, smiling cheekily. I see that we don't have a virtual game warehouse at home, right? It's convenient to use that to play games. I'll have the driver pull two over. How unkind is this? Lin Feng just wanted to refuse, but Lin Yan nodded with a smile. Great, it'll be easier for us to team up and fight monsters in the future. 
I'll use experience beads or gold coins to convert the money for the virtual warehouse to you. Harm. No need. It's just a toy used to play the game. Just consider it a friend. Chu Qingxian waved her hand in a bold manner. Magnificent. Lin Yan gave a thumbs up. A rich family's daughter was just generous. He was just thinking about whether or not to convert his equipment into gold coins and sell it to buy a virtual warehouse. A meal in exchange for two virtual game silos worth 600. 000 to 700. 000 dollars. So worth it. Lin Foam looked at his brother and then at Chu Qing Xian, then buried his head to eat. After eating, Chu Qing Xian was happy. Then it's a deal. Let's see you in the game. Good. Lin Yan sent Chu Qing Xian away and squeezed and touched Lin Feng. See? She's so interested in you. Don't let her down. Lin Feng shook his head inside, but our family is poor, and I'm physically disabled. So how would I dare to fail a good person? Lin Yan's tone lurched, then assured. Don't worry. Your leg brother has a way to cure it. It just takes some time. You don't have to take it to heart. Really? Lin Feng's eyes lit up. Well, after the game descends into the world, a random high-level priest can cure you. It's not that difficult. Lin Yan patted Lin Fang's shoulder. Be sure to express your emotions bravely. Such a good girl. Don't miss out. In life, you shouldn't leave yourself with regrets. Lin Fong fell into silence. Lin Yan, on the other hand, returned to the gaming room, realizing that the game's message list was blowing up. There was a plethora of recruitment messages from all the major guilds. Those offering $30 million, $50 million, and even the Green Dragon Guild was willing to offer $80 million. All sorts of giant game consortiums had also directly sent invitations to him. Even the richest man in the Summer Kingdom, Mark Jean, sent an invitation, wanting to sign him for a super sky-high price of 300 million. He he, is really willing to give up money. Lin Yan shook his head. This battle of his own had indeed killed a heck of a lot of people, completely expelling the White Wolf Guild with his own strength. He had displayed his terrifying energy in the divine soil. This was the reason why these guilds and consortia were willing to throw money at him. Unfortunately, money doesn't mean much to me anymore. Lin Yan shook his head. In the future, when the starry sky battlefield descended, all the races would fight for blood, and a chaotic world would open up. At that time, money was no different from waste paper, and whoever grasped power would grasp the truth. Therefore, one must cultivate one's own power and must not depend on anyone. His gaze was sharp and firm. After returning to the game, Lin Yan began to organize his thoughts. The mission time limit for sweeping out the strongholds of the truth cult was one week. As an advanced quest, the difficulty wouldn't be lower than a hidden copy, and the blood corpse copy had been fought so fiercely that he had almost lost. It was necessary to enhance his strength for another wave before he could do so. Lang Fong is now no longer in the novice village. There is no way to change the white plate equipment, and the second order equipment novice village players can't afford to buy. It seems like we can only go to the blacksmith. Lin Yan shook his head, somewhat helpless. Compared to a fair trade between players, blacksmiths pressed prices very hard, and equipment could only be sold cheaply at low prices. Arriving at the blacksmith store, blacksmith wine was working on iron. Brat, what are you doing here in my place? The blacksmith raised his eyebrows and sized up Lin Yan, obviously having heard of him earlier. Of course I'm looking for you to trade weapons. Lin Yan smiled. Aren't small toys like novice weapons opened up in a trading bazaar for you to buy and sell? Blacksmith Wang frowned. These advanced equipment. The trading bazaar can't sell them. Lin Yan said honestly. Hmm. Wang Blacksmith was a little surprised. And his face became a little more serious. Advanced equipment? Show me. Lin Yan displayed the weapons in his backpack. 35 pieces of second order ordinary equipment. 15 pieces of second order refined equipment. 3 pieces of second order rare equipment. Blacksmith Wang casually did some math and spoke. 1000 gold coins. I'll take them all. Lin Yan frowned, inwardly cursing the money grubber. As far as I know, these weapons are worth at least 3000 gold coins. Ha ha ha, you could have gone to the main city to sell them then. Why are you looking for me? Find me for this price. Sell them if you want to. Wang Blacksmith waved his hand and ignored Lin Yan's bargaining. Lin Yan was speechless for a while. This Wang Blacksmith was really too black. It really can't be done can only open the main city plot early. Lin Yan, you're here too. Xin Yu Wei shouted in surprise. Yu Wei, you're here too? Lin Yan was a bit surprised. Uncle Blacksmith is very nice. He asked me to do some small favors, but gave me a very high salary. Xin Yu Wei blushed a little when she was discovered. She actually wanted to save up to buy a high-grade weapon to give to Lin Yan as a surprise. Is he your friend? Wang Blacksmith looked to be over 50, with a strong muscular body and a foul face to everyone. Only after seeing Xin Yu Wei did a few more moments of fatherly softness appear on his face. Yes, Uncle Blacksmith, he is my best friend. Xin Yu Wei nodded proudly. Well, the blacksmith nodded. 
his face even more gentle. All right, since it's the little girl's friend, then naturally it's a different matter. However, I'm an equipment acquirer. It's impossible for me to buy it at the original price. Otherwise, I won't be able to sell it without a profit margin. How about this? I'll give you the highest acquisition price. 20% off the original price, 2,400 gold coins. How about it? It's a deal. Lin Yan nodded. Such a high purchase price could not be negotiated even at the main city's weapon acquisition store. This attitude has also become too fast. Lin Yan felt something was wrong and checked the other party's panel. Ha! Huh? He was pleasantly surprised to find that Wang Blacksmith's favorability towards himself had actually reached one star. Sure enough, he smiled slightly. Novice village NPCs all had their own method of rating, and to unlock the plot, you needed to raise their favorability to do so. Shin Yue's wave directly allowed him to earn an additional one. 400 gold coins. Old Wang, do you have any white plate equipment here? The one silver coin set kind? Lin Yan's mind came alive again and he smiled badly to get close. You think I'm a rag collector? Wang Blacksmith waved his hand in a good-natured manner. The worst equipment I have here is first-order blue refined equipment. Fine. Lin Yan sighed. It seemed that this bug could not be utilized. Show me your goods then. He intended to use the gold coins he sold to procure first-rank equipment. It was the same logic as using first-rank equipment for white plate equipment. A second-rank normal long knife was worth 30 gold coins and only added 40 attack power. But a first-ranked normal long knife is at most 3 gold coins, but adds 10 attack power. If he bought all 30 gold coins for the first rank equipment, it would allow him to increase his attack power by at least 100. Selling second order equipment and then buying first order equipment in large quantities? Blacksmith Wang looked deeply at Lin Yan. You're really hard to guess, but since you're a friend of the little girl, I'll naturally sell it to you at a fair price. Soon, Lin Yan purchased hundreds of pieces of first ranked fine equipment from Wang Blacksmith in one go and asked for Xin Yue's bright moon bow. In a secluded place in the novice village, he began a new round of fusion. In addition to my own equipment, I have to give my oldest brother and Yoei's main weapons a good wave of strengthening. Lin Yan pondered. If there's a copy that requires teammates to raid together in the future, I have to at least make sure that their output can keep up. Young Wei is a long-range bow and arrow, and Lao Di is an AoE mage, both of which can provide explosive output at the back under the protection of the seal of life and death. So equipping them with powerful enough primary weapons as soon as possible is the primary goal. After a wave of fusion, all of the equipment received a wave of great strengthening. Young Wei and Lao Di's main weapons are also taking shape. Lin Yan tapped on his attribute page after putting the Moonlight Bow and Forbidden Staff into his backpack. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 81. 519. Attack, 10025. Armor Break, 300. Physical Resistance, 45. Legal Resistance, 40. Movement speed, 3. Attack speed, 2. Mana, 40. Equipment. Soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 26,050. Physical defense plus 13. Legal defense plus 13. Counter damage plus 4,099. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 24,500. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Counter damage plus 4,267. Broken Swordsman Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 9,999, Physical Defense plus 18, Legal Defense plus 18, Magic Sword Thousand Blades, White, Attack plus 10,000, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect, Infinite Fusion Equipment, Third Order, Skills, Stacked Waves 3 Blades, 1 Star, Inferno Blade, 1 Star, 9 Lightning Flashes, 3 Stars, Ability, None, Treasure, Seal of Life and Death, Cloak of Water Avoidance, the previous wave of bloodshed coupled with this fusion has resulted in a wave of huge increases in values. Base armor broke 80. 000. Lin Yan looked at the magic blade thousand blades in his hand, his eyes blazing, and most importantly, his attack power, had finally broken 10,000. Prepare to raid. Lin Yan stood up, and after handing his equipment over to Xin Yue and his oldest brother, he walked out of the novice village alone. Let's hope that I can stack more armor this time. He muttered. At the same time, Mu Group. I've heard about the events of the past two days. If it's true as you said, you need to get closer to this Lin Yan. The elegantly dressed woman sipped red wine and said lazily, getting close to him? He's just a poor student. I don't see his value, even if he is now highly powerful. But ultimately, he is only in the novice village. And now the Qian Kuan has not yet been determined. Mu Qing Wan frowned and analyzed. You don't understand. The noble woman shook her head. This game, Divine Earth, will set off world-class changes in the future. Lin Yan's performance today is enough to be worth pulling in. Wasn't he your licking dog before? Tempt him. 
if you don't even know how to play with a man's heart, how can the Mu group be trusted to you? This, Mu Qingwan's face went white and she nodded somberly. I understand. It's good that you understand. Even if you have to lick him in turn, you still have to do it. I just want to know the secret of him becoming stronger. After getting the secret, Mu Clan will become incredibly powerful. At that time, whether you abandon him or take revenge and toy with him, it's still not based on your own mind? The noblewoman exuded a cold smile. Everything in this world is nothing but the word interest. Only by any means can you get everything you want. Mu Qingwan's eyes shook as her mindset completely changed. I understand mother. Qingwan will definitely do it. Go. The exit of the underworld village. Lin Yan had just walked out when he saw a group of people banging gongs and drums. Boss, are you going to play the field too? Fatty Duan Day came over. HM, what are you doing at the village entrance if you're not going to tell cold jokes to the blind monk? Lin Yan snickered. Hey, you know our skills boss. The king of cold jokes isn't blown. Just tell that old man a few, and he'll be laughing his ass off. Duanda was proud, you don't know. That old man begged to take me as his student. Then you didn't take the opportunity to extort two treasures from him? Lin Yan smiled slightly. These big brother NPCs of the novice village. Every single one of them was rich. There's still this kind of operation? Careless. In terms of having a black heart, it's still you. Boss. Duan de hammed and hawed. Fuck you. Lin Yan rolled his eyes and casually spilled out a bunch of experience beads. Is it really like you said? You can still be a level 1 now? Use up these experience beads. It's enough for you to level up to full 9. Holy shit. Boss atmosphere. Duan de beautifully accepted the experience beads. Just now it was all me bragging about calves there. In fact, these days he was digging his heart out to figure out cold jokes for the blind monk. And he didn't have any time to practice leveling. It was not easy to worship the blind monk as his master. So he was still a level 1 so far. What's going on here? Lin Yan pointed at the crowd of people banging on the gongs and drums in front of him. Oh, them, ah, the White Wolf Guild. Fatty hammed and hawed. Wasn't that poison duke expelled from the underworld village? He took the people from the White Wolf Guild and joined a truth cult of some sort halfway through. They came back to preach on behalf of the cult of truth. The cult of truth said that the village chief's group were all bad people, and that they wanted to release a big boss to poison the people. As long as you join the cult of truth and help them overthrow the novice village, you'll be rewarded with a silver template. And those who get the first credit will be directly rewarded with a gold template. Oh, Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. This plot. It was a bit different from his previous life. Logically speaking, the truth cult wouldn't be recruiting players right now. This reward is really heartwarming. If it wasn't for the fact that I've already worshipped the blind monk as my master, I'd want to go cheat a silver template before I say anything. Fatty shook his head in regret. What are you lamenting about? Lin Yan shook his head. Go back and honestly brush the blind monk to 3 star favorability, and you'll be guaranteed to get a gold template. Holy shit, really? Duan de ghosted. The players now knew the meaning of advanced templates. Bronze template advancement. Doubling the comprehensive strength. With a silver template, the comprehensive strength tripled. And to advance with a gold template, the strength directly doubled five times. Its precious nature is self-evident. If every order is advanced with gold template, and bronze advanced players will soon open an insurmountable gap. It's said that gold templates are one in a million. And it takes a tremendous amount of chance to get one. Boss, you are truly farsighted and wise. Right from the start. You paved such an avenue to heaven for my old brother. Duan did danced with joy. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. It was extremely difficult to brush the NPC's three-star goodwill. Even he wasn't sure about it. He could only look at Fatty's own ability. Brothers, see, we joined the cult of truth and were directly bestowed with many experience beads and advancement templates. The White Wolf Guild's expert flaunted. Dude, I'm a real, professional, now. Yesterday he had been brutally beaten by Lin Yan and forlornly expelled from the novice village. But today he had advanced and returned. This upgrading speed and the great chance behind it. Who wouldn't be jealous? How do I join the truth cult? I want to go too. Handing out advancement templates? This is too fragrant. It's not even possible to fight silver templates when you're going to fight bosses in misery. The players were envious beyond measure. Although in the past few days one after another, there were big guilds that had beaten the copy of King Lu's palace and obtained silver advancement templates. However, for the vast majority of ordinary players, the silver advancement template was always a luxury. Many people could only choose to go to the main city to join the army, take the bronze advancement template, and perform the lowest level of transfer. All follow me. I'll lead the way. The White Wolf Guild's professional waved his hand, his demeanor arrogant. Lin Yan sneered. Silver templates were precious, and the truth sect wouldn't have too many in stock. They were only holding out a few advanced players first to full players. It was impossible for them to give out silver templates to everyone. 
I was worried that I didn't know the location of the truth cult's stronghold, but he ran over to lead the way. It's really a sleepy person who gives a pillow to a sleepy person. In a sense, the White Wolf Guild is also considered my lucky star. He shook his head and lost his smile. You go back first and continue brushing the blind monk's favorability. I'll follow and take a look. Lin Yan instructed Fatty. Okay. Duan De had come out this time just to brush the wild monsters to upgrade. And now that he was relying on Lin Yan's experience beads to rise to full level, he was naturally in no hurry. Lin Yan trailed the White Wolf Guild all the way. And with his strength, it was naturally easy for him to remain undetected. Soon, he trailed in front of a campsite. It seems that this is the stronghold of the truth cult. Lin Yan concealed his breath and walked into the stronghold in a low-profile manner. Just as he entered the stronghold, he heard the black-clothed priests of the truth cult preaching their teachings. From the corpse scourge of King Lu a thousand years ago, to the current evil plot of village chief Yuan's party. So that's it. Many players were enlightened, exclaiming that this was the correct way to open the plot. No wonder playing in the underworld village was so tough. It turns out that you need to go out of the village to trigger the real plot. The truth turns out to be like this. Village Chief Yuan really isn't a thing. The players spat. I promise that as long as you help our truth cult crusade against Village Chief Yuan and make your own contribution to justice, the truth cult will definitely not treat you poorly. The black-robed priest pulled the poisoned duke onto the stage. Just like this deeply righteous male. The first to choose to join the truth cult. As our first friend, he received an epic weapon and a silver advancement template. I hereby promise that as long as you can drag a hundred of your friends and family to join our cult of truth, you'll be able to obtain a silver template. Really? Holy shit. Atmosphere. The cult of truth will win. Overthrow old village chief's tyranny. The white wolf guild's people scattered amongst the crowd, bringing the rhythm at the right time, setting the atmosphere in place. Lin Yan was speechless. Wasn't this just running a pyramid scheme? Lulling people into pulling new people into the organization pulling in enough people to get the appropriate rewards. Looks like it's a cult without a doubt. He let out a cold smile and then began to walk around the camp. This stronghold is really not small. We have to feel out the details before making a move. Lin Yan pondered. The members of the truth sect were at least a thousand as far as the eye could see. And the weakest ones were all second order, professionals. That black-robed priest was even a third order, elite professional. He probed the other party's data. Black-robed priest of the truth religion, Smythe. Race, human, white. Profession, Flame Priest. Level, 35. Life, 67. 300. Armor, 31. 519. Attack, 1750. Armor Break, 300. Physical Resistance, 45. Legal Resistance, 40. Mana, 6000. Equipment, Spirit Fire Ritual Instrument. Leather Armor of Truth. Priest Cloak. Skills, Bone Spirit Cold Flame. Sea of Fire Curse. He could only see part of the other party's information due to the large level gap. I wonder how many other experts like him there are in the stronghold. He was cautious. This priest was clearly an elite professional with full gold template progression. The stats were magnificent. The attack was as high as 1750, more than double that of a blood corpse. And the threat was great. Also, is the truth cult's human race actually white? Lin Yan captured this important information. Emperor Yan. The poison duke standing on the high platform unintentionally glanced at Lin Yan, and his eyes bristled with blood. He hated Lin Yan so much that even if Lin Yan turned into ashes, he would be able to recognize him at a glance. Lord Priest, he is the village chief's minion. In order to kill the village chief, he must be killed first. Lord Poison said in a chilling voice to the black-robed priest. Oh, the black-robed priest gazed at Lin Yan. They couldn't defeat the old village chief's group, but if they could cut down the village chief's minions, in the truth religion, it would be a great achievement. Immediately blockade the walled villages. Gather all the members to return. Don't let him escape. The black-robed priest ordered immediately. In the next moment, the gates of the stronghold all fell down, and black-robed people with powerful auras rushed out from all directions, surrounding Lin Yan. Eh, discovered? Lin Yan wasn't surprised. He had come here to uproot the stronghold, although he hadn't figured out the enemy's strength yet. With his current strength, a mere stronghold couldn't threaten him. Capture the thief first. His goal was clear, and his eyes looked coldly at the black-robed priest. Nine thunder flash. Boom boom boom. He instantly spanned a hundred meters, and those who blocked him along the way were all killed with a single slash. These second-order truth religionists, even if they were silver advancement, coupled with weapon armor, there were only a handful of blood armor values that broke 10,000. As the killing started, the players present at the scene immediately cried out in shock, It's him. It's Yen Di again. Don't let him get away. The black-robed priest was shocked in his heart. The battle prowess that Lin Yan had displayed was simply too heaven-defying. Which of these, professional, 
Congregants didn't have a blood armor value of a few thousand. One slash and they were killed in seconds. How high must the attack power be? Boom boom boom. Shadow explosions, combined with triple lightning injuries. Wherever Lin Yen passed, densely packed blood deduction prompts popped out from the heads of these congregants, making everyone's hearts skip a beat as they watched. Damn it, it looks like I'll have to do it myself. The black-robed priest waved the ritual instrument in his hand, and black cursed power formed a huge rune seal behind him. Go! The black rune seal blasted onto Ling Yan's body, causing his attack speed and movement speed to all have, and his armor to lose a hundred points every second. Damn it! Lin Yan frowned. This was the first time he had faced a third-ranked powerhouse since he was reborn, and coming up as a long-range priest, it was very difficult to deal with. We must hurry and finish him off. Lin Yan chopped his way through, unhindered. Occasionally, when he encountered an expert, he would be resolved in two or three slashes at most. Although NPCs didn't have as high a numerical value as copy monsters, their combat techniques and skill strengths were generally higher than copy monsters. Why was it that an expert player count could put to death dozens of wild monsters with values higher than his? It was because of his intelligence and combat skills. Therefore, even though these truth seekers were on the low side of the numerical value, they were more deadly and harder to crusade. Unfortunately, in terms of combat experience, you guys are still too young. Lin Yan's killing intent was like a frenzy as he hacked and slashed his way through more than 300 truth religionists all the way to the bottom of the altar. He glanced at his status. Armor dropped over 3,000 points mostly from being cursed. Gulp. The poison duke was drenched in cold sweat. He had thought that after ascending in rank he would be able to break bread with Lin Yan in terms of battle power, but now it seemed that the gap was still chillingly large. It wasn't a level at all. Mr. Poison. Now is the time for you to show your loyalty. Immediately lead your subordinates into battle. The black-robed priest was scared into a cold sweat. He was just a sacrifice. And once he was approached, with Yen Di's terrifying output, he was afraid that he wouldn't survive more than 10 slashes. Good. Without those words, the poison duke wanted revenge, follow me. He led the white wolf guild's subordinates to rush down to the altar to block Ling Yen. Unfortunately, they were just too weak. The truth religionists occasionally had some experts who could withstand two or three slashes from Ling Yen. They, on the other hand, were taken away several times with a single slash and were killed cleanly in less than a minute. This time I'll see if you die. Duke Poison laughed madly before he died. He didn't believe that Lin Yen could escape from the truth sex stronghold. Snort. Blade light flashed, and the White Wolf Guild was once again annihilated. Lin Yen stepped on the high platform made of corpses and bones and killed his way to the top of the altar. Your time to die has come. He coldly looked at the black-clothed priest. Ha 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 ha. The black-clothed priest laughed. You're too late. My ritual. It's already done. Black blood bubbled out of his body as he shouted. Your holiness coronet. Appear in the world to get rid of the enemy. Black Mist rushed out from the altar, and one by one, the truthists and players were attacked by the Black Mist, and then exploded to their deaths, with all the essence blood that burst out being absorbed by the altar. The Black Mist became thicker and thicker, and huge skulls emerged from it, spewing out evil aura. At the same time, the altar formation was activated. Four black-robed men appeared at the same time and stood at the four corners of the altar. All of them were third-ranked powerhouses. Yen Di, I've been waiting for you for a long time. The four people's faces were shrouded in black robes, blurring them. Lin Yan's pupils contracted and his heart sank. These four people, all of them were higher ranked than the black clothed priests. One level 39 mage and three level 36 warriors. Tricked. He frowned. In his current state, facing five third ranked powerhouses, plus an evil spirit formation, was too bad. This can't even be considered an advancement mission anymore. His face was gloomy as he glanced at the mission panel. The advancement quest that was originally displayed had temporarily turned into a third order elite quest. Pitiful ah. He took a deep breath as his mind raced, instantly thinking of many possibilities. Perhaps there was a mole in the village hierarchy. Perhaps there was someone who didn't want to see him complete the quest and thus gain the trust of the old village head. Maybe the old village chief and the truth cult were originally in cahoots. But no matter what the truth behind this ambush was, he had to get through this first. The only way is to fight. His eyes were bright and his battle intent boiled. Roar. The black skull roared towards Lin Yan and devoured him, to swallow him in one bite. Lin Yan rolled and shifted to avoid it, and with his hand, he slashed up with a stacked wave's triple slash, cutting cracks out of the black skeleton. Die. Before he could stand still, the weapons of the three black-robed third-rank warriors killed in front of him. In flaming blade, he let out a furious cry, and his flaming blade she chopped out, knocking the three back in unison. What a brave killing billet. The black-robed mage with the highest rank praised. He mouthed the words and pointed his staff, and the poisonous mist transformed into a three-meter-huge black hand out of thin air, controlling Lin Yen. 
Take this time to kill him, the mage yelled. Die. The three black-robed warriors came to kill in unison. Break. Lin Yan drank an uncontrolled potion and broke away from the control of the large hand. With a turn in the air, he avoided the three attacks at the limit and kicked the sword-wielding warrior in the face in the process, using the force to fly towards the sacrifice. What terrifying battle instincts. The black-robed mage sweated coldly, and his mouth chanted faster. Die. Lin Yan matched his stacked blade technique and slashed twice a second while in the cursed state. Minus 9880. Minus 10239. Shit. One slash breaks 10,000 damage? What kind of monster are you? The black-robed priest retreated violently in terror. But Lin Yan wouldn't leave him alone. Sticking to him and slashing, the skeleton behind him had caught up and blasted onto Lin Yan's back. Minus 1999. The sacrifice must be dealt with first. Lin Yan's eyes were as cold as swords. The evil fire sacrifice could constantly summon evil spirits with the help of the formation. And this one evil spirit was going to be a greater threat than even two black-robed warriors. If he didn't hurry to finish off the evil fire sacrifice, when his opponent stacked up four more evil spirits, he would have no choice but to flee. Minus 1888. Minus 1789. Minus 2333. The evil spirits kept bombarding his back, causing his armor value to fall crazily. But Lin Yan bit the bullet and didn't relax. And with a frantic output, he hacked the evil fire sacrifice into pieces. Phew. The cursed debuff on him that was constantly deducting blood as well as attack speed and movement speed, directly dissipated. More than 20, 000 armor dropped so far in the battle. At least 20, 000 points are because of this black robe sacrifice. Lin Yan summarized as he fought. I have to hurry up and find a weapon that has the characteristic of restraining the curse to fuse it. He turned around and stacked waves triple slash with stacked blades, slashing the skeleton that had lost its summoning master and had fallen into stagnation. Come and fight if you want to die. Lin Yan's battle spirit boiled over as he pointed his long blade at the three black-robed warriors who were catching up. The three were shocked by Lin Yan's overbearing killing intent, and their footsteps stalled. Five great experts surrounded them, and even laid out a sacrificial formation in advance, and all of them were actually countered by killing a sacrifice. Yen Di's battle power is truly chilling. The surviving players hid in the corner shivering as they watched this high-level battle that they couldn't comprehend at all. I don't believe you have that many uncontrolled potions. The black-robed mage's spell cooled down and was cast again. Large black hands appeared out of thin air, controlling Lin Yan before the three black-robed warriors dared to rush up. Ha! Lin Yan laughed coldly, and the uncontrol potion in his hand was directly crushed. Decontrol potions were indeed hard to come by in the early stages. However, he had reached a rare achievement that was enough for a service-wide announcement several times, and possessed a sizable amount of uncontrol potions, and was almost unafraid of control skills. Cold Ice Cross Slash. Frost Long Spike. Open Mountain Slash. The three black-robed warriors all used their crushing must-have skills, and their terrifying power transformed into a hurricane that blew away all the surrounding black mist. Ha! The corner of Lin Yan's mouth lifted, and after a bottle of blue pill went down, his figure actually disappeared directly in everyone's eyes. Boom boom boom. Like thunder descending. Every ten meters, thunder would fall. It's that move again. The three black-robed warriors were shocked. By the time they reacted, Lin Yan had already forcefully killed the black-robed mages. Come save me. The black-robed mage howled miserably and raised his staff, constantly adding defensive spells to himself. At the same time, he also took out several spell scrolls and tore them open with a face of fleshly pain. Lin Yan's attack power was too terrifying, and he had to do everything he could to survive. Buzz buzz buzz. Various shields opened up from the black-robed mage. A mage's blood armor value was the lowest besides the assassin profession. So every mage would exhaust all means to gather means to save their lives. At this moment, he desperately sacrificed all of his means of preservation. And even Lin Yan had difficulty breaking through for a while. Bang bang bang. Even though he was able to cut through two or three protective shields with a single slash. But nay, this old six black robed mage had applied dozens of layers to himself. Especially the last earring that was so gorgeous that it evolved 20 layers of protection in a single drip. The colorful nesting of rain shields made the black robed mage's defense stronger than a king's shell. Here we come. The three black-robed warriors arrived with everything they had. If they lost the mage as a long-range output again, they wouldn't be able to save their lives. Saving the mage was saving themselves. Count on your turtle shell being thick. Lin Yan had to turn his head to fight with the three major black-robed warriors. These three all had high attack power, letting them deal damage to themselves. Tens of thousands of armor wouldn't be enough to cut them. He fought one against three. And the more he killed, the more courageous he became, even vaguely gaining the upper hand. This guy is too terrifying. The four black-robed powerhouses were all terrified. Lin Yan's power surpassed their expectations. 
obviously just a descender who hasn't been descending for long, how can he be this strong? It seems that the old village chief's judgment of him was still underestimated. Lin Yan's gaze was fixed and he was not affected by these words. While sparring with the three black-robed warriors, he still had the energy left over to shatter the mage's turtle shell. Blades and swords were flying, and chi energy was spreading. Because of old sixth mage's sneak attack regardless of the cost, Lin Yan's armor value was constantly decreasing. However, the black-robed mage's protective shield was also pretty much chopped up by him. It's now. He drank his blue pill and once again unleashed nine lightning flashes. This time, he directly broke through the black-robed mage's last layer of defense shield, holding him in his arms in the process, before the black-robed mage's brain could react. He had already been carried by Lin Yan and flown out nearly a hundred meters. No good. The three black-robed warriors were dumbfounded. Emperor Yan, you're simply not martial. They frantically ran towards the mage, but the time was already too late. I purposely overlapped the cooldowns of all my skills just for this moment. Lin Yan sneered and once again knocked out several bottles of blue pills, stacking waves three blades, stacked waves three blades, stacked blade technique, and inferno blade, the three skills came out in unison, plus the explosive damage of the nine thunder flashes and the triple thunder damage, minus 10,399, minus 12,899, minus 14,299, minus 10,387, minus 13,330, minus 1,340. In just one breath, all of Lin Yan's skills soared wildly, hitting the most explosive output so far, a wave of damage that surpassed 60, 000, directly slashing the black-robed mage and exploding him, crumbling into a mass of flesh. Phew, Lin Yan exhaled a long breath, after resolving this remote control old six, the next battle was easy, as soon as he grabbed that gorgeous earring in his hand, this was 80% a defensive treasure, he just didn't know if it was disposable or not, no. The three black-robed warriors had chills down their spines. Once the mage was dead, they knew that they couldn't stand up to Lin Yan at all. Escape. The three made a snap decision and turned around to flee. Lin Yan grinned a cold smile. Want to leave? You guys can't get away. My god, this all won. Level 9 killing through a level 39 elite NPC. Yen Di is simply invincible. The shivering players chattered in trembling voices. The black-robed protectors have run away. Brothers, run away. The truth religionist's mentality completely collapsed. With a salary of a few dozen gold coins a month, they weren't so bad as to put their lives on the line. The stronghold was thrown into chaos, and the truth religion stronghold where thousands of people had gathered was killed by Lin Yan alone. Lin Yan chased after the three black-robed warriors without letting go. They were all third-ranked, elite professionals, and they were also all gold template advancements, proving that they were treated extremely well in the truth religion. As long as I can pop out a third-order equipment. Even if it's just an elite outfit, it's enough to significantly strengthen my current strength. The more Lin Yan thought about it, the more excited he became. Hand over all the equipment you have on you. His smile fell in the eyes of the three, like a demon's sardonic smile. It's simply uglier than a copy boss. The black-robed sword warrior spat. Eh, you're the one who talks too much. Lin Yan took a cooldown reduction potion, and nine lightning flashes instantly caught up with the knife samurai. The knife samurai, whose battle spirit had collapsed was put to death by him in less than 10 seconds. Just like that, he chased after thousands of truthists by himself, running through the great mountains. On the way to chasing down the black-robed protector, the truth religionists he encountered were also cleaned up in passing. The mountain road quickly turned into a bloody road, with corpses everywhere, too bloody and brutal. He shouldn't be called Yen Di, he should be called Demon King. The players looked at this scene in a daze, all dumbfounded. After a long time, only then did Lin Yen return covered in blood carrying three black-robed warriors dripping bloody heads in his hands. Gulp. The player's legs went weak. Although they knew that this was a game, Lin Yan was a bit too brutal, and the kills were all humanoid NPCs. What are you looking at? Are they all waiting to grab my loot? Lin Yan swept his gaze around and asked in a cold voice. No, don't dare. The players were afraid that they would receive a slash from the fierce god and their souls would return to the spring, so they all dispersed in a flurry of interest. Phew. Lin Yan put the heads of all five black-robed men into his backpack, scoured the stronghold again, and finally glanced at his status, dropped nearly 50, 000 armor, almost triggered the armor recovery alert line, the armor shortage phobia kicked in again, he glanced at the quest status bar, mission name, overwhelmed the truth cult stronghold outside the village, mission status, completed, mission requirement, kill more than 80% of the truth religion stronghold cultists and take back the head of the stronghold leader, Mission Reward, Advanced Silver Template Asterisk 1, Advanced Epic Equipment Asterisk 1, Mission Evaluation, Perfect Clearance, Hidden Reward Activated. Well, 
We can go back to old man Yuan and ask him about it. Lin Yan's eyes were cold. How did the truth sect know about the fact that he had come to exterminate the stronghold? The news had leaked out, and it must have had nothing to do with the higher-ups of the underworld village. When he returned to the novice village, he saw his oldest brother and Chu Qingxian wandering around the village side by side. Lin Fang's expression was relaxed and happy. Only in the game could he get back the feeling of having his legs again. Brother, Lin Fong waved. Well, did you bring Qing Xian to meet that dominatrix yet? This was something Lin Yan had instructed Lin Fong to do before he left. Brother you're so godly. That female martial arts nerd was so happy with Qing Xian at first sight that they talked to each other and gained one star of favorability without much effort. Lin Fong said. Lin Yan nodded. Keep up the good work. Strive for two star favorability then worship the master. The female martial obsessive was also one of the seven special NPCs, known as the Underworld Village Overlord Flower. If Chu Qingxian could learn the core skills from her, she would definitely be among the top experts in the future as well. Then you guys wander around first. After waving his hand, Lin Yan arrived at the village headman's house. He found that Yuan Tianran was not there again. Damned fish-touching village chief. He wouldn't have gone fishing again. Would he? Lin Yan found the fish pond at the back of the mountain. And Yuan Tianran was indeed here. Why are you here again? Village chief Yuan was a little surprised to see Lin Yan. Did you find the advancement quest too difficult? So you're planning to give up? I came to submit the quest. Lin Yan flashed out his mission settlement request. Hmm. Yuan Tianran's pupils shrank as he took a deep look at Lin Yan and tapped to confirm the settlement. You're really out of my expectations. He threw over the silver template and advanced epic equipment. You overthrew one of the truth cult strongholds. So even if you've handed in your pitch, I can trust you completely. Yuan Tianran smiled faintly. He stood up and looked at Lin Yan with eyes full of appreciation. You can worship me as your teacher. I will teach you core career skills that are enough to be called first rate even when looking at the entire Long Xia Empire. The bottom of Lin Yan's eyes were ancient. He knew that Yuan Tianran wasn't bragging. These few hidden bigwigs in the novice village were all top tier warriors in the Dragon Summer Empire. Yuan Tianran was completely qualified to say this. But unfortunately, I refuse. Lin Yan calmly said. Oh, think I'm too weak for just a tiny village chief? Yuan Tianren smiled and raised one eyebrow. With a wave of his robe sleeve, he pointed his finger at the bamboo forest in front of him. Using his finger as a sword, Sword Chi transited like a hurricane. Snort snort snort. The lush bamboo forests all over the mountain were unexpectedly destroyed under this finger Sword Chi. Although I am old, I am still somewhat qualified to teach you. Yuan Tianren carried his hands behind his back. A touch of proud color bubbling up in the bottom of his pale eyes for the first time in a long time. Village Chief Yuan is powerful, but I aspire to the Divine Providence Template. The Divine Providence Template comes with its own occupational core skills, so I can't accept other occupational core skills. Lin Yan explained frankly. Hmm. Yuan Tianren's eyes grew deeper as he looked at Lin Yan. You actually know so much about the God-given template? Even he had only heard about God-given templates and had never actually seen one. If it's the core skill of the God-given template, it's naturally much more powerful than a bad old man like me. Yuan Tianren also smiled frankly and did not force himself. Unfortunately, to get the divine gift template, with your current strength, is still far from enough. I won't bother Yuan village chief with that. Lin Yan smiled faintly. I proved my sincerity. It's time for village chief Yuan to prove your sincerity as well. My sincerity? Yuan Tianren froze. Since village head Yuan knows that the underworld village has a divine template, he should know some clues and I need that information, Lin Yan said quietly, hmm, Yuan Tianren's face sank completely, or, you will find and kill the traitor who betrayed me this time and give me all of his equipment, Lin Yan had a firm attitude, you are unbridled, Yuan Tianren droned down in a deep voice, his terrifying aura penetrating his body, there will never be a traitor in my underworld village, Yuan Tianren was resolute, Lin Yan frowned and sneered, I was ambushed at the stronghold and killed five third-ranked experts in a row before breaking the trap, whether what I said is true or false, you can just look at the mission ratings. Yuan Tianren's heart trembled. Just now he only focused on wanting to take Lin Yan as his disciple and didn't pay attention. Right now, after reading it, he couldn't help but frown, and his anger had internalized quite a bit. The truth seeker had said during the battle that it was you who gave the information. Lin Yan sized up Yuan Tianren. This is sowing discord. Yuan Tianren shook his head. I don't even need to go around in such a big circle if I want to kill you. I can just do it to you directly. Who knows if you are trying to maintain the positive image of the village chief. So you assigned your men to set up a cult outside. Specializing in handling unseemly and scandalous things for you? Lin Yan was aggressive. Then how do you want me to prove it? Yuan Tianren had a hard time justifying it and snapped in a depressed manner. The clue of the God-given template 
or the execution of the traitor. Lin Yan held the leverage and was justified. He only wanted the God-given template. As for why the truth was, he didn't care. Cluck cluck cluck. Yuan Tianrun's fists clenched tightly. Then he let out a long disheveled sigh. It's not that I'm not willing to tell you. It's just that the Divine Providence template involves old events from back then. Talking about it will reopen the scars again. So I'm unwilling to mention it. Lin Yan also sighed inwardly with relief. Finally, I'm going to say it. The reason he was so forceful was because he wanted to force Yuan Tianrun to tell the hidden story and advance the hidden plot. As long as he kept on the path of advancing the plot, that divine bestowal template would also get closer and closer to him. Back then, when the zombie king Evil Chi made a comeback, the Long Xia Empire responded to the war with all its might, vowing to completely eliminate this hidden danger. Yuan Tianren fell into reminiscence. In the final showdown, it was me and the other six brothers along with the Empire's Princess Xia Qi who fought against Evil Chi. After a bloody battle, it was finally sealed in this place, and of our seven brothers, one died in battle, one is missing, and the rest were all seriously injured. Yuan Tianren's eyes sank as he sighed tersely. After this battle, we were crowned the seven heroes of Aurora for our battle achievements. However, Princess Xia Qi was falsely imprisoned due to palace infighting. The five of us were disillusioned, and in order to protect the princess, we could only retire to our hometowns and promise to guard the village for the rest of our lives and not to step out of the village, in exchange for the princess regaining her freedom. Lin Yan was silent. The old village head's experience was indeed tragic. Since ancient times, few meritorious officials had a good end ah. The matter of you going to raid the truth cult stronghold. I only told these old brothers who are the most trustworthy within the village. Yuan Tianren said in a deep voice. It is impossible for them to betray the underworld village. After all, whether they want to be honorable or sell out their friends, they simply don't have to wait until today to do it. Do you understand? But it is true that my news has leaked. Lin Yan shook his head, not satisfied with this statement. Not bad. Yuan Tianren frowned. Then a flash of horror flashed in his eyes. Could it be? That she has returned? Who? Lin Yan's eyes flashed. The teammate who went missing in that battle? You're very perceptive. Yuan Tianran nodded. Both surprise and confusion in his eyes. She's the daughter of a blacksmith. A mind mage. She lost her memory due to mind overload in that battle and went into a rampage. We searched for her for years without finding any trace of her. There is a mind contract between her and us. So if it is her, she does have a way to know our plans. But, if she regained her senses... Why didn't she return to the underworld village to find us and instead defected to the truth sect? Yuan Tianren shook his head, completely unable to figure it out. But for a moment, he couldn't think of any other possibility of leaking the news. I still have to think about this matter, but it is indeed my responsibility for leaking news and putting you in danger. Yuan Tianren once again took out an advanced epic equipment. This is considered my compensation. Lin Yan nodded and took it. I do have a guess. Hmm, tell me. Village chief Yuan frowned. You won't believe me even if I tell you my guess. You just need to do as I say. Lin Yan whispered his inner ponderings confidentially to the village head. Yuan Tianren's face changed. Then he nodded. As you say. After saying so, Lin Yan returned to the underworld village. Since it's related to Wang Blacksmith, let's go to the blacksmith store and see if we can get any clues. It just so happens that I also need to exchange the supplies from the stronghold for weapons. Lin Yan walked all the way to the blacksmith store. He was keenly aware that there were a lot fewer players in the novice village, and the players he encountered were looking at him with vigilance and hatred. He didn't pay much attention and walked all the way to the blacksmith store. Lin Yan, Xin Yu Wei looked at him with immense worry. Are you alright? What can I be okay with? Lin Yan was a little puzzled, crying and laughing as he asked. Xin Yu Wei said evenly, you haven't been online for a long time, right? Take a quick look at this post. Lin Yan frowned and looked over. It was a post titled, The Truth Cult is the Correct Plot. Emperor Yen has ruined our way forward. The author ID of the post was none other than online game understanding brother. I'm sure everyone knows about the existence of the truth cult and knows the truth of the plot. The old village chief and his gang are the real villainous bosses. It's easy to see from the game's difficulty design. In the novice village we no longer have any hope of silver advancement. But in the cult of truth we can easily obtain a large number of rewards. Gold coins, and even silver templates. So there is no doubt that if you want to upgrade quickly, you have to join the church of truth. Instead, Yen Di went against the grain, and in order to prevent everyone from getting stronger, one person annihilated the stronghold of the Cult of Truth. This caused a direct interruption in our storyline, making it difficult to reach out to the Cult of Truth. He's a sinner to our Xia players. That's right, this Yen Di is a selfish villain. Enlightened, I said why I couldn't beat the bosses and couldn't get the advancement templates. Are there any brothers looking for other doors to see how they can join the Truth Cult? 
The followers below all agreed with online game understanding brother. Mostly players who were full of grievances after brushing for many days and not being able to beat the boss copies at all. They took their fire out on Ling En. Although they didn't dare to go on the game to play against him. On the internet each of them disguised themselves as judges. Their mouths showing no mercy. There's no need to care about him. Lin Yen waved his hand. Let brother understanding how to bring the rhythm. Follow the shouting or also some weak. After all, the dog that bites does not bark. Even if they swarmed around, they weren't enough to slash themselves. The elephant never cares about the ant's clamor. Because the strength gap is too great. You worked at the blacksmith store. You should have saved up a lot of Wang blacksmith's favorability, right? Lin Yan asked with a smile. Aha, it's already three stars today. Xin Yu Wei divinely showed Lin Yan the battle armor on her body. Gold template, and an advanced epic set, all from Uncle Blacksmith. Whom? Lin Yan nodded. He knew that the blacksmith had lost his daughter, so he would take extra care of the kind and simple little girl when he saw her. Worthy of being a blacksmith, it's really generous. In addition to the Qingdao's image in the entire village, Wang Blacksmith was the richest, flinging his hands at a set of advanced epic equipment. He had only gotten two pieces of Yuan Tianren's epic equipment after a bloody battle that wiped out a thousand strongholds. In contrast, the old village chief was really too stingy. Brat, you're here again. Blacksmith Wang walked out, looking at Lin Yan with an unkind gaze. It was probably similar to an old father seeing a yellow hair digging up his cabbages. Luckily, Lin Yan had shown great strength, and only then had he gained the recognition of Wang Blacksmith's heart. I've come to exchange my equipment. Lin Yan directly stated his intentions. This wave of attacking strongholds was a profitable one. Although the NPC burst rate wasn't as good as the wild monsters, the supplies from the strongholds were very valuable. This time, he had exchanged a full 3,000 pieces of fine equipment. All right, all right, old me is almost emptied by you. Blacksmith Wang waved his hand in disgust. He had prepared thousands of fine weapons, which were enough to be exchanged by novice village players no matter what. Who knew that he had run into Lin Yen? This old six, and a wave had emptied his inventory. My demand is indeed quite high. Lin Yen smiled faintly. A few thousand weapons were enough for him to fuse for a while. After he had fused them, it was estimated that Wang Tai's weapon inventory had been refreshed as well. Right Lin Yen, Uncle Blacksmith said that he's going to treat me to a feast tonight. Do you want to come too? Xin Yu Wei said evenly. Yes. Lin Yen was moved inwardly and immediately agreed. The divine soil was the real world. So of course one could eat. Some of the top dishes could even increase their attributes after eating them. After reaching three stars of goodwill with these special NPCs, one could indeed dabble in an attribute meal, which was much more precious than free attribute points. Free attribute points could only increase existing attributes, but attribute meals would likely open up unknown attributes. Moreover, he was going to investigate the blacksmith as well, and Xin Yu Wei had helped him again. You really do think of this brat when you have something good to do. Blacksmith Wang shook his head with some flesh pain. Attribute delicacies were extremely precious. Even if it was him, hiring one more person would be heartbreaking. Lin Yen, however, was at ease. The business he did with the Wang blacksmith was enough to make the other party earn a lot of money. It was reasonable for himself to eat a meal from him to get his blood back, right? Afterwards, he found a secluded place to start fusing equipment. If I'm right, I'm going to clash with blacksmith Wang tonight, and even engage in a fight. Lin Yan organized his thoughts. With my current battle power, it's impossible to win. I can only fight to survive for a while longer. Therefore, this fusion must all be used to enhance armor in order to do so. Buzz buzz buzz. Making up his mind, he started fusing. Now that he could fuse three pieces of fine equipment a minute, he hoofed it and his armor kept accumulating. Ten hours passed, and he had fused a full 1800 pieces of fine armor. The total armor value has surpassed 190,000. Lin Yan calculated. Counting the 50% armor recovery. It's still less than 300,000 blood armor value. It still needs to be added. He took out the two pieces of advanced epic equipment rewarded by Yuan Tianrun's quest. Fusion. Buzz. Lin Yan exhaled a long breath and tapped on the equipment page. Soft hedgehog armor. White. Armor plus 90,050. Physical defense plus 18. Legal defense plus 18. Counter damage plus 4,599. Characteristics, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, entanglement, when attacked, reduces the enemy's attack speed by 20%. Yuan armor shield, armor comes with a 10% of the total armor of the anti-injury shield. Out of the combat state can be activated again. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 76. 300. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Anti-injury plus 4867. Characteristics, characteristics, lightweight, wearing does not affect flexibility, 
You want armor shield, armor comes with an anti-damage shield of 10% of the total armor, and can be reactivated when out of combat state. Both pieces of equipment have an additional Yuan armor shield trait after fusing epic equipment. Lin Yan smiled in relief. He himself was equivalent to having another 20% more anti-damage shield, combined with the shield provided by this earring. It should be enough. Lin Yan took out the magnificent ear pendant that the black-robed mage had exploded. This ear pendant can inspire a shield of 200, 000 armor value, but unfortunately it can only be activated once a day. I've already tried my best. Whether it's a success or a failure depends on how much strength Wang Blacksmith has left. He tapped on his attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 200,019. Attack, 10025. Armor Break, 300. Physical Resistance, 45. Legal Resistance, 40. Movement Speed, 3. Attack Speed, 2. Mana, 40. Equipment. Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 90,050. Physical Defense plus 13. Legal Defense plus 13. Anti-Damage plus 4,599. Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 76,300. Physical Defense plus 2. Legal Defense plus 2. Counter Damage plus 4,867. Broken Swordsman Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 9,999. Physical Defense plus 18. Legal Defense plus 18. Magic Sword Thousand Blades, White, Attack plus 10,000. Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect, Infinite Fusion Equipment, Third Order. Skills. Stacked Waves 3 Blades, 1 Star. Inferno Blade, 1 Star. 9 Lightning Flashes, 3 Stars. Ability, None. Treasure, Seal of Life and Death. Cloak of Water Avoidance. Who can believe that this is the attribute panel of a level 9 player? Lin Yen grinned. Hmm. He glanced at the panel of the Ultimate Divine Weapon. The cumulative number of fused weapons is already over 9,600, and we're about to unlock the third artifact trait. He stood up with a sense of security. The seven heroes of Aurora were all severely injured after their bloody battle with the evil Chi. Their battle power is far from their peaks, but after all, they were all once hero rank powerhouses. A thin camel is bigger than a horse. One has to be on guard. Ah, Lin Yan returned to the blacksmith store. The meal is ready. Just waiting for you, brat. Blacksmith Wang had been rubbed with a property meal for nothing, and looked at Lin Yen with even more nose not nose, eyes not eyes. Thanks. Lin Yen grinned and settled down with Xin Yue. Gulp. He drank a cup of spirits and felt soothed and refreshed. Ding. Your blood absorption has increased by 0. 0.1%. Lin Yen didn't care. He was mainly relying on his armor now, and blood absorption didn't help him much. Uncle Blacksmith. You drink more. Xin Yue didn't know Lin Yen's plan. But Lin Yan asked her to persuade the blacksmith to drink more wine. The blacksmith was also very happy, constantly drinking wine, and had a leisurely meal. Ding, your blood absorption has increased by 0, 1%. Ding, your blood recovery speed increased by 0, 1%. Ding, your. The corners of Lin Yan's mouth twitched as he inwardly cursed. Can you give me something useful la, ah, Wang blacksmith? You're targeting me. Ding, your strike rate has increased by 0, 1%. It was only at the end of a meal that Lin Yan triggered a useful attribute value. 0. 1% bludgeoning rate. What's the difference between this and nothing? Lin Yan was speechless, but something was better than nothing. Before, it was impossible for him to trigger a blitz attack without hitting the enemy's core vitals. Now at least there was a probability. He comforted himself like this. Uncle Blacksmith, did you have a daughter before? Xin Yue asked according to the words Lin Yan had taught him. Hmm. The originally drunk Wang Blacksmith's eyes suddenly flashed as he looked sternly at Lin Yan, you're the one investigating me. Lin Yan's eyes stared. Worthy of being one of the former seven heroes of Aurora, he was indeed alert and sharp. However, he had no illusions that he could get a hero level powerhouse drunk with just wine. Don't get me wrong. I was just chatting with village chief Yuan about all this. Lin Yan smiled faintly. He was actually willing to tell you all of this? Blacksmith Wang shook his head. It seems like he really recognizes you. The aura on his body gradually weakened, as if he were an old father who had lost his orphan, instantly growing much older. He sighed, tears welling up in his eyes. Indeed, I have a daughter. It's just that I didn't protect her well and lost her. Speaking of which, Bauer and the little girl still look a bit similar. Blacksmith Wang took out a set of leftovers from the box. The photo was of a lovely young girl chasing a butterfly, and Blacksmith Wang stood behind her with a smile on his face. The sun was warm, and the flowers and plants were in full bloom. Eh? Lin Yan keenly noticed the girl's earrings in the shadow, and his pupils instantly shrunk. This earring was precisely the one used by the black-robed mage. 
the treasure that exploded more than 20 layers of defense shield at once. If his previous thoughts were still just guesses, then now he was about 80% sure. These earrings are beautiful. He intentionally complimented. Well, this is what I personally built for her. Wang Blacksmith was proud. These two earrings are a pair, and activating them at the same time can stimulate the defense shield of a million armor. It's kind of my masterpiece. Bauer is a mind mage. His defense is too weak, so I've built quite a few defensive treasures for him. It's a pity that, what finally breached her wasn't external damage, but the weight of the mind. Lin Yan was stunned and felt grateful. If the black-robed mage had gotten a complete pair of earrings, the battle would have been treacherous. The single earring captured in his backpack could only inspire a 200. 000 shield. Since you made it yourself, it should be the only one of its kind in the world, right? Lin Yan continued to condescend. That's for sure. Blacksmith Wang nodded. The materials used to make the treasure are too expensive. I can't even afford to make it for myself. Well, Lin Yan nodded, his eyes gradually cold. So, you betrayed the village for your daughter. Wang Blacksmith's heart shook as he angrily shouted. What kind of crazy talk are you talking all of a sudden? Shen Yue, who was immersed in the sad atmosphere, was also startled and pulled Lin Yan's sleeve. Brother Lin Yan, you know very well what I'm saying. Lin Yan calmly said. The truth cult controlled your daughter by some unknown means, and you had to sell the village's information for the sake of your daughter's safety. Am I right? You fart. Blacksmith Wang roared up, his tone cold. I didn't betray the village. Lin Yan smiled faintly. The fact that you weren't surprised that your daughter was controlled by the truth cult, but rather the first thing you wanted to do was to prove that you didn't betray the village, already tells us one thing. You knew from the very beginning that your daughter was in the hands of the truth cult. Gulp. Wang Blacksmith's aura became more and more dangerous, and the entire blacksmith store was a solemn aura. My daughter disappeared a long time ago. On what basis do you say she is controlled by the truth cult? If you dare to be credulous again, I can only put you to death. Uncle Blacksmith. Xin Yue stopped in front of Lin Yan, you can't do anything to him. Lin Yan pulled Xin Yue behind him, and with his other hand, he took out the earring from his backpack. This is the loot I captured from attacking the truth cult stronghold. You just admitted that this is the only treasure and that you personally crafted it for your daughter, right? You. Blacksmith Wang looked at the earrings and his eyes instantly turned bloodshot. What the hell are they doing? He roared angrily, on the verge of going berserk. Terrifying power gushed out from him, and the entire wall of the blacksmith store was cracked by the chi. Lin Yan shouted down to Xin Yue. You go quickly, I can handle it here. Good. Xin Yue gritted her teeth and left. She knew very well that she would only add to Lin Yan's chaos if she stayed here. After knowing so much, the underworld village can no longer tolerate you. Wang Blacksmith's face turned cold. You're smart, but not too smart. Whether to leave the underworld village by yourself, or to be killed by me until you can't be resurrected anymore. You choose. Are you that confident that you can eat me? Lin Yan smiled faintly. His tone relaxed. Ha ha ha. I know you have a few skills, but compared to the old man, you're still far from it. Wang Blacksmith's confidence came from absolute strength. It only takes one move to kill you. After that, I'll block the spring and take advantage of the dead of night to exterminate you a few times, kill you until you can't descend anymore, and the whole thing will be unknown to God. Do you plan to kill even the little girl together? Lin Yan paused for a moment and asked seriously. Wang Blacksmith hesitated. Then he sneered. No one will believe her words. Cut the crap. Give me your choice. Lin Yan shook his head. You can't kill me. Humph. Wang Blacksmith was so angry that he laughed out loud. You really don't know respect. He blasted out fast out of the stump. Almost instantly, he killed in front of Lin Yan. Boom. Thunder descended as Lin Yan instantly unleashed the ninth thunder flash. Wang Blacksmith was also so fast that Lin Yan's residual shadow would be struck out by him just as soon as it manifested. This brief chase made Lin Yan's heart skip a beat. Wang Blacksmith was the first person who could not lose in terms of explosive speed after he unlocked the ninth thunder flash. Die. Wang Blacksmith blasted down with a fist. Lin Yan directly offered his earrings, and a 20-layer defense shield manifested. Click, 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 click. Wang Blacksmith's heavy fist smashed down, and the defense shield unexpectedly shattered one after another. In just one punch, a dozen layers were shattered. This punch has an attack power of over a hundred thousand. Lin Yan's pupils shrank. It was fortunate that he was completely prepared or else this punch would have sent him to the west, the kind that couldn't even be triggered in time by armor recovery. He he, it's not useful at all. Wang Blacksmith roared, and once again threw a heavy punch, breaking through all the remaining defense shields. 
Lin Yan once again took a few steps back, relying on his subtle stance to make up for the lack of movement speed, perfectly dodging this blow. Even so, just the wind from this punch had scraped off over a thousand points of his armor. What an exaggeration. Lin Yan was sweating coldly. With his current strength, it was still too much of a struggle to face the top tier of Long Xiao Empire's combatants. Although Wang Blacksmith's peak wasn't there. After all, he had once been a hero level powerhouse who could fight the zombie king, actually able to dodge one of my punches. Blacksmith Wang even froze for a split second. Between him and Lin Yan, there was an unknown number of levels of difference in attack speed and movement speed alone. Although the other party had fought for some reaction time with the help of the defense shield, being able to dodge his punch proved that his combat intuition and stance level were both high to an extremely terrifying point. At least, it was several realms higher than him. A hero level powerhouse. What exactly are you from? Wang Blacksmith's eyes grew deeper and deeper. But no matter what, you're bound to die today. He flashed out a long-handled giant hammer and slashed at Lin Yan with a loud bang. Before the giant hammer even reached him, the wind from the hammer lifted the entire floor of the blacksmith store. So fast, Lin Yan knew he couldn't dodge it. His combat skills crushed the current era, but the gap between movement speed and attack speed was here. In front of absolute strength, scale lost its meaning. If you want to gnaw on this bone of mine, you'll have to pop a few teeth too. Lin Yan went crazy. Various potions were consumed by him, and the control effect caused by the powerful wind pressure was instantly undone. All the skills were sacrificed by him in a brainstorm, and the blue restoration potion constantly replenished the emptied blue bar. Wang Blacksmith's hammer and Lin Yan's attacks landed on each other at the same time. Boom! Lin Yan's figure instantly shot backwards, the golden light Yuan armor shield on his armor instantly shattering. At the same time, a blood red value floated out on his head. Minus 148,980. 222. Dozens of meters away, Lin Yan stopped his stance, his battle spirit still boiling. Blacksmith Wang's eyes widened. Not dead. How is that possible? He was hit by one of his hammers and actually didn't die. After hammering away my Yuan armor shield, and then dealing such a huge amount of damage, it's worthy of your heroic name. Lin Yan triggered armor recovery. And at this moment, his armor had returned to a level close to 160. 000 levels. Impossible. Wang Blacksmith roared. He knew that Lin Yan was heaven defying, but this was too heaven defying. He was a heroic level powerhouse, and he had used his skill frontal hammer kill, but he hadn't even managed to kill a mere level 9 warrior in seconds. Tick. A drop of blood slid down his face. He touched his cheek as an afterthought. I'm actually injured. A hero level powerhouse, fighting a rank 9 junior actually got injured. Good. You're good. Wang Blacksmith nodded his head continuously in shock. What a heavenly talent. Pity. Pity. The more terrifying you are, the more I can't let you threaten my daughter. Wang Blacksmith's eyes went completely cold. And with anger, he struck out, slamming down with a hammer. Boom. Lin Yan's figure instantly disappeared. Rumble. Wang Blacksmith's hammer was empty and landed on the ground, instantly smashing out a huge 3 meter diameter pit, and the earth shook, dust and smoke erupted, and flying rocks rained down, relying on the 9 lightning flashes, and his extreme combat skills, Lin Yan continuously tangled with the Wang Blacksmith, surprisingly, he spelled out another 100,000 or so of his opponent's blood, good, good, Wang Blacksmith also killed out of anger, fighting for several rounds without being able to help Lin Yan, simply slapping his own face, Boom! The terrifying hammer fell with extreme speed. The extreme offensive speed crushed Lin Yan, leaving him completely helpless. And once again, he was hammered flying nearly a hundred meters before standing still. He looked at his blood armor value. Even by relying on top-notch unloading techniques, I've still been smashed down by 120. 000 armor. Boom boom boom. Wang Blacksmith transformed into a remnant shadow and approached at extreme speed. Yuan Tianren, how much longer do you have to wait? Get your ass out here. Lin Yan was forced to curse, cough, an awkward coughing sound came out, and a terrifying sword intent descended at once. Yuan Tianren's figure appeared in front of Lin Yan like a ghost, so fast that not even the remnants were visible. With a large hand, he unexpectedly blocked the hammer that smashed down angrily in midair with his empty hand. Boom! The qi energy spread out, sinking the ground. When Wang Blacksmith saw Yuan Tianren, his pupils shrank and he immediately withdrew his hammer and respectfully saluted Yuan Tianren. Big brother Yuan. Yuan Tianwen looked at Wang Blacksmith with complicated eyes. This kid defected to the truth sect and came back to Sao Discord between us. So I had to step in. Wang Blacksmith still wanted to struggle a bit. There's no need to say it. I've been listening on the side just now. Yuan Tianwen shook his head. Ah, Blacksmith Wang froze. You were there all along just now. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. Or do you think I'm an idiot? 
The reason why he dared to start a war with Blacksmith Wing certainly had something to rely on. Yuan Tianran was the rescuer he had arranged to be here early on. You old man is so unreliable. Lin Yan looked at Yuan Tianran. If I hadn't shouted just now, would you still not have planned to make a move? Yuan Tianran laughed and whisked his beard, knowing that he was in the wrong and not defending himself. It's really because little friend's strength shocked me, to be able to go through so many moves with the old king who was at full strength. I can't help but be curious to see where your limits are. Ha! Knowing that Yuan Tianran had the confidence of being able to control the scene, Lin Yan didn't pursue the matter much and looked towards Blacksmith Wang. You promised me that you would put the spy to death after catching him. Blacksmith Wang sighed and hung his head. Brother Yuan, you do it, I will not resist. It's just my daughter. You must save her out. Yuan Tianran waved his hand before Wang Blacksmith could finish. We are like brothers, and you were forced to sell information because of your daughter. I won't kill you. Lin Yan's eyes were calm. He hadn't even thought that Yuan Tian would kill Blacksmith Wang. After all, after all, Blacksmith Wang was his brother in arms and was the top combatant of the underworld village. The reason why he had mentioned this was just to take advantage of the opportunity to knock on the door. Little friend, sell old me a face and let him go. If you want the divine providence template, Blacksmith Wang really can't die yet. Yuan Tianrun sincerely persuaded. Are you threatening me? Lin Yan asked rhetorically. No. We sealed the zombie king back then with the help of some of the power of the divine providence template. And to restart that power, Bauer is a key. Yuan Tianrun continued. Bauer should be under control right now. If we rescue her afterward, she, however, realizes that we killed her father. She definitely won't be willing to help us search for the divine providence template either. Ha! <laughs> Lin Yan sneered. The old man's mouth was really tight, forcing him to this point before he was willing to tell a bit of solid information about the divine providence template. However, a mortal sin can be avoided, but a living sin is hard to escape. Yuan Tianrun's face slumped. Wang Hao, don't you have a piece of legendary equipment in your hand? Take it out. Blacksmith Wang honestly took it out, his heart dripping blood. He had simmered countless efforts and spent decades to polish this legendary equipment that he had desperately obtained to the fourth rank, and now he had to give it away. However, he was a self-made man, and he recognized the punishment. Lin Yan put the legendary equipment into his backpack, and a smile sprang up on his face. Oops, on second thought, Uncle Blacksmith is indeed eager to save his daughter. It's completely understandable. Yuan Tianren are speechless. You can change face fast or not, but well, I understand you so, you also have to understand me some, this is only fair right? Just a piece of legendary equipment, cannot withstand the suffering of my almost death ah. Lin Yan's words changed, Yuan Tianren couldn't help but cry and laugh, you're a descender who can be resurrected when you die, speaking as if everything is empty when their native NPCs die, however, he knew that Lin Yan just wanted more favors, then tell me, how can you fulfill it? Lin Yan immediately took off the swordsman's helmet, which instantly returned to its initial appearance. I want you to fix this legendary weapon. This is, Big Brother Swordsman's helmet. The moment Wang Blacksmith and Yuan Tianren saw the helmet, all of them were unable to stabilize their emotions, their energies rippled, and their bodies trembled violently. AI, Sword Hero Big Brother's helmet was lost for so many years, I didn't expect it to end up being obtained by you. Yuan Tianren shook his head. Sword Hero was the head of the Seven Heroes of Aurora, and his death in battle in the duel with Evil Chi was also an eternal pain in the hearts of those who survived. I will do my best to restore it. Blacksmith Wine's eyes were red and his tone was firm. What's going on? Such a big commotion. Female martial idiot Overlord Flower, Mage Ching Daozi, and Blind Monk all rushed over. After knowing the former situation, they all had mixed feelings as well. The most important thing at the moment is still rescuing Bauer's niece. Blacksmith Wang nodded, I also faked my defection before and gave them some painless information in exchange for their trust. Lin Yan laughed, your painless intelligence almost pitted me to death. Blacksmith Wang scratched his head and laughed awkwardly. Lin Yan knew that Wang Blacksmith was thinking that he was an Adventist, and that dying once wouldn't hurt. Well, then, after you've been in contact with them for so long, have you found any clues about Bauer's niece? Yuan village chief asked. Blacksmith Wang nodded slightly, there is, but I can't be sure. Oh. Yuan Tianren said evenly, tell me quickly. Blacksmith Wang nodded, he should be in the secret base of the truth sect, only that it is guarded by quite a few strong people. If we forcefully attack, they can completely hold Bauer hostage and put her in danger. It is indeed rather troublesome. Yuan Tianren frowned. However, they have been forcing me to poison you all, presumably because they want to take the opportunity to launch an attack on the village. Blacksmith Wang glanced meaningfully at Lin Yan. Originally, I was still caught in a tangle. And thanks to little friend Yen Di, 
I was able to spit everything out painfully. Hey, it's indeed thanks to Yen Di, Yuan Tianran also lamented. It had always been a pity in his heart that Lin Yen hadn't chosen him as his teacher. That's difficult. Xing Daozi rubbed his chin. If you don't poison, you'll be suspected. If you go directly to the strong attack, you will instead involve your niece Bauer. Lin Yan looked at the contemplative crowd, always feeling that they were intentionally or unintentionally sizing themselves up, feeling more and more strange. Yuan Tianren finally couldn't hold his tongue. I wonder if little friend Yen Di has any brilliant plans? There is a plan, but I can't talk about a brilliant plan. Lin Yan casually said. Oh, quickly tell me. Xing Daozi's few people all asked in succession. To use the plan to transfer the tiger away from the mountain. Then, take the sun from the tiger's den. Lin Yan explained. We'll first spread the news that all of the village's higher-ups have been poisoned, luring the truth cult to attack. While their base is empty, I'll go to the truth cult's secret base to save Wang Bauer. Good. Wonderful plan. Several people praised it. Their expressions exaggerated. Worthy of being a descender. Your brain is smart. Lin Yan frowned. The conversation between these few people always made him feel that something was wrong. The reaction of the mage trio after hearing the truth was too bland. Moreover, as the top heroic powerhouses of the Long Xia Empire, they must be both wise and brave. How could they even brag about such a simple ploy? Everything tonight seemed like a deliberately arranged plot. Yuan Tianren seemed to see Lin Yan's caution and explained. In order to prevent the truth cult from suspecting us, none of us can leave the village but it's too dangerous to let you rescue Bauer's niece by yourself. We were all too embarrassed to mention this ploy, so we had to wait for you to speak up yourself. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. These old sixes were really good-faced and black-hearted. When dealing with them, one had to grow a few more minds before. Ahem. Don't worry. You won't suffer. I can assure you that as long as you can get Bauer back, just ask for whatever you want and we'll do our best to get it back for you. Ching Daozi patted his chest and assured. That's right. Overlord Flower also waved her hand in a domineering manner. Blind Monk, Village Chief Yuan, and Blacksmith Wang all looked over expectantly. He he. Lin Yan shook his head. If he wanted to get the Divine Providence template, he had to save Wang Bauer, and he had no other choice. Show me your sincerity first. Village Chief Yuan laughed. I knew you kid wouldn't let go of the eagle without seeing the rabbit. Saying so, he directly threw out a quest. Task name, Save Bauer. Mission details, bring back blacksmith Wang's missing daughter, mind mage Wang Bauer. Mission reward, legendary weapon, sword of the sword hero. Free attribute points asterisk 100 points. Third order silver advancement template asterisk 1. Advanced potions asterisk 1000. Gold coins asterisk 10,000. Lin Yan was already very moved as he looked at these rewards, but his face was motionless and silent. You brat really has the power of determination. Village chief Yuan shook his head helplessly. That's fine. Blind monk. Take out that treasure. The blind monk nodded and took out a transparent cloak and gave it to Lin Yen. Lin Yen tapped on the treasure details. Cloak of invisibility, treasure. Attribute, space. Formation, freedom. Function, completely shields the breath and enters a state of invisibility. Come without a shadow. Go without a trace. Wearing a cloak of invisibility. The three realms of the self-immortal. Current state, invisible for one hour. Will reveal itself when attacked, initial awakening. Good, since you guys are sincere then I'll naturally do it with all my might. Lin Yan nodded, happily accepting the cloak of invisibility and accepting the quest. Wait for the helmet to be repaired before you act. I'll take my leave now. Lin Yan turned around and left, preparing to melt the legendary weapon he had gotten first. He still felt that there was something odd about the Yuan village chiefs, but his aim was the powerful equipment and the divine providence template. As long as he could obtain these two, whatever schemes and thoughts these few people from the underworld village had, it had nothing to do with him. After Lin Yan completely disappeared, the smile on village chief Yuan's face gradually faded away. This son is truly terrifying. Descending for only a few days, he was able to fight with old king and fight for several rounds without losing. It even left me hanging. The old king touched the bloody scabs on his face and laughed. You can't do it, old king. It seems like you are indeed getting old. The mage snickered. It's good that everything is going according to our plan. As long as we are careful and prudent, great things will be accomplished. Village Chief Yuan waved his hand and said seriously, the fact that this brat was able to complete the stronghold mission already proves that he is capable of saving Bauer, so why is he still putting on this show tonight? Blacksmith Wang spat, and caused my only legendary weapon to be pitched away by this brat, and my cloak of invisibility. Blind Monk interjected, screw you, the stealth cloak was supposed to be given to him according to the plan. Wang Blacksmith spurred it angrily, you didn't say you were going to give him my legendary weapon beforehand, if I told you beforehand, would you still be willing to accompany us in this drama? 
Yuan Tianran glanced at one blacksmith. Saving Bauer is a matter of great importance. Without thoroughly figuring out this brat's strength, I think you'll be the first to object to letting him go and save it. Blacksmith one coughed awkwardly. All right, if a single piece of equipment can get Bauer back, it's already a heavenly blessing. Ching Daozi patted Yuan Tianran's shoulder. The seven heroes of Aurora were dependent on each other in life and death, and were united by the same spirit, and would never betray each other. The moment blacksmith Wang knew that his daughter was still alive, he had already discussed the matter with village chief Yuan and the others. This was all just a game within a game to test Ling Yan's extreme strength. Of course the most important point, we need Yen Di's trust. Yuan Tianren's eyes were deep. In order to make him think that we don't know, this black pot can only be taken by you. Ha ha ha, if he can really save Bauer, it would be worth it to make me take another hundred black pots. Blacksmith Wang laughed miserably and shook his head. It's just a pity that we're being watched too closely by the truth cult to do it ourselves. Although we have tested out Yen Di's true strength, but if we are not the ones to personally take action, we still feel unstable in the end. After all, the truth cult base is still considered a dragon's den to the current him. Start fusing. Lin Yan moodily looked at the fourth order legendary equipment in his hands, the snow treading wind walking boots. First order white plate. Second order professional. Third order elite professional. Fourth order is master. Fourth order master. Called the mainstay of the Long Xia Empire, placed anywhere is an absolute master. Legendary equipment adapted to a fourth order master. This wave has earned a lot. Lin Yan was incomparably excited. He opened the equipment details of the snow treading wind walking boots. Snow treading wind walking boots, legendary. Level, fourth order. Armor plus 6666666. Physical defense plus 200. Legal defense plus 200. Movement speed plus 5. Characteristics. Treading the wind, active. Move speed doubled. Consumes 40 points of blue per second. Singing in the snow. Effect of body skill doubled. Cooldown, 3 minutes. Avoiding heavenly law. Dodge plus 10% for attacks with both wind and snow attributes. 1 slash 100. Straight up riches. Lin Yan equipped and bound the snow treading wind walking boots to the ultimate artifact. He then proceeded to continue fusing the equipment in his hand. The secret base of the truth sect was many times more dangerous than the stronghold. Even though the experts inside were expected to come out in full force this time. However, it was still possible to run into a true fourth order master powerhouse. He had to be cautious and prudent. Buzz. As Lin Yan continued to fuse the pieces, after more than 400 pieces, the ultimate divine artifact once again emitted a luster. The ultimate divine artifact has awakened to the fourth rank. He looked at the ultimate artifacts page. Ultimate divine artifact, unique. Unique effect, infinite fusion equipment, fourth order. Current progress, 10,000 slash 1000000. First order characteristics, attacks can permanently increase armor value by one point, plus. Second order, permanently increases counter attack damage by one point, plus. Third order, killing an enemy unit permanently increases armor recovery by one point, plus. One point of armor rep for every kill? Lin Yan's eyes lit up. He was very short on means of recovery nowadays. And here it was. If he could stack the armor rep, no one would be able to kill him while standing still in the future. The plus sign behind the trait has finally lit up. Lin Yan tapped the plus sign behind the first rank trait in succession. It's really upgraded. His eyes lit up. First rank trait, attacks can permanently increase armor value by 100 points, plus, a direct increase of 100 times. Is it that fierce? Lin Yan gulped. In other words, he could now permanently increase his armor by a hundred just by swinging his sword once. Continue fusing. His eyes brightened. The feeling of constantly getting stronger by leaps and bounds was just too addictive. Soon, he finished fusing all the equipment in his hands. Cool. Lin Yan swung his fist in excitement. With this wave of fusion, his attack power had directly doubled from 10, 000 to 30, 000, and his armor had reached over 800, 000. Combined with the armor recovery and Yuan armor shield, the total armor was approaching one and a half million. Even if I do encounter a grandmaster ranked powerhouse, I'm fearless now. The corner of Lin Yan's mouth lifted. Now that the truth cult was flourishing, many of the players had been promoted to the second rank. Even if a silver second rank full, level 29 warrior, his attack power was just over 200. And now that he had reached over 200 in physical and legal defense, Players couldn't even break his defense and could only inflict a little bit of mandatory damage. After he killed another random enemy to trigger the armor recovery, together with the anti-injury, he would be able to achieve a truly invincible momentum. Phew. He stood up. This wave could be considered an epic enhancement. The helmet should be repaired soon as well. Lin Yan returned to the novice village. Many players were talking on the road. I've heard that the higher-ups of the underworld village have been poisoned. It seems like there's going to be a big change in the plot soon. Yeah, 
It does seem like the truth cult is the right choice. My friend joined the cult of truth and is now level 20. I don't think we should spend time here. Counting on Raider Lu Wang Palace to upgrade. I don't know how long it will take. That's right, that's right. Man you quickly tell us the way to join the religion. Hush. That plague god Yin Di is here. Let's not discuss this. In case he rushes over and ends the truth sect base again. We won't have a chance to silver advance. Yeah. Lin Yan didn't pay any attention to the player's comments and went straight to the blacksmith store. Old Wang. Have you fixed your helmet yet? Lin Yan bellowed. Fixed. Blacksmith Wang nodded. Looking regretful. AI. It's a pity that the deadly battle with Evil Chi was too intense. All of our weapons were wounded to the root. And even I can hardly restore this helmet to its peak splendor. However, I did my best. Lin Yan nodded and took the helmet of the swordsman. Checking it out. Sword Hero Helmet, Legendary. Grade, 4th Order. Armor plus 100 W. Physical Defense plus 100. Legal Defense plus 100. Characteristics, Sword Magnate's Heart. 50% immunity to physical attacks on the vitals of the heart, sword magnate's guard, active, costs 40 points of mana and returns 20% armor to the entire body, purification, immunity to one mental type attack that deals less damage than the armor value of the helmet, cooldown, 1 hour, great, Lin Yan was in an excited mood, the sword master helmet was originally a 5th ranked legend, although it had been forced to downgrade because of that battle, however, its stats and characteristics were also far superior to unusual 4th rank legendary equipment, he opened the attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, human, yellow. Profession, warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 186, 7401. Attack, 30025. Armor break, 300. Physical resistance, 345. Normal resistance, 340. Movement speed, 8. Attack speed, 2. Mana, 40. Blood recovery speed, 0. 5%. Blood suck, 0. 1%. Strike, 0. 0, 1. Equipment. Soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 90,050. Physical defense plus 13. Legal defense plus 13. Anti-damage plus 4,599. Soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 77,000. Physical defense plus 2. Legal defense plus 2. Counter damage plus 4,870. Swordsman's helmet, legendary, armor plus 100 W. Physical defense plus 118. Legal defense plus 118. Snow treading boots, legendary, armor plus 6666666. Physical defense plus 200. Legal defense plus 200. Movement speed plus 5. Magic sword thousand blades, white, attack plus 30,000. Ultimate artifact, unique, effect infinite fusion equipment, fourth order. Skills. Stacked waves three blades, one star. Inferno blade, one star. Nine lightning flashes, three stars. Ability, none. Treasure, seal of life and death. Cloak of water avoidance. Cloak of invisibility. Base armor. Officially broken a million. Flames flickered in Lin Yan's eyes. Ready to go. Brothers who saw this nodded to urge more. Leave a message. Asterisk carrot carrot asterisk. Although blacksmith Wang has probed the general route. The specific location still needs me to find it. Lin Yan came to the deep mountains that Wang blacksmith had mentioned. The truth cult was large in scale. And the power behind it was terrifying. The hidden bases it had created were extremely difficult to find. Hmm. Lin Yan's eyes lit up as he saw two familiar figures on the road. It was none other than Duke Poison and Mu Qingwan. What a lucky star. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Following these two, he could definitely search for the headquarters of the truth cult. He kept his distance and followed behind. What? Auntie Mu is actually asking us to get close to that poor loser? Duke Poison waved his hand. Absolutely impossible. According to my mother's speculation. His strength is already no less than those strongest heaven and earth rankings from the internal tests. The potential is at the very least at the top of the heaven and earth ranking. Mu Qingwan calmly said. He he. Anti Mu also thinks too highly of him. Duke Poison shook his head. The heavenly ranking. Represents the hundred strongest experts the summer kingdom has ever seen. With him being a poor loser. He's still at the top of the heavenly ranking? Laugh me to death. My mother has never made an error in judgment. Mu Qingwan's eyes went cold. The latest internal news is that the future of the divine soil will likely affect reality. If the news is true, then all the current powers will face a major reshuffle. The Mu clan consortium will also need to hug the thighs of a powerful person in those times in order to do so. Shang Wan, we're in control of the White Wolf Guild. And with such a huge power behind us, upgrading and becoming stronger is like drinking water. Duke Poison was arrogant. It's not that I'm arrogant. Even if those heavenly ranking powerhouses, so what? It's only a matter of time before they are surpassed by us in the future. We, ourselves, 
are our biggest backer. We don't need to look for others at all. Mu Qingwan was laughed at by Duke Poison's stupidity. Don't be too naive. The strongest of the heaven and earth rankings are all as strong as demons. It's not something you and I can imagine. Even with the support of the guild, it won't work. This is my mother's decision. You don't need to say anything more. Cackle cackle cackle. The poison duke's teeth were clenched and his eyes were bloodshot. However, Mu Qingwan's mother was the golden master of the White Wolf Guild, and he did not dare to disobey. Mu Qingwan looked at the poison duke's expression and said in relief. Moreover, we're just temporarily tricking him and taking advantage of the opportunity to take his favors. As long as we find the secret to him being so perverted, and then find a chance to join forces to kill him, that great world in the future, is it still not up to us? Only then did Duke Poison's face ease up and he nodded slightly. That's true. Mu Qingwan smiled slightly. The Poison Duke was the most stable chess piece in her hand and must not be discarded. She wouldn't do that stupid thing of breaking her own dog's leg before she could embrace the lap of a heavenly ranking powerhouse. Lin Yan followed behind and heard these conversations clearly. What a pair of dogs. It turns out that in the last life they had originally planned it that way. It's just that I was too powerful and they never had the chance to kill me. That's why in the final divine battle, they took advantage of my weakest state to do a sneak attack. The killing intent in his heart intensified. However, he was clear that things wouldn't be so simple. But he had now figured out the initial motives of this pair of dogs. Soon, they arrived in a cave. The guards of the cave were all second-ranked full-level professionals and the leader was even a third-ranked elite professional. Token, the leader shouted. Only after the poison dupe took out the token did the leader open the energy spell. Lin Yan also immediately equipped his invisibility cloak and walked through the spell formation portal with a big strut. Cautious enough indeed. With this spell formation, it can both confuse people's vision and serve as a defense. Lin Yan celebrated. It was fortunate that he had paid more attention. Otherwise even if he knew where the base was, he would have run headlong into this spell formation that was invisible to the naked eye and triggered the alarm. Entering the cave, he continuously passed through three more levels and four more mechanisms. Only then did Lin Yan follow Duke Poison and Mu Qingwan to the underground base of the Truth Sect. Why do I always feel a cool wish behind me? Duke Poison frowned. Maybe the underground is heavy with Yin Qi. I also feel a chill down my spine. Mu Qingwan said in relief. Lin Yan followed the two a step away and couldn't help but sniff. He casually made a trip and tripped the two of them then floated away. Shit, you can be dropped on your ass even playing a game. I'm so convinced. The poison duke was impotently furious. Turning his head, he saw Mu Qingwan, who had fallen with messy hair and a crooked mouth and eyes, and couldn't help but burst out laughing. But soon he couldn't laugh anymore. Their heads were bubbling with poisonous mist, and their blood was constantly decreasing. Inexplicably poisoned. This underground base has ghosts. We're afraid we're not possessed. Poison duke wailed. Lin Yen who had already walked away, glanced behind him and sneered. These two were really unlucky. Just being touched by him had inspired the poison armor attribute of the soft hedgehog armor. Time to look for the blacksmith's daughter. He kept looking around the underground base. The more he looked, the more he was shocked. This underground base space was extremely large, at least capable of holding tens of thousands of people. The upper limit of players that the underworld village could accommodate was only 100, 000 people. This one underground base could almost catch up to the size of a novice village. Villages that could be chosen as novice villages were not ordinary villages. They were all very large in size. Boom boom boom. The largest center hall in the space. Countless people were busy here. Along with the roar of machinery. What is this being built? Lin Yan stared intently as these large machines were constantly operating under the support of mana crystals. The ghostly aura and black fog seemed to be building some sort of giant creation. Hundreds of summoners were summoning undead moment by moment channeling them into these large machines. Once the summoners ran out of mana, blue pills would be sent over for replenishment. The slightest bit of laziness would be met with a brutal beating from the third rank elites overseeing the work. It seems like these players were tricked into coming over to do black labor. Lin Yan almost laughed out loud. It wasn't true that advancement templates were handed out here, but one needed to sign a drudgery contract with the truth called first. Players couldn't read the text on the contract, and were so focused on seeking silver templates that they signed it in confusion. This kind of contract unless you delete the number not to play. Otherwise as long as you are online is in effect. Meet the contract time. Or successfully escape from the base for a certain amount of time. In order to terminate. Playing a game can also be telecommunication fraud. It's really absolute. He shook his head. And after leaving these large machines in shadow. He resumed his search. Originally thought that an hour was enough time. Lin Yan was filled with pressure. But the underground base was simply too big and the structure was intricate. Trying to find out where Wang Bauer was being held within an hour was really a bit difficult. Hurry up. Lord Elder is going to preach. 
Everyone gather at the preaching altar immediately. All move. The third order elite congregants kept shouting. Lin Yan frowned and followed. There were so many people. They might be able to obtain any useful information. However, the moment he stepped into the preaching ground, he was instantly confused. The so-called elder above the altar, with a red gauze dress, stood in a sea of black-robed people. There was a gorgeous earring on her ear, and her eyes were like rubies, evil and elegant. It was precisely Wang Bauer. Lin Yan was completely taught. Nima, I came to rescue you, and you ended up mixing into a cult elder? What the hell is going on? Lin Yan sank his eyebrows. Wasn't it said that Wang Bauer was controlled? But now it seemed that not only was she not restricted in her freedom, but she had also become an elder of the truth cult. She defected? Lin Yan frowned. Could it be that the blacksmith's father and daughter had all defected in the first place? And everything last night was a setup for him? He rubbed his chin and shook his head. It's also possible that they were pretending to be submissive to trick the truth cult. These people are all old sixes, one darker than the other. You can't just look at appearances. He pondered, ready to wait and see what happens. Soon he noticed, Wang Bauer's body movements and facial expression. Both seemed very stiff. Not quite right. Lin Yan frowned. However, not much information could be seen just from Wang Bauer's speech. Have to wait for a moment. Lin Yan rubbed his chin. He had also thought about sneaking Wang Bauer out while he was sleeping. But naturally, the cloak of invisibility could only make him invisible alone. Either way, the difficulty of the mission has suddenly increased Ah, He was practically going to throw up. Originally, it was just a matter of finding Wang Bauer and then secretly bringing her out. But now he also had to knock her out to do it. He didn't dare to bet that the other party must have surrendered fraudulently. In case the other party started a war with him right after he showed up, he didn't think he had the ability to break through this heavy blockade. Although the truth sect was empty now that all of its strongest members were out, it was not to be underestimated. If he wanted to forcefully capture a weak enemy under the heavy blockade and rush out from here, he would need at least a hero level combat power. How is it that this kind of thing is always encountered by me? Old man Yuan is afraid that he isn't deliberately punking me every time. He glanced at the quest level, and sure enough, it had changed from a third order elite quest to a fourth order master quest. Bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. I must fill up my luck value when I have the chance. He muttered. Items that could raise the luck value were rare and precious. In the world of immortal cultivation it would be called a treasure of luck, and the difficulty of obtaining it could be imagined. Soon, the sermon was finished, and the seductive and bewitching Wang Bauer walked down the altar in style. Lin Yan followed all the way. Wang Bauer led him around the underground base, turning left and right for more than 20 minutes before arriving in a secret room. Lin Yan could only follow him in. Wang Bauer sat down in front of the tea case, her scarlet pupils slowly fading into cyan pupils. She filled both cups on the table. Come out. I know you followed me in. Lin Yan froze, and his killing intent instantly erupted. This father and daughter were indeed colluding, trying to lure him into a jar. However, he didn't move. The invisibility cloak would only reveal itself if it was attacked, and he didn't want to expose himself in advance. I'm a mind mage, and although my strength is damaged for the most part, I was once a hero level powerhouse after all. You can mask your aura, but you can't mask your mind power. Wang Bauer sighed. I don't have much time left. I'm not your enemy, but please trust me and show yourself to talk. Just say it. Lin Yan didn't show himself. He spoke while moving at high speed, making his voice echo evenly through the house making it impossible to judge his exact location. Okay. Wang Bauer spoke faster. You should have been sent by father and the others, and I'm defaulting to the fact that you know all of the past. What should I know? Lin Yan spat breathlessly. Wang Bauer, on the other hand, pressed him and said in an urgent tone, After that battle I lost my memory and became an idiot, and the truth cult found me first. Their mind mages took advantage of me becoming an idiot and refined me into a mind blood servant. Later on, my main consciousness revived but everything was already powerless. I'd been hibernating for so many years, waiting for this moment. She took out several pieces of magic treasures and laid them on the ground, her tone growing more and more urgent. The power of the mind that has been accumulated over the years is only enough to awaken my main consciousness for an hour. Having that much time is enough for you to escape with me, Lin Yan calmly said. Not enough. I used most of that time to prepare these magic treasures. Wang Bauer spoke sharply. Now, I only have 10 minutes left. The mind mage controlling me has been monitoring my position, and he will notice as soon as I leave his range of 1000 meters. Therefore, it's impossible for me to escape from here without killing her. This magic treasure can be used to stun my blood servant grid in. Wang Bauer threw a vial to Lin Yan. The second piece of magic treasure can be used to wake up my main consciousness at any time, but the remaining time is only 8 minutes. The third piece is a map of the underground base, 
with which you can find that mind mage's cultivation room. When you find him, wake me up immediately. I will use my mind power to block off the space so that your engagement with him will not be discovered by outsiders. But, you only have, seven minutes at most. Everything is in your hands. Any more questions? Wait until I get out. Wang Bauer's cyan pupils were sincere and eager. I entrust everything to you. The opportunity is only this time. Please, stranger. After saying that, her eyes once again turned from cyan to red. In the next moment, she coldly rebuked with a murderous intent. Who's here? I've sensed you. If you don't come out I'll release a ranged spell to put you to death. Lin Yen cursed, his scalp tingling. This performance was simply weirder than schizophrenia. He struck extremely decisively, directly splashing a few drops of liquid from the vial on Wang Bauer's face. Plop. Wang Bauer instantly fainted. Her body softened and she was cradled in Lin Yan's arms. TSK, you're quite calculating. Lin Yan shook his head helplessly. He had many questions he wanted to ascertain. But the time Wang Bauer could be awake was only seven minutes. And he didn't dare to waste it at will. To be able to find a way to live for yourself in such a desperate situation. This temperament and intellect. Living in God's earth is a waste of talent. You should really go play Dishonored. Lin Yan sighed. And ah big sister. You don't know my strength either. Do you conclude that I can kill the mind mage controlling you? The more Lin Yan thought about it, the more speechless he became. In case that mind mage was a hero level powerhouse, it would be considered heaven defying for him to be able to return in one piece today. However, her plan is indeed the only chance of survival in this current deadlock. Lin Yan organized his thoughts. Carrying away Wang Bauer directly would cause the mind mage's alertness leading to a halfway interception. And he still wouldn't be able to escape. The only way to leave was to kill the mind mage first and if he wanted to take him out silently, he would have to hurry before Wang Bauer's seven minutes ran out. I hope that mind mage isn't too strong. Lin Yen sighed, his eyes firming up. After he looked at the map to confirm the location, he stayed close to Wang Bauer's body and controlled her to walk out of the secret room. Elder, the truthfulness religionists who saw Wang Bao all bowed their heads. Touche. Wang Bauer walked past them in a graceful manner. Do you feel that Elder Wang is a bit strange today? A member of the congregation asked. Which day isn't she strange? Every time I see her walk and talk, it's like seeing a zombie. Stiff and scary. Another congregant's voice trembled. Indeed. Let's get on with our plans. The key to bring back the king will soon be cast. The religious all rushed to the casting hall. Lin Yan brought Wang Bauer with him all the way to the mind mage's cultivation chamber. A mind mage's cultivation was very jealous of loud noises around them. So the place was empty and there was only that mind mage in the secret room. The mind mage could sense stealth and had to be awakened now. Wake up. Lin Yan hit Wang Bauer's buttocks with the second folding fan magic weapon. Don't say it. It felt quite good. Families, it would be nice to have some free gifts. Zhou Yang is looking forward to it ing. Asterisk Omega. You. Wang Bauer felt a pain in her but right after she awoke. And she glared at Lin Yan. However, time was precious nowadays. So she cast her mind shield at the first opportunity. There are still six and a half minutes left. There's only one chance. Lin Yan nodded and entered the retreat room. Buzz. Inside the meditation room, incense was lit in the furnace and smoke curled up. Just standing in it made one feel calm. A figure had his back to the door, wearing a black robe but tattooed with red lines. It should also be an elder of the truth cult. Lin Yen frowned. Although he wasn't sure of the other party's strength, but things had come to this point, so he definitely couldn't back down. Hmm. The black robed man let out a hint of a questioning hum, as if he had sensed something. But the next moment, thunderous sounds exploded within the cave. Nine heavy thunder flashes. Boom boom boom. Thunder echoed through the meditation room. And before the black robed man could react, he was already hit by several slashes. The black robed man's vestments were all splintered, revealing the face of a loathsome blonde crone. So it's an old lady. Lin Yan sneered and put a scrying spell out in passing. Truth cult mind mage. Now. Race. Human. White. Profession. Mind mage. Level. 55. Life value. 937. 000. zero, zero. Armor, 301. 519. Attack, 21700. Equipment, Mind Mage Staff. Skill, Mind Poison Nightmare. Treasure. The level gap is too large. The information that can be probed is too little. Lin Yen frowned. Because of the ultimate artifact, he didn't need to upgrade to keep getting stronger. Therefore, he wasn't in a hurry to upgrade at all. And he could just patiently put together a full rank divine bestowal template. There are probably quite a few of these situations in the future where we'll be fighting against each other across a large number of levels. I have to hurry up and get the skill book for advanced scrying technique. Otherwise I'll have too little information about the enemy. And I'll be at too much of a disadvantage against them. Knowing one's enemy is the only way to fight a hundred battles. Old thing. 
you're not very good, Lin Yan smiled faintly. At the same time, he was relieved. Fortunately this old thing wasn't a hero level. However, this was normal. The hero level was considered the strongest group of top level existences in the Longxia Empire. And the truth sect probably didn't have a few of them. This time, all of them must have gone to deal with village chief Yuan and the others. Kill. He kept slashing with his hands. This kind of mage type profession knew that their defense and armor were low. And they were desperately collecting life-saving treasures and scrolls for themselves. And it just so happened that mages were rich. Such an old mind mage definitely had a large amount of defensive treasures. If he wanted a quick battle, he had to keep suppressing the other party. So that they didn't have time to cast their body protection spells. In just 10 seconds or so, the dumbfounded mind mage had all of his armor cut off and lost over 200. 000 blood. No. A strong fear flashed in Nao's eyes. At this rate, she would be hacked to death in a minute or two. Die. She started with a surefire kill, mind stream explosion. Huge mind power turned into substance. Turning into a huge vortex that wrapped Lin Yen in it. Within the vortex, terrifying mental arrows continued to shoot towards Lin Yen. Each one carrying terrifying damage before exploding in Lin Yan's mind. Boom 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 boom. Now's eyes flashed with madness. This was her master skill. As long as she still had mana values, the mind stream explosion would not stop. If the opponent didn't have a means of restraining the mental type of attack, they could only passively withstand it and take a complete beating. And before her mana dried up, it was enough to deal nearly a million points of damage. Even a warrior of the same rank would be directly killed in seconds by this move. Snort snort snort. The mind storm devoured Lin Yan crazily. However, there was never a blood deduction prompt coming out of Lin Yan's head. Now was confused and finally felt something was wrong. Immediately terminating the mind stream explosion skill. You actually didn't take any damage at all? How is this possible? Lin Yan's eyes flashed as he calculated. He grinned with a confident expression. I'm mentally immune. So don't struggle. In fact, this was a credit to the third characteristic of the sword magnate helmet, purification. He could get a chance to be immune to spirit-based attacks that dealt less damage than the helmet's armor value once per hour. The sword magnate helmet had exactly 1 million armor values, and the opponent's heartstream explosion had also just hit 1 million armor values before it dried up. That's why it didn't lose a single drop of blood. No, this is never possible. In all these years, I've never heard of anyone from the Dragon Summer Empire being completely immune to spirit-based attacks. Now was shaken, her eyes bloodshot, shaking her head in disbelief. The means of defense against mental attacks were already few, which was why mind mages were scorned, let alone being completely immune to mental attacks. She kept backing away, clearly scared out of her wits by Lin Yan. What an unfortunate coincidence. You've run into me, your natural enemy. Lin Yan's sense of conviction was full, a proper golden horse movie star. He had to completely shock now with this clever misunderstanding. Because of the mind mage's weird tactics, if the other party had the will to survive to deliberately circle around him, he could easily drag out a lot of time. He, on the other hand, didn't have any time left. Oh, so what? Now's face twisted in madness. This is a truth cult base. Although the sec leader and the others are not here, there are at least a few dozen elders. When they hear the commotion here, they will definitely rush over. You're dead. Lin Yin shrugged. I already killed them all long ago. You fart. Now shrill roar grew louder and louder. But her will to fight grew weaker and weaker. She frantically started summoning blood servants. Trying to get Wang Bauer to come over for reinforcements. The blood servant's personality is constantly struggling against me. The time I can be awake is shortening in no time at all. Please be quick. Wang Bauer's mind transmission came through. She was already barely able to hold on as she maintained her mind barrier while resisting the blood servant personality's backlash. Lin Yan's heart sank but his face remained confident. Old woman. Then tell me, why hasn't anyone come to save you until now? Cackling. Now's mental pressure grew. Her mind power began to riot. And her expression twisted. No, it's not like that. Lin Yan approached now while devilishly tantalizing. If you don't believe me, just bang on the door and go out to take a look. But don't blame me for not reminding you. My men have taken control of the entire truth cult base. And you've been stolen from your home. You can't even get out of this door. Now completely tensed up and turned around frantically about to bang on the door. However, the door of the retreat room was sealed by Wang Bauer's mind barrier, so it couldn't be banged open at all. No, 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 how can this be? Now's old face was filled with despair. The mental pressure was even greater, and the whole person was on the verge of falling into a state of madness. There's no way for you to escape anymore. Lin Yan walked up to now. Be a good boy and lead your neck to death. Now completely collapsed as she roared. Even if I die, I'll take you with me. Aren't you immune to mental attacks? Oh, then let's die together. Her eyes were bloodshot. 
Her mind power swelled, and her entire body was propped up into a leather ball before exploding. Boom! The terrifying impact blew Lin Yen away, and although his armor was madly being chipped away, a hearty smile flowed from the corners of his mouth. Dead old woman. Finally you've been scared to death. The old woman's power to self-destruct is quite strong. Lin Yen spat out ash. The retreat room had been completely destroyed by it, and he had been blown off 800,000 armor. Ishan collected Una's loot and after checking it out, he was grateful beyond measure. If he really let Una use these life preservation scrolls, he definitely wouldn't be able to kill his opponent in 5 minutes. Outside the retreat room, what's with all the commotion? Wang Bauer trembled inwardly. After such a big commotion, it fell into calmness, making people think carefully. What's going on? I only have a minute left now. Do you need me to go in and help you? If I help you, I estimate that I can only last for 30 seconds at most. Wang Bauer was in a hurry. After so many years of hibernation, was she about to lose all her efforts? What's the hurry? This old lady committed suicide. The secret room door opened. Lin Yan cleaned the dust from his body and walked out with a gray head. What? Wang Bauer was overjoyed. You're really a hero level powerhouse. She herself was just taking a gamble. Mind mages had too many means of preserving their lives, and Lin Yan's entire journey from going in to coming out was just over two minutes. To try to kill a master mind mage so quickly, it must be a gold advancement hero level powerhouse. How much do I look like a hero level to you? Lin Yan spread his hands. Now that he had killed now, the momentum had been settled, so he had time to joke around. Wang Bauer let out a pout and directly used her scrying technique. Then she was directly confused, her large eyes staring round. My mom yo, ninth level whiteboard warrior? What advanced shielding technique did you use? Ha ha, it's true that I'm only level 9. Lin Yan shrugged. Then how did you manage to quickly solve that guy in 2 minutes? Wang Bauer couldn't believe it. Mages can be so life thirsty. Lin Yan replied, instead taking out the few high level scrolls he had harvested and shaking them. With these few items alone, it would have taken me at least a few more minutes to break them. Wang Bauer became more and more confused. That's why I knew from the start that I couldn't attack strongly. Lin Yan smiled faintly. All right, don't sell me short. I don't have much time. Quickly say it so that I can die in peace. Wang Bauer pouted. Hmm. Lin Yan was a little surprised. The person who cursed you is dead. And your blood servant contract is still there. Wang Bauer nodded. I did all of this just so that the truth cult could not use me as a bargaining chip to threaten father and uncle Yuan and the others. As for myself, I have lost my contract master and will soon fall into a coma. And within 10 days, I will surely wither and die. Lin Yan was somewhat moved. This girl had planned to die gracefully from the start. The blood servant curse is almost insurmountable. So after I fall into a coma this time, you and I are afraid that there will be no more chances for us to be able to talk. There was a hint of despondency and sadness on Wang Bauer's face. So, satisfy my curiosity. Lin Yan nodded. With all due respect, I've summarized the Achilles heel of your mind mages. What is it? Wang Bauer was puzzled. That is, mind mages, in general, have fragile minds. Lin Yan spread his hands, Wang Bauer directly turning into an idiot because of her mind overload, and now directly blowing herself up because she couldn't stand the mental pressure. All prove this. Well, that's because our mind power is too strong. The slightest emotional fluctuation will make the mind power go out of control. We're already the best at controlling our emotions in this world, but we'll still end up being backfired by it. People who play with their spirit and mind, also suffer greatly at the same time. To be able to discover this, you are really smart. Wang Bauer spread a smile. Thank you, stranger. Her body began to shake, and she was about to fall into unconsciousness. Finally, can you tell me? Your name. Lin Yen. I remember. It's Wang Bauer completely passed out and once again fell into Lin Yen's arms. You won't die. I promise. Lin Yen said softly. He wasn't seeing color. But the key core of the opening of the Divine Providence Template was Wang Bauer. She must not die. Turning on his cloak of invisibility once again, he led Wang Bauer all the way out of the underground base to the cave on the ground. Token. The elite leader of the barrier reached out and said in a cold voice. Lin Yan controlled Wang Bauer's body and gave out Nao's token. Whom? The elite leader inserted the token into the spell. Then his eyes shook. This isn't your token. Lin Yan froze and instantly knew that he had been exposed. Damn. You're a cultist. What kind of black technology are you playing with? The token can even bind identities. However, he had already reached the ground. These few levels were enough to break out with his current strength. He didn't bother to cover up. And as soon as he carried Wang Bauer on his back, he then slashed out. This elite leader was obviously not an important character like the black-robed priest, advanced by the silver template, with a total of only 20. 000 plus blood plus armor. 
and was killed in seconds with a single slash. Enemy attack. The professionists religious next to him exclaimed, immediately about to sound the alarm. But Lin Yan was too fast. Snort. He moved at a rapid pace. Nowadays, his movement speed of up to eight points made him as fast as a phantom in the eyes of these congregants. Snort snort snort. These miscellaneous soldiers guarding the door were all bronze template advancement filler cannon fodder, with a blood count of just two to three thousand. And he was able to kill ten of them with a single slash. Boom boom boom. He broke through all the way, killing through three levels and four cards before the alarm was finally pulled successfully. Only the last level left. Lin Yan looked at the black press of pursuers behind him, none of which could catch up to him. Are you guys snails? He couldn't help but taunt. Holy shit. What do I see? Elder Wang is floating in the air. A ghost in the void is killing people. The congregants were so scared that their legs went weak. It's fucking invisible. You punk snacks. Give chase. Wang Bauer absolutely cannot be lost. Otherwise we'll lose our killer weapon to suppress the underworld village. The truth sex master level powerhouses went crazy. Ha. Huh. Lin Yan looked at the outer layer of the guardian formation that had just closed. This was the weakest layer of the energy shield. With its greatest function being invisibility and triggering alarms, he threw out all of Una's several heavy treasures and blasted them onto the energy shield. He then exploded all of his means and frantically blasted on it. Boom 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 boom. A frenzied bombardment. Within a short period of time, millions of points of damage hit with one point, directly shaking a small opening out of the energy shield. Lin Yan carried Wang Bauer on his back and leapt out. Looking at the sunrise in the distance, he was in a happy mood. After breaking the formation, he had even managed to get out of the trap. You guys take your time chasing after me. I'm going back to the village with a beautiful girl in my arms first. Lin Yan still had the time to turn back and wave his hand at his pursuers in mockery. Then with a few jumps, he disappeared into the dawn mountains and forests. Damn it. The truth sex masters gritted their teeth in hatred, but they couldn't do anything about Lin Yan. Lin Yan carried Wang Bauer on his back and made his way back to the underworld village. Before he even entered the village, he heard the sounds of a violent battle. The ground was trembling slightly, and dust and smoke flickered in the distance. Leave the king's blood behind. A roar came out, and Lin Yan could hear that it was Yuan Tianren's roar. He he, a few of you old Ingbi designed to try to trap us and kill us, but unbeknownst to us, we are also taking advantage of the trick. The black-robed masked man laughed coldly. The purpose of coming to the underworld village this time was this item. Now that the king's blood is in our hands, we won't stay any longer. Jia Jia Jia. Lin Yan watched from afar and instantly recognized this black-robed masked man as the spokesperson of the truth cult that he had seen after he had obtained the blood corpse head trigger choice. He's the sect leader of the truth cult. Now that we have the king's blood in our hands and the card of Wang Bauer, you guys have already lost. Surrender before it's too late. The masked man flung his cloak. He held the king's blood in his hand and his tone was insubordinate, looking out of the corner of his eye. Hoomph. If nothing else, Wang Bauer should have already been rescued by my people. This time it's nothing more than an undercard for an undercard. Yuan Tianrun said indifferently. Ha 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 ha, do you really think that kid can save Wang Bauer from my heavily defended underground base? The masked man looked up to the sky and laughed. To tell you the truth, Wang Bauer wasn't imprisoned by us at all, but was practiced by a mind mage to become a mind blood servant. Even if you send that kid out, even if he's more heavenly, he'll never be able to bring back Wang Bauer. What did you say? Ching Daozi's face turned white. He was a mage and knew best the troublesome nature of this situation. Yuan Tianrun also fell silent. Understanding in his heart that Lin Yan's mission this time was going to be a nine deaths, Blacksmith Wang was even more grieved. His own daughter had been practiced as a blood servant. What are you doing with your head hanging down? Simply disgracing the name of our seven heroes of Aurora. A domineering voice descended as the female martial arts nerd. Wu Bai Hua stepped forward. Hasn't that kid been reborn in the spring yet? The situation has not yet been finalized, and the desperate situation is far from over. A few people's spirits were shaken, their eyes firming up. What's more, even if it fails, so what? We were once able to pacify even the zombie king, and we're still afraid of a tiny truth sect? Wu Baihua pointed her fist at the man with the iron face. The big deal is to fight to the last drop of blood. Not bad. Yuan Tianrun nodded slightly. And, somehow, I still have faith in that kid. Ha ha ha. The mighty seven heroes of Aurora that shook the dragon summer can only rely on fantasies to comfort themselves nowadays. The man with the iron face skimmed his lips. If that kid can really bring back Wang Bauer under these circumstances, what if I even throw myself into the sword and admit surrender right away? It's a deal. No backing out. Lin Yan's frivolous words appeared, piercing through the atmosphere of crossed swords, causing the scene to fall silent. What? The man with the iron face looked at Lin Yan in horror. And after seeing Wang Bauer behind him, his body trembled. 
This is impossible. Heroic level powerhouses would trigger an alarm as soon as they touched the formation. If they aren't hero level, then it's impossible for them to escape from the underground base. Power. Emperor Yen. The moment the few Yuan Tianren saw Ling Yen appear, even with their determination, they couldn't help but have reddened eyes. Blacksmith Wang instantly rushed in and protected Ling Yen from Iron Masked Man and the other sneak attacks. Ha 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 ha. Yuan Tianren laughed up to the sky. How about it? Big Dipper. The Heavenly Tao helps the righteous and not the wicked. Return from the lost path. Iron Faced Man suppressed the anger and shock in his heart. His eyes bloodshot. He he. Just swapping cards. And Wang Bauer is dying. We still win this time. Just which one of us will have the last laugh? We'll see soon enough. Retreat. He gave a low shout. And the few black robed men behind him turned into black mist with him, leaving the underworld village in the twinkling of an eye. Yuan Tianren's eyes were deep as he looked at the disappearing iron masked man. Yeah, we'll see soon enough. You actually did it. Ching Daozi walked up and sked. The moment he originally heard that Wang Bauer had been practiced as a blood servant, he had all but completely despaired. Amit Bab Buddha. Yendi Shurshur is truly an incredible existence. The blind monk also folded his hands and lamented. You guys just love these vain heads. Wu Baihua walked up and peeled the blind monk and Cheng Daozi away. And her fiery figure hugged Lin Yan. Brother you're too handsome. Sister loves it so much. Cough cough. Lin Yan was suffocated by his large chest and struggled out. Now is not the time to celebrate. Hmm. Bauer's sister coming back is a big victory. How is it not the time to celebrate? Wu Baihua froze. Why is Bauer in a coma? Blacksmith Wang said eagerly. A mind blood servant is different from an ordinary blood servant. The contract is much deeper. If the contract is not broken from the soul within 10 days, Bauer will wither and die. Ching Daozi had known everything for a long time, so he didn't show any joy from the beginning to the end and said with a somewhat sad face. No. Wang Blacksmith's eyes became bloodshot. I have searched for Bauer for so many years, not for the sake of just hastily seeing her once and then saying goodbye to her forever. Is there no solution? Yuan Tianren also asked in succession. His expression heavy. Although Wang Bauer was the weakest in terms of battle power and the lowest rank among the seven heroes, her importance was the undisputed number one. If she were to really die, it would be a huge loss for both the Longxia Empire. Most importantly, that would also completely cut off the connection between the Underworld Village and the Divine Providence Template. And Yen Di was afraid that he wouldn't be able to stay in the Underworld Village anymore. He had already realized that Lin Yen was the key variable to break the situation and must not be lost. There are no absolutes in all things. Ching Daozi shook his head. Old Cheng, think of something. Aren't you the strongest mage in the Longxia Empire? Please, save my daughter. Blacksmith Wang grabbed Ching Daozi as if he was grasping a life-saving straw. Ching Daozi shook his head and smiled ruefully. You think I don't want to save Bauer's niece? It's just that this way. It's harder than climbing up to the sky. If I say it, it will only add to the despair in vain. For a father, knowing the solution to the rescue but not having the ability to do it was much more cruel than feeling it was a desperate path from the start. If you don't say it, how do you know it's a desperate path? Lin Yan spoke out. Although the seven heroes were the strongest of the Longxia Empire, their eyesight still couldn't be compared to his. What they felt desperate, they might not be unable to do themselves. Even if you don't believe in us, you still have to believe in little brother Yan Di. He's the one who can create miracles. Wu Baihua patted Lin Yan's shoulder still optimistic and determined. This? All right. Ching Daozi spoke out. First of all various auxiliary medicines, such as flame spirit wood ash, clear heart crystal pendant, and stalactite liquid. Although they are precious, we can still take them. The rarest of them all are the two main medicines, the 10,000 year willow wood heart and the remnants of the book of truth. These two treasures are just names I've heard, but even I've never seen them before. Lastly, and the most difficult point, the medium for administering the medicine. It requires the Lu Kingdom's national treasure from a thousand years ago. The in Heavenly Sun's seal of life and death that has been lost for an unknown number of years. The crowd breathed a stagnation. If those two main medicine is the world's rare, then the seal of life and death is a pure legend. Existence or not are not known. And where to go to find? I don't know if the seal of life and death you are talking about is this item? Lin Yan's calm voice came out as he held the seal of life and death in his hand and asked with a smile. You actually obtained the legendary seal of life and death. Ching Daozi's eyes went wide. This was a supreme treasure that only existed in legends. A fluke. A fluke. Lin Yan smiled faintly and said modestly. Worthy of being a man who creates miracles. Wu Baihua was incomparably happy. And with overwhelming emotion, she once again hugged Lin Yan deeply. Now, there are two things left. The 10,000 year willow heart and the remnants of the book of truth. Ching Daozi rubbed his chin. I do have some clues about the 10,000 year willow wood heart. But the remnant pages of the book of truth. 
don't have any eyebrows yet. I'll go ask around for information. The blind monk stepped forward. That couldn't be better. Yuan Tianran nodded. Having the intelligence skill fully lit was also one of the blind monk's hidden attributes. Although he couldn't see with his eyes, the world's affairs were in his ears. This 10,000 year willow would heart. Qing Daozi was about to continue. Lin Yan interrupted. I think it's better for us to settle this mission before we talk about the future. According to the belabored character of these old sixes, if they didn't mention it themselves, they were afraid that they could really forget about their rewards. Don't worry, you've done us a great favor. So naturally we won't be petty. This is your quest reward. Yuan Tianran gave the equipment to Lin Yan. Lin Yan saw the backpack prompt. You have obtained, the sword of the sword magnate. Free attribute points asterisk 100 points. Third order silver advancement template asterisk 1. Various types of high level potions asterisk 1000. And gold coins asterisk 10,000. How come these are the rewards that were already negotiated? What about the promised gratitude? This quest is another midway increase in difficulty. Old village chief, I doubt you're specifically targeting me? Lin Yan turned on his traditional art ability, knocking on the door. Cough. Yuan Tianran's old face reddened, it was my miscalculation. What compensation do you want? The skill book for the control free skill. Lin Yan opened his mouth wide. Control free skills were extremely rare and uncommon. As long as the word control free was included in the skill effect, it was at least a 5 star skill. This. Yuan Tianren shook his head. Skill books for control free skills are too rare. The underworld village doesn't have any. You'd better change your request. Lin Yan shrugged. It was only when he asked for something that he could sit on the ground and pay back the money. He didn't expect to really extort the control free skill from the old village chief. Then give me an advanced scrying skill book. Lin Yan stretched out his hand and casually give me a few hundred free attribute points. A few tens of thousands of gold coins as compensation would be perfect. You really dare to ask for it. Yuan Tianrun smiled helplessly, then gifted Lin Yan the skill book of advanced scrying technique and 100 free attribute points. Thanks. Lin Yan grinned. One had to be a bit thick-skinned. If he had been honest, he would definitely have gotten nothing today. Never expect others to be thick-skinned. Elder brother Wang. I've saved your daughter. I should always sell my equipment cheaper next time right? Lin Yan joked. Don't worry. Blacksmith Wang directly transferred all the inventory in his hands to Lin Yan. These don't cost anything. In the future, if you trade with me, it will all be at cost. Lin Yan nodded and swept a glance. His favorability with the five Aurora heroes had all risen to three stars. Little brother Yan Di, do you have any more requests? Yuan Tianrun politely said. Of course there is. Lin Yan nodded, pretending not to understand the fake politeness in Yuan Tianrun's tone. Eh? Yuan Tianrun's face stiffened. He had known not to ask. Those new disciples you've taken in are all close friends of mine. I hope you'll cultivate them with dedication on their cultivation path. Lin Yan arched his hand, his tone sincere. Don't worry, those are our own disciples. We will definitely cultivate them with all our might. Qing Daozi was the first to agree. The first time he saw Lin Feng, his favorability was three stars. Well, I'll cultivate the little girl as if she were my own daughter. Blacksmith Wang also nodded. If it wasn't for Xin Yue, he wouldn't have been able to retrieve his daughter, and his heart was grateful. Blind Monk and Wu Baihua also both nodded their heads to reassure Lin Yan. Okay, I'm done with my requests. Now let's talk about the 10,000 year Willow Wood Heart. Lin Yan said. He placed the same importance on the matter of saving Wang Bauer, and after saving her, he should be able to obtain the Divine Providence template. Well, when I traveled the continent in my early years, I once obtained a teleportation scroll in a cave. Xing Daozi said in a deep voice, according to the cave's legacy book, the place where the scroll is linked is the secret realm where the Willowwood demon clan is entrenched, perhaps a 10,000 years Willowwood heart will exist in the hands of this clan, then let's go fetch it, Wu Baihua said evenly, Xing Daozi shook his head, the teleportation scroll is already tattered, and no one strong enough to rely on it above the grandmaster rank can teleport anymore, and the worst part is, once the 10,000 years Willow heart leaves the body, it will quickly lose its essence. Only a few secret techniques can preserve its essence. For example, old brother blind monk's past life spell. The blind monk nodded. The past life incantation was his core skill. The best trick in the box. Nowadays, the only way is to pass this move to my disciple. But his battle power is really not high. The crowd looked at Lin Yan again in unison. Below the grandmaster rank, the battle power and the existence of a heaven defying. This teleportation scroll was simply made for this person ah. Cough cough. Little friend Yen Di. It seems like I have to trouble you again to do this. Yuan Tianran was a little embarrassed. His old face reddening. Hall of Mighty Dragon Xia Empire's Dawn Seven Heroes. Each of them are powerful. But when it comes to things, they can't do anything. And in the end, 
they all ask for a junior's head. Harm. I'm a person ah. I like helping people the most. Lin Yan smiled slightly and rubbed his fingers together. That's it. Don't worry. I understand. Yuan Tianren patted his chest. As long as you can bring back the 10,000 year willow heart. I'll send you another piece of legendary equipment. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. A few days ago, this bad old man had said that the underworld village only had one or two legendary weapons at most. Now just the ones he had gotten his hands on were three. This came out with another piece. These old things with black hearts. Not one of them is honest. Then it's a deal. I'll go and cultivate a bit first. And then I'll set off with Fatty afterward. Lin Yan breathlessly accepted the mission before bidding a spontaneous farewell. I'll also take this time to go and properly temper my inferior disciple. Knowing that time was short, Blind Monk also turned to leave. After the people had dispersed. What are the chances of him succeeding in this trip? Yuan Tianren asked Qing Daozi. Qing Daozi shook his head. The Willow Wood Clan. It has a fierce reputation. I'm afraid it's no better than the truth sect base to break into. This time it's going to seize the treasure again. Even if the organs are exhausted. I'm afraid that there's only one chance of survival. Soon. Lin Yan found a secluded spot. Taking out the newly arrived legendary weapon. The Sword of the Sword Hero. Known as the main weapon of the strongest hero of the Long Xia Empire in a hundred years. Lin Yan's anticipation was incomparable. With this fusion, I'll be able to at least touch the threshold of a golden hero in terms of battle power. From here on out, there won't be many locations. In Dragon Xia that can stand in my way. Advanced scrying technique skill book. Use it. Lin Yan thought. Congratulations on obtaining the advanced scrying technique. Advanced scrying technique, 3 stars. All enemies up to the third rank can obtain all panel data. Maximum level gap limit, 60 levels. All below the king rank is enough for now. Lin Yan's heart settled down. Knowing one's enemy and knowing oneself was the most important thing in a battle. If one could obtain all of the opponent's information, one could formulate a strategy on the spot. The later it got, the more important the means of anticipating the enemy became. Then there are the free attribute points. Lin Yan used all of his attribute points, raising his stats by a wave on all fronts. Especially the amount of blue he desperately needed nowadays. Although he didn't lack a blue recovery potion, his current blue limit was only 40 points, and a good bit of skill release would require hundreds of blue points at a time, so he simply couldn't use it. I've saved up a lot of gold coins, but I can't use them. Lin Yan shook his head. The blacksmith had already given all of his inventory to himself, and even if he had the money, there were no more large quantities of cost-effective weapons that could be bought in the novice village. However, just these weapons in my hands right now are enough for me to strengthen them for a good while. Lin Yan pondered. He kept fusing them, and his attack and defense were increasing by leaps and bounds. He had also heard of the Willow Demon Clan, and if he wanted to break into the Demon Clan's secret realm, he had to have at least a heroic level battle power. But now he only had 10 days at most, so of course he had to hurry. There's still a need to melt a main weapon for Fatty before he can do that. Lin Yan pondered. This time, Fatty was the centerpiece of completing the mission. He couldn't let him get killed just after stepping into the Willow Demon Clan's secret realm. Just make him an anti-damage shield. Lin Yan settled. The core skill that Fatty was going to inherit from the blind monk was the milkman plus meat shield root. And combining this feature, a main battle weapon with a counter wound shield would be most suitable. The fighting style could take the shield warrior root. Able to fight and resist. Absolutely strong. In a flash, three days passed. Lin Yan's strength had improved tremendously again. After fusing this sword magnate sword again, this time it will be a success. Lin Yan's heart surged. Good things he liked to leave for the last to enjoy. Buzz. Light flashed. And the fusion of weapons was complete. Lin Yan opened the attribute page of the Magic Blade Thousand Blades. Magic Knife Thousand Blades. White. Attack plus 10 W. Attack speed plus 0. 3. Bludgeoning rate plus 5%. Characteristics. Sharpens iron like mud plus. Comes with 300 points of armor breaking. Blow hair plus. 1% probability to cut through rare quality weapons. 10% probability to cut through fine quality weapons. 100% probability to cut through weapons below common quality. Thousand blades, can be broken down into shattered blades, which can fly with the user's will, or can be turned into pieces at any time. Note, consumes 2 mana points per second. Togetherness, armor adsorption increases by 1% for each piece of armor equipment in the Sword Hero set. Sword Hero Secret Skill, activates the power of the Sword Soul Sealed in the Sword Hero Sword, doubling the damage dealt by the next attack. Sword Hero Battle Spirit, summons the Sword Hero Battle Spirit. The duration of the battle spirit's existence increases with the level, and the battle power changes with the user's will to fight. It's a pity that this sword was also broken by that battle. Otherwise, the main weapon of the so-called first hero of Dragon Summer would definitely be terrifying. Lin Yan shook his head with some regret. 
but even if it was somewhat broken, the characteristics it offered were terrifying to the extreme. First and foremost, it was armor adsorption. This was equivalent to the blood absorption trait that corresponded to blood, and now that he had equipped the sword magnate helmet, every time he attacked with a general attack, he would be able to recover 10 wx 1% equals 1000 armor. It was important to know that before, he could only get some very little armor adsorption by killing enemies. This was a qualitative leap. If I can put together the swordsman set, the speed of armor recovery will reach a very terrifying level. Lin Yan had another expectation in his heart. How come there's a plus sign after the first two traits? Lin Yan tapped on it and looked at it, realizing that from now on, if the newly added traits were unsatisfactory, the new traits could be fused and used to enhance sharpening iron like clay and blowing hair. Not bad. Lin Yan nodded in satisfaction. A bunch of weak traits couldn't compare to a top tier trait. It was the same as the difference between an ordinary word entry and a god tier word entry. A complete difference between clouds and mud. For example, after blow hair off is fully lit, even legendary weapons can be 100% chopped off. Lin Yan's anticipation was incomparable. He used up some of the useless trait phrases, exhausting them all, and upgraded sharpening iron like mud and blowing hair off to level 2. Upgrade some of the characteristics of the armor as well. He upgraded both the tangled silk and poison armor traits. Nowadays, if you engage me, you're going to be reduced by 50% of your attack speed first. Even a heroic level can't afford it. Lin Yan grinned. After the Wraith upgrade, both the upper and lower body armor could reduce the opponent's attack speed by 25%, and his sustained damage ability had also increased. The poison armor attribute of both the upper and lower armor could deal a total of 40% slowdown and 600 points of sustained damage. He glanced at his attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, Human, Yellow. Profession, Warrior. Level, 9. Life, 400. Armor, 285-0450. Attack, 100025. Armor Break, 1000. Physical Resistance, 543. Normal Resistance, 538. Movement Speed, 8. Attack Speed, 2. 5. Mana, 400. Blood Recovery Speed, 0. 5%. Blood Suck, 0. 5%. Strike, 6. Equipment. Soft Hedgehog Armor, White, Armor plus 60W. Physical Defense plus 113. Legal Defense plus 113. Counterattack plus 4600. Soft Hedgehog Pants, White, Armor plus 55W. Physical Defense plus 100. Legal Defense plus 100. Counter Damage plus 4900. Broken Swordsman Helmet, Legendary, Armor plus 100W. Physical Defense plus 118. Legal Defense plus 118. Snow Treading Boots, Legendary, Armor plus 6666666. Physical Defense plus 200. Legal Defense plus 200. Movement Speed plus 5. Magic Sword Thousand Blades, White, Attack plus 100,000. Strike plus 5%. Attack Speed plus 0. 3%. Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, 4th Order. Skills. Stacked Waves 3 Blades, 1 Star, Inferno Blade, 1 Star, 9 Thunder Flash, 3 Stars, Advanced Scrying Technique, 3 Stars. Abilities, None. Treasure, Seal of Life and Death. Cloak of Water Avoidance. Cloak of Invisibility. Waking Heart Fan, With my many means, even if it's a real battle against a golden hero, I still have a chance of winning. Lin Yan was full of confidence, his battle spirit boiling. To be able to achieve so much in such a short period of time, one had to marvel that the ultimate artifact was simply too powerful. After everything was prepared, Lin Yan saw the swollen-nosed fatty at the entrance of the underworld village. What's wrong, so miserable? Lin Yan asked snidely. Don't mention it, that unlucky master. Once he came back, he didn't know what kind of medicine he took wrong. He suddenly gave me devilish training, forcing me to inherit his core skills hard for three days. And he's like a sex change. He can't even listen to cold jokes anymore. As soon as Duan de saw Lin Yan, he complained with tears in his eyes. Boss, your fat brother I've had a bad old crime these days. Ha ha, Lin Yan laughed out immorally. You still laugh at me. Boss you have no conscience. Duan De's already round body was puffed up even more with anger. I'll give you a good piece of equipment to compensate you. Lin Yan threw over the shield of thorns that he had fused to Duan De. Without hesitation, Duan De bound the shield of thorns. White grade, what kind of grade is this? Crouch, 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 crouch. This this this? Fatty was dumbfounded. What grade is this weapon? How can I have it? It increases armor by over 200. 000 and also increases attack power by over 10. 000. And the first characteristic is, receiving an attack immediately returns 1% of the armor value damage. And there is no anti-injury limit. The second characteristic is even more unbelievable. 
Attacks can be accompanied by 1% damage of the total armor value. Aha! Lin Yan nodded and smiled slightly. How is it? This equipment doesn't aggravate you, right? It's too expensive. With such awesome equipment, I guess if you ask a tycoon to bid 10 million dollars to buy it, they'd all be willing to do it. Duan De shook his head. I can't have it. Ha ha ha. Anyway, this equipment is not removable or replaceable as long as you bind it. It's useless if you want to back out. Lin Yan shrugged and said with a show of hands. Ah this. Duan De cried and laughed. Boss, you this. Between the two of us do not speak so much false. In the future follow me to do. Brother take you to fly. Lin Yan patted Duan De's shoulder. Boss, I love you too much. Duan De's needy hug came up. Lin Yan dodged quickly. I don't like guys. You don't want me to be male on male. Fatty scratched his head. This trait simply matches me too well. I'm a little too excited. Oh, Lin Yan was a bit puzzled. 200,000 armor you attack only comes with 2,000 points of damage only. Fatty's head shook like a rattle drum, nonetheless. Nonetheless, if you know how perverse my master's core skills are, you'll understand why I'm so excited. Tell me about it? Lin Yan came to be interested. There are three songs in the past life mantra. One to transcend. One to stay alive. And one to share the same life. Fatty's face turned serious. This song, same life, can share half of the armor value of friendly units within a certain range. It can share up to six teammates. If I'm surrounded by a few meat shields with super high armor values, then I'll be bursting at the seams with armor and attack power. Lin Yan sucked in a breath of cool air. It was said that the seven heroes of Aurora were perhaps the strongest hero core that the Dragon Xia Empire had ever seen, and that they were even so meritorious that they were scorned by the king of men. Now that he was observing it, what he said was true. Imagine, when fighting, the blind monk had one song and one life, and the armor of the seven heroes of the Dawning Light were all shared. Then how terrifyingly would each person's armor stack up? Facing such seven monsters, the zombie king Evil Chi, who had been a fierce warrior for a thousand years, was crushed. Previously, he was still wondering how a king-ranked creature could be defeated by a hero. Now it seemed that Lin Yan could only lament. The zombie king Evil Chi was really powerful. Try binding me for a bit? Lin Yan laughed. Good. Fatty put his hand on Lin Yan's shoulder, and in the next moment his eyes glazed over. Shocked and speechless. Holy shit. Only after a long time did Duan de react. My armor has directly increased by over a million and forty thousand. Attack power and anti-injury cap have both skyrocketed by fourteen thousand. Boss, you're hiding too deeply. He knew Lin Yan was strong, but he really didn't expect it to be this strong. He could only share half of his armor. In other words, the boss's armor was already close to three million. Ha ha ha, invincible boss. When our brothers join forces, we're invincible. Fatty was dancing with excitement. The two of them, he and Lin Yan, were almost 5 million in armor alone. Lin Yan smiled slightly. Fatty had at most seen the current players and novice village bosses. His eyesight was very low. There was no excuse for having this illusion. In the later stages of this game, there were a lot of various data monsters. 5 million was also worth calling a sentence as terrifying as it was in the early stages. Well, it's time to hit the road. Lin Yan said seriously. Boss, speak properly. I'm afraid, if you talk like this. Fatty was startled. Lin Yan grinned and brought the fatty to find Ching Daozi. You guys have to think carefully. This trip is dangerous. The Willow Demon Clan has means to restrain descendants. If the worst happens, you guys will probably be trapped in the secret realm and unable to return. Ching Daozi said in a deep voice. This is the Thousand Mile Transfer Talisman. Activated if the worst does happen. It can ignore spatial confinement and forcefully allow the user to move a thousand miles away. Don't worry. Lin Yan took the movement talisman. Then he grinned. That said, Fatty, you're so heavy. If I take you along with me to move, will it shorten the distance moved? Boss, no one has such a detrimental mouth like you. Fatty rolled his eyes. This mournful atmosphere of wind sha shao ishue cold is all ruined by you. Put your heart in your stomach. If I dare to take you there, I will definitely bring you back. Lin Yan's voice was reassuring. The Willow Demon Clan he had dealt with a little bit in his previous life. He had a certain certainty before he dared to take on this mission. Otherwise, he wouldn't use his own safety to engage in speculation. Not even with a god-given template. Buzz. Lin Yan triggered the teleportation scroll in his hand and brought Fatty along with him into the teleportation channel. Little friend Yen Di. I'm counting on you. The mage arched his hand in farewell. After the teleportation channel closed, Yuan Tianren's figure also appeared. Don't worry. This kid will never agree to this without a few certainties. Big brother Yuan. Ching Daozi greeted. The first and foremost thing to do now is to guard Bauer. This time, the truth sect has obtained the king's blood, and that creation will soon awaken. Yuan Tianren's eyes were deep. 
With the character of the Big Dipper, even if he knows that Bauer won't wake up, he will still pour out all his means to assassinate it to increase his chances of winning. Hmm. Ching Daozi nodded gruffly. That Yen D kid has his battlefield. We also have our own. Yuan Tianrun waved his robe sleeve. All we can do now is just try our best to fight. After saying that, he stepped out of the door of the house, and with a wave of his sword finger, he chopped off three heads of the religious people hidden on the roof. 2 2. Lin Yan stepped out of the teleportation channel with Fatty. Boss, why do I feel like it's gloomy here? Fatty shivered. This was a bleak forest. The black and purple demonic aura was so thick that the range of vision was greatly reduced. It was full of withered and black decaying willow trees, which were bubbling with thick green liquid, emitting a putrid odor. The willow demon clan isn't like this. Something has changed here. Lin Yan's eyes stared. Then he drank. Not good. Try not to breathe the air here. Eh? Boss? Can you say it earlier next time? Fatty had turned purple and his eyes rolled over. Alerts of minus 500. Minus 500 started popping up on his head. Ugh. Lin Yan helplessly pulled out the waking fan. A treasure given to him by Wang Bauer that could awaken the mind. Splat. A fan pasted on the fat man's face. Giving him a mark on his fat face. Ouch. It hurts Master Fatty. Boss. You're laying a deadly hand on all your brothers. Fatty glared. Hey. Without saying a word. Lin Yan kicked over again. Sending the fat man flying viciously. Pying. The moment the fatty flew out. A vine with bloody thorns ghostly descended from the sky and stabbed into the ground. The entire piece of earth was chafed open by this blow, and dust crumbled. Fatty climbed up with a gray head and muttered, Boss, this kick of yours carries more or less a personal grudge. Lin Yan chopped out his sword, inflicting 100, 000, 000 points of damage to the blood thorn vines in front of him. Finish off these troublesome things first. All right, Duan De held up his anti-injury shield, and with a Tarzan press, he pressed the vines underneath him. The vines struggled madly, but were continuously counter-injured, their injuries getting worse and worse. In the end, without even using Lin Yan's hand, the bloodthorn vine was crushed alive by Duanda. Good lord, this thing has so much experience, I've directly upgraded. Duanda was surprised, he had already advanced to professional by relying on the gold template given by the blind monk. Don't worry, this trip to the Willow Demon Clan will allow you to level up to the full second rank if you're lucky, Lin Yan casually said. Detailed endings of blood-bearing vines. Then frowned, this isn't a creature of the Willow Demon Clan. It seems that the Willow Demon Clan has undergone some changes. He stood up and led Fatty towards the depths of the purple mist. All along the way, there were withered and scorched willow trees, and several times they came across sneak attacks from blood-bearing vines. Lin Yan casually killed them, and the experience beads were all given to Fatty. Too good. Duan de grinned. He had risen several levels along the way. These vines are all leveled at 30 or 40. They're third order creatures. Killing a few of them at random will be enough for you to upgrade. Lin Yan smiled faintly. After walking for a long time, the purple mist gradually dissipated. Finally walked out. It was just too depressing there just now. Fatty spat. Stop. Who are you people? Several slender figures blocked the way. Although these figures were humanoid, their hair was willow branches that swayed with the wind. Graceful and demonic. We are just two mediocre adventurers. Lin Yan said casually. Adventurers? You're lying whether you're lying or not. Outsiders are not welcome in the Willow Demon territory right now. Leave quickly or we'll have to attack you. The female captain of the Willow Demon clan shouted angrily. It's not like we're going in. We're just asking if you have any 10,000 years Willow Wood hearts for sale. Duan De asked bluntly. So you guys are also thieves who were colluded by the Blood Vine Demon clan to plot our clan's greatest treasure. There's no need to say anything. Just finish them off. A few Willow Wood Demon clan members said angrily. Hey, hey. Look what we've come across. The Willowwood Demon Clan's princess? If we capture her alive, Chief Willowwood will definitely agree to hand over Willowwood Heart. Not bad. Just as the Willowwood Demon Clan was about to make their move, a group of humanoid creatures wrapped in blood-colored vines appeared, their eyes excited and bloodthirsty. The female captain's eyes panicked. They were completely outnumbered. She shielded the Willowwood princess behind her, her eyes on guard. In a moment, when we fight, we'll prioritize escorting the princess away. I'll break the back. Anya, Princess Willowwood's eyes were anxious. Choosing to break the back at this moment was no different from sending her to her death. How about we make a deal? Lin Yan proposed from the side in a good mood. You and them are a gang. What else is there to say? Captain Anya glared at Lin Yan. I spoke to you? Lin Yan looked directly at the princess. How about I take you out and you take me to see the Willow Demon Patriarch? Stranger, why should I trust you? Anya frowned. Talk less if you don't have a brain. Duan De couldn't even look at him anymore. My boss is talking about business. Don't yak there. You, 
Anya was furious and her face turned white. Princess, you can't trust them, they are just trying to trick you away. Princess Willowwood pondered for a moment and spread a smile. Fine, I'll believe you, as long as you do what you say you're going to do. Aha, uh -huh. Lin Yan nodded and directly pulled Princess Willowwood to his side, then led the fat man to strut towards the outside of the bar encirclement. The leader of the Blood Vine clan looked dumbfounded, and when he saw that Lin Yan was really going to leave with the princess, he couldn't help but burst into a rage. You take us for granted that we don't exist? This kind of contempt was too humiliating. If you don't want to die, then all of you get out of the way. You're not worth my hand yet, Lin Yan said indifferently. Cluck cluck cluck. The leader of the Blood Vine clan instantly killed over. The blood vines on his body turning into blood shadows as he killed Lin Yan. Lin Yan looked at it indifferently. Since you want to die, fulfill you. He instantly launched his sword. The stacked wave's triple blade combined with the yen blade and the stacked blade, instantly dealing hundreds of thousands of points of damage. The blood vine leader was instantly chopped into several pieces, lying in a pool of blood. Gulp. This terrifying scene caused everyone to look dumbfounded. So strong. The blood vine clan soldiers were all in a cold sweat. The captain was a full-ranked elite, and he was actually killed in a single glance. 2-2. Lin Yan brought the princess with him and walked faithfully towards the outside of the encirclement. Surprisingly, no one dared to stop them for a while. Why are you still standing here? All want to die? Lin Yan looked around the circle, his eyes cold and sharp. The captain is dead. Let's just withdraw first. Right. 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 The warriors of the Blood Vine Clan lost all will to fight, turned around and fled back into the purple mist. Anya looked dumbfounded. Had she just actually yelled at such a terrifying big man? Her face flushed wryly as she bowed her head and left in shame with her men following closely behind Lin Yan. The princess's eyes curiously surveyed Lin Yan, as if she was thinking about something. 2-2. Soon, they arrived at the core hall of the Willow Demon Clan. The patriarch of the Willow Demon Clan anxiously looked at the battle report with a worried frown. Clan chief, the princess has returned. Someone reported. The Willow Demon Clan chief's eyes shook as he stood up. My daughter. You finally returned. Can you bring back good news? Princess Willowwood shook her head. Neither the Peony clan nor the Poplar clan are willing to lend a helping hand. They are both sitting on the mountain and watching the tigers fight. Hoomph, what a way to raise two white-eyed wolves. Normally eating so many of our favors. But when it comes time to use them, they keep pushing back. Although the Willow Demon clan chief was angry, he was helpless. The Blood Vine clan patriarch has broken through to the heroic rank. Although it's only a silver advancement. It's finally stepped into the realm of, heroic, my willow demon clan. It's dangerous this time. Lin Yan listened on the sidelines and had already realized the inside story. The patriarchs of the willow demon clan and the blood vine clan were both originally full-ranked gold masters. However, now that the blood vine clan patriarch had obtained the silver heroic advancement template first and had become heroic, that was why he was ambitious to annex the willow demon clan. And these two are? The willow demon clan chief noticed Lin Yan and Fatty. They are adventurers and my saviors. If it wasn't for them this time, my daughter I wouldn't be able to come back. The princess graciously introduced them. Oh, the Willow Demon Clan chief was incredibly grateful. Two adventurers, a great favor. Do you have any treasures you want? My Willowwood clan will do their best to fulfill them all. Old patriarch, you're weirdly good. We happen to want a 10,000 years Willowwood heart. Do you have one? Fatty directly asked. At this moment, the old patriarch's face stiffened and the whole scene fell silent. Willowwood heart is the essence of my clan's internal nodding. If it is a hundred years or a thousand years, it is still negotiable. The Willow Demon Clan chief shook his head. Ten thousand year Willowwood hearts. Even with the Willow Demon Clan's inheritance for so many years, there are only three of them, all of which are the treasure of the clan, and cannot be exchanged for a thousand pieces of gold. You guys might as well exchange it for a treasure. Lin Yan's eyes flashed. It really wasn't that easy. Hey, old man. Didn't you just say that the Willow Demon Clan was going to be exterminated? What's the point of keeping the clan's treasure when it's almost extinct? Aren't they all still snatched away by the enemy? I love telling the truth. Fatty was straightforward and did not hide what was in his heart. How dare you? Who are you to dare say that? The tiny blood vine clan. We can leave them in ashes in a matter of moments. The several Willow Demon Clan battle generals were incomparably angry. Their eyes spitting fire. You guys are so powerful and you were still beaten by others to go out and ask for help? The princess was even almost robbed? Fatty skimmed his mouth with a disdainful expression. You, the Willow Demon Clan war generals all drew their weapons, itching to fight with Fatty right away. All calm down. The Willow Demon Clan chief coughed, calming the atmosphere. His eyes were deep as he looked at Lin Yan. If you really want the 10,000 years Willow Wood heart, it's not impossible. As long as you can help my clan repel the Bloodvine Clan and avoid the scourge of extinction this time. 
I can naturally gift it to you. He he, clan chief. You don't think that just a few cats and dogs will come out randomly to repel the Bloodvine clan? That's right. The Bloodvine clan is filled with strong people. Just by him? Several Willow Demon clan battle generals sneered. My mind is made up. You guys don't need to say much. The Willow Demon clan chief waved his hand. Then he smiled and looked at Ling Yen. I just received a secret report, which recorded the whereabouts of the Blood Vine clan chief. If you can kill him on the way, you will be considered successful and can take away the 10,000 years Willow Wood Heart. How about it? It's a deal. Lin Yen nodded. However, you need to show your sincerity. The Willow Demon Patriarch nodded and released the quest. Quests were just like the Heavenly Dao Oath in the Immortal Cultivation World. Once broken, there would be a terrible punishment. Lin Yen glanced at the information. Mission name, intercept and kill the Blood Vine Clan Chief. Mission rating, Silver Fifth Order. Mission criteria, successfully kill the Blood Vine Patriarch and bring back his head. Mission reward, 10,000 year old Willow Heart. Task time limit, one day. Lin Yen nodded. If you still feel that you don't trust me enough, I can send my dear daughter, as well as the number one general of my Willow Demon Clan, Anya, to accompany you on the mission. The Willow Demon Clan Chief said atmospherically. Let's do that. Lin Yan nodded and led Duan De out of the Great Hall. Princess Lu Fu glanced at the Willow Demon Clan chief, smiled with a beaming smile, and then brought Anya out of the Great Hall with her. In the middle of the Great Hall, Clan chief, why did you give him such an important secret report? And regardless of whether he is capable or not, it's still uncertain whether we can truly trust him. Several Willow Demon generals asked in doubt. The Willow Demon Clan chief smiled mysteriously. Wait until tomorrow, and you will know everything. Outside of the Willow Demon Clan land, Princess Lu Fu walked alongside Lin Yen, you're really going to intercept the Blood Vine Clan chief? Lin Yen nodded. Not bad. Don't you find it strange? Lu Fu clenched her silver teeth and asked after a long time of agonizing. What's strange? Lin Yen asked with a raised eyebrow and a smile. My father first sent me to risk my life to ask for help. And now he's sending me and you on this kind of dangerous mission. Lu Fu's eyes were firm. Since she had made up her mind to say it, she couldn't hesitate any longer. Oh, so you saw it long ago, I thought you were stupid. Lin Yan said with a faint smile. Lu Fu was confused. Please make it clearer. Lin Yan nodded. This was originally your family matter. There's nothing to gain from it, and I don't care to say more. But since you've talked about it, I'll give you a reminder. You will end up dying at the hands of your father. In his previous life, he had learned some information about the Willow Demon Clan. The head of the Willow Demon Clan would become the Willow Demon King in the future and his most famous deed was sweeping away the eight demonic secret realms and claiming the title of king in a domain. After claiming the throne, he also executed the biggest contributors, his own daughter and female general, Anya. His early acting style was all cowardly and inactive. Once he showed his fangs, he was brutal and swift, so he was evaluated as the most treacherous demon king who could hide his clumsiness. Lu Fu was silent for a long time, then laughed out bitterly. I thought I was the only one who saw my father's disguise. I didn't expect. His ambition to be known by the road already? Lin Yen didn't explain much, just shrugged his shoulders, even if he didn't know about the future. Several times asking his daughter to go on a mission that was no different from sending her to her death. This Willow Demon Patriarch definitely didn't have a good heart. Since you know his ambitions, you should understand that this time, when he asked us to assassinate the Bloodvine King, he must have wanted to use a sword to kill someone. Lu Fu said eagerly. Aha, uh -huh, I know. Lin Yen nodded. You know and still go. Anya finally couldn't hold it in and spat from the side. Boss has his own plan. Don't talk too much, you dumbass. Although Duanda was also listening to the clouds, he subconsciously wanted to dislike Anya. Lin Yen smiled faintly. Could it be that you have some brilliant plan? A hint of ruthlessness flashed in Lu Fu's eyes. Since you even have the courage to kill the silver heroic blood vine patriarch, do you have the courage to kill my father? Lin Yen froze. Good lord, this is really a great filial daughter. This family with a kind father and filial daughter was simply a good model of a new era family. Don't blame me for being unrighteous if he's unkind. Lu Fu's always calm eyes surged with viciousness. He wants to kill me. Why can't I kill him? Do you dare to fuck with me? If it comes to pass, I will naturally give you the 10,000 years Willowwood heart as well. Lin Yen sighed. Helping you is obviously not as big a win as helping your father. Don't you think so? There's no way to impress me with the same chips. Lu Fu clenched her teeth and directly issued a mission to Lin Yen. Lin Yen took a good look at the message. Mission name, Kill the Willow Demon Patriarch. Mission rating, Gold 4th rank. Task criteria, Successfully kill the Willow Demon Patriarch and ensure the safety of Lu Fu's life before she takes over the position of Patriarch. Mission reward, 10. 000 years Willow Heart plus 100 attribute points plus 1 W gold coins. Task time limit, 1 day. 
Hmm, it's something to consider. I'll take it. Lin Yan had his own plans. At this moment, he smiled slightly and took the task next. Good, now follow me back to complete the quest. Lu Fu turned around and was about to return to the clan land. What's the hurry? Lin Yan smiled faintly. Ha, huh, do you still need to make any preparations then? Lu Fu frowned. Of course it's to kill the Blood Vine Clan Chi first, Lin Yan said rightfully. You're playing with me. Lu Fu was furious. There's always a first come first serve when doing business. Without taking the Blood Vine Clan Chief's head back, would your father completely trust me enough to let me assassinate? Lin Yan made up a random reason. He had his own calculations. This. Lu Fu sank her eyebrows, feeling that what Lin Yan said had some truth to it. All right, but, are you really sure you can kill Bloodvine? If you want to live, listen to me. Lin Yan stopped talking nonsense and walked towards the Bloodvine Patriarch's secret route. It's very close. Lin Yan's eyes were heavy as he walked through the purple mist. Now that the Bloodvine clan had fully invaded the Willow Demon clan, the Willow Demon clan's secret realm had been invaded for the most part. That was why it was easy to run into the soldiers of the Bloodvine clan, and as long as they did, they would simply strike, leaving no survivors. Killing these monsters is so profitable. I've risen a few more levels. Fatty grinned. What's this? This time when you go out from the secret realm, you'll be guaranteed to level up to full second rank. Lin Yin sneered. He had already predicted a lot about what was going to happen next. Stop. With a wave of his hand, all four of them stopped in their tracks. As they peeled back the grass in front of them, they saw a traveling camp. It was a temporary garrison camp with high specifications and the ones patrolling and watching the gate outside were all third order elite level warriors. It seems that this is the location of the Bloodvine chief. Lin Yin pondered. You guys don't go out first, I'll go in and explore. Ah, Lu Fu was a little surprised. You, before he could finish asking, Lin Yin had already turned on his cloak of invisibility and disappeared from sight. Stealth, Lu Fu was in a cold sweat. This adventurer, his bottom card was terrifying. Whether it was a stealth skill or a stealth treasure. Both were extremely difficult to obtain. His identity? It's not simple Ah, Liu Fu became more and more convinced that he had found the right helper. 2-2. Lin Yan walked through the enemy camp like nobody's business. The probability of the Bloodvine clan possessing a mind mage was not high, and the demon races all liked to play reckless warriors, and didn't like technical work like mental spells. Soon, he saw the figure of the Bloodvine clan chief in the center camp. He was looking at the map and analyzing the situation of the battlefield, with no one beside him. Ha! Sure enough, Lin Yan smiled faintly and returned behind the grass, revealing his figure. How was it? Duan Di asked in succession. Other than these few elite warriors guarding the gate, there's only the blood vine chief in the tent. Lin Yan said truthfully, Hmph, this blood vine, after advancing to the heroic level, he has no one in his sight and thinks that he is invincible in the world. The traveling camp guard dares to be so empty. It's simply arrogant, Lu Fu said in a cold voice. Nonetheless, Lin Yan shook his head. It seemed that this Lu Fu didn't have a high IQ attribute other than being very filial. In the middle of a march, how can the movements of a party leader be easily probed? The blood vine is clearly deliberately leaking his whereabouts, wanting to lure the enemy in to kill him. Lin Yan analyzed. The ones who came to assassinate him are bound to be the top experts of the Willowwood clan, so he can easily get rid of a lot of scourges. Lu Fu understood a little and said indistinctly. Not bad. Lin Yan nodded. When an assassin completed a stealthy assassination, the damage x10, and if it was then bludgeoned, the damage could be rounded up and doubled again. Therefore, the top assassins trained by the clans had a chance to kill the enemy leader by assassination. Even if they couldn't assassinate, they could still inflict serious injuries, causing them to lose their best condition in subsequent battles. After all, in this game, returning blood was extremely difficult. So what now? Lu Fu was a little alarmed. She hadn't thought of this layer. If she recklessly killed her way in just now, she was afraid that she would directly fall into the Blood Vine Patriarch's trap. First, we'll find the experts he's ambushed around and clear them all out before we make our move. Lin Yan directly said, You two follow Fatty. Let's split into two teams and clean up along the arc from both directions. We'll just be able to clean up a circle when we converge. Good. Lu Fu was now very convinced of Lin Yan. After all, just now Lin Yan had saved her life equivalent. When it was said to be done, it was done. Lin Yan moved straight away. With his experience and intuition, he could easily spot the ambush. Fatty and the others would probably find it hard to clean it up perfectly, but this time it was just to weaken the blood vine's ambush force. Ha, there really is an ambush. Lin Yan crouched in the branches of a tree, looking down at the blood vine generals sitting on their knees, waiting to be killed out, and sneered. A level 60 silver master? Not worth mentioning. He directly flew down. His inferno blade started, 
Stacked Wave Triple Blade combined with the Stacked Blade, instantly hitting out with 500, 000 or 600, 000 output, who, the Blood Vine Master who was waiting on his knees hadn't even waited to stand up, and had just opened his eyes in horror when he was directly killed in seconds, it was a heavenly disaster, sitting down, he was chopped into 5 or 6 sections, with blood pouring out, Lin Yen didn't stop at all and continued to clear the ambush, along the way, a full dozen silver masters were taken out, this is quite a lot of ambushes, Lin Yen frowned, he had cleared most of the circle by himself, and although Fatty's group had 3 people, their efficiency wasn't as fast as his alone, eh, gold master? Lin Yen looked at the demonic man in front of him, the blood vines on his body were fiddling like tentacles, and he was draining the blood of a young girl from the willow demon clan, only level 50, just advanced gold master, he sneered coldly, with a race like the blood vine demon clan, master gold templates were extremely rare, so it was assumed that this person was the son of the Bloodvine clan chief. It's a bit hard to kill him in seconds. Lin Yen frowned. Even a gold master who had just advanced had a million blood. And with the armor. The blood armor value was basically approaching 2 million. Boss, what should we do? Fatty also led the team to clean up at this time and rejoined Lin Yen. Let's go together and see if we can kill him in seconds. Lin Yen said in a deep voice. Sikhan's off him. It's simply impossible. You guys have to know that he's the son of the Bloodvine patriarch. Gold master. Even though he just advanced, his blood armor value alone is nearly 2 million. Anya felt incredible. This value was even more terrifying than her. If it could be killed in seconds, wouldn't it mean that she could be killed in seconds as well? You're talking too much again. Big boobs and no brain. Duwande had always looked at Anya with displeasure. I can provide a magic scroll that can instantly deal 600, 000 points of damage after the explosion. For her part, Liofu was calm and started piecing together the damage values. My past life can cause a control effect for one second, Fatty said in a deep voice, and it can probably deal 100, 000 outputs by pouring all its strength into it during that time. I can only provide 50,000 output. Anya blushed. She, the Willow Demon Clan's number one battle general, was too shabby in comparison in terms of attack values. It was so tempting to find a crack in the ground. Since there are control skills it's good to say, I'll fill in the rest of the damage gap. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Holy shit. Boss, really? Fatty's eyes widened. There's still a million and two hundred thousand damage gaps left. Don't worry. Leave it to me. Lin Yen waved his hand. Do it. In the next moment, the four of them had no more hesitation and exploded. Fatty mouthed the Pathfinder incantation, controlling the Blood Vine Duke. Lu Fu threw a scroll over, and Venom gushed out, directly corroding away at 600. 000 armor. Fatty and Anya arrived and poured their best efforts into bombarding the Blood Vine Duke. Knocking off another 160, 000 of its armor. Who are you people? The Blood Vine Duke's eyes were bloodshot and close to violent rage. However, he had just broken free from his control and blasted out with his fist. An incomparably strong figure then descended. Attack speed potion, poison potion, flame potion, ice potion, potion of blue return, cold shrink potion, stacking knives, stacked waves of three knives, inferno blade, nine lightning flashes, poison armor, counter injury, tread the wind, song in the snow, sharpening iron like clay, sword hero secret skill, sword hero battle spirit. At this moment, Lin Yan's bottom card was fully opened and he struck the most splendid wave of combos since he was reborn. Die. Although the attribute gain and damage gain of a single bottle of potion was small, it couldn't be helped that Lin Yan had a lot of potions. Together with the damage doubling from the swordsman's secret skill phrase, Lin Yan's wave directly dealt over a million damage. No. The Blood Vine Duke was sent flying in midair, taking out his summoning jade token and about to crush it. You don't have a chance. Lin Yan leapt up and slashed down with his long sword. Put. The Blood Vine Duke, who was already only a bloody skin, was instantly chopped into two under this blade. Snap. The two cutoff bodies fell to the ground. Red and green blood flowed straight, and a large number of experienced beads and treasures exploded all over the place. What a sound second kill. Fatty shook his head in awe. The boss's burst damage was simply terrifying. Lu Fu and Anya also looked at Lin Yan as if they were looking at a monster. That wave of maneuvers just now, in their eyes, was tantamount to a god descending from the heavens. The real battle has just begun. Don't froze. Lin Yan knocked on Lu Fu's brain to bring her back to her senses. His gaze looked towards the center camp. Just now, he had executed the nine thunder flash, which must have startled the blood vine clan chief. As expected, in the next moment, around the camp, the formation rotated, and the entire sky suddenly turned into a blood-red color. Thick blood vines grew from the ground of the formation, dancing with bloodlust. A sturdy body walked out from the tent. 
the twisted blood vines behind him emitting a horrifying bloodlight. His gaze was sharp as he looked around. Come out to me. What answered him was a talisman. Boom. The talisman exploded in front of him and flames erupted, burning his face into black carbon. On his head, a dash 40W prompt slowly floated out, laughing my ass off. What's the point of pretending? It's not like you can be handsome for more than three seconds. Poisonous fatty's filler came. Boom. Thunder resounded again. Lin Yan appeared in front of the blood vine in an instant. The inferno blade slashed down, and under the flame damage, the upper half of the blood vine patriarch's body became black carbon. Roar. The blood vine patriarch was enraged, and the blood vine behind him blasted out with extreme speed. Snort snort snort. Lin Yan's next attack was defended by the densely packed blood vines, and he could only draw back, facing a hero ranked powerhouse, although he was strong enough nowadays, he still had to be cautious. This was because after advancing to the heroic rank, one would possess their own core skills, and once they were cast, they were enough to reverse the battle. No hero could be underestimated. He threw out an advanced scrying technique. Blood Vine Clan Chief, Vine Plague. Race, Demon, Wood. Profession, Lawfare Hero. Level, 70. Life, 813W. Armor, 725W. Attack, 127,000. Physical Resistance, 300. Legal Resistance, 300. Equipment, Enchanted Sword. Vine Blood Armor. Thousand Year Vine Boots. Skills, Rotan Shield. Life Seizure. Rotan Iron Whip. Wood Escape Technique. Earth Escape Technique. Wooden Wing Glide. Blood Sea Mist. Air Armor Explosion. Blood Rotan Unification. Deadly Entanglement. Rotan Dragon Blood Killing Technique. Core Skill, Wooden Dragon. Treasure. With a 4 step difference in rank and a level difference of over 60 levels. Is it difficult to fully access its information even with an advanced probing technique? Lin Yan's eyes were gloomy. He was going to take the all spirit bestowal route, and this kind of tiny price was something that had to be born. Above the advanced scrying technique is the eye of scrying, a five star skill like this. The novice village shouldn't be able to get it. Just as he was thinking, the blood vine clan chief, vine disaster, sneered. The willow demon clan chief is still that stupid. Would I let him know my whereabouts so easily? You guys have been tricked. Today, none of you will be able to leave. Lin Yan laughed coldly. This kind of carving trick is only good enough to fool a three-year-old child. It's good for you demon race to honestly be Mang warriors. Don't learn from humans to hook up and fight in vain. Still talking tough at the end of your life. Vine plague roared. My warriors, all come out. Come out. Come. Bar. There was an awkward, prolonged silence, and no one answered. A flash of horror appeared on Vine Plague's face as he looked at Lin Yan incredulously. What have you all done? Stop struggling. Your ambushers were all killed by us. Duan deskimmed his mouth. Then where is my son? My son. Come out and fight alongside my father. Vine Plague was a bit flustered. That was the only candidate for the next generation of Vine Clan patriarchs. Something must not happen. Are you looking for him? Lin Yan sneered and threw out the head of Vine Disaster's son, rolling it down at Vine Disaster's feet. No, my son. Vine Disaster's eyes instantly turned bloodshot. Do you realize that you are provoking a true hero? Just a silver hero. Lin Yan set up his sword. He had long wanted to fight a hero. Die for me. Vine Disaster roared. Since that old devil Willow Demon's people killed my son, I want his daughter to die as well. His figure charged straight at Lu Fu. Lu Fu's face turned white. She had also just advanced to Gold Master. And being close to a hero would quickly be taken out. Hoomph. It's too much to look down on me as a meat shield. Isn't it? Fatty held up his shield of thorns and blocked in front of Lu Fu. Humph, what kind of nameless junior is worthy of blocking me? Vine Disaster laughed in anger. He probed Fatty's level, and it was actually just over 20 levels. It was a laugh. A second-ranked professional. How dare he stand in the way of his 70-level hero? Finding death was not like this. His confidence was incomparably strong. Confident that this blade was enough to take Fatty's name. Pying. The Guan blade chopped on the shield of thorns, and the shockwave toppled the surrounding land. But Fatty was surprisingly motionless. Minus 30,000. Fatty only took block damage because he blocked perfectly. Eat my shield you. Fatty slammed his shield on Bloodvine's face. The counter damage combined with Fatty's attack caused Bloodvine to plummet 50. 000 armor. How is this possible? Vine Plague was smashed blind. As if in a dream. Now level 20 something adventurers are this powerful. It's outrageous. Nima's simply going against the heavens. There's even more outrageous. Do you want to see it? Lin Yan had already killed behind the Vine Plague and slashed down. Who? The Vine Plague was incredibly scornful. The blood vines behind him waved and blocked Lin Yan's strike. He looked at Lin Yan with scorn. This brat was clearly the most terrifying one. As soon as Vine Disaster scanned Lin Yan's information, he almost fell to his knees right then and there. 
ninth level? Crap. One was more heaven-defying than the other. The mind that had originally been swept away by anger suddenly cleared up quite a bit. These two adventurers. They were too evil. He had to be cautious. Or else he was afraid that he would be in the gutter today. Looks like you've cleared your head quite a bit. Lin Yan nodded. Since that's the case, today's good show is about to officially debut. What are you talking about? Blood Vine Pagoda frowned and bellowed. Willow Demon Clan Chief. Are you still hiding in the shadows preparing to snipe and fish? Get the hell out. Lin Yan bellowed, his voice shaking the entire purple mist forest. What? Old monster Willow Demon has personally come. My father came with me. Both Vine Disaster and Lu Fu were shocked. Snort. The wind and clouds stirred. The purple mist was blown away. And the pale figure came stepping on the demonic wind. Jia Jia Jia. It's really thanks to you that you can guess what's in the old man's mind. You adventurers are really prepared. Willow Demon Clan Chief Lu Gue's eerie laughter came out. You really came. Vine Disaster sneered. Your character has always been mediocre and cautious. Why are you suddenly so brave? Knowing that I've already broken through to the heroic rank, you still dare to risk your life. Not afraid that I'll kill you along with you. Kill me? With you? Lu Gue stood with his hands behind his back, his overbearing aura overflowing, completely different from his aura in the daytime. He smiled morosely. I was counting on using your hand to get rid of my daughter, but I didn't expect you to be so stupid as to be fooled by a tiny adventurer. Since that's the case, then you'll all die here together. Lu Gue's eyes were cold and his aura surged. This, what the hell is going on? Lu Fu was baffled. The corner of Lin Yan's mouth quirked. Obviously, at first, it was the Vine Plague that designed to ambush the Willow Demon Clan, and your father planned to use the Vine Plague to prepare to use the Vine Plague's hand to get rid of you, now that he sees the plan fizzling out, he has no choice but to personally take action to resolve all the troubles, he had anticipated that today's battlefield would evolve into this situation, and the real battle had only just begun, Humph, this variation of yours is indeed something I didn't expect, originally this was this seat's seamless plan, Lu Gue looked at Lin Yan angrily, if Lin Yan hadn't ruined his plan, he would have been able to use Lu Fu's death to inspire the unity of the Willow Demon Clan, and rightfully lead all of the Willow Demon Clan in a frenzy of vengeance. He could then use Lu Fu's death to inspire the unity of the Willow Demon Clan, and rightfully lead the Willow Demon Clan to take mad revenge. Such a perfect plan was all ruined by this Yen Di. So what? Vine Disaster let out a cold laugh full of concern. You're just a mere gold master and you dare to hit me. I can crush you with one hand. Lin Yan shook his head helplessly. This Vine Plague was indeed a bit stupid. Lu Gui was so good at holding back and even ended up becoming a generation of kings. It was natural for him to hide his strength. If his expectations were good, Lu Gui was bound to be at the heroic rank by now. Crush me to death with one hand? Willow Gui let out a fierce laugh and grabbed with his big hand. Green willow strips swept out like a sea, carrying a terrifying aura as they slapped at the Vine Plague. Dash 25W. Vine Plague's armor was broken by this strike. The higher the rank, the stronger the ability to hide one's information. And although Lin Yan had the advanced scrying technique, it could only be successfully scried after the hero had turned on the combat state. Willow Demon Clan Leader, Willow Gue. Race, Demon, Wood. Profession, Demon Magic Hero. Level, 70. Life Value, 1305W. Armor, 1100W. Attack, 207,000. Physical Resistance, 600. Legal Resistance, 600. Equipment, Willow Demon Scepter. Treading Willow Boots. Skills, Willow Spring. Life Extraction. Wood Transportation. Earth Transportation. Willow Binding Kill. Heroic Spear. Poison Sprout Parasite. Willow Demon Unification. Demon Willow Jia Boundary. Grass Silence. Core Skills. Treasure. It really is a heroic rank. And it's still a golden hero. Lin Yan's gaze was grave to the extreme. Although he had just advanced, the battle power of a golden hero could be considered a terrifying existence when looking at the Longsia Empire. Vine Plague's face turned white. He just broke through and couldn't wait to kill. Compared to the sophisticated and calm Lu Gue, it was really too much of a slap in the face. People had advanced to Golden Hero, still keeping quiet and sulking. Vine Plague, since you've seen the situation clearly, you should be clear about who is our common enemy. Lin Yan spoke out indifferently. Let's join forces and kill Lu Gue first. Then we'll count the other grudges. The reason why he wanted to come and kill the Vine Disaster first was because he expected that Lu Gue had hidden his hand. If Lu Gue was truly a golden hero, a new force would have to be brought in. A three-way check and balance would make it possible to achieve the ultimate goal. So this is what you're playing at. Lu Gue sneered. Unfortunately, in front of absolute strength, everything is futile. He became one with the ground. His body was like a clear wind, instantly killing in front of the vine plague. His staff smashing down. A terrifying light erupted. 
and countless willow strips extended out from the staff, binding Vine Plague directly. The willows kept locking up, and Vine Plague's armor kept crumbling. Afterwards, Willow Guile instantly turned around and killed in front of Lin Yan like the wind. Bad boy. I'm going to make you regret being born in this world. Lu Gue roared. It was true that Lin Yan's attack power was superb, but he didn't believe that a level 9 adventurer's blood could be as thick as it was. He would go down hundreds of thousands of damage with one skill and kill it casually. Hoomph. Lin Yan's figure instantly disappeared, and 9 Thunder Flash was unleashed. Comparing stance with me, Lu Gue coldly laughed. Earth Escape technique was launched. The body was like a willow wind. Surprisingly, it was not the slightest bit slower than Lin Yan's 9 heavy thunder flash speed, and even vaguely surpassed it. Yen Blade. Lin Yan swung his sword and chopped out, dueling with Willow Gue while moving at high speed. Willow Gue's willows were simply too much, and in order to break through its defense, with his current attack speed, he could only exchange injuries for injuries. Snort snort. A few willows broke through Lin Yan's defense, and if they were to take a hit, it would be hundreds of thousands of damage to say the least. Lin Yan directly threw out Wang Bauer's earrings. This time, when he came to do a quest, Blacksmith Wang had gifted him Wang Bauer's earrings. Bang 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 bang. Dozens of layers of defense shields were generated from in front of Lin Yan, but they were constantly poked and shattered by these willows. Just one attack had broken nearly half of the defense shield. Roar! Willow demon old devil! You deserve to die! The vine plague broke free from the willow binding kill, and the blood vines around his body danced wildly as he chased after them directly offering a masterstroke. Vine Dragon Blood Killing Technique. The many blood vines of his body twisted and turned into a wooden dragon. The blood mist was vast and vicious, wanting to kill Willow Gue with a single bite. Willow Demon Body Protection. Willow Gue's body's demonic aura steamed, transforming into a set of demonic armor. ka -ching. The instant the blood vine would dragon bit on it, the demonic chi armor popped and shattered. Willow Gue's chest cavity was bitten through, and red-green blood erupted causing him to stifle a grunt. Dash 77 W. Even after protecting his body with his demonic chi armor, Lu Gue was still bitten by the devouring bite and lost 700. 000 to 800. 000 armor. Bah. Lu Gue spat out a mouthful of blood and grimly grinned. Vine dragon blood killing technique. Nothing more than that. Lin Yan wasn't surprised. A future king must have a firm and strong heart. Fatty. You protect the two Lu Fu. Next. I can't care about you guys. Lin Yan instructed and charged up once again. Lu Gue, Vine Calamity, and Lin Yan fought together. The three of them were mortal enemies of each other, and their battle strength was extraordinary, instantly turning into a fight that caused dust and smoke to rise up in all directions, and blood and chi to rush into the sky. What a terrifying battle. Lu Fu's cold sweat beaded. Is this a hero level battle? Good boy. To be able to force me to use one of my bottom cards, count you have a few skills. Lu Gue's eyes went crazy with killing intent. Then he pulled out a blood plate from his pocket and crushed it with one hand. Boom! The blood-colored token instantly exploded. And waves of blood-colored waves wanted to vent out in all directions, controlling all of the figures of Tang Disaster and Lin Yan. Die! Willow Gue shouted, his killing intent bursting out, the willow branches behind him transforming into life-sapping sides as he killed towards the two. Lin Yan laughed coldly, taking the uncontrolled potion continuously. His body was instantly out of control and the magic blade thousand blades transformed into a shield, blocking all of the incoming willow branches. Even so, he suffered close to 100, 000 impact damage. Vine Plague was even more unlucky, being controlled for a full 10 seconds, and being knocked out for over 3 million points of damage. Damn it! Vine Plague was flustered, although Lin Yen, this little thief, was low leveled, he had too many messy means. If he wore down, the first one to die would definitely be him. You think you're the only one with an undercard. He directly emptied his blue bar and his body twisted. The blood vines wrapped around his body pierced into his body. And his entire person no longer had a human form. As the blood vines continued to grow on his body. Twisting and entwining with each other. In the end, his entire person actually transformed into a 10 meter huge. Wooden dragon made of blood vines. The core skill of the vine plague. Wood transformation dragon. Lin Yan's eyes stared. The vine plague's dragon roared entangling Willow Gue directly in it, and in conjunction with life extraction, it caused Willow Gue's armor to continuously pop in his body to wither. Hoomph. Life extraction. Poison sprout parasite. Willow Gue had long ago gathered quite a bit of information about the Vine Plague and knew how to restrain the opponent. In the next moment, on the body of the Vine Plague's dragon, all kinds of poisonous buds grew, sprouting green poisonous pus that corrupted the wooden dragon's body. These poisonous buds linked to Willow Gue's body, 
surprisingly allowing a delicate balance to be struck between the loss and absorption of his armor. Buzz. With a thought from Willow Gu A, within a hundred meters around him, willow trees broke out of their buds and quickly grew into large mori trees. These willow branches were extremely long, transforming into countless ropes that tightly bound the vine plague dragon, wrapping one layer around the other. Willow Demon Succession Realm, Lin Yan's heart sank, and the magic blade Thousand Blades transformed into a protective film, followed by throwing out the many life-preserving cards that were seized after the death of the Mind Mage now, constantly resisting the erosion of the Willow Demon Relay Realm. Bang 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 bang, the many defense shields continuously shattered, but they were never completely breached. Humph, little brat, there's still a lot of fancy work, I'll clean you up later. Lu Gui's eyes were cold and silent, if he didn't offer a killer weapon. The Vine Plague should have gotten out of the trap. Grass silence. He waved his staff and offered a surefire killing technique. Snort. The Willow Demon succession realm within a hundred meters immediately began to wither, and a deathly aura filled the air, and all living beings that were tainted with this deathly aura would die along with these grasses and trees. Roar roar roar. The Vine Plague dragon continuously twisted and struggled, obviously suffering great pain. Even though Lin Yan had carried out a perfect defense, under the infestation of the death aura, he was constantly losing his armor, not to mention the vine plague that was now completely bound. Roar! The vine plague's eyes were bloodshot. Many thorns and wooden thorns were generated on top of his body, and he poured all his strength into stirring, finally breaking free and shattering all the willows on his body. He slapped his tail on Willow Gui's body, followed by a dragon swinging his head and slamming it into the sky. Old Willow Demon, I will kill you today. He executed air armor explosion and continuously bombarded the Willow Demon in the air for eight times slamming the willow demon a hundred meters into the air before his momentum dried up. Boom boom. The two of them fell down from the heights. The vine plague dragon's body was covered in corrosive and ragged wounds, and all of its protective armor was shattered. On the other hand, Lu Wei was bathed in blood, and his chest armor was also shattered and collapsed. Although their appearance was miserable, both of them had murderous intent, like two demonic dragons that were fighting to the death. Bah. Lu Wei touched the blood on his face. Is this your bottom card? You can go to hell. He raised his arm high and unexpectedly transformed into a sharp spear. Hero's spear. Thud. He stabbed the spear into the dragon's eye of the vine plague dragon, which had already been severely injured and stiffened, bringing up a sheet of plasma. Almost there. Lin Yen checked. Now the severely injured vine plague only had over 3 million blood left. If he didn't save it, he would have to face Lu Gui alone. Boom. Nine lightning flashes were cast, and he struck the vine plague's head with a fan. The awakening fan's effect was brutally simple, awaken the spirit. This fan was equivalent to giving Vine Plague a dose of stimulant, causing him to instantly perk up and regain his fighting ability. A good template determines the upper limit of the combat level. There wasn't much of a gap between these two before, and just because Lu Zhui was a gold advancement, Vine Plague was basically being pressed and beaten. Lin Yan's desire for a god-given template grew stronger. You control him for three seconds. I'll give him a heavy blow. Lin Yan shouted. He directly pulled out Now's crushing scroll and crushed it with one hand. Buzz. A terrifying spiritual attack rushed out, causing Lu Gui to receive a huge shock and reveal a break. Roar. Now that he could only listen to Lin Yan if he wanted to live, the Vine Plague no longer hesitated, winding Willow Gui under control. Lin Yan exploded with all his might, once again using all his potions and skills, pulling his output to the extreme. Your daughter has prepared nine fifth rank scrolls in order to kill you. Eat them first. He pressed five scrolls onto Willow Guile's face. These scrolls were all secretly exchanged by Lu Fu with a thousand-year-old Willow Heart. She had sensed the crisis long ago and had secretly made countless preparations in order to kill her father. Boom 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 boom. The five major scrolls were connected to a wave of Lin Yan's output that was strong to the extreme, and Willow Gui constantly suffered a huge impact. Dash 120W, Dash 133W. Huge damage value reminders kept popping up on his head. In just three seconds. Lin Yan directly cut down all of Lu Gui's armor values, and all of the equipment on his body shattered. Harlot, bastard, Lu Gui was furious to the extreme. He had been hiding his clumsiness all his life, even advancing to gold hero without saying a word, and at this time, he exploded to his full strength, but he actually suffered such a huge explosive loss. He was furious to the extreme. This bottom card was originally meant to deal with my daughter's counterattack, now it's for you to use. Lu Gui took out a bottle of potion and gurgled it down. The entire person's size skyrocketed several times, and all of Willow Guile's leaves turned into a metallic luster. Dangerous and sharp. Die for me. Willow Gue went berserk. The muscles of his hands popped up, veins bursting out. He poured all his strength into a tear, and surprisingly, he tore the dragon of vine plague that was entangled around him, 
Hard from the center, hand tearing a giant dragon. I've got a good boy. The fat man on the side was trembling as he watched. He originally thought that after he linked Lin Yan and bound out 5 million total armor, he could already stand alone and traverse the divine soil. But seeing today's battle he realized how naive he was. It brought a huge shock to his obese mind. Poo 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 poo. Lu Gui bathed in dragon's blood and threw the dying vine plague on the ground. Stomping his foot and caving in the vine plague's brain. Die. Lu Wei's eyes showed madness as his huge foot pressed down again. About to completely result in vine plague. Stop. Lin Yan's eyes and hands were quick. Instantly appearing in front of vine plague. There was joy in vine plague's eyes. Did he not have to die anymore? The willow demon's heart sank. Fearing that Lin Yan would pull off some more bizarre tactics, his feet slowed down a beat. Let me have the experience all to myself. With joy in his eyes, Lin Yan's attack speed reached the extreme. Stealing a step ahead of him and slicing off the head of Vine Plagues would Dragon Dragon with a single slash. Buzz. The moment he killed the Vine Plague, a massive amount of experience beads gushed out and were collected by Lin Yan into his backpack. Afterward, he collected the equipment and treasures that the Vine Plague had exploded along with them, and then left like the wind. What have you done? Lu Gui was furious to the extreme. After ascending to hero, the demand for experience value for upgrading skyrocketed. And after killing the Vine Plague, he could have obviously upgraded with it. But it turned out that this old 6th Yen D had gotten the jump on him. Lin Yen grinned. Cut the crap and hurry up and fulfill your promise. It's a gift if I don't break you into pieces. What more promises do you want? Lu Gui was so angry that the willows on his head stood upright. The task you gave me, after killing Vine Plague, bring its head to you. Lin Yen threw the head of the Vine Plague to Willow Trick. Now that I've accomplished my task, are you going to break your oath? I'll kill you. Lu Gui was so angry that his eyes turned red. Lu Fu laughed out loud as he watched from the side. Yen Di was capable of disgusting people. I submit a quest and you turn out to be my enemy and refuse to deliver it. That's equivalent to breaking the heavenly Dao Oath Oh. Lin Yen sneered. Put. Lu Gui spat out a mouthful of old blood as minus 3000 prompts kept popping up from his head. How could he carry the treasure of the town clan around with him? Lin Yen grinned. According to the heavenly Dao rules of the divine soil, this situation was considered Willow Gui's breaking of his oath and would bear the punishment. This punishment would only end unless he himself died, or the other party fulfilled the oath. Emperor Yen, is this also in your calculations? Lu Fu looked at Lin Yen with increasing admiration. Next I only also don't need to engage you in battle. Pester you, and in less than an hour, you'll be dead. Lin Yen said blandly, cackling. Ha 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 ha, Lu Gui laughed out angrily. You don't think you're very smart, do you? With my strength, killing you is like killing an ant. I still need two hours. He blasted out his entire body transforming into a purple mist demonic shadow. In his berserk state, his speed was nearly twice as fast as before, and it was difficult for Lin Yan to reach even if he executed the Nine Thunder Flash. However, this was not without a price. The berserking potion corrupted him, and also produced the negative effect of making him deduct 3000 points of blood per second. Looks like you only have half an hour to live. Lin Yan grimaced. Die for me. Lu Gui was completely enraged, and his attacks became more and more frantic. Even with Lin Yan's ability, he could basically achieve perfect defense, but the impact damage of the golden hero in his berserk state was not to be underestimated. In a short one-minute exchange, his armor was washed away by millions. Now do you still think you can survive until the end? Lu Gui laughed maniacally, his eyes maniacal and terrifying. Lin Yan's face was calm, but his heart sank. The Vine Plague was really ineffective. It had just cooperated with himself to take out all of Willow Guile's armor before being taken out. It was really bad to be a toolman, thanks to the fact that he had saved him twice. The golden hero's battle power is too terrifying. Using so many cards, utilizing so many advantages, and exhaustively calculating. Trying to kill him is still difficult and difficult. Lin Yan clenched his fists. Strength. Although his strength was proud of all the players today, he was still far from wanting to stir up the wind and clouds of the entire divine soil. He kept taking potions and flung out all of the vine plague treasures that he had just seized trying to stall for time even at the expense of blowing them up. Snort. He searched for tricky angles and continuously inflicted substantial damage on Lu Gui. However, the opponent's bloodline was simply too thick, and even after a bloodbath, the end was not clear. Boss, I'll help you. Fatty roared out, directly leaving behind the two Lu Gui. The boss was going to be in trouble. Who cared if these two dragons died or not? He directly blocked in front of Lin Yan. I'll buy you time. Boss you output as much as you want. Dewanda's eyes were firm as he held up his shield of thorns, constantly taking damage for Lin Yan. Good brother. Lin Yan nodded, and the pressure was immediately reduced by a lot. Damn it. Lu Gui's eyes flickered. With Fatty joining him, 
his chances of winning were instantly reduced by 30%. Hoomph, everything is under my control. Despite the anger in his heart, Lu Gui remained calm. He looked towards Lu Fu, the corners of his mouth flickering with a bloodthirsty smile. Good daughter, after sucking you dry, there should be time for my father to be able to drag himself back to the base camp. Lu Fu's face turned white, and she subconsciously had to flee. But with her speed, how could she compare to Lu Gui? Almost instantly, she was caught up, and Willow Gui struck out with a staff, the willow strips wrapping Willow Fu and Anya all around. Life extraction. Boss. Fatty panicked a little. If Willow Fu died as well, this 10,000 years Willow Heart would really go down the drain. I'm afraid. Lin Yan sneered and waved his hand. There's no rush. Let the bullets fly a little longer. Lu Fu had been on the defensive against Lu Gui for a long time, and the patricidal heart had been hidden for an unknown number of years, so he must have hidden a lot of means. How could it be only those few scrolls? Even if Lu Fu didn't leave any means behind, we're not in a hurry to strike. It's important to retain some strength, or else if we're also seriously injured after Lu Fu died, we'll be the ones to die. Lin Yan coldly said, you're saying that Lu Fu is also an enemy. Fatty staggered. This kind of woman who has been a patricide since she was a child. Do you think she can be a good person? Lin Yen grinned. Crap now. I suddenly can't play games. Duan dispat. Playing this game, without 800 hearts and minds, you won't even know how to die. These NPCs are all human beings, aren't they? Yen Di save me. Lu Fu shouted eagerly. Her blood was decreasing rapidly. And when she saw that Lin Yen had no intention of rescuing her, her eyes gradually cooled down, and her face lost its panicked color, it's really not easy to deal with. She grinned and looked at Lu Gui. Father, do you think, how much am I like you? Lu Gui's heart jumped, secretly saying that it was not good. This daughter had followed her own stoic character, and this moment she was finally going to show her fangs. Please take it. Lu Fu directly laid out three mission submission requests. What? Lu Gui's eyes jumped and he roared in horror. Those three clans have agreed to support. You lied to me just for this moment to make me break my oath. Again. He came alone this time and had no way to honor his mission promise. And now he and Liu Fu were in a state of belligerent hostility. Minus 15,000. The blood deduction prompt on his head suddenly went from 6,000 per second to 15,000. It's not over yet. Liu Fu threw out a dozen more quest submission requests one after another. You actually started cheating me from over 10 years ago. You've clearly completed all of these quests. Yet you deceived me into failing. Lu Gui hissed. This was a real blow. Minus 50,000. His blood level cut down as far as the eye could see. Madly lowering. It's not over yet. Lu Fu gritted his teeth and spat out a ragdoll, followed by a bite of his silver teeth, crushing the ragdoll directly. Put. Lu Gui sprayed blood around her body, her eyes horrified to the extreme, sinful animal. You also secretly gave me a concentric compulsion. Holy shit. This bitch is too ruthless. Fatty shuddered at the mere thought that he was standing behind such a woman. It's simply demonstrating a hundred ways to commit patricide. Touché. Lu Gui took several steps backward. The concentric compulsion could bind the hearts of the caster and the cursed, and by shattering the concentric compulsion, it could cause both parties to suffer a heavy blow and deduct blood according to the percentage of both parties. Damn it, you don't want to live. Lu Gui exploded with anger. He had more than 10 million blood, and he had only lost more than 4 million by fighting Lin Yan to the death, but he had been taken out by his own daughter in just less than 10 seconds, and he had taken out 6 million. Lin Yan was also staggered. This girl was really ruthless. Normally he was just trying to kill the gold master full rank Lu Gui. The blood with armor would need at most 6 million damage to be enough. But with the scroll she took out before and after plus the backhand, the damage totaled at least 10 million. Whoever is missed by her will have to be peeled off their skin even if they don't die. Unfortunately, Ginger is still old and hot after all. Lu Wei is even older than her by 6, and has secretly upgraded to the gold heroic rank. Lin Yan shook his head. Without the devoted help of himself and Fatty and the Vine Plague, even if Lu Fu had organized herself, she definitely wouldn't have been able to kill Lu Gui. Die. Blood also dripped from the corners of Lu Fu's mouth as she looked miserably at Lin Yan. If you don't do it, I'll really die. Lin Yan narrowed his eyes. My armor has only just started to recover. If you hold out for another 10 seconds, I'll be right there. You. Lu Fu gritted her teeth. You don't want the 10,000 years Willow Heart anymore. Lin Yan indifferently did not reply. At the end of the battle, the competition was who had more determination. Who knew who was still hiding any cards? The more it came to the end, the less careless one could be. My good daughter, it looks like you've finished playing your cards. It's my turn. Lu Gui pulled out his bottom card from his bosom for the third time. A wine jug. Lin Yan frowned and didn't act rashly. Who knew what medicine Lu Gui was selling in his gourd? 
Lu Gui looked around the circle and laughed morosely. With just a few of you stinky fish and shrimps, you still think of killing a true golden hero, childish. He threw the wine jug directly into his mouth, his sharp teeth crushing the jug, and the blood wine inside gurgled down his throat. It's a skill effect doubling potion. Lin Yan's pupils shook as he drank low. That's some insight. Lu Gui cast a sidelong glance at Lin Yan and grinned. You're very powerful, but it's a pity that you chose the wrong opponent. He bellowed. A high-grade skill doubling potion could triple the effect of the next skill he cast, but it could not work on core skills. Willow Tree Spring. He bellowed. Who? The amount of blood grew crazily, and the Willow Tree Feng Chun skill, which could only restore 20% of the life value, instantly changed its effect into restoring 60%. Willow Gui, who had originally fallen to just over 3 million blood, instantly recovered to over 10 million. Tremble. Despair. You mole crickets. Lu Gui roared. Lin Yan frowned. This Lu Gui was truly worthy of being called the king of concealment. There were so many underhanded means. It was simply an unkillable little powerhouse. Good daughter. Just you are the best to kill. You first exchange your life to my father? Willow Gui let out a sinister smile and instantly struck out. Although his blood quantity had recovered to 10 million, he was topped with a blood deduction debuff of 50,000 blood per second. The situation wasn't optimistic, and it had to be a quick battle. Yen Di. Liu Fu cried out miserably. His face was white and he was about to die. Fatty was a little anxious. He knew that the 10,000 years willow heart was important to Lin Yan. If Lu Fu really died, then this operation would definitely go down the drain. Stay calm. Lin Yan's eyes were cold and unmoved, the divine soil being the real world. These NPCs in high positions had all really climbed up by their intelligence and tactics. They didn't die that easily. Damn Yan Di. Lu Fu offered a piece of broken golden bell with a meaty pain. The golden bell rose against the wind surprisingly transforming into three meters in size, ancient and mottled, covering Lu Fu in it. Humph, good daughter, if I don't push you, I really don't know that you've hidden so many good things. Lu Gui coldly laughed, the willow strips on his body swept across, furiously attacking the golden bell. Just in the first instant, his face changed drastically. Minus 194,300, minus 215,789, one by one, huge damage values emerged from his head full anti-damage magic treasure. Lu Gui's eyes glazed over. How could a treasure of this grade be obtained by you? Snort snort snort. The golden bell shook, already broken to the extreme, and was about to shatter completely. He he, so it's a scrap. Lu Gui then sighed in relief. This daughter was too terrifying, and must be killed first with all her might. Otherwise, if she was given time, she wouldn't know what kind of terrifying killing moves she was going to concoct. Kill kill kill. Lu Gui's killing intent boiled over and all sorts of damage was wildly output. After hitting close to 2 million damage, the golden bell completely popped. Lin Yan looked quite distressed. If this golden bell was obtained by him, he might be able to get Wang Blacksmith to fix it. My mom, this sister is not going to judge the golden horse movie star or sparing talent. Fatty shook his head on the side, I really thought she was out of stock. Who knew that she would pull out such a crushing treasure in her hand? City sets are deep. I'm going back to the countryside. Lin Yan nodded. He also wanted to take advantage of this experience to teach Fatty what the way of survival in the Divine Earth was. If he had really gone on just now and spelled out a serious injury to kill Lu Gui. In the end, Lu Fu directly offered this magic treasure to kill him. He would only be killed in return. Die. After the golden bell shattered, Lu Fu was constantly attacked by Lu Gui. Her bloodline decreasing rapidly. She was only a gold master. And after her special means were exhausted, only an ending of being killed awaited her. Do it. Lin Yan let out a low shout, and the nine thunder flash was used, rushing to fend off Lu Fu's attacks in the seconds before she was killed. You're finally willing to come and save me. Lu Fu had anger in her eyes. Lin Yan grinned. I was also seriously injured just now. Now that my armor has just recovered a little bit, I immediately came to save you. Is it easy for me? I say girl, we have to be grateful. Lu Fu rolled her eyes. You didn't even lose a single drop of blood. You kept losing armor and you're still seriously injured, who believes that, Lin Yan was speechless, yes, he hadn't dropped any blood, but the moment he saw him dropping blood, it was estimated that he was already dead, Lu Fu took a long breath and loosened a certain item that she was gripping tightly in her hand, then she took a deep look at Anya who was next to her, the cold sweat on Anya's body also dispersed a bit, and she nodded to Liu Fu, if you want to hurt the boss, first pass the fat master, although fatty's combat skills weren't that high, at least he had learned from the blind monk, and there was also the shield of thorns that Lin Yan had given him, and for a while, he was also tangled up in a fight with Lu Gui, was merely the party that was unilaterally being punched, 
hold out for another minute or so, and he'll be dead. Lin Yan shouted lowly while frantically outputting. He and Fatty's attack power combined. The damage rate was definitely more than 150, 000, 000 tons. Lu Gue had also been holding on to a blood deduction buff, and it was obvious that his life would not be long. Pissed off old man, Lu Gue's eyes were red, his killing intent tyrannized to the peak, remember, it was you who forced me to do this, old pussy head, you still have your fucking bottom card, Duan de PTSD were guilty of spitting with his mouth full of expletives, there will be another chapter in a while, you can add my tomato fan group, you can see it on the homepage, his core skills aren't used yet, be careful, Lin Yan reminded, a hero level character's core skill was his deepest hidden card, got it, Fatty had inherited the mantle of the blind monk, so he naturally knew how perverse the core skills were, and his eyes were filled with seriousness at this time, Lin Yan knew that Fatty had misunderstood somewhat, the seven heroes of dawn, when looking at the Long Xia empire since the founding of the country, could also be called the strongest group of heroes, the core skills of the ordinary golden heroes, compared to the ratio of these few people simply cannot be compared, however, he didn't explain, it was always right to be more cautious, would spirit incarnation, Lu Gue finally couldn't hold back and directly sacrificed his core skill. Buzz. Another Willow Gue instantly detached from his body. Only. This Willow Guile was clearly an energy body and was not solid. Incarnation type skill? Lin Yan's eyes stared. Incarnations could inherit half of the body's values and did not inherit any negative buffs. Luckily, it's not the most disgusting incarnation type core skill. He sighed in relief. If it was a bilocation skill, not only would it inherit all of its own attributes, but its own bilocation would not be considered dead as long as it survived one. Die. Willow Guile plus Willow Guile Incarnation. The attack rate suddenly increased, and the pressure suddenly skyrocketed. Lin Yan's eyes tightened. He still had his bottom card that he hadn't taken out, but if he showed his bottom now, there wouldn't be much of a chance to turn it around later. Lin Yan frowned and yelled lowly at Fatty. Before we left, did the blind monk give you anything good? Use it quickly. Fatty spat. The bad old man was so poor that he didn't have any treasures to give me. Just gave me a few small shifting talismans to use to escape. Why didn't you say so earlier? Lin Yan's eyes lit up as he threw all of the shifting potion. Divine walking potion. Burst potion. Blue potion. Armor increasing potion. And defense doubling potion in his hand to Fatty. Hold that incarnation. Fatty was baffled. What do you mean? I don't dislike old men. Although he spat on his lips. He immediately carried out Lin Yan's order. Ignoring the intense damage and hugged the Willow Guile Incarnation. Use a small shifting talisman. Incarnations are different from doppelgangers. When the main body dies, the incarnation automatically disappears. Lin Yan shouted lowly, you move it away, then immediately run for your life. Drag him for two minutes and it will all be over. There's no way to use the move away talisman in a state of continuous injury. Fatty spat. Do you still have any control means that you haven't used out? Lin Yan hurriedly looked at Lu Fu. If you hide anymore, We'll die together. Anyway, I can still be resurrected after I die. And you'll truly return to heaven if you die. Lu Fu was reluctant, but eventually took out a yellow ceiling paper. This can provide 5 seconds of control. It was supposed to be my last means of escape. So don't let me down. Lin Yan grinned. Don't worry. Inwardly, he spat. I'll believe the hell out of you. You definitely still have oil to squeeze. After saying that, he printed the yellow ceiling paper directly onto the wood spirit transformation body. It's now. Activate the small shifting talisman. Lin Yan shouted. Good. Duanda was quick on his feet. And three seconds later, the minor shifting talisman was activated. He hugged Lu Gue's doppelganger and together they moved and disappeared. No. Lu Gue became even more frantic. And his entire person went insane. He was truly anxious. After preparing so many means and being a golden hero, was he really going to be put to death by these few mole crickets? This is a killing game that has been planned for you for decades. You might as well go in style. Lin Yan let out a long whistle and frantically sparred with Lu Gue. Lu Fu only had one blood skin left, but if he was touched by Lu Gue one more time, his 10, 000 year old Willow Wood heart would completely go down the drain. Die for me. Willow Gue was really using all his cards now. At the end of his mountain, mad to the extreme, Lin Yan's killing spree, coupled with the debuff of 50, 000 blood deductions per second, Lu Gue's blood level was decreasing by leaps and bounds. Lin Yan's situation wasn't optimistic either. Now with less than 800, 000 armor left, it was really entering the final desperation phase. The two frantically sparred with each other, and along the way, I don't know how many trees were knocked down, and the ground was lifted up by the aftermath of the engagement. No, Lu Gue's mournful roar shook the entire dense forest. The battle, finally coming to an end. 
Lin Yan's eyes flinched as his killing chance erupted and he slashed down, to take the last 100, 000 blood of Lu Gue, Buzz, Lu Fu, however, appeared in front of him along with Anya, instantaneous transmission talisman, Lin Yan was startled, instantaneous transfer talismans could only move 100 meters instantly, instantaneous transfer talismans were extremely precious, only the highest echelons of the Dragon Xia Empire like the Seven Heroes of Dawn could get them, otherwise, with Lu Fu's character, she would have long since run away, want to grab a head, ha, Lin Yan sneered, he himself was a veteran of head snatching, so how could he be careless, he had long since prevented Lu Fu from coming to snatch heads, roll, he kicked out, the palm of his foot swept across Lu Fu's face, directly sending her flying, her face twisted, in the next moment, he threw another punch at Anya's chest, flattening all of her chest heaves and flinging her fiercely to the ground, put, the two women sprayed blood from their mouths and looked at Lin Yan with disbelief, they really didn't expect that Lin Yan would still be so wary of them, and that he would strike so viciously. Lu Gu A, your destiny should have been to be a king, but I'm going to cut off your path to becoming a king. Lin Yan killed like a rainbow. I'm not willing, unwilling. Lu Gu A's eyes were bloodshot. At the last moment of his life, the only thing left in his eyes was a blade light. Gulp. The head rolled down and blood burst out. A generation of lords fell. A huge tidal wave of experience speed surged towards Lin Yan, and with a wave of his hand, he put all of the items exploded by Lu Gue into his backpack. Go in peace. Be a good demon in your next life. Lin Yan looked at Lu Gue's headless corpse. It stood there fixedly, unwilling to fall. Lu Fu looked at Lin Yan's back, his eyes raging with killing intent. However, Lin Yan had always just dropped his armor, and she hadn't seen any blood drop until now in the fight, causing her to be incredibly jealous. If it wasn't for that, she would have made her move a long time ago. Congratulations, Lord Matriarch and yet at the side was very insightful and directly knelt down to celebrate. Lin Yan bristled. Lu Gui's body hadn't even gotten cold yet. This bitch couldn't wait to stand on her own feet. His companions haven't returned yet. Should we take the opportunity? Anya took the opportunity to enter in Lu Fu's ear. Lu Fu's eyes flickered. Now she was down to her last card, and the cost was so great that she couldn't accept it. Lin Yan was powerful like a bottomless pit. She couldn't take. Want to kill me? Lin Yan looked at Lu Fu with a snicker. He he. Emperor Yen you misunderstood, just now we also just wanted to go and help you, you overreacted, the light under Lu Fu's eyes flickered, her heart struggling madly, in the end to fight, or not to fight, free gift to walk a bit chanting household people, Jodian New Year's pork sales money are gone, weekly no prize quiz, guess the princess's choice, hey ah, uh, it's really worn out fatty's legs, fatty's voice came from the distance, causing Liu Fu, who had struggled countless times inside, to completely dismiss the idea in her mind, she sighed and made a wise choice. Now that the Bloodvine army was still wreaking havoc in the territory, she as the new leader had to pacify the scourge before she could convince the people. If she used all her cards cleanly here at Linyan, the clan elders within the Willow Demon clan would definitely take advantage of the situation to cause trouble, making it impossible for her to succeed the throne successfully. Emperor Yen, how about you and I make another deal? Lu Fu said. HM, say it. Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. Smart people always get what they want. Listening to the content of the deal wouldn't be a loss. We make an alliance. You help me solve the invasion of the Bloodvine clan, and in the future, the Willow Demon clan will unconditionally go all out for you once. Lu Fu saw that Lin Yan was unmoved, and you'll also get the status of guest elder of the Willow Demon clan, qualified to mobilize resources within your authority at any time, and get permanent access to the Willow Demon clan's teleportation array. Only then did Lin Yan grin. Yes, but there's one more thing. The benefits your father promised me. You have to honor them. Lu Fu's face stiffened. The Willow Demon Clan only had a total of three 10,000 year old Willow Hearts, all of which were clan supporting treasures, and it turned out that they had to give away two of them at once. This is not negotiable. Lu Fu shook her head, her eyes cold. This is originally what your Willow Demon Clan owes me. If you don't give it, I'll immediately join the Bloodvine Clan and destroy your Willow Demon Clan, and the three 10,000 year Willow Wood Hearts will all be mine. Lin Yan had fury in his eyes, with one Willow Heart. You want to exchange me for killing your father and solving the two heroes of the Vine Plague. You're making good calculations. You're being forceful. Anya said angrily. Bullshit. Without my boss you guys would have died long ago. And you still dare to speak up here. Dewanda couldn't stand to watch. He would dislike Anya when she spoke. You. Anya was so angry that her chest rose and fell violently. The place that was originally kicked flat bulged again. Well. Yen Di has a point. Liu Fu sighed. The situation was stronger than the people. In case Yen Di really joined the Bloodvine clan, 
the probability of the Willow Demon Clan surviving was not high. Her dream of being a queen would also be shattered. Two is two. Please move to kill the enemy now. Yen Emperor, she said austere. There's no rush. Wait until I've recovered from all my injuries. Lin Yen and Fatty sat on their knees, chatting with each other. There was no rush at all. Cluck cluck cluck. Lu Fu gritted her teeth. This Yen Di, what an old fart. The district is just an adventurer. It's not like she's someone who was born in a whirlwind of power. Why is it so oily? Princess, what now? Anya said eagerly. Lu Fu smiled faintly. There's no rush. The pioneer tiger swallows the wolf. After the blood vine clan breaks down and we return to the willow demon base camp, the initiative will be back in our hands. Time passed quickly. Lin Yan's armor had returned to full strength long ago, and after carefully counting his harvest and clearing up all his thoughts, he was slowly looking at Fatty. Boss, are we going to do it? We wait so long why ah? Uh, Duanda was suffocating, and had long wanted to kill kill kill. These experience beads are enough for you to get to the full second rank first, so you can upgrade first. Lin Yan flung his hand and flung the experience beads to Duanda. Buzz. As soon as Duanda upgraded, he turned on the team voice, Boss, you this. Lin Yan smiled faintly. Let the Blood Vine Clan and the Willow Demon Clan kill each other first, and then we'll get in after both parties have suffered a great deal of damage. Otherwise, if we clear out the Blood Vine Clan and the Willow Demon Clan flips out, won't we have to go through a lot of trouble again? Holy shit. Boss you're awesome. You shouldn't be playing games. You should go be an emperor. Duande admired immensely. This brain of the boss. It turns too fast. Lufu was in a hurry on the side. With every minute of delay, the Willow Demon Clan would die more clansmen. This Yen Di is clearly grinding his wheels. If he doesn't make a move, we'll be routed. Anya was anxious. Forget about him. Let's go support the front line first. Lu Fu knew Lin Yan's thoughts. But at the moment, she was also unable to calm down. After all, whether or not the Willow Demon Clan could win didn't have much of an effect on Lin Yan. Lin Yan glimpsed that Lu Fu was about to make a move before he stretched and slowly got up. Oops, I was injured too severely just now. And I'm only recovering at this moment. So it seems like there's a bit of a delay. Lu Fu was so angry that she wanted to spit out blood. Just now, watching Lin Yan angry at Lu Gui was so pleasurable. This moment being angry at Lin Yan was so disgusting. All right, hurry up and follow us to the battlefield. Lu Fu didn't want to stay with Lin Yan for a second. She just wanted to send this plague away. All right, Lin Yan grinned, beckoned to Fatty, and then he and Lu Fu supported the front line. In the purple mist battlefield, the shouts and killings shook the sky. Nearly 100, 000 warriors from the two clans had carried out a great duel at the edge of the purple mist woods, and the sound was so great that the battlefield couldn't be seen at a glance. Now that the battle was nearing its end, the scene was incomparably tragic. Blood dyed the purple mist red. Red and green blood converged into rivers, and the ground was filled with densely packed corpses. The Willow Demon Clan's defense line had completely collapsed, and the mutilated warriors fell to the ground, one by one waiting to be slaughtered. The miserable screams and the bloodthirsty circling crows in the sky reflected the battlefield as if it was the end of days. All pull yourself together. The princess is here with the head of the Blood Vine Clan chief. Anya shouted boosting her morale. Lu Fu raised the heads of the Blood Vine Clan chief and his son Hai. The Vine Plague father and son have been executed. The Blood Vine Clan should stop resisting. Immediately surrender your weapons or you will be killed without pardon. The Blood Vine Clan's warriors' livers trembled when they saw this scene. That's really the head of the clan chief. Both the clan leader and the young clan leader are dead. No, these warriors were jealous and grief-stricken. And for a moment, they lost all will to fight. The situation on the battlefield was instantly reversed. Don't listen to her slanderous words of shaking the heart of the army. The Willow Demon Clan's battle line has collapsed. They're desperate to jump over the wall. The Marshal of the Blood Vine Clan ascended to the heights, banging the war drums to revitalize the army. Damn. Liu Fu gritted her teeth. The opponent's marshal's ability to lead his troops in fight was indeed strong. Otherwise he wouldn't have forced the Willow Demon Clan to be so miserable. At this point in the battle, whoever's military heart breaks down first will lose. Lin Yan stood out and grinned. When I go and take that marshal's head, this war, too, will be over. What? Lu Fu's eyes widened. Emperor Yen wanted to take the head of the enemy marshal in the midst of tens of thousands of chaotic troops. Lin Yen no longer spoke anymore. And with a single movement of the Nine Thunder Flash, he killed through the entire battlefield like thunder. All the enemies along the way were slaughtered. Who is that person? The marshal of the Blood Vine Clan had obviously discovered Lin Yen as well. He was simply too strong. There was no one in the middle of the 10,000 armies. The one who killed you. Lin Yen had unexpectedly ghostly killed his way to the pointing platform and slashed at the Vine Marshal with a single slash. Protect the Marshal. The Blood Vine Clan Vine Armor soldiers all surrounded the Vine Marshal. 
fighting to the death to protect him, but after all, they were only third-ranked elite warriors, and Lin Yan killed a piece of them with a random slash, the vine marshal's eyes showed despair, this human's combat power was too terrifying to be stopped, countless struggles flashed through his mind, and the moment Lin Yan's long blade was approaching, he resolutely knelt down directly, please listen to me, on the verge of death, what else do you have to say, Lin Yan asked with a raised eyebrow, the vine marshal was sweating profusely and spoke urgently, you are a human being, not of the willow demon clan, and you do not have any deep hatred with my clan, can it be right, not bad, but I took the willow demon clan's mission, you must retreat, Lin Yan said indifferently, whether or not to kill the blood vine clan, it didn't matter to him at all, completing the mission to take the benefits was enough, the blood vine clan is willing to retreat without reason, the vine marshal firmly said, he instantly analyzed the situation, now that both the Vine Disaster father and son were dead, but the Willow Demon Clan only had the princess come out to hold the big picture, proving that the Willow Demon Clan patriarch was most likely dead as well, and this human in front of him and the Blood Vine Clan did not have a deadly grudge, so it was completely possible to stabilize it first. At this moment, the warring of the two clans were all temporarily halted. Tens of thousands of people were all looking at this place with bated breath. The death or life of the Vine Marshal was related to the end of this battle. I'm perfectly capable of killing you and then killing you all until you retreat in a river of blood. Lin Yan began to perform his traditional arts. Why do you think I'm going to let you all retreat peacefully? The vine marshal's eyes rolled and he grinned. Understood. My clan is willing to offer our clan's greatest treasure, a 10,000 year old blood vine. This is only enough to spare your life. Not enough for the blood vine clan to retreat peacefully. Lin Yan shook his head. Now that the initiative was completely in his hands, it was natural to ask for as many favors as he could. The vine marshal gritted his teeth, thinking that this human was really not easy to deal with. Good. As long as you can make the blood vine clan retreat peacefully, the blood vine clan is willing to enshrine you as a guest elder. Use the resources of authority at will, and have access to the blood vine clan's teleportation array. The vine marshal scrutinized Lin Yan's expression, and finally gritted his teeth and said, The blood vine clan can also unconditionally make a move for you once, with absolutely no reservations. Only then did Lin Yan's face slow down a little. This was basically the highest bargaining chip for a demon race negotiation. Yes, in the end, you will also have to sign a one-year truce treaty. Within one year, you are not allowed to attack each other. Lin Yan added, both the Willow Demon and Blood Vine clans could fight for him once. He didn't want to have these two clans hiccup a clan before he could even use these two undercards. Losing an undercard for nothing. I have no objections on my side. I just don't know if the princess of the Willow Demon clan will agree. Vine Marshal scourged the east and glanced at Lu Fu. Lu Fu's skin smiled but did not smile, nowadays the situation is bound to be human strong, she could not afford to offend Emperor Yen, she could only nod her head, all depends on Emperor Yen to make the decision, good, Lin Yen laughed out loud, then let's swear by the heavens that there will be a truce, and the two sides will stop fighting, the Fuji Marshal stood up and let out a long breath as he and Lu Fu each swore an oath, right, there's nothing in this world that can't be unraveled, your two clans must live in harmony this year and not assault each other oh, Lin Yan grinned as he received the many treasures handed over by Fuji Shui, Emperor Yen, farewell, the vine marshal arched his hand at Lin Yan and did not say much, directly withdrawing his troops, although it seemed like he had lost, he had actually earned it, with the death of both his father and son, vine disaster, he, as the most prestigious existence of the blood vine clan, had pulled in such a strong human guest elder, the next blood vine clan chief was bound to be him, vine marshal, the blood vine clan retreated, leaving behind countless corpses and a mess. Lin Yen, on the other hand, brought Fatty and Lu Fu back to the Willow Demon Clan land, the Willow Demon Clan's great hall. What? Your father is dead. The Patriarch's funeral. What a great sadness. Poof. Cough. Since Lu Gue is dead, the clan cannot be without a master for a day. I think we should elect the next clan leader. A few clan elders accepted it so quickly that they even almost laughed out loud. Then I'll be the one to do it. I have the highest status in the clan and the highest seniority to be this clan leader, everyone has no objections, right? The Grand Elder stood out and asked with a smile. Father clearly said before he died in battle that he would pass it on to me. Lu Fu frowned. What proof do you have? Lu Gui died for no apparent reason. I think it might be you, the rebellious daughter, who killed her father and usurped the throne. The Grand Elder climbed up the ladder indiscriminately, but accidentally guessed the truth. I'll testify. These two human guest elders can also testify. Anya stepped forward. Humph. These two are also foreign enemies, you all deserve to die for colluding with the humans, murdering the old patriarch, and usurping the patriarch's position, the grand elder frowned inside, the rest of the elders were silent, 
smiling as they watched the two struggle. These two humans are plotting my clan's clan suppressing treasure. Their hearts are indeed punishable. The sixth elder, who had been silent all this time, spoke calmly. Sixth elder is right. Not bad. Sixth elder is wise. Sixth elder is deeply righteous. We all support sixth elder's words. Instantly, the many elders who were silent earlier all rose and stood behind the sixth elder. Hmm, the grand elder froze. Didn't we agree to support me? So you're all old six people. These elders all smiled and just stood behind the sixth elder, speaking their minds with their actions. Lin Yan caved in like a fire. A dog that would bite did not bark. The one who had the most power in the Willow Demon Clan and hid it the deepest was the sixth elder. What a clan's old sixth. Duan dispat from the side. The Lu Gui father and daughter, as well as this sixth elder, were all old Inbi. In the mission you promised me before, I had a clause attached to it. You have to keep me safe and sound before I get to the top. Lu Fu even looked at Lin Yan, if I don't rise to the top, you still won't get Lu Mushin. You're threatening me? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. I don't dare. Lu Fu forced down the fire in her chest. She knew Lin Yan's character well. In today's situation, without Lin Yan's help, it was impossible for her to sit on the matriarch's seat no matter what. She took a deep breath. Let's not talk in the dark. Let's make a price. You have a bit too many enemies in the clan. To be honest, this matter ah, it's not too good. Lin Yan grinned and didn't say it outright. All the items captured on the battlefield this time will be returned to you in half. Lu Fu knew that Lin Yan was forcing her to cut her own flesh, and became even more distressed. This condition is only enough for me to kill this old dog. Lin Yan pointed at the Grand Elder. Who are you calling an old dog? The Grand Elder bloomed with rage. He was at least a silver master. How could he be lightly insulted? I said you are you are. Who gave you the guts to retort? Lin Yan's eyes were icy cold as his killing machine erupted and he instantly struck out. He had to make everyone realize that at this moment, he was the big hand that decided the balance of the scales. Showing strong means was the best way to do so. Humph, I don't know what's good for you. Let me teach you. Young man, not to be too arrogant. The Grand Elder struck out proudly with extraordinary confidence. However, the words had yet to fall. His body collapsed in a pool of blood, his shattered body bursting into flames and coloring the entire hall red. The noisy Willow Demon Clan Hall was suddenly as quiet as a pin. Everyone give a 5-star review. Thank you. Gulp. The many elders were terrified. And even the 6th elder who was sitting steadily frowned. The great elder's strength wasn't the strongest amongst the elders, but he was at least a full-ranked silver master. It was actually killed in seconds so quickly. Little friend. As long as you support me as the clan leader and kill the Lufu rebels. I can promise to give you my clan's greatest treasure, the Willow Wood Heart, the sixth elder said in a deep voice after thinking about it, but Lu Fu has promised me too, if you want me to help you, add one more in addition to the request she made, Lin Yan said indifferently, never, the Willow Demon Clan elders were furious, wouldn't that mean that all three of the Willow Demon Clan's clan supporting treasures would have to be given away, what was the difference between this and being exterminated, Yan Emperor, the sixth elder has a black heart and will never agree to what he promised, Please believe me, after this is accomplished, I will give you half of the Willow Demon Clan's treasure. Lu Fu was also anxious and threw out the final bargaining chip. Lin Yan did not answer and looked at the sixth elder with a smile. The sixth elder frowned, then let out a cold laugh. Emperor Yan, I advise you to look at the situation clearly. This is the Willow Demon Clan land. Do you want to fight against the entire Willow Demon Clan with the power of one person? Why not? Lin Yan bristled. You don't think you guys are strong, do you? With his current strength, it wasn't impossible to slaughter the entire Willow Demon Clan if he spared no expense, but that would be a big price to pay, and it would be better to try to make peace. You, the sixth elder's eyes were gloomy, fine, fine, you won't listen to my good advice, so I'll just have to execute you, a treacherous evil of a foreign race, he boasted that he had many cards, and with the power in his hands, he could even fight against Willow Gue. It was too much of a loss to exchange half of the Willow Demon Clan's underpinnings for Lin Yan to kill Lu Fu. In his calculations, Killing all of Lin Yan and Lu Fu should not use half of the Willow Demon Race's reserves. It was a good deal. Start the formation. The sixth elder shouted. Many elders also responded at once. And the Willow Demon Clan's great formation lit up with a roar. With terrifying energy fluctuations overflowing in all directions. Aiming to kill the gods. Lin Yan's eyes turned cold. Then he looked at Lu Fu. You wouldn't have no prior preparations for this situation. Would you? A woman who was able to pit even the concealed King Willow Gue to death. There was no way she couldn't have calculated this step. He didn't want to fight with the Willow Demon Clan. As a clan land, there must be a lot of underhanded means left behind. It would be too troublesome to fight. Alas, nothing can be hidden from Yen D your eyes. Lu Fu held her forehead. It was good to cooperate with smart people. 
but Yen Di seemed to be too smart. It was really headache-inducing. With a wave of her big hand, she directly took away the core control of the Willow Demon Clan's grand formation. Then she raised her willow eyebrows and snapped. Still not making a move. Are you wavering and wanting to take advantage of the opportunity to turn against us? As soon as the words fell, the sound of a sharp blade stabbing flesh came out. The sixth elder's eyes widened in disbelief as he turned his head. Behind him, the most trusted third elder lowered his head and drew out his poison hardened long knife before kicking the already numb sixth elder. You, you, the sixth elder had been scheming for many years, but had never suspected the third elder. And at this moment his brain was blank. Third elder sighed, old sixth, I'm sorry, go in peace. I'm also forced to do nothing. Snort snort. Lin Yan rushed forward with a roar, directly executing the sixth elder who was controlled by poison and unable to move. The sixth elder's head rolled down, his eyes wide open, as if he didn't believe that it was Lao San who betrayed him until he died. Now, who else has objections? Lin Yan asked indifferently. This, the elders of the Willow Demon Clan were leaderless at this moment, so they could only all kneel down. We are willing to listen to Lord Yan Emperor's command. Yes. It wasn't Lu Fu they were afraid of, but Lin Yen, Lu Fu's eyes were complicated, although it seemed that she had won this power struggle, but in fact it was a miserable victory, her power all came from Emperor Yen, it could be said that in the future, Emperor Yen was the real clan leader of the Willow Demon Clan, she was merely a spokesperson, once I inherit the position of clan leader, I can utilize the resources to quickly level up, after I have enough strength, I'll consider regaining the right to speak. Liu Fu pressed down her inner unwillingness and accepted reality for the time being. Whom? Lin Yan nodded. Satisfied. This was almost the best effect he could achieve on this trip to the Willow Demon Clan. Fatty was stunned by Lin Yan's operation from the side. Originally, it was just for a 10,000 year old Willow Heart. But in the end, the boss had directly taken the Willow Demon Clan under his wing. This is too fantastic. The resigned Liu Fu no longer dared to raise any crooked thoughts and honestly went to the inventory to take out everything Lin Yan needed. The clan treasury of the Willow Demon Clan already belonged to Lin Yan in name only. Manage the Willow Demon Clan well. I hope that the next time I come back, you will have already become a hero level powerhouse. Lin Yan instructed Lu Fu after getting all the items. The stronger the Willow Demon Clan was, the better it would be for him. This demon clan would be of great use in the future. Lu Fu will naturally do her best. Lu Fu nodded and personally opened the teleportation channel for Lin Yan. The elders stood behind her respectfully. The ordinary clansmen of the Willow Demon Clan, on the other hand, stood adoringly and gratefully at the end. Lord Yen Emperor, take care, benefactor, come back to see us often. These simple clansmen didn't know what a power struggle was. In their eyes, it was Lin Yen who had saved the entire Willow Demon Clan by saving the day. Otherwise, they would have been under the iron hooves of the Bloodvine Clan long ago, and their families would have been destroyed. Calling Lin Yen a great benefactor was not in the least bit excessive. Lu Fu snorted coldly. Pariahs are pariahs, stupid and ignorant, not only can't you see the truth, but you even worship an enemy with the hatred of taking over your family so much. Lin Yan looked deeply at Lu Fu, he knew that Lu Fu was restless, but now he still had to keep her to maintain the stability of the Willow Demon Clan, he didn't have the time and energy to actually run a clan. Lu Fu, take care of yourself. He patted Lu Fu's shoulder and disappeared into the teleportation formation with Fatty. Lu Fu was almost paralyzed with fear by Lin Yan's eyes and only after confirming that Lin Yan had completely disappeared did she take a deep breath, feeling completely alive. Don't worry Yen Di, I won't let you down. The corner of her mouth revealed a trace of an arc, her eyes deep. Underworld village. The movement of the directional teleportation had long caused Qing Daozi to be alerted. Yuan Tianrun brought Wang Blacksmith and other underworld village executives to stand guard in front of the teleportation channel as if they were on the verge of an enemy. A power that could utilize a teleportation array had at least one golden hero in their ancestry. 2-2. In the next moment, Lin Yan stepped out of the teleportation channel with Fatty in tow. Yuan Tianran was stunned, not having set off with a tattered teleportation scroll. How did he come back and walk on the teleportation array channel? However, now was not the time to wonder about this. Blacksmith Wang hurriedly got together and asked with an incomparably nervous face. This trip, was it successful or not? Fatty flipped his hand, and a 10,000-year-old willow heart appeared in his hand. Once the willow would heart left the willow demon clan's treasure trove, its life force would continuously drain away, and its energy must be preserved by fatty's core skill. When they saw this item, Yuan Tianran and the others let out a long sigh of relief. I didn't expect little friend to really do it. Qing Daozi understood the difficulty of it the most and sighed with emotion. That was the willow demon clan's clan suppressing treasure. How could it be handed over so easily? The twists and turns and difficulties of the process were afraid that only Lin Yan himself knew it in his heart. 
Old man Yuan, you almost pitted me to death this time, you must give me a statement. Lin Yan was furious, splitting his head to first raise a wave of accusations. What is the meaning of this statement? Yuan Tianran was dumbfounded, completely unaware of what was going on. See for yourself. Lin Yan submitted the quest. When we set out, it clearly said that it was a silver fifth order quest, but halfway through, it turned into a gold fifth order one. Ah this, Yuan Tianran's pupils shrank, his heart in shock. Surprised, in order to prevent another mistake of midway mission upgrade, he had leveled this mission to the highest, how come the result was still low? What was suspicious was that for a gold fifth order quest, at least one gold hero or ten silver heroes had appeared during the completion process, then how did Lin Yan complete this quest? The corner of Lin Yan's mouth picked up, taking advantage of the opening in Yuan Tianren's brain CPU being burned out to capitalize on his victory. All in all, the benefits you promised me before were definitely not enough. I'm risking my life this time. At the very least, two legendary weapons will do. These words directly scared Yuan Tianrun awake, shaking his head repeatedly. Two legendary weapons. You really dare to ask for it. Old man Yuan, are you planning to renege on your debt? Lin Yan frowned. Cough. No. Two pieces of legendary equipment are forgiven for not being able to agree. You can mention something else. I'll try my best to compensate you. Yuan Tianrun coughed. Very embarrassed. This kid PUA really had a hand in this, clearly knowing that he was knocking on the door, but you still couldn't pick any faults. Then, casually give me four more skill upgrade books, Lin Yan opened his mouth and justified himself. Yuan Tianren stretched out two fingers, two books can't be more, it's so happily decided. Old man Yuan you're really too fair. Lin Yan grinned, in his expectations, it would be good to ask for one book. After all, skill upgrade books were very hard to get in the early stages. Ha! Yuan Tianran knew that he had returned a low price, but he wasn't annoyed. After all, without Lin Yen, Lu Muxin would definitely not be able to get it back. And in the hearts of several of them, Wang Bauer's life was worth more than all treasures. This is a piece of legendary equipment that was originally promised to you. Yuan Tianran handed over the equipment and the upgrade book to Lin Yen. Elder Yuan is quick. Lin Yen was so satisfied that his address changed. I also have an eyebrow on the news of the remnants of the Book of Truth. It will be fully finalized by night. Tonight at 10 o'clock. We'll meet at the village chief's house. Blind monk said in a deep voice. Good. Blacksmith Wang nodded repeatedly. Itching to go up and hug blind monk. Then I'll go cultivate first. Lin Yan stretched his back and said so with his mouth. But his body was honest as he first came to the blacksmith store to look for the silly girl. Lin Yan. You're back. Xin Yu Wei pounced over at once. After hugging her for a while. She reacted. Her little face as red as an apple. Missed me so much? Lin Yan joked and laughed. Aya, you were gone for two days. How could I not want to? Xin Yu Wei scratched her little face, then clumsily began to change the topic. Hey, by the way, I learned a lot of forging techniques from Uncle Blacksmith in the past two days. Here, this ring is for you. Lin Yan took Xin Yu Wei's ring and clicked on the details. A magic treasure that can provide a 200, 000 armor defense shield? Lin Yan was a little surprised. Wang Blacksmith had been delving into forging for decades and was still a hero-level powerhouse, and the treasure earrings he had created for his daughter could only provide a million armor. It had only been two days since Xin Yu Wei had created a magic treasure that could provide 200, 000 armor. Forging genius ah, I can't believe I didn't develop this divine potential of hers in my last life. That's not right. Lin Yan brainstormed the image of Xin Yu Wei swinging a sledgehammer to forge equipment. Ha, or forget it. The image is too beautiful to imagine. What are you thinking about? Xin Yu Wei flickered her big eyes and asked suspiciously. Ahem. Nothing. Lin Yan grinned. I also brought you a gift oh. Really? What is it? Xin Yu Wei was surprised. Lin Yan took out nine arrows from his backpack. The Willow Demon Clan's top magic treasure, the Willow Demon Arrow. Xin Yu Wei took them and probed the information. Her eyes lit up. These nine arrows can all come with an armor-breaking effect of equal value to the attack power. The arrow speed can also be plus ten. Most importantly, the nine arrows are connected by the same breath and can automatically return after hitting the target. What a strong arrow. Lin Yan smiled slightly. The Willow Demon arrows were the top magic treasures of the Willow Demon clan. There were only nine of them in total. And all of them had been moved out by him. Thank you Lin Yan. Xin Yu Wei was so overwhelmed with emotion that she couldn't help but peck Lin Yan on the cheek. Lin Yan immediately felt refreshed. The hard work of fighting in the Willow Demon clan was not worth mentioning. He just wanted to hug Xin Yu Wei. But it turned out that the little girl had already shyly turned around and ran away. Lin Yan scratched his head, knowing that he couldn't eat hot tofu in a hurry. So he had to turn around and go fuse equipment. Boss, you're looking for me? 
Fatty grinned. Obviously he had gleaned a lot of benefits from the blind monk this time as well. Looks like the harvest wasn't small. Lin Yan snickered. It's all from the boss you learned. It's called near ink is black. Ah uh, no. It's near Zhu is red. Fatty scratched his head and smiled sarcastically. Since I've helped you so much, now I'm looking for you to do a small favor. You won't disagree, right? Lin Yan grinned. Fatty felt a chill run through his body. This trip to the Willow Demon Clan had given him a higher level of understanding of Lin Yan's darkness. Boss don't laugh. I feel like nothing good is going to happen when I see you grinning like that now. Don't worry. It's good. Lin Yan smiled slightly. As you know, releasing skills more often can increase skill proficiency. And if the proficiency is high enough, you can have the skill starred. Right? Aha. Fatty nodded cautiously. Then today you'll be my sandbag. I'll chop you up a bit and help you raise your defense skill proficiency. I've taken great pains for your growth. Lin Yan patted the fatty's shoulder in a serious manner. Surely nothing good. Fatty was speechless. Boss you actually want to improve your attack skills right? Lin Yan coughed. It's really hard to coax a son when he's older. My inferno blade and stacked waves three blades experience values are indeed almost full. We're helping each other and benefiting each other. Lin Yan narrowed his eyes and smiled. Really? Fatty muttered. Why don't you cut young Vivian and mutually benefit with her? Nonsense. You're the only one here with thick skin. Who else can block my slash? Cut the crap and start practicing. Lin Yan grinned and directly slashed towards the fat man's head. Agu, boss you hit really hard. The fat man was beaten up inside, but he couldn't fight, so he had to carry it honestly. Buzz, it's finally rising stars. Lin Yan's heart fluttered. The experience of the Inferno Blade and Stacked Waves Triple Blade was already at a critical mass, but every time he hit out with a set, it was hundreds of thousands of points of damage. Other than Fatty, there really weren't many people who could withstand such attacks. All right, that's it for today's special training. Lin Yen grinned. I'm going to practice. You cheer up too. 6. The fat man gave a hand gesture to Lin Yen and then ran away in ashes. Although he muttered on his lips that he would never participate in such things in the future, he was looking forward to it in his heart. After all, fighting against Lin Yen, the combat skills rose very quickly. It wasn't too much to call it top level teaching. At least it was much better than his own master. Blind Monk. Skill Star Rising Book. Use. Lin Yan used the two Skill Star Rising books on the Inferno Blade and the Stacked Waves Triple Blade. The higher the rank, the lower the success rate of Star Ascension. So he wasn't going to take the risk of using the Star Ascension books to ascend the 9th Thunder Flash. For Star Ascension of skills below 4 stars, the basic success rate was 100%. With 3 stars ascending to 4 stars, the success rate plummeted to 50%. Buzz. Skill Star Ascension Successful. The prompt came. Lin Yan checked the details of the two skills. Stacked Waves 3 Blades, 3 Stars. Swing 3 Slashes in 1 second. Each slash increases damage by 50%, and doubles attack speed for 1 minute after it's cast. Special, every 3 times it is cast, there must be a blast. Mana Consumption, 80. Cooldown, 1 minute. Inferno Blade, 3 Stars. Swings a Flaming Blade Aura with an attack range of 10 meters which comes with flame damage equal to the attack value. After dealing effective damage, it can inflict 10, 000 points of burn damage per second on the target. Mana consumption, 90, cooldown, 1 minute. The boosts are all great. Fighting hero level enemies again. In terms of skill quality, it's not false. Lin Yan stroked his chin. It was the number of skills that was a bit low in comparison. It seems like we still have to go blackmail old man Yuan and the others for a wave of skills. Although the Willow Demon Race also had skill books, they were either exclusive to the Demon Race or the star level wasn't very high, so they didn't help him much. Next, it's Equipment Fusion, Lin Yan said in anticipation. This time, when he went to the Willow Demon Clan, he had harvested an extremely large amount of equipment, and just the captures from the battlefield were enough for him to fuse for a while. This legendary equipment? Lin Yan took a closer look at the equipment that Yuan Tianrun had sent out. Surprisingly, it was the upper body armor of a sword magnate. In that case, I'm close to having the sword magnate's equipment set. Lin Yan's heart fluttered. It was important to know that sword ho sword had a characteristic. The more sword ho set parts that were collected, the higher the armor absorption ratio would be. Fusion. The equipment continued to fuse in his hands until the moon was over. Time to go to the meeting. Lin Yan glanced at his attribute page. ID, Emperor Yan. Race, human, yellow. Profession, warrior. Level, 9. Life value, 400. Armor, 1000 W. Attack, 150025. Armor break, 1000. Physical resistance, 1330. Normal resistance, 1325. Movement speed, 8. Attack speed, 2. 7. Mana, 400. Blood recovery speed, 0. 
5%, blood suck, 0, 5%, strike, 11%, armor adsorption, 1000, equipment, soft hedgehog armor, white, armor plus 570W, physical defense plus 500, legal defense plus 500, anti-damage plus 5000, soft hedgehog pants, white, armor plus 350W, physical defense plus 500, legal defense plus 500, anti-damage plus 5000, swordsman helmet, legendary, armor plus 100W, physical defense plus 118, legal defense plus 118, snow treading boots, legendary, armor plus 6666666, physical defense plus 200, legal defense plus 200, movement speed plus 5, magic sword thousand blades, white, attack plus 150, 000, strike plus 10%, Attack speed plus zero. Five. Ultimate artifact, unique, effect unlimited fusion equipment, fourth order. Skills. Stacked waves three blades, three star, inferno blade, three star, nine lightning flashes, three star, advanced scrying technique, three star. Abilities, none at the moment. Treasure, seal of life and death. Cloak of water avoidance. Cloak of invisibility. Waking heart fan. Armor breaks ten million. Physical defense and legal defense are also over a thousand. Lin Yan grinned as he counted his gains this time. The strike rate has also finally broken 10, and the armor adsorption has reached 1000. In conjunction with the 3% armor adsorption provided by the muddle into one phrase, I can now recover 5, 500 armor points with every slash. And, this fusion of the sword magnate upper body armor also provides a particularly perverse phrase. Lin Yan tapped on the sword hero self healing phrase. Sword heroic self healing recovers 1% of armor value per second, together with this trait. My armor recovery per second has directly reached 10 W+. Plus. Lin Yan's heart surged. Even if he faced a heroic powerhouse, he wasn't weak at all anymore. Recovering over 100, 000, 000 armor per second. Even if you were heroic, your attack power would be almost at this level. If I go to the Willow Demon Clan this time and have this configuration in panel, killing Willow Guile won't have to waste so much effort at all. Lin Yan clenched his fist and felt a huge amount of power, which made him incredibly confident. With his combat experience and with this panel attribute, he was definitely considered number one in the Longxia Empire. Keeping up this pace, after three years, how strong will I be? Lin Yan's heart raced. After collecting his thoughts, he arrived at the village chief's residence. Yuan Tianren, Qing Daozi and the others were waiting here. Yo, you two are also here. Lin Yan looked at Fatty Duanda and his oldest brother Lin Feng with some surprise. Fatty was fully leveled when he came back having been gifted the third order gold template by the blind monk, and had now reached level 31, advancing to elite professional. I'm now teacher's personal disciple, so of course I'm qualified to participate. Fatty was respectful in front of the blind monk, not looking the least bit miserable as he spat on the blind monk. Well, Lin Feng was just about to say something. Lin Yan then waved his hand. You don't need to speak. Of course he was clear about what position Lin Feng had in Qing Daozi's heart. When they first met Lin Feng's talent had almost scared Qing Daozi into a heart attack. After taking on an apprentice, Lin Feng could be said to have been treated as a darling in Qing Daozi's heart, and any benefits and resources were poured into him furiously. Even if Lin Feng didn't go out and fight monsters, he was now a level 35 elite professional. This is the treatment exclusive to geniuses ah. Lin Yan lamented. Let's not talk too much and get straight to the point. Qing Daozi spoke with a serious face. I found the exact news of the Book of Truth asterisk remnant pages, and three days later, it will be at the Black Iron City Trade Fair, to be publicly auctioned off. P.S. Family members, after reading the point for love power generation, free gifts to send ah. Five star praise is too little law. Until now has not opened points. Point a little five star praise law thank you thank you. Black Iron City? Lin Yan frowned. Black Iron City was located at the junction of two empires. A neutral free city. A zone of unregulated territory extremely chaotic, many forces mixed in it, speaking of a free trade, it's the only place like this that could possibly have the remnants of the book of truth flowing out, Qing Daozi nodded, if something like this kind of heavy treasure was found in the two major empires, it would have long since been monopolized by the imperial relatives, and there was no way it would have a chance of falling into the hands of anyone else, although Black Iron City is chaotic, this might be our last chance, Yuan Tianrun nodded his head as well, now that we're being held back by Bauer in the altar, Neither of us can leave, so we still have to trouble little friend Yin Di to make a trip. Without saying a word, Lin Yan directly reached out his hand. The corner of Yuan Tianrun's mouth twitched. Why are you kids so skillful? Don't nag. Quickly pay. Saving Wang Bauer isn't something I do alone. Lin Yan straightened up. I'll do it I'll do it. 
Wang Blacksmith was eager to save his daughter and handed his gold card directly to Lin Yen. This gold card has 1 million gold coins in it. You can spend it as you please, as long as I can save my daughter. I'm willing to spend it all. Lin Yen staggered. Blacksmith Wang was really rich, worthy of being a blacksmith. A million gold coins right out of the gate. Although it was possible that this was all of his savings, as expected, each of these old grease balls was an invisible rich man. They had to be squeezed hard to make it work. I also have half a million gold coins here. Blind Monk, as the trading market administrator, although he was poor before, he had collected a lot of player protection fees during this period of time. 9 gold coins for one player. 10,000 players would be 90,000 gold coins. I'm obsessed with practicing martial arts, and I haven't saved much money. This money is my entire savings. Take it all and spend it. Wu Baihua atmospherically took out a gold card with a $300,000 limit. Black Iron City is not like other places, where being able to buy items through auctions is just the beginning. Being able to successfully leave Black Iron City is what counts. Ching Daozi shook his head. There are anti-space shift prohibitions within the Black Iron City. It's hard as hell to get something and run away. Several people were silent. Indeed, money was the easiest trouble to solve in Black Iron City. And the hardest part was whether or not they would be able to take the treasure out of Black Iron City alive after it arrived. Then what should be done? The big deal is that the altar will not be guarded. I'll carry Bauer on my back and accompany ND. I'll see who can stop me. Wang Hao, in Black Iron City, Wang Blacksmith's killing machine boiled over, his domineering aura leaking out. As a member of the strongest hero group in the Longxia Empire, he was qualified to say these words, even though I'm old. A mere Black Iron City doesn't have that ability to snatch things from my hands. For the sake of his daughter, Blacksmith Wang simply disregarded everything. Shut up, Yuan Tianrun frowned. Have you forgotten what the biggest resistance is that restricts us from leaving the village? Blacksmith Wang was suddenly speechless his eyes containing endless killing intent as he looked towards the east. Back then, they had sued for their old age to return to their hometown to be the village guards of the underworld village in order to rescue the princess who was under house arrest. However, the imperial family of the Longxia Empire was still terrified of them and strictly ordered them not to step out of the underworld village. Therefore, the Aurora hero's greatest resistance was not the truth cult at all, but the imperial family of the Longxia Empire. Once a few of us old things dare to walk out of the underworld village, what awaits us will be a bloodbath. In that case, the forbearance and sacrifices we made back then would all be for nothing. The blind monk's voice trembled, and although he was persuading Wang Blacksmith, he still couldn't hold back the blazing fire inside. Damn it! Wang Blacksmith roared, his eyes bloodshot. What about my daughter? I managed to retrieve her with great difficulty. My daughter absolutely cannot die. If she dies, no matter what price I have to pay, I will bloodstain the Long Xia royal family. Wang Hao, calm down for me. Yuan Tianran drank heavily. Although they were strong, they still had the heart to face the royal family of a powerful empire. But where there was a chance of victory, back then, they wouldn't have chosen to be so regressive and tolerant. Just when the atmosphere was dull and depressing, I did come up with a plan. But I just don't know if you, Emperor Yen, have agreed to it. Ching Daozi looked at Lin Yen in a deep voice. Please speak, Lin Yen said in a polite tone. This old brothers were now immersed in the sadness and indignation of that year so it was better for him to go along with the fur. In the next three days, I will pass on my core skills to Lin Feng, and when you get the remnants of the Book of Truth, Lin Feng will begin to cast spatial forbidden spells over the level. Ching Daozi whisked his beard. I'll meet you at the Underworld Village Teleportation Array, so I should be able to tear apart the spatial forbidden spell of Black Iron City. However, there is one requirement. That is, you guys have to last through at least 10 minutes of siege. Small point. Lin Yan nodded. I thought it was much of a big deal. Although your mission is only to last through 10 minutes, perhaps the dangers you face are even more vicious than last time. Ching Daozi was honest, Black Iron City is not like the Willow Demon race. It's a mixed bag of fish and dragons, and there's no way of knowing what kind of ruthless characters are mixed in there. Even if a few heroic powerhouses who want to kill and seize treasures pop up in the auction venue, it wouldn't be surprising. Lin Yen grinned. Don't worry, as long as your side is reliable, there's no problem. After this wave of reinforcement, he wouldn't even frown even if he encountered an old six golden hero like Lu Gui again. Golden heroes were counted in both empires. Several of them couldn't just pop up all at once in a small black iron city auction. Take me with you. With my armor boost, I can last longer. Fatty volunteered. Can do. Lin Yan nodded. Master, it doesn't have to be three days. I've seen your core skills. I should be able to see it if you perform it three more times. Lin Feng directly said. Sister Bauer's condition is getting worse. We can't delay. We'll leave tonight. Ching Daozi froze at his words and shook his head with a smile. Apprentice. Ah. 
I know you're a genius, but this core skill of mine, I dare say it's the strongest in the entire Dragon Sia Empire of heroic level mages, its power is no less than a forbidden spell, master you can cast it as much as you want, Lin Fang's gaze was firm, Ching Daozi shook his head, this disciple of his, he was still too young, he simply didn't know how high the mountain was and how deep it was still, alright, master will show you a hand, Ching Daozi nodded his head, it was normal for young people to be a bit proud, but they also had to refrain from arrogance, with a wave of his big hand, the space around his body collapsed and then extended, eventually, it transformed into a spatial bubble, my core skill for dream bubble, with a body of the heroic rank, I can dabble in spatial spells and be unique in the world, Ching Daozi's face was overwhelmed with pride, spatial spells were far beyond what a heroic rank mage could touch, however, he was superbly gifted and had hardwired it, and when he first cast it, it shook the entire mage world, he kept casting it, and it hadn't even been 10 minutes, Lin Fong then nodded and waved his big hand, and under the fluctuation of mana, a small space bubble derived from around him, inside the village chief's hut, there was silence, Hmm. Ching Daozi's Taoist heart was unstable, and he almost had a spatial bubble riot, luckily, Lin Yan was quick on his feet and slapped his awakening fan on the back of Ching Daozi's head before he woke him up and collected the spatial bubble, I'm dropping a good boy, Ching Daozi circled around Lin Fong in disbelief, when he had cast a spatial forbidden spell as a hero, he had been recognized as a wizard that would be hard to come by in a hundred years in the mage world, his own disciple, a level 35 elite professional, just looked at his core skills for a few moments and cast it straight away, that had to be rated as what, a thousand years, no, just a divine talent that would be hard to come across even in 10,000 years, originally I thought that even with your genius, it would take three days to learn my core skill, I didn't expect I didn't expect, Ching Daozi fell into a demented murmur, everyone in the entire room was dumbfounded except for Fatty, who had no heart and liver pressed to understand what this meant, and Lin Yen, who was not surprised by this, Ching Daozi, I know that you've taken in a genius, but this is also going against the grain too much, this talent is pressingly unreasonable, I think that in less than three years, he'll be able to achieve the position of Dharma King, Yuan Tianren, Wang Hao, the blind monk, and Wu Baihua several sized up the two brothers Lin Yan and Lin Feng as if they were looking at monsters, these two brothers, one exploded to kill gold heroes at level 9, and one realized the space forbidden spell at the third rank, one was more heaven defying than the other, simply off the charts, good, good good good, Ching Daozi gradually turned from unacceptable to ecstatic, Lin Feng's talent was even more outrageous than what he had brainstormed that day, before, even if he had bragged he wouldn't have dared to brag this much, but it turned out to be realized by Lin Feng, ha ha ha, in the future, I will have a disciple of a Dharma king, or even a Dharma saint, I'm destined to go down in history, Ching Daozi looked up to the sky and laughed, he had no wife and no children in his life, all for the sake of pure Dharma, to climb to the highest peak of Dharma, unfortunately, that battle broke his foundation, preventing him from further forging the bones of a king, however, old age had received such a talented disciple, he saw in Lin Feng the hope that his life's long cherished wish could be realized, and tears were almost flowing down his face from laughter, all right, all old guys with injuries on their bodies can't be overjoyed, keep it in check, don't break down laughing, Yuan Tianrun was also happy for his old friend, but he was also afraid that he would die from laughing, so he hurriedly smoothed out his breath for him, since it's ready, we can leave tonight, he changed the topic in a row, Lin Yan shook his head, I say, old man Yuan, aren't you forgetting something, now that there was a solution and the atmosphere had turned favorable, he resumed knocking on the door, eh, Yuan Tianrun slapped his head, oops, look, this is so happy that I forgot for a while, he dawdled and pulled out a gold card from his pocket, cough, this is, 20,000 gold coins, Lin Yan looked at him with a look of contempt, old man Yuan, you're playing with me, a big village chief, so stingy, Yuan Tianrun's face darkened, you think maintaining such a large village doesn't cost money, raising so many people a day to drink the northwest wind, all these years we weren't even allowed to go out of the village, we all relied on eating our old money, it's good to have these 20, 000 gold coins, Lin Yan was speechless, Yuan Tianrun, who should have been the wealthiest, was actually the poorest in the Heroes of Dawn, simply a model clean and good village head, all right, the mission funding has been given, what about the mission rewards, Lin Yan asked, the money looked like a lot, but it was actually used up in one auction, after all, the book of truth wasn't cheap, moreover, even if he couldn't use it all up, the cards would have to be returned, and at most, he would use the money inside to buy some of his favorite treasures again, alas, it's just that, Yuan Tianrun breathlessly gave the quest information, 
Quest, retrieve the Book of Truth asterisk remnant pages. Rating, Silver Fifth Order. Requirement, bring back the Book of Truth asterisk remnants within three days and hand it over to Mage Ching Daozi. Reward, Legendary Equipment, Swordsman's Lower Body Armor. Lin Yen grinned. I knew you still had Legendary Equipment. Next time just do it. After saying that, he didn't drag his feet. Taking Lin Feng and Duanda with him, he headed out of the underworld village. Black Iron City didn't provide any spatial services. The internal space was sealed and there was no teleportation array, so if you wanted to go there, you could only walk there. Using this as an excuse, Lin Yan extorted hundreds more appropriation talismans from Qing Daozi. Brother, isn't it a bit too extravagant to use a movement talisman to catch up? Lin Feng scratched his head. I just found a reason to ask for these appropriation talismans. I didn't say I was going to use them. Lin Yan rolled his eyes. Boss, a black heart still depends on you. Duan De compared thumbs on the side. Itchy skin wants to spar with me again? Lin Yan glanced over. Cough cough. Boss is wise and swift thinking. He's simply our moral model. Duan De immediately straightened up. All right, hurry up. It'll take at least two days to get to Black Iron City from here. Lin Yan smiled. The underworld village was originally located in the middle of the two empires of Longxia and Roland. It wasn't too far from Black Iron City. This kind of borderland, where both empires were constantly testing the waters and there were warring conflicts all year round, was deserted and uninhabited. Along the way, there were quite a few roadblock bandits and stragglers, but those who could go and become bandits were not very strong. A cottage could have a few masters, even if they were big bandits that shook the party. In front of Lin Yan's trio, this amount of strength was simply not enough. Although their levels didn't seem high, they were all perverts. The thieves and bandits they encountered along the way were all easily wiped out by them, saving up quite a few experience beads. This law and order is also too chaotic. Walking all the way made Fat Master directly rise to level 43. Duanda was speechless. Yeah, the junction of empires has always been a miserable war-torn place. Lin Feng had also killed his way to level 45. Lin Yan smiled faintly. It's not much. It's mainly because when we ran into roadblockers, we just directly took out their lairs in a row. That's why we upgraded so fast. It's estimated that the mountain strongholds and bandit nests along the way have been almost eliminated by us. We're also considered to be doing the people a favor. Lin Feng nodded his head. Killing bandits in the past two days made him feel quite a bit like a warrior. 2-2. The three of them entered the Black Iron City and went straight to the most luxurious inn. The best private rooms. Three of them. Swipe your card. Lin Yan waved his hand. Very atmospheric. After all, it wasn't spending his money. Seeing that a big customer had come. The waiter was also very attentive, listening to the busy waiter. Wait. A lazy voice came. Lin Yan sank inwardly. Was there going to be some kind of vicious robbing VIP room session? He turned around and was seeing a handsome gentleman who was as plump as Jade and held a rocking fan in his hand. Something wrong with you? Lin Yan asked with a frown. Seeing that brother and sister are generous and atmospheric, I think they must come from an extraordinary background. And Mr. Li Xian has specially come to make friends. The handsome male arched his hand and smiled. Not interested, Lin Yan shook his head. Black Iron City was a mixed bag of fish and dragons. It was always right to be careful. Coming to Black Iron City at this point in time is definitely running towards the auction. The handsome male was confident. I have exclusive information about the auction here. I think brother will be interested before. Hmm. Lin Yan's footsteps lurched as he looked at the handsome male. Make an offer. Brother Tai is really bold. The handsome gentleman shook his folding fan and extended a finger. 10,000 gold coins. The asking price is not low. Lin Yan frowned, if it's not worth this price, you'll have to bear the consequences. Of course, the handsome male nodded. This is the list of items for this auction, as well as the various forces that have their eyes on these items. He walked over and lowered his tone, but looking at your aura, old brother, you must be running towards the grand finale lot this time, the remnants of the Book of Truth, right? Lin Yan glanced at him coldly and did not make a statement. The handsome male nodded, that would be correct. The Book of Truth involves the legendary God-given template. As long as you gather three of them, you can get the guidelines and obtain a divine gift template. Not to mention you, brother, even the royal families of the two great empires are salivating. The fact that this kind of heavy treasure can appear in the auction is all due to the special nature of Black Iron City. Hey, with just this bit of information, it's not worth 10, 000 gold coins. Lin Yan naturally knew about the remnants of the Book of Truth. It was about the Divine Providence template. Even if there was no such thing as Wang Bauer, he would still come to Black Iron City. Naturally. So what if I tell you who the powerful people who came to fight for the Book of Truth are, as well as their intelligence weaknesses? The handsome male grinned. Hmm. Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. Deal. The handsome male nodded and grinned. 
There aren't many forces that have the qualifications to set their eyes on the book of truth, and if they don't even have a golden hero to back them up, they would never hit on it. Those small fishes and shrimps are not to be feared brother, there are only these three people you should pay attention to, Long Xia Empire's Long Qi Jin, Roland Empire's Stana, and Truth Sex Grand Protector, eh? Lin Yan's pupils shrank, these three have all come to Black Iron City. Long Wen Jian is the golden forbidden guard commander of the imperial family of the Long Xia Empire, also known as the strongest person of the new generation of the Long Xia Empire, and has now stepped into golden hero. Stana is the third princess of the Roland Empire, who received the attention of the sea god on the day she was born, and is now also a golden hero, and Long Wen Jian is the absolute double wall of the two empires. As for the grand protector of the truth cult, he was a veteran powerhouse. He had been traveling between the two empires in his early years and was extremely mysterious. Moreover, he has been promoted to Silver Hero for more than 10 years, and now his level is at least 80. This is their specific information. The handsome male took out a secret letter. Pay with one hand, deliver with the other? Lin Yan nodded. For all three of them, in his previous life, he had only heard about the background of their stories, but had not fought them. There was no knowledge of their intelligence weaknesses, especially the great protector of the truth cult. If they were truly above level 80, they would completely exceed the probing range of the advanced scrying technique. Knowing the intelligence in advance is very important. Then, I'll see you at the auction. After selling the intelligence, the handsome male didn't drag his feet and waved his hand before bidding farewell. Lin Yan went to sleep after studying a wave of intelligence. The next day, Lin Yan brought Lin Feng and Duan Di into the auction venue. This was the largest auction in Black Iron City and was personally controlled by the Black Iron City's main family. To be able to maintain such a huge free and neutral city-state in the area where the two empires met, the Black Iron family's origin and identity could be imagined. In the Black Iron City, only the industries under the Black Iron family were protected by security and never allowed to struggle. As long as one went out of the Black Iron family's properties, even if one fought on the streets, no one would care. It was just like a junction's earth emperor. It's outrageous that the two empires would allow such a city to exist. Duan de staggered. Lin Yan smiled faintly. The reason for this was known to him, there weren't that many conspiracy theories, nor were there any complicated causes. It was simply because of the Black Iron family. There was a King Rank powerhouse who had surpassed the heroes. King Rank was a watershed. It was extremely difficult to promote, and there was basically no possibility of being able to challenge beyond the King Rank. Even the strongest group of heroes in history, such as the Seven Heroes of Dawning, who had killed the zombie king Wicked Chi against all odds, were all celebrated as legends. Having a king rank powerhouse was equivalent to a power possessing a nuclear weapon. No one would touch the mold of such a power. What luxury! Being in such a chaotic barren land, a huge city that rose up from the ground with opulent auction giant towers, it made people feel like they were in a dream. Lin Yan took out his gold card with millions of savings and sat directly in the VIP seat after checking his funds. On the VIP seat, Long Wen Jin, Stana, and the Great Protector sat next to each other. Their faces calm and steady, but all of their muscles were tense their chi secretly fighting against each other. Lin Yan's arrival broke this silent confrontation. The gazes of the three all looked over, clearly surprised. To be able to sit in the VIP seat meant that one had at least a million gold coins and credentials. Daring to bring a million gold coins to Black Iron City. A bit interesting. Never seen him before. Also running for the remnants of the Book of Truth? The three of them sized up Lin Yan with different thoughts. Lin Yan didn't pay any attention to them, just sitting peacefully at the chief. Buzz. The trio's tentative aura pressed over. Lin Yan frowned, his eyes turned cold, and his aura transformed into a strong wind around him, annihilating the three people's auras. It really isn't simple. The three didn't dare to underestimate Lin Yan anymore and stopped trying. Duanda and Lin Feng sat in the back row of the VIP seats. A fringe benefit for VIPs. The auction started soon, while Lin Yan closed his eyes and rested his mind. The small fishes and shrimps in front of him weren't interesting. He wanted to make sure he could buy the remnants of the Book of Truth. As for the other treasures, he would wait until he was out in a while and see if he had the chance to grab some. Lot after lot was auctioned off. They were all rare treasures outside. Enough to see the gold content of this auction in Black Iron City. Next lot, the remnants of the Book of Truth. The beautiful auctioneer on the stage twisted her mature thin waist and raised her voice a few points. Here it is. Lin Yan opened his eyes. His expression serious. Long Wen Jian and the other three also straightened up. No longer lethargic. There is no need to introduce the great name of the remnants of the Book of Truth. This is the gift that the three gods left behind in the world. The beautiful auctioneer's vermilion lips gently opened, seductively moving. For every collection of three of these pages, one will be able to receive a clue guide for a god-given template. 
I'm sure the adults present must be impatient. The auction will now begin. Reserve price, 1 million gold coins. Ooh. Even after hearing the great name of the Book of Truth's remnants, the auction venue still erupted into shouts of surprise. None of them had expected that the starting price alone had reached such a terrifying level. Gulp. Many people had bloodshot eyes. Such a top-notch treasure. If one could seize it in their hands, then a lifetime of glory, wealth and prosperity, soaring to great heights, need not be said ah. In Black Iron City, committing a crime was not a crime. One and a half million gold coins. Long asked as he faintly called out the price. The red-eyed patients in the arena with high desires shriveled up when they saw Long Ask's figure. Even this one has come. It seems that this treasure is not destined for me. Who would be stupid enough to grab the treasure with a golden hero? You have to know that it's not a crime for you to commit a crime in Black Iron City. But it's equally not a crime for someone to kill you. 1,800,000. Stana, who was on the side, raised her card. 2 million. The great protector of the truth cult followed closely behind. As the price was called, the discussion in the arena grew louder and louder. Obviously all were shocked by this monetary attack. Lin Yan also sank his eyebrows. Two million dollars, equivalent to the purchasing power of two hundred million in reality. These people really did spend money without blinking. For the possibility of a divine providence template, they were willing to throw away thousands of dollars. It could be imagined that they didn't feel any pain at all when spending money, and it was estimated that they hadn't scavenged the people's wealth in normal times. Soon, the price was shouted at $2,800,000. The smell of gunpowder between the three people was getting stronger and stronger. Lin Yan rubbed his chin. The seven heroes of dawn could think of a means to run away. These three people all had strong backgrounds. Once the remnant pages were in their hands, it was estimated that they could run away at once. Looks like money can't be saved. He directly raised his card and joined the competition. On the way, Lin Feng gave Lin Yan Chang Daozi's gold card. The amount in it was huge and Lin Yan didn't feel any pain at all when he spent it. Although Cheng Daozi's family looked poor, he was an invisible tycoon. He was once the chief mage of the Long Xia Empire, and casually crafting a high-level magic scroll could sell hundreds of thousands of gold coins. It could be said that the gold coins in the pockets of the other six Dawn heroes combined were far less than his alone. This gentleman, what is your offer? The delicate female auctioneer asked. I don't want to dilly-dally. Let's hammer it down. Five million gold coins. Lin Yan opened his mouth for seconds. The entire room clamored. Who is this kid? With such a wild mouth. Five million gold coins with one mouth. My ass yeah. Two great empires dare to refute the face of two great empires. Bullish. Many people looked at Lin Yan. Their eyes rolling. Long Chi Jian and Stana represented the two great empires. No one dared to mess with them. The great protector had been famous for many years and was powerful. But this kid was young and nameless. Even if he killed and seized the treasure. The forces behind him had no reason to raise hell. Humph. Stana's face instantly darkened. She had felt that things had changed when this strange youth had just appeared, but she really hadn't expected that Lin Yan would be so financially powerful. Are you trying to rob the treasure with my role in empire? She questioned. Lin Yan smiled faintly. So what if I am? Treasures go to those who can afford them. If you don't have the money, get out yourself. Don't pretend to be a pussy in front of me. Good guy. This little brother is so hard. I like it when it's this hard. Stana even dares to dislike him. He really thinks his life is too long. The venue whispered. I don't know which family young brother is after. Looking at your appearance, you should be from my Long Xia Empire, right? The sword broad starry eyed Long Wen Jin smiled. His chest was full of confidence. This remnant page of the Book of Truth is needed by the imperial family of the Long Xia Empire. Our Long Xia Empire has always emphasized loyalty to the king and the country. To love the country. What the royal family needs is what the country needs. As a member of my Dragon Xia Empire, you should think more about the country and solve its problems. Lin Yan coldly swept a glance at Long Wen Jin and sneered. Scram. Everyone froze. This kid. Neither from the Long Xia Empire nor the Roland Empire. It was courageous. The great protector watched from the sidelines. Although the truth religion was financially strong, it couldn't be compared to the two empires. And for the sake of a remnant page of the Book of Truth, taking out two to three million gold coins would be the end of the line. Now. The only way was to watch the show and wait for the opportunity to snatch it. Long Wenjian's face instantly turned cold, there is no king's land under the sky. Do you know what the consequences of talking to me like this are? Lin Yan smiled faintly. Oh, then I would like to ask. Is Black Iron City your king's land? Is the land of the Roland Empire your kingdom? Long Wenjian was choked speechless. Shut up if you don't have any money. And if you give me these big hats again, I'll chop you with a sword. Lin Yan said indifferently. Auctions? It was all about momentum. You had to make people believe that your financial strength and backbone was unrivaled before they would lose their minds to compete. Well, 
Hello, Long Wenjian laughed coldly, other than the royal families of the two empires, no one has managed to teleport freely in Black Iron City. You dare to take the treasure from me. I'd like to see if you can walk out of Black Iron City alive. He was so angry that he directly stood up, waved his robe sleeve, and turned around. Hey, a loser with no money and a stupid mouth. He broke defense and ran away when he couldn't say anything. Duanda was on the verge of falling down laughing at the side. You, Long Wenjian really wanted to go on a killing spree right now, but the Black Iron family was the emperor of the land in Black Iron City, and he couldn't afford the consequences of breaking the other side's rules. You what you? I love telling the truth. Fatty was furious and continued to make up for it. Oomph, Long Wenjian's killing spirit boiled over. As long as you dare to step out of the auction, I will immediately take your heads for treason. Lin Yan looked at Long Wenjian's figure as he walked away angrily and let out a cold smile. The empire's absolute double wall is this? This wall has no money to run away. You wall, do you still have to sit here? Lin Yan asked Stana snidely. Oomph, wait for the ordination. Stana gritted her teeth and glared at Lin Yan. Young man, you're very courageous. The Grand Protector gave Lin Yan a thumbs up. Unfortunately, you're going to die in my hands in a while. Pity, pity. He smiled grimly and followed Stana out of the auction. The three great powerhouses all left the field one after another, and there was no more suspense. There was no longer an existence on the scene that could throw away millions of gold coins just for a single remnant page. Lin Yan had logically taken the residual pages of the Book of Truth. After the auction ended, Lin Yan brought Fatty and Lin Fong to wander around the auction tower again. The auction was over and there was a trading session. Many people would bring their treasures and take advantage of this big auction to trade. This blast fruit is good. I'll take it. An elixir that permanently increases physical defense? Bring it you. Lin Yan went on a shopping spree. The gold card would have to be returned to old man Yuan and the others once they returned to the underworld village. Taking advantage of this opportunity, of course he had to go on a crazy spending spree. Just as the travel expenses for this business trip, bought quite a few things ah. Uh, Lin Yan felt very happy with his crazy spending. However, his bravado also shocked many people. And many people came over to take the initiative to befriend Lin Yan. It was assumed that he was the son of some hidden great clan, or a lucky protagonist who possessed some kind of heaven-defying opportunity. Ha ha, well said. Lin Yan naturally came to the table. But if he wanted to make friends with him, then he had to show it first? In this way, by knocking on the door, Lin Yan's own gold card has credited close to 100. 000 gold coins again, spending other people's money and earning his own interest. How can one say it's cool? Almost done. Lin Yan was satisfied, and after wreaking havoc on a few gold cards, he took Fatty and his brother out of the auction. As soon as he stepped out of the auction, a horrible killing intent came over him, like a mountain pressing down on him. Lin Yan didn't panic in the slightest, flinging out a bunch of defense scrolls that he had just spent a huge amount of money on, forming countless protective shields in front of the three of them. Lin Feng's hands weren't slow either, immediately casting a spatial forbidden spell, wrapping the three people in it. Boom boom boom. All three people's attacks were extremely sharp and terrifying. The defense shield kept shattering. Ten minutes is only enough time to kill one person at most. Who to kill? Lin Yan's eyes constantly shifted between the three. According to the intelligence, the great protector of the truth sect was the weakest, and was likely to become an enemy of the underworld village war soon. Logically. The one who should be killed the most was this old piker. But, who let you carry a heavy treasure? Lin Yan licked his lips and looked at Long Qi Jian. Of these three, the one that was the most cost effective for himself was instead the dragon questioning sword. As long as I explode the dragon questioning sword, my attack power can go up a notch. Lin Yan's eyes were firm as he blasted his way towards the dragon questioning sword. Snort snort. His sword was like a gale as it landed on the dragon marked sword. It instantly dealt hundreds of thousands of explosive damage. Long Wenjin's eyes stared, and the dragon marked sword in his hand glowed, good boy, struggling at death, it's useless, the melee of several heroic level combatants caused the streets to pop up, attracting countless people to watch, good guy, before we can make a move to grab it, these big guys can't help themselves, looks like there's nothing left for us to do, those who were hiding in the shadows and plotting against each other were all a little disappointed, in their opinion, facing three top tier powerhouses surrounding him, Lin Yan was bound to die, Die for me. Lin Yan's means came out in full force, pulling his output to the maximum. Various potions and skills worked together, hitting an output of up to a million in a second. It's just cool to use skills after they've been start up. A flaming blade light rushed out of the sky, shocking all three of Long Changjin's men away. So strong, Long Wenjin's eyes showed shock. He was the one who had faced Lin Yan's frenzied attack straight on, and felt Lin Yan's frightfulness the most profoundly. His battle power was definitely at the golden hero level. 
Want to bite the bullet and kill me alone and force a one for one? It's useless. Long Wenjian shouted lowly. Lin Yan glanced at Long Wenjian's blood level. Dragon Summer Imperial Guard Leader, Long Wenjian. Race, human, yellow. Occupation, Long Ming Swordsman. Level, 70. Life value, 1300W. Armor, 900W. Attack, 307,000. Physical resistance, 600. Legal resistance, 600. Equipment, Dragon Sword. Royal Servant Chief Armor. Skills, Cross Sword Slash. Dragon Sword Chi. Berserk Sword Technique. Core Skills. Treasure. The data that can be seen is too little. Fortunately, I bought the information in advance. Lin Yan was calm in his heart. In that wave just now, he had cut down the opponent's armor by more than 2 million. Oomph. Long Wen Jin sneered. How dare you show off your skills even if they're trivial. Let's see my sword decapitate you. Treasonous traitor. He waved his big hand and a terrifying sword she rushed out from his sword. Buzz. Like a tidal wave of sword energy surging in. The ground of the street was plowed with deep scratches. Boom. Nine thunder flashes. Lin Yan instantly disappeared from his spot and appeared in front of Long Wen Jin. Stacked waves three blades. The two battled against each other. And Stana and the Great Protector joined the siege. The sword chi that was dodged swept against the auction tower. Cutting a terrifying crack that was seven to eight meters long. Long Wen Jin. You're such a fool. Damaging the Black Iron family's items gives them a reason to intervene in this siege. Stana let out a sharp burst. Long Wen Jin frowned. He hadn't even expected Lin Yan to possess such an advanced stance that he could dodge this strike. Shield of Thorns. Fatty also saw Lin Yan's intention and blocked behind him. Raising his anti-injury shield. He ate all of Stana and the Great Protector's attacks. Now that Lin Yan's armor was breaking 10 million. His blood armor value was also extremely high after he shared his armor. And for a while these two couldn't break his armor at all. This one is also this strong. Feeling Fatty's terrifying return damage. The two were immediately taken aback. Fatty's armor had skyrocketed now. And the damage returned in proportion to his armor had also skyrocketed. Both of them felt some small counter injury shock. Boom. Lin Fong cast a spatial forbidden spell with one hand. And with the other hand he still had the strength left over to cast a precision grand spell. With the forbidden staff gifted by Lin Yen. The damage was extremely terrifying. Where did these three guys suddenly appear? The three great powerhouses all frowned. The battle power of Lin Yan's trio had reached the silver hero level for the weakest of them. It was impossible for this kind of powerhouse to be silent and unknown in the Longxia Empire. And as a result, three of them appeared all at once. And they were all so young. I actually thought about robbing these three just now. Quite a few people felt chills running down their spines. They and the god of death were just a thought away from each other just now. Damn it. Under the entanglement, Long Wenjin's armor had all been cut off by Lin Yen. However, he hadn't even finished breaking through the layer after layer of shields on his opponent's body. Lin Yen grinned. He hadn't fought such a rich battle yet. It was a complete money-burning fight. He then smashed all the many scrolls he had purchased. Boom 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 boom. A dozen or so high-level scrolls instantly blew up several million drops of blood from Dragon Questioning Sword. You've angered me. Long Wenjian was furious. He also stopped thinking about the consequences. And his eyes turned bloodshot. If he didn't offer a killing move, he would die here. Dragon Tattoo Whistling Killing Sword. Energy surged around him, and a terrifying sonic attack emanated from the Dragon Tattoo Sword. As if it were a dragon's roar, any onlookers who weren't far enough away were blown away, spitting blood and flying backwards. Bang 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 bang. The sound wave attack shattered all of Lin Yan's defense shield. Long Wen Jian held his long sword and spat out a three-foot green blade. Sharp to the extreme. About to cut Lin Yan in half. It's a shame to run out of scrolls. Lin Yan revealed a look of regret. Then he flung out his hand and offered two ear pendants. The ear pendants hummed and transformed into a defensive shield of a million armor. Long Wen Jian almost spat out blood from anger. This old six. Just how many underhanded backhanders does he have? Snort. The power of the dragon tattooed whistling killing sword was truly terrifying. A top tier treasure with millions of armor only managed to fend it off. Who? Long Wen Jian's eyes were bloodshot with anger. Up until now in the fight. He hadn't even not to drop off Lin Yan's armor yet. Ah! He roared out in sorrow and anger. He had never fought such a suffocating battle since he was born. Breaking defense if you can't beat it, you really can't do it with this wall. Lin Yan shook his head. The dragon marked sword is really dusty in your hands. It's better to give it to me. Sword heroic will. Sword soul manifestation. Buzz. The powerful sword hero's shadow merged with Lin Yan, doubling his attack power and doubling the effect of his skills. With every slash. A terrifying sword chi streaked across. The hundred meters of the battlefield was completely turned into forbidden land. And even the black iron city guards who came to stop it knew better. Who dared to enter the forbidden area where hero level characters were fighting. Pure and simple death seeking behavior. 
You forced me. Long Wenjian's face twisted as he was hacked down to only 3 to 4 million blood. Blood-stained dragon soul. He cast his core skill. The amount of blood was immediately absorbed by half of the dragon tattooed sword. And all the attributes around his body skyrocketed by three times. The surface of his body shattered and blood gushed out. Transforming him into a blood-soaked dry corpse. Die. His already 300. 000 attack power was now able to deal over a million points of damage with a random skill. Lin Yan was also defiant. He directly fought Long Wen Jin for blood. Snort snort snort. Blade light and sword shadow. The sword chi and blade chi that flew out from the two of them fighting each other all chopped up all the stores on both sides of the street and turned them into rubble. Blast fruit. Lin Yan obeyed the blitz fruit that would inevitably blitz his next 10 attacks. Dash 120W. Dash 35W. Dash 119W. Dash 36W. Terrifyingly high numbers of armor and blood deduction prompts emerged from the tops of their heads, making one's legs go weak as one watched. The final fight to the death was so fast that it could be described as a lightning bolt. It was over in just 10 seconds. Who won? Everyone's eyes were heavy as they looked at the center of the engagement where dust and smoke had risen. There, only one figure was left standing. Who who? The gusty wind blew away the smoke and dust. In the gazes of the crowd, the person standing held the dragon-marked sword in his hand, his body bathed in blood. Was the final bloodbath really won by the dragon questioning sword? Worthy of being one of the absolute double walls. It's not like just anyone can come out and kill him. Many understanders rightfully nodded their heads, their tones certain. When the dust and smoke completely dispersed, Lin Yan stood proudly with the demon blade thousand blades in one hand and the dragon sword in the other, clad in enemy blood. And at his feet, the dragon questioning sword had long since been turned into a mess of flesh and mud, with only a head rolling down. Shit, Long Wen Jian is dead. One of the imperial double walls was actually hacked to death on the street. Black Iron City is in trouble. After many sensitive people were stunned, great fear welled up in their hearts. Long Wenjian's status in the Longxia Empire was extremely high, and his accident in Black Iron City would definitely cause the Longxia Empire to be furious. A bloody storm is approaching ah. This kid is really bold. How dare he really kill Long Wenjian, Stana and the Great Protector, who were tangling with Duan De and Lin Feng. Froze, a golden hero, not even 10 minutes old, had been hacked to death alive. Even though the kid was using a kryptonite flow fighting style, this would still be a serious event that would rock both empires. What? You two want to die as well? Lin Yan grinned and looked towards Stana and the Great Protector. Gulp. Now that Lin Yan had freed up his hands to fight three against two, the two of them really didn't have much of a chance of winning. However, due to their face, they couldn't turn their heads and flee. So for a while they all stopped and froze in place. Lin Yan sneered. Now that he had used a lot of the equipment he had just filled up with kryptonite and the dragon-marked sword was in his hands. He couldn't afford to fight with Stana and the two of them anymore. Moreover, the time left was not enough to kill another one. Brother, the teleportation channel is already linked, so we can go once it stabilizes, Lin Feng reminded. Whom? Lin Yan nodded and didn't pay too much attention to Stana and the Great Protector. Instead, his gaze looked scornfully in the direction of the Black Iron family. As expected, Long Wen Jian had just died. A roaring sound came from the direction of the Black Iron family and the originally clear sky seemed to be suppressed. Boom! The sound of breaking wind came as a black shadow stepped into the air from far away. He wore black iron battle armor, his robe sleeves fluttered, and he held a halberd, as if he was a heavenly king. Sure enough, this old thing has been startled to come. Lin Yan urged, hurry up, the big one is coming. More and more people noticed the figure stepping into the air, and they all trembled in their legs. Black Iron King, someone hissed out in disbelief. Black Iron King, the head of the Black Iron family, the founder of Black Iron City, a veritable king rank powerhouse who could step into the air. Gulp. The Black Iron King who hasn't shown his face for 10 years has actually shown up. The Longxia Empire's royal chief of guards died in Black Iron City. He definitely wants to take down the culprit to give the royal family an explanation. With a king rank existence making a move, everything is out of suspense. The many powerful people watching the scene made birds and beasts scatter, hiding as far away as they could. The king rank was a great class leap and the previous ascension was not a concept at all. Every king was not to be disobeyed. Want to leave? In the sky, the white-haired, black-armored majestic old man sneered. With a large hand grasping downwards, a terrifying palm converged and took shape. I'll block it. Fatty shouted lowly and rushed forward with his shield of thorns raised. Boom! Fatty's face turned white, and he immediately felt a force majeure, like a titanic pressure. Crap! What goddamned numerical monster? A mouthful of blood spurted out of him. A huge dash 300W appeared on his head. Worry ah. Fatty had already put up a fight, and this slap almost sent him straight back to the spring. 
really powerful. Lin Yan looked at the black armored old man in the sky. It was so terrifying even before he had unleashed the domain of kingship. Once the other party cast the king power domain, this slap would really kill Fatty. It seems like this black iron king is a king of all gold. Lin Feng's brain raced, his build speed accelerating crazily. Hoomph, the blood is still quite thick. The black iron king once again slapped out a palm to break Lin Feng's spatial channel. Old thing, don't be too wild. Lin Yan chortled and directly offered his big card. Seal of Life and Death. Hundreds of Yin soldiers rushed out from the Seal of Life and Death. Although it was only a one consciousness treasure, the effect of using it was related to the summoner's own strength. The hundred Yin soldiers summoned by Lin Yan were all at the level of Yin soldier generals. Each had a blood volume of over 100,000. Under the terrifying palm, dozens of Yin soldiers burst into pieces one after another. However, there were still the majority of the Yin soldiers slashing towards the Black Iron King. This kind of void beings could fly in the sky itself. Eh? The Black Iron King could no longer remain calm, staring dead on at the seal of life and death in Lin Yan's hand, as if it was simply unbelievable. That's... No, how is that possible? The Black Iron King frowned. Dozens of Yin soldiers had enveloped him. He was forced to utilize his kingly domain. Buzz, the domain of kingship unfolded, and all of the Yin soldiers' various attributes dropped by half. Extinguish, the Black Iron King cast arranged skill and terrifying waves of energy shook out from his body, shattering all dozens of Yin soldiers into dregs. Old thing, do you think you're invincible? Lin Yan dodged out from behind the Yin soldiers and kicked the Black Iron King in the face. He then made a folding leap, utilizing a movement talisman, and retreated at speed. You, the Black Iron King was confused. The entire Black Iron City was silent. It was so quiet that you could smell a pin. The honorable Black Iron King who hadn't appeared in 10 years, actually just appeared and was kicked in the face. The black armored old man was furious to the extreme, his whiskers fluttering about. Seek death. He roared furiously, and a devastating sonic shock was declared down like a wave. It's done. Lin Fang's eyes lit up. Go. Lin Yan tugged the severely injured fatty, and Lin Fong plunged headlong into the spatial passage. Rumble. 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 The moment they entered the passageway, a sea of sound waves fell, destroying all the buildings within a radius of hundreds of meters. The ground of the entire area was blown and caved in. Cackle cackle cackle. The Black Iron King clenched his fists. The king made a move. And not only did he fail to keep a few juniors, but he was also kicked in the face. This was a strange shame. I will definitely find you and make you beg for your life and death. He flung his robe sleeve and directly flew back to his house. Today, this old face of his, is considered to be lost. Buzz buzz buzz. Lin Yan's trio leapt out of the spatial channel one after the other. A terrifying aura spewing out from within the channel. Yuan Tianrun had greeted them with a smile, but instantly his scalp went numb. It was only after striking out together with several dawn heroes that the terrifying fluctuations were calmed. You guys are really good. Who did this piss off again, to actually throw such a huge tantrum? Yuan Tianrun questioned Lin Yan breathlessly. Hey, you don't know how thrilling and exciting this time is. Fatty patted the dust on his body, couldn't wait to start bragging, speaking in a colorful manner, not to go to perform a skit or losing talent. Yuan Tianren several listening to anxious, said half a day not to say that the book of truth pages have not arrived, let them scratch their hearts, finally heard that the black iron king shot, before they all couldn't help but laugh out loud, you all survived that old man strike, it's really not easy, Yuan Tianren sneered, these guys were really too capable of causing trouble, going to the black iron city once, not only did they kill the chief of guards of the long xia royal family, they also explosively kicked a king in the face, it was simply going to turn the sky upside down. You guys are in big trouble this time. Yuan Tianren cried and laughed as he shook his head. Offending the two major forces of the Dragon Summer Royal Family and Black Iron City all at once was mind-numbing just thinking about it. Who cares? That old fellow Black Iron King wasn't a good bird in the first place. And he's just cowering in Black Iron City to reign supreme. No need to care about him. Wang Blacksmith waved his hand. As long as the residual pages of the Book of Truth are brought back, it's fine. Hmm. Ching Daozi nodded. Now that all the required treasures have been gathered, the awakening ceremony can begin. Lin Yan was also looking forward to it immensely. Wang Bauer was finally going to wake up, and the first God-given template that he had been longing for was finally going to be in his hands. I'll prepare and start the awakening ceremony tonight. Xing Daozi finished speaking and stretched his hand with Lin Yan. HM, what does this mean? Lin Yan played dumb. Gold card ah, you wouldn't be so blackhearted that you want to embezzle all of our gold cards. Xing Daozi said breathlessly. Ah. Gold cards ah. Lin Yan grinned and looked at Yuan Tianrun. You pay the rewards for this mission first and I'll return your gold cards. Yuan Tianrun was also speechless. 
we've been working together for such a long time, don't we have this much trust? He then glanced at the mission and was instantly embarrassed. The Silver Fifth Order quest that had been issued to Lin Yen had actually been raised to Bronze Sixth Order. Yen Di, you more or less carry some special buffs on you. Why is it that every time you're given a quest, you manage to pull the difficulty up so much? Yuan Tian Ran was already numb. He knew Lin Yan's temper. And without waiting for Lin Yan to knock on his door, he took the initiative to open his mouth. Say it, what kind of compensation do you want? Lin Yan shook his head graciously. There's no need for any compensation. Yuan Tian Run couldn't believe it. You've changed sex. However, just bother the blacksmith to repair a weapon for me. Lin Yan laughed. Good. I'll take care of it. Blacksmith Wang agreed in a single breath. But when he saw the old village chief's eyes, he was shocked to realize if he had fallen into Yen Di's pit again. Old Wang you're atmospheric. Lin Yan took out the dragon marked sword. This sword has been covered in dust for a long time. And in the entire Long Xia Empire, the only one who can fix it is you. Old Wang, he didn't skimp on blowing rainbow farts in the slightest, because this matter was too important to him. Humph, that's true. I was the number one forger in the Longxia Empire back then. Blacksmith Wang was very confident as he received the dragon marked sword. Three seconds later, he was petrified in place. Old Wang, waiting for your good news. Lin Yan took the opportunity to shove the gold card back into a few people's hands and slipped away after receiving the reward from Yuan Tianren. After walking out a long way, he heard the pig-killing screams of several dawn heroes. No, damn Yen Di, I'm going to kill you. Tell me, where's my money? Apart from Qing Daozi's small treasury which was simply too thick for Lin Yan to spend, the remaining few gold cards, basically every single one of them had been swiped until there were only a miserable and incomparable few thousand gold coins left. That was Yen Di's last conscience. Damned little thief, had I known he was so shameless, I wouldn't have settled the mission rewards for him no matter what. Yuan Tian Run's heart ached. He wouldn't be able to pay out the wages of the underworld village next month. Several people looked at Qing Daozi in unison. Hey, old Chang, borrow some. Lin Yan held Xin Youwei's small hand, walking on the road of the novice village. Players were now either joining the truth cult or leaving the underworld village to head to the main city. The current novice village was mainly a quiet place. There were only a few newly registered rookies pouring in. Did you hear about it, Lin Yan? In today's morning report, the number of players registering for Divine Soil Worldwide has surpassed 3 billion. Xin Yuwei swiped the news with disbelief. Lin Yan nodded. Except for poor villages like Africa where computers weren't even widespread. Basically all humans in civilized societies had already registered. You've also broken through to the third rank, elite professional? Lin Yan raised an eyebrow. Aha! Xin Yuwei proudly puffed out her chest. Yuwei is awesome, right? Lin Yan nodded. Very quite. Er, awesome. He passed the experience beads from beheading the dragon questioning sword to Xin Yuwei. These are enough for you to rise to the third full rank. It's best to let the blacksmith pass his core skills to you in the next two days. Promise to complete the task. Xin Yuwei had the decency to give a salute. After shopping with Xin Yuwei in the novice village and promoting a wave of affection, Lin Yan sent her back to the blacksmith store. He grinned. Old Wang, has the weapon been fixed yet? With a black line on his face, Blacksmith Wang took out the repaired Dragonlance sword before throwing it to Lin Yan. Don't hit on me again in the future. I really don't have a single drop left. He was truly emptied out by Lin Yan. The gold cards had also bottomed out. And the weapons had all been given away. Now that he had been helped to repair a high-level legendary weapon once more, he was now poor to the bottom of his pants. Originally, blacksmiths were supposed to earn players money. But as a result, they are now being emptied by a player. I'm probably the most shabby novice village blacksmith ever. Wang Hao lamented. Lin Yan monitored the situation. His eyes glowing as he shook Wang Blacksmith's hand and thanked him again and again. Then in a peaceful nuclear atmosphere, he was blasted out of the blacksmith store. Cheap. Lin Yan didn't care. After all, after taking advantage of the blacksmith so much, it was normal for him to be a little angry. Finding a location where there was no one, he started fusing equipment. Tapping on the equipment properties of the Dragonlance Sword. Dragon Tattoo Sword, Legendary. Grade, 5th Order. Attack plus 40 W. Attack Speed plus 0. 3. Blood Absorption plus 10. Characteristics, Dragon Roar, Active. Excites the Dragon Soul within the weapon. Inflicts ranged sword sound damage. Blue Consumption per second, 50 points. Dragon Tattoo, User can awaken the Dragon Tattoo during battle. Agility plus 5, Army Breaker, Adds an additional 1 W of damage to armor. Worthy of being a top weapon passed down from generation to generation by the imperial family of the Dragon Xia Empire. It really is top. Lin Yan sked. He just didn't know which was stronger or weaker. The sword hero's sword at its peak state or the dragon lance sword? 
he had incorporated the dragon marked sword into the magic blade thousand blades. The three main characteristics were all inherited. The breaking army trait merged with the iron sharpening trait. An absolute treasure sword. He looked at the magic blade thousand blades in front of him with an excited mood. Magic blade thousand blades, white, attack plus 55w, attack speed plus 0, 8, bludgeoning rate plus 10%, blood absorption plus 10%, agility plus 5. Characteristics, sharpening iron like mud plus, blowing hair plus, thousand blades, muddling together, sword magnate secret skill, sword magnate battle spirit, dragon chant, dragon tattoo, 55w attack increase, 8 characteristics, plus many attributes, other than those king's soldiers that are strong enough to subdue the country, this sword should be the best in the world, finally, there's an agility attribute, so I won't have to be so passive against experts in the future, Lin Yan let out a long breath, and it was 5 points at once, Agility was the limit of the body's ability that could be utilized in melee combat, and after adding 5 to his agility, he could perform more unique techniques. With my blade skills, even if a hero encounters me, he can only be abused. Lin Yan was full of confidence. Unless he encountered a numerical monster like the Black Iron King, numerical crushing was unreasonable. Next, is the fusion of the Sword Howl legendary equipment. Lin Yan looked at the Sword Howl lower body armor in his hand and was very emotional. Worthy of being the strongest existence in the strongest heroes group, the undisputed strongest hero since the founding of the Long Xiao Empire, just the equipment he had gotten alone was four legends. In other words, Sword Hero's entire body equipment is almost all legendary. Lin Yan lamented. Almost no one could put together a full body of legendary equipment of the same rank. But Sword Hao had done it. This was the gold content of the number one hero of the Long Xiao Empire. He fused Swordsman's lower body armor. And his armor increased by over a million again and its traits fused to provide a new trait. Last drop of blood, immunity to one lethal attack. Buzz buzz buzz. Lin Yan fused quite a few more lower body armor to the soft hedgehog pants. Afterwards, he opened his attribute panel. ID, Yen D. Race, human, yellow. Profession, warrior. Level, 9. Lifespan, 400. Armor, 1210 W. Attack, 550025. Physical resistance, 1430. Legal resistance, 1425. Mana, 400. Movement speed, 8. Attack speed, 3. Agility, 5. Blood recovery speed, 0. 5%. Blood drain, 10. 5%. Strike, 21%. Armor absorption, 2000. Armor break, 11. 000. Counter damage, 12. 000. Equipment. Hedgehog armor, white. Hedgehog pants, white. Swordsman's helmet, legendary. Boots of the snowy wind, legendary. Magic Sword Thousand Blades, White, Ultimate Artifact, Unique, Effect Infinite Fusion Equipment, Fourth Order, Skills, Stack Waves 3 Blades, 3 Star, Inferno Blade, 3 Star, 9 Lightning Flashes, 3 Star, Advanced Scrying Technique, 3 Star, Abilities, None at the Moment, Treasure, Seal of Life and Death, Cloak of Water Avoidance, Cloak of Invisibility, Waking Heart Fan, Half a Million Attacks, Over 10 Million Armor, Plus Various Traits and Undercards, Is Enough. Lin Yan did some math and nodded. It's time to start the final plot for the novice village. Night. Underworld village altar. Wang Bao was lying in the center of the altar. Qing Daozi placed all the treasures needed by her side. With the divine nature of the Book of Truth and the life force of the 10,000 years Willow Heart, we can catalyze the power of the cycle of life and death and the seal of life and death. With the nine revolutions of life and death, you will be able to completely remove her soul contract. Qing Daozi took the seal of life and death handed over by Lin Yan and raging spell power surged into it. The ceremony officially began. Wang Blacksmith, Yuan Tianren, Blind Monk and Wu Baihua stood guard in the four directions, and the atmosphere was incomparably solemn and grave. Lin Yan brought Lin Feng, Fatty, Xin Yue and Chu Qing Xian to guard Qing Daozi. The truth sect will come to disrupt the ceremony at any time. We can't take this lightly. Yuan Tianren reminded in a deep voice. As soon as the words fell, the sound of breaking wind came, startling a flock of birds, and the sky was broken by the killing machine, scattering the clouds. So impatient. Yuan Tianren laughed angrily as a terrifying sword momentum rose behind him. A palm was swung out, and the sword chi swept through the entire neighborhood, and the truth cultists hidden under the cover of the night were all chopped to pieces. Gulp. Blood exploded. Hundreds of figures fell down from the darkness, their heads rolling. He he. It seems like you miss swordsman after he died. A grim voice came out. The black-robed masked man stood on the eaves his eyes dripping with mockery, even for his sake, you directly switch to the sword Dao, since you miss him so much, why don't you go and reunite with him in hell, obsessive thing, Yuan Tianren snorted angrily, 
his body transformed into a sword chi, instantly killing the eaves of the house, using his finger as a sword, slashing down harshly. Brother, you're getting old. The black-robed masked man threw off his cloak and floated back like a bat. The entire house, all collapsed under Yuan Tianrun's sword finger. These old matters will be settled later. Today is the day that Bauer's niece will be freed from the curse. Do you have to make things worse? Yuan Tianren sternly questioned. Ho ho. Wang Bauer is the soul of the seven heroes of dawn. With your souls dead, you are just a bunch of losers. The black-robed masked man grinned. Do you think that I will watch her resurrect? Bastard. Yuan Tianren was furious. And his terrifying attack killed the black-robed man. It's all coming to an end. Let's battle it out today. The black-robed masked man stopped dodging and battled with Yuan Tianren with his dual swords. Boom boom boom. The battle between the two great powerhouses was terrifying to the extreme, and wherever they passed, diamonds flew about and houses collapsed, and in the other few directions, Blacksmith Wang, Wu Bai Hua, and Blind Monk also began to move, each stopping one of Truth Sect's great enemies. The power between us was originally balanced, and even in terms of cutting-edge battle power, we were a step behind. But today, when Qing Daozi couldn't spare a hand, we had the advantage, and the underworld village is destined to be destroyed. The black-robed man jaggedly laughed. Do you think you can mess with my mind by saying this? Yuan Tianren looked up to the sky and laughed. Not bad. I have switched to the sword Dao, but you and I were originally the same heavenly mechanic. So how could you not calculate that you're in big trouble tonight? A catastrophe? The black-robed man sneered. I calculated the only variable. Isn't that player Yen Di the one you want to rely on? A fool who just descended not long ago. His battle power is indeed not bad. But you want to rely on him to turn the tide tonight? I have to say, brother, you've become stupid, the stupid one is you, Yuan Tianren's eyes were cold, tonight, it was a big game that he had laid out for the truth sect, tonight, the truth cult will be destroyed, let's use your annihilation to become a celebration of Bauer's awakening, jie jie jie, good ah, let's see us, who can have the last laugh, Yuan Tianren and the black robed man, were brothers and enemies, both of them were extremely strong, killing to the point where the dark clouds didn't dare to cover them, killing to the point where the gale stopped whimpering. The four directions of the battlefield and the underworld village were incomparably chaotic, and the sounds of killing shook the heavens. Rookie players accepted the village guarding task with a dumbfounded face, and seeing that generous reward, each thought it was a welfare heavenly drop. But after they really got big, they realized that they were cannon fodder. The truth cult's elite followers were able to slash and kill a group of rookie players with a single slash. These players who kept resurrecting from the spring were resentful. Nima. What's with this game balance? Old me just fucking level 3. And I'm given countless dozens of leveled opponents to crusade against the rookie village. I've sunk your turtle grandchildren. The cries of miserable players reached Lin Yan's ears. However, he was in no mood to laugh. He looked at the black clothed old man in front of him. His battle intent boiling. It's actually you. He he. We're really destined for each other. The black clothed old man grinned. His smile is stiff as an old corpse. I really didn't expect that the Yen Di that the sect master spoke of was you. This time, you can't escape. Is that so? Lin Yan looked at the old man in front of him and smiled morosely. I was also puzzled when I didn't kill you last time. And this time it's you who will die. After relying on the kryptonite battle method to kill Long Wen Jin, you still really think you have heroic level battle power? The old man sneered and mocked. He was none other than the highest ranked grand protector of the truth cult among the three heroic ranked powerhouses at the Black Iron City auction that day. He he, killing a tiny silver hero like you is still incredibly easy. Lin Yan's killing intent was biting. Boss, I'll help you. Fatty and Lin Feng all stepped forward. Xin Yue drew her bow, and Chu Qingxian was building up her chi and blood, preparing to issue a martial artist stance. Lin Yan also took the time to make a Taiji fist sleeve for Chu Qingxian, and the output was pulled full, together with Fatty's armor sharing skill. It could be said that nowadays, they all possessed heroic threshold battle power, and could even crush bronze heroes. If they work well together, it might not be impossible to fight against a high-level gold hero. The core squad is taking shape. Lin Yan felt relieved. Hoof. The great protector frowned. It was clear that these young descendants behind Lin Yan were only level 30 or 40. But they caused him, a level 90 silver hero, to feel a little pressure. Where did the underworld village find so many outrageous contraptions from? He muttered, a little abashed in his heart. And with a twinkle in his eye, he looked at Lin Yan. Kid, since you're so arrogant. Do you dare to fight me one on one? Yeah, Lin Yan nodded. The great protector let out a cold laugh. After all, he was young and impetuous. He couldn't even recognize the provocation. Lin Yan sneered and waved his hand at the fat man's several hands. But it's the five of us, who will single-handedly challenge you alone. Ah, 
The Great Protector was confused, his scalp instantly tingling. Yen Di's battle power alone made him feel pressurized, with five of them together, he definitely had no chance of winning. Fortunately, on the four directions battlefield of the underworld village, many experts had rushed through the encirclement net and killed their way to the altar. When the Grand Protector saw the support arrive, his bottom line was immediately sufficient, and he laughed out loud, more than a group fight, our truth cult has not lost yet, after saying that, his figure spread out and grabbed at Lin Yan like a falcon, Young Wei, you're in charge of remotely outputting the stragglers, Xing Xian, you'll handle any truthists that enter the range of the altar's cordon, Lin Yan began his tactical layout, Fatty, old brother, and I will kill this old man as fast as we can, then turn back and clear the battlefield, good, the core of the relationship of the five-man squad was Lin Yan, and at this moment, they naturally all listened to Lin Yan's dispatch. Snort! In Shin Youwei's hands, Willow Demon arrows shot out continuously. The terrifying attack power came with armor penetration, and the truth sex stragglers simply couldn't withstand it, and were pierced through and through one after another. All had gained to everyone. Shin Youwei cast the blacksmith's core skill, the seven treasure glazed arrow. The blacksmith was a forger, and his favorite way to fight was to stack buffs. So Shin Yue now switched to, gain archer, one could bind teammates through arrows, adding beneficial buffs or shared buffs to teammates, it was also possible to mark enemies with negative buffs through arrows, my level is too low, so I can at most use the triple treasure arrow, which means that I can make my teammates share three attributes with each other, Shin Yue asked eagerly, what should I choose, share my movement speed, your attack speed, and my agility, Lin Yan immediately said, good, Shin Yue's arrows fired in quick succession, and everyone got their attributes shared, holy shit, boss, your agility is so ridiculously high, fatty was confused, I can only do 50% attribute sharing right now, Shin Yue reminded, I got a 2, 5 point increase in agility, which means, boss your agility is at least 5 points, fatty scared, normally, the agility attribute wouldn't be touched at all before the heroic rank, and for Lin Yan to have 5 points of agility when he was only level 9 was simply inhuman, however, he wasn't the most pleased. The one who was laughing the most right now was Lin Yan. As an archer, Shin Yue's attack speed increase consumed very few free attribute points, so Shin Yue now had a full 5 points of attack speed. That is, she could shoot 5 arrows a second. Lin Yan himself had 3 points of attack speed, and after adding the shared 2, 5 points of attack speed, his attack speed directly hit 5. 5. You know, his base attack power was just 55 W, even if he didn't use skills. At the very least, he would be able to deal 3 million points of damage in a second. What kind of horrible concept was this? A king stat monster like the Black Iron King would only deal this much damage in one slap. Young Wei, this skill of yours is really awesome. Lin Yan gave her a thumbs up. The Great Protector, on the other hand, was in tragedy. Lin Yan's blade was so fast that it was a blur. Faster than his level 90 silver hero attack speed. Where could this be justified? Can't defend at all. The Great Protector cried out in grief. Lin Yan's attacks were too terrifying, even if he defended himself, he would have to take tens of thousands of impact damage, if he couldn't defend himself, it would be 50 W plus damage, with another bludgeon, it would be millions of damage, his entire body, even with blood and armor, was only 9 million, and he was cut down by a third just after meeting, how could it be so outrageous, how could it be so outrageous, the Grand Protector's face was more ugly than eating shit as he hissed, you actually hid so much strength that day, I know, you were just trying to trap me, you're so young, so deep, Lin Yan was laughed at by the great protector's stupidity, you're worthy of making me hide my strength, the reality is, he really didn't have such a high output that day, M, Fatty and Lin Feng were assisting Lin Yan in the battle on the left and right, but they felt more and more like they had no presence, when Lin Yan slashed, it was less than 50 hundred thousand damage, and the two of them together didn't even have 50 thousand, brother Duan, don't you think that the two of us are a bit chicken ribs here, Lin Feng was devastated, he felt like he was perverted enough, just being an elite professional, he had mastered high level spells that were difficult to master even at hero level, and he even had top level equipment and treasures in his hands, as a result, his combat power was reduced to dregs by his brother, Lin Yan could see Lin Feng's frustration and smiled slightly inwardly, it can't be helped, this is the gap between a son of Qi and a top level hangman, ah old brother, you'd better adapt slowly, ah, the great protector was mad with anger, he had traveled across the Jianghu and become famous for many years. Hall 90 level silver big hero. Actually by three small young people pressure to beat. And they also talk and laugh. Do you still want some face? Alright, count yourself ruthless. But old me is not that easy to pin down. 
The great protector shouted angrily and cast his core skill. Tread snow without trace. Buzz. Wind and snow condensed out of thin air under the great protector's feet. And as soon as he stepped on it, his entire body was vaporized. And the damage from the attacks he received was instantly halved. 2-2. Stepping on the snowy path, his movement speed and agility skyrocketed. In the blink of an eye, he rushed out of the Lin Yin trio's encirclement and killed towards Wang Bao's altar with endless killing opportunities. Not good. Lin Yen was shaken inwardly. The Great Protector's core skill was actually a rare body technique class. He he, the old man has been famous for many years, and he relies on this core skill to deter many strong people. The Grand Protector proudly said, with this kind of core skill, he could come and go without a trace. As long as he didn't die to provoke the king, anyone who was targeted by him would have a headache. Die. He looked at Wang Bauer with cold eyes. The core of everything today was to kill Wang Bauer. As long as he succeeded in his mission, everything would be over. And the struggle between the truth sect and the underworld village would be won or lost. Boom boom boom. On the battlefield in the four directions, several people from Blacksmith Wang also noticed this scene. And they were all anxious in their hearts, itching to instantly instantly move over to rescue them. However, the truth sect's top powerhouses weren't weak either. And now that they were old and still carrying injuries, they couldn't get away for a while. He he, brother, is this what you call a variable? It doesn't work either. Yuan Tiangang looked at Lin Yan and laughed out loud, taunting to mess with Yuan Tianren's mind. When top experts dueled, as long as they revealed a break, it would be fatal. It's too early to talk about winning or losing. Yuan Tianren's face was calm and unperturbed. I think you just won't die until you see the Yellow River. Yuan Tiangong's aura increased, and his exchange with Yuan Tianren became even more intense. Want to stop me from taking the Divine Providence template? You already have a path to death. The killing chance in Lin Yan's eyes was potent to the extreme. Three treasures returned to one. Speed up. Xin Youwei's battle intuition was very strong, directly suspending the attribute sharing of the other three, specifically providing Lin Yan with a single attribute only, a shift speed gain. This caused Lin Yan's shift speed to directly double. Shift speed suddenly grew from 8 to 16. Crush. He crushed the shift speed potion and his shift speed was once again plus two. Tread wind walk. The snow treading wind walking boots trait was activated, and the shift speed doubled again, reaching a staggering 36. Burn. He took out the return to one talisman treasure he had found at the auction and set it ablaze. Snort. He threw another ten small movement talismans into the fire, and they were eventually melted down by the return to one rune treasure into a directional movement talisman. Song in the snow. The effect of the body skill was doubled. Nine thunder flash. Lin Yan moved. Originally, the limit distance of the nine heavy thunder flash was 100 meters, but with the enhancement of the song in the snow, it directly swept over a distance of 200 meters. Using the directional shifting talisman again, he instantly crossed another 100 meters, instantly catching up to the Grand Protector. The Grand Protector looked at the sudden appearance of Lin Yen behind him with a dumbfounded expression, as if he had seen a ghost, how is it possible? Old Piker, you're rejoicing too early. Lin Yan's eyes were bloodshot. A whopping 36 points of movement speed made him fast as lightning. Are you a demon? The great protector's scalp exploded. One had to know that he was a level 90 silver hero, casting his body type core skill with a shift speed of barely 35. This kind of movement speed should have been invincible in the heroic stage. But instead, he was hard pressed by a level 9 munchkin. Die for me. In order to catch up with the great protector, he had almost played all his cards. That was all money. Rumble. His slash was so fast that it chopped thunder in the air. A slash that carried the anger of a painful loss of a huge amount of money was terrifying to the point of being unbearable. Sword Soul Secret Skill. Skill effect doubled. Top tier blitz potion. Skill 100% blitz. Lin Yan frantically flung out his bottom cards. Every time he used one, the more terrifying the rage that was attached to the blade, the more terrifying it became. Stacked waves 3 blades. Yen blade. Stacked blade. Sword hero battle spirit. Kill. The dark night sky echoed with the sound of sword chants like a thunderstorm. In just 3 seconds, Lin Yan had emptied all of his skills. Dash 200W, Dash 230W, Dash 280W, Dash 300W. This wave of explosive to the extreme output, just 4 slashes decapitated the terrified to the extreme great protector in the air. The latter 2 slashes, pure pure damage overflowed, chopping the body of the great protector into crumbling foam. The scene fell into an eerie silence for a moment. The besieging truth cultists did not move and the several Aurora heroes looked dumbfounded. Yuan Tian Gang and the other group of Truth Cult executives were even directly plunged into numbness. I, rely on, boss you're bullish to the heavens. Fatty was the first to awaken from his stupor and exclaimed, this output, it was simply explosive to the extreme. 
worthy of the name of Yen Di, damn old ghost, finally dead, with a wave of his hand, Lin Yen received all the items that the great protector had exploded into his backpack and took a few deep breaths, large beads of sweat flowed down from his forehead, stoned hard and a bit overdrawn, he was satisfied with his extreme output stats, originally, the basic attack was half a million, and all skills basically inflicted one, five times the damage benefit of the attack, which was 750,000. The Sword Soul Secret Technique doubled the power of the skills to reach the one and a half million threshold. The top blitz potion makes the skills also have a blitz effect, thus only hitting that shocking world of three million attack data. A set of continuous moves, all in one go, silky smooth and incomparable, decapitated a level 90 silver hero. Hey, old Chang, what are you staring at? Hurry up, I've paid a lot to kill him, you'll have to make it up to me after this battle. Lin Yan looked towards the numb-faced Qing Daozi. Oh, oh, I know. Qing Daozi stiffly turned his neck and continued to operate. Ha 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 ha, Yuan Tianrun's unrestrained laughter echoed. Big Dipper, it seems that after so many years of converting to the Sword Dao, my grasp of heavenly chances is still stronger than yours. How have you been cultivating all these years? Cultivated to the dogs. Just now, how calm his face was, how panicked his heart was. Now that the big picture had been decided, the great protector of the truth sect was dead and there was no one else who could stop Wang Bauer from being resurrected. Cackle cackle cackle. Yuan Tiangong's veins rippled on his forehead as he stared at Lin Yin dead in the face, his tone chilling, this is simply impossible. There were no loopholes in his calculations, but unfortunately, Lin Yan was too buggy. Who could believe that a level 9 could reverse chop a level 90? There was simply no heavenly reason. The victory has been decided. My brother, Yuan Tianren's domineering palm pressed down and the terrifying sword chi swept away everything along the way. No, I will never lose. Yuan Tianren's eyes were bloodshot. Even if I lose, I won't lose at the hands of you, an imperial lackey. Humph. Yuan Tianren was about to make a final duel engagement with Yuan Tiangang when he suddenly realized something. His footsteps lurched and he looked in the direction of the altar. Buzz. On the altar, the power of life and death operated, and on Wang Bauer's forehead, black gas steamed, manifesting a blood-colored contract. Eventually, that contract was worn out by the power of life and death, turning into ashes that floated away. Success! Qing Daozi couldn't help but shout freely. Hmm. On the altar, the seductive yet clear girl frowned, then slowly opened her eyes. Her pupils were clear and bright. She sat up, and the power of her mind, which had been suppressed for many years, turned into a storm and swept out with a roar. A terrifying pressure enveloped the sky above the underworld village, proclaiming an indisputable fact. The souls of the seven heroes of dawn had completely awakened. Withdraw. Feeling the mind pressure that filled the sky, Yuan Tiangong's face was gloomy, knowing that things were no longer possible and he could only give up. Pom pom. The truth sect siege immediately collapsed, frantically retreating towards the outside of the underworld village. They were chased all the way to the border of the underworld village before they managed to escape. It's about to end. Yuan Tianrun looked at Yuan Tiangong's disappearing form, flung his robe sleeve and returned to the underworld village altar. Uncle Yuan, Wang Bauer had already returned to normal by now. Her breath collected. Bauer, how are you feeling? Blacksmith Wang was so excited about his daughter being lost and found that he was trembling at the moment. After a maximum of two more hours, I should be able to return to normal. Wang Bauer took a deep breath. When she had just awakened was the weakest time, which was why she had forcefully released her pent-up mind power to scare away Yuan Tian Gang. Otherwise, if the truth sect fought to the death, Victory or defeat might not be a foregone conclusion. Good. Now that the great protector of the truth sect is dead and Bauer has been able to recover, the truth sect is completely inadequate to worry about. Wu Baihua said happily. Wang Bauer shook her head. We must hurry to smash the truth sect base. It's best to move now. Why are you in such a hurry? It's not too late to go when you've gotten well? Blacksmith Wang hurriedly advised. He was very afraid that Wang Bauer would make any more mistakes. No. Wang Bauer explained. The truth cult has been preparing the creation called King's Puppet. Before, they took the risk of stealing the zombie king's blood from the underworld village as a trick, but they were also preparing for the king's puppet. This, Yuan Tianren instantly recalled the matter of the king's blood being stolen. His mind was all about revitalizing Wang Bauer in the past few days, and he had neglected this matter. Not bad, the machinery roaring in the hall of the truth cult seems to be building something terrifying. Lin Yan said with certainty, if they really cause it, it will be terrifying. With his knowledge, he had naturally heard of the king's golem. However, according to the plot of his last life, the king's golem would not appear until much later. It was just as the novice village is destroyed. The zombie king is reborn. King Lu's true spirit is revived. 
and the seal of life and death comes out again. This plot was just a backdrop setting. Once the truth cult succeeds, the king's puppet will have false king battle power. It's not something we can resist. Wang Bauer shook her head. She was the equivalent of an undercover agent of the truth cult in these years and knew too many secrets. What? False king battle power. Yuan Tianrun all shuddered inwardly. Now that they were all old and carrying old injuries, their battle power was less than a third of what it was at their peak, and they were missing Sword Howl, their strongest battle power. It was already unlikely that they would want to fight against a false king. As far as I know, to cast this kind of puppet, you need the divinity of the residual pages of the Book of Truth to serve as the center energy, right? Lin Yan's heart was on fire. Not bad. Wang Bauer wasn't a stupid person. Lin Yan was so powerful and still pressed on not ascending. He was definitely scheming for a divine gift template. The attraction of the remnants of the Book of Truth to him could be imagined. If I can get the remnant page of the Book of Truth, and then the page of the Dragon Xiao Royal Family, it will make up three pages and you can get the second divine gift template. Lin Yan was incredibly excited. Now that he was strong enough, the rest of the road was a straight path, and he would basically be invincible to the Dragon Xia Empire after leaving the novice village. At least the divine gift templates in the two major empire maps, he could easily get them. At that time, it would be upgrading like drinking water. Cool. Although he had been refraining from upgrading for the sake of the divine providence templates, it didn't mean that he didn't feel shabby about his measly level 9. In that case, it's true that we have to beat up the dogs. Blind Sam also spoke out. Yuan Tianran nodded. Originally tonight's layout was to fight back immediately after Wang Bao awakened. However, Wang Bao wasn't in a good state after awakening. So out of fear, he didn't make this choice. It is estimated that tomorrow at the latest, the king's puppet will be built. Wang Bao said eagerly, Don't worry, Uncle Yuan, I'll recover more or less on the way. Let's set off quickly. You're just fine. How can you be allowed to join the battle? Blacksmith Wang shook his head repeatedly. Only I know the truth cult like the back of my hand. You guys will suffer big losses if you go in blindly. Wang Bauer argued with reason. Although Lin Yan wanted to say that he also knew the truth cult like the back of his hand, but thought that since Wang Bauer was willing to be a guide, he would save himself the trouble. This was probably just lazy people having lazy blessings. Moreover, Big Brother Yuan still has to guard the altar. And the Dragon Xia Royal family side is keeping a close eye on us. So even if tonight is a special duel, Big Brother Yuan is absolutely not allowed to leave the village. Xing Daozi was sober. In fact, there was another reason that the Aurora heroes all knew by heart, the truth sec leader, Yuan Tian Gang, was the old village head's younger brother. It couldn't really be that they were fighting each other as brothers, could it? With many thoughts, Blacksmith Wang could only nod his head in agreement. Don't worry brother Yuan, we will try our best to tie Tian Gang back alive. We won't kill him until it's absolutely necessary. Wu Baihua patted her raging chest and assured. There's no need. Don't let yourselves get hurt because of your concern for that sinful animal. If it's time to kill, kill it. I've long been disappointed in him, and I can't wait to kill him with my own hands. Yuan Tianren said in a cold voice. He then looked at Lin Yan. Little friend Yen Di, I can't make a move tonight, so I'll have to ask you to make another move. Lin Yan just wanted to agree. I know, you don't have to say much. As long as you smash the truth cult base, I'll give you the last piece of Big Brother Sword Hall's equipment. Yuan Tianren stopped Lin Yan's words and sent him a quest in the meantime. Lin Yan was speechless. Previously, when he wanted to knock on the door, old man Yuan was a hundred times more reluctant. Tonight, he hadn't even thought about knocking on his door because he wanted the remnants of the Book of Truth so badly, but he ended up sending the equipment out of his own accord instead. But don't want it for nothing, he directly took the quest. It seems that one still has to be able to stay calm in order to gain unexpected benefits. Lin Yan inwardly began to summarize his success. Moreover, it's also important to establish a persona. As long as you're good at knocking on the door and knocking on the door, after the other party gets used to it, they'll naturally give benefits. Then what are you waiting for? Get going. Lin Yan urged. Once the king's puppet was successfully refined, the book of truth would be completely fused with the puppet center, and it would be too late to repent then. Good. Set off immediately. Several of the underworld village's top combatants, with a few of Lin Feng's disciples, and most of the underworld village's armies, set off together towards the Book of Truth. The players from the novice village had also received the mission. Although they were just trash, it was good to fill up the numbers and build up their momentum. It was also commonly known as the Atmosphere Group, or Cheerleaders. It wasn't until the large group disappeared from view that the old village had noticed a hint of something wrong. It always feels like something isn't right. Yes, why is this kid Yen Di so active tonight? Exhausted by his brother's conflicted mindset that he might be killed tonight. His mind was troubled just now, 
and it was only now that he came back to his senses. It's the Divine Providence Template, Yuan Tianran understood, then smiled faintly and shook his head. It's just that, he was originally the heir I chose for Big Brother Sword Hero. These equipment were originally meant to be given to him. Unfortunately, he was not willing to worship his master, so he could only send it through a quest. Hey, ha ha, little brat, fighting with the old man? You're still tender. He suddenly felt pleasant, and all the complicated emotions towards his brother dissipated quite a bit. Taking a brisk pace, he walked towards his home. This is the truth cult base. Ling Yan pointed to the cave in front of him, hiding really deep. Blacksmith Wang frowned and spat. The truth cult was hidden in the mountains, digging a huge underground city. The truth cult has a total of three levels and four cards, as well as three layers of defense. Wang Bauer was just about to explain the truth cult's layouts clearly. Just then, he saw Tiefling Wang turn into a blood red light and directly rushed over. For the sinful place that had harmed his daughter for so many years, he had long hated it to the bone, and now that he was finally able to retaliate with his own hands, of course he couldn't wait. All gains, add all to my body. Wang Blacksmith roared. Many rays of light flickered on his body, and layer after layer of buffs erupted from within him. Boom boom boom. Many pieces of equipment were flung out by him and popped directly onto the defense shield. He then blasted his fist onto the defense shield. Cutching cutching cutching. Instantly, the ground shook as the entire defense shield shattered. Along the defense shield, rolling boulders fell from the surrounding mountains, and the earth cracked. Shit, it's too fierce. Lin Yan exclaimed. This was the full strength stance of the dawn hero under explosive rage. He was somewhat thankful. If it wasn't for the fact that the other party didn't put up a fight at all the time he fought with Wang Taifan, there was no way he would have been able to go through so many moves with the other party. The outermost layer of the formation is only for detecting the enemy and has the weakest protective effect. Wang Bauer covered his forehead. Why was his old man so impetuous? Buzz. The second layer of the defense formation was activated. And the terrifying energy converged into a giant sword of energy that chopped down furiously towards blacksmith Wang. I'll help you. Wu Baihua flew up. As a martial artist, melee explosive damage was her strongest suit. Shatter for me. Wu Baihua grabbed the blade of the giant sword. Then her body transformed into the most terrifying weapon. Every part of her body was a killing weapon. Boom 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 boom. In just a few seconds, she actually relied on her physical body to blast the energy giant sword alive. A female Tyrannosaurus Rex. Duanda watched in a daze. Humph. My master's nickname is Bullyflower. Chu Qingxian smiled proudly. Get out of the way. You too. The old man's forbidden spell is complete. Qing Daozi's big move was already brewing, and his big hand pressed towards the formation. Hurry up. Wu Baihua grabbed Wang Blacksmith and dodged away. Rumble. 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 The ten feet long flame dragon swept across the sky and crashed into the defense formation. Pying. The fire dragon exploded and the entire formation was destroyed. Terrifying pulses of energy emanated out, blowing people's clothes and robes fiercely. The entire mountain protected by the formation was set ablaze by the fiery flames from the fire dragon's dispersal, illuminating the dark morning sun as bright as day. Holy shit, this is the battle power of a novice village NPC. Nemas, I played a fake online game. Too damn handsome. I'm going to become a super mage in the future. The players who came with them to complete the mission were all dumbfounded. This scene was too big completely beyond their current stage of cognition. It should be that they were temporarily strengthened in order to go through the plot, right? It's just so we can see the special effects of combat after a high level. I admit that this game does have a bit of something. That almost scared me to pee just now. A novice village NPC. I guess the level is not high. Let's just casually rise two more levels to have such a wild and cool battle special effects. Let's go for it. The players boiled over, each excited and in high spirits. Kill the cult of truth and capture Yuan Tiangang alive. Ching Daozi shouted. Charge with me. The two golden heroes, Wang Blacksmith and Wu Baihua, opened the way and led the underworld village soldiers and players to charge towards the underground base of the truth cult. Along the way, God blocked God and Buddha blocked Buddha. It was simply impossible to stop them. Let's go find the king's golem. After enjoying the big scene, Lin Yan said to the fat guys, Wang Bao was still weak and swept the back with blind monk. Qing Daozi was the core output plus the commander-in-chief of the battle. So the matter of destroying the king's golem naturally fell on Lin Yan's shoulders. What a familiar smell. Lin Yan wrinkled his nose. The dungeon was filled with the putrid smell and the decaying odor of uncirculated air. Last time he came he had to be careful and wear an invisibility cloak. This time, on the other hand, he was killing his way in brightly. So who dared to stand in his way? Snort. The five-man squad traveled through the dungeon. And along the way, they encountered quite a few truthists as well as players who had joined the truth cult side. Unfortunately, 
The strength of these people was far, far too different from the five-man squad. They were all cut down like wheat. The newbie players following Lin Yan were confused. Are these guys really players? How come they're so ridiculously strong? Newbie village NPCs can be so strong. They probably played a month earlier than us. They've just leveled up. We'll soon be this strong too. I'm really looking forward to it. Lin Yan smiled slightly as he heard the discussion in the player group. It seemed that every group of players had their own know it all ah. That, that's Yen D. The guy who was evaluated by the online game brother know it all as an arrogant obsolete. The players who had joined the truth cult were also confused. Game knowing brother had once made a post, saying that joining the cult of truth was the correct way to play the game, and that staying in the underworld village was a dead end, unable to level up at all. But nowadays, not only Lin Yen, but the few old players around Lin Yen were also strong as hell. This is the dead end he was talking about. Grandma, a waterfall of third order elite professionals, and they're all almost full leveled. Are the benefits of staying in the late stages of the novice village so high? The only inferno emperor that's still stuck in the first rank, and his battle power is still so perverted. These players discussed indignantly, discussing and discussing, and they were all killed off. There was no more sound of discussion in the field. After resurrection, they naturally saw the form. The underworld village army was too fierce, and going to support after resurrection was nothing more than a meaningless death sentence. So they either huddled in the spring and knelt down to surrender, or they secretly ran away. Especially those labor players who had been electrocuted by the truth cult. They were all frantically running out at this moment. Thank you Yen D for liberating us. We will be thanked after we get out. These players were crying in pain. Lin Yen didn't sympathize with these players and even wanted to laugh. Playing a game could be electrocuted into labor. There was no one else's IQ. This kind of fools. How could they be expected to repay themselves for a hair? Die for me. A furious shout came out. The top experts of the truth sect were all guarding the hall. And when they saw Lin Yen arrive at this moment, they all frantically struck out at him. I'll see who dares to hurt him. Blacksmith Wang and Wu Baihua rushed over and stopped these experts. You focus on destroying the king's puppet. We've got us here. Ching Daozi shouted. Good. Lin Yen nodded. His purpose was originally the remnants of the Book of Truth. And he naturally begged for someone from the truth sex experts to help him out. Who? Flying to the center of the hall. He ripped off the huge hooded cloth. Revealing a humanoid giant creation that was more than 10 meters tall in it. Found you. Lin Yen said excitedly. However, before he could laugh out loud, the dull gray eyes of this terrifying man-made giant creature unexpectedly brightened up. Boom. The king's golem's body moved immediately afterward. And with a slap, it pressed down towards Lin Yen. Shit. Lin Yen was inwardly shocked. This king's puppet had already fused successfully. If that was the case, then it would be dangerous. Although he wasn't afraid of golden heroes nowadays. He was also very self-aware that he could only run away in the face of a false king's battle power. Is this even Yuan Tiangong said within a set? Qing Daozi and Blind Monk all had stony faces. No, if the fusion had really succeeded a long time ago, he would have just directly released the king's puppet to swamp the underworld village. Why would he need to lure us here? Wang Bauer had a delicate mind and reminded him repeatedly. Not bad. Lin Yan was also inwardly relieved, and in order to verify the idea in his heart, he took the initiative to rush up and shake the giant hand of the king's puppet with a wave of hard blows. Boom! The underground city trembled. Lin Yan retreated a few steps back, but there was joy in his eyes. This king's golem's damage was merely over 700. 000, far from a pseudo king level battle power. But even so, because the level difference was too high, he still couldn't read the damage data of the king's golem. We must get the scrying true eye skill. Lin Yan's ability to kill enemies across levels was just too strong nowadays. To kill to the point where he couldn't detect the enemy's data even with the advanced scrying technique. He was afraid to be the first person in the divine lands. Humph. Seeing that the intimidation ploy had failed, Yuan Tiangang sighed. Originally, he had only planned to slightly energize the king's puppet to scare away the experts of the underworld village. And wait until tomorrow, when the puppet would be able to turn into its full form and sweep away everything. Sure enough, it's the biggest variable. Yuan Tiangang looked at Lin Yan, killing intent boiling even more in his eyes. However, now that he was being attacked by Wu Baihua and Wang Blacksmith jointly, he couldn't spare his hands to deal with Lin Yen, so he could only keep cursing him inwardly. Darn it, my core skill isn't a curse class. Boom. Lin Yen directly threw out a bunch of defensive treasures and scrolls, and the king's puppet's attack shattered many defensive shields, but Lin Yan's attacks were faster than his, and the damage efficiency was calculated to be even higher than the king's golems. Seven treasure glazed arrows. Same life armor sharing. Forbidden spell, wood recovery, fire phoenix warfare, Shen Yue, Duan De, Lin Feng and Chu Qingxian all fought hard. 
using their respective core skills. These brats, why are they each more outrageous than the other? Yuan Tian Gang was so depressed that he wanted to vomit blood. Cool. Lin Yan felt exhilarated. Xin Youwei's assist doubled his attack speed, and Fatty made his armor increase by several million out of nowhere. Lin Fang's forbidden spell doubled his armor recovery speed, and there was even room for him to create spatial passages for him to dodge away from the heavy blows of the king's puppet. Chu Qingxuan's Fire Phoenix battle technique couldn't provide him with a direct boost, but it could provide a decent control effect. Even a creation as huge as the king's golem was able to strike a stalemate effect multiple times. At once, it was equivalent to hanging four auxiliary plugins. It was so cool. Invincible. Lin Yan was killing to his heart's content. All sorts of skills and frantic chopping blows kept falling, and the king's golem's supposedly indestructible body was suddenly covered in scars. Fighting like this isn't a solution. The king's golem's armor value is too high. Lin Yan could barely see its stats after wounding it, although it was hard to see exactly. King's golem, creation, level, blood, armor, skills, characteristics, treasure, nine digits behind the armor. That means that the rest of its armor is at least a hundred million. Lin Yan's scalp went numb. How long would this have to be hacked? The fatigue value of a divine soil was a hidden attribute that wasn't displayed on the panel. But if one fought for too long, their status would decline accordingly. And they would even end up not being able to wield their swords. Hundreds of millions of armor. Even if the blade did half a million damage, it would still take 200 slashes. Not to mention that the king's golem's protection means were extremely numerous. Basically only eating impact damage. One out of ten slashes would be good if it could deal effective damage. Boom boom boom. The king's golem used the king's trample. Its big feet falling and cracking the ground. Lin Yan dodged left and right. And the people of the underworld village all looked over anxiously. Fearing that Lin Yan's squad would suffer any losses. Little Fong. Give me a spatial channel and construct a platform at the king's golem's chest. Lin Yan droned. Good. Lin Fang's left hand turned into a circle and his right hand drew a square. Spatial channel. Iron armor generated. Snort. On the chest of the king's puppet, the iron armor automatically derived and constructed a standing point. The spatial channel manifested, and Lin Yan directly appeared on the iron armor platform. This battle is so comfortable. Lin Yan grinned. Although Lin Fang's level wasn't too high and his damage wasn't too strong, his understanding of spells was too thorough. Just being able to comprehend spells that dabbled in space at his current rank could be called the strongest aid. Die for me. Lin Yan let out a low roar and slashed violently at the king's golem's chest armor. Little brat. Have you gone insane? The king's golem's chest armor is the thickest. Defense is the highest. Yuan Tian Gang deliberately made a mocking sound. But in reality, he was panicking internally. This damn brat seems to have found some more brilliant tricks. He he. The more anxious the enemy is, the more it proves that I've chosen the right direction. Isn't it? Lin Yan looked at Yuan Tiangong's reaction and knew that he had guessed correctly, grinning and slashing the king's golem's chest armor even harder. Fatty, block the attack. Coming boss. Fatty was sent to the metal platform by Lin Fong with a space jump, using the shield of thorns to harden against the king's golem's chest pounding attack. Bang bang bang. Fatty had a bitter face. Boss, this attack is too fierce. I probably won't last long. Don't worry. Lin Yan explained as he slashed. The weakness of the king's puppet lies in the center. This place is wrapped so tightly. It's definitely where the center is. The more tightly defended a place is, the more the enemy's death point is. Damn. How does he know so much about the king's golem? Yuan Tian Gang gritted his teeth in disbelief. Not only was this kid's battle power heaven defying, but he seemed to know everything. It was simply bad luck to be an enemy with him. Roar. Yuan Tian Gang knew that if he didn't stop Lin Yan, everything would be lost. He directly ignited the fire in his chest and unleashed his core skill. Big Dipper True Body. Outside of his body, countless astral auras dazzled and converged into a three meter tall astral true body. Boom boom boom. The true body swung its fists crazily, its attack speed and knockback effect terrifying to the extreme. Buzz. Even Wang Blacksmith and the melee Tyrannosaurus Rex Wu Baihua were blindsided for a moment, and could only passively defend themselves as they were blasted out a hundred meters away. Die for me. Yuan Tiangang contained infinite rage as he slapped his palm down towards Lin Yan. This palm contained the Big Dipper's true chi and the heavenly curse. It could be called his strongest palm nowadays. Lin Yan's murderous spirit was blazing as he turned around and shouted angrily. Come on, deadly battle. Who's afraid of who? Ha! Just as Yuan Tian Gang was about to slap his palm on Lin Yan's chest, Lin Feng, who had long ago received the internal news of Lin Yan's group, instantly constructed a spatial passage. Buzz. Lin Yan and Fatty instantly disappeared. Yuan Tian Gang's brain suddenly went blank. Lin Yan was standing right in front of the king's puppet's chest and his slap was so ferocious that he couldn't collect his momentum. No. Rumble. This palm. 
hit the king's golem squarely in the chest. Endless shockwaves scattered out, reverberating throughout the entire underground city. Trill follow E. Jo Young. To get the author's latest news yo, click 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 click. The dust and smoke dispersed, and the chest armor of the king's golem began to shatter, falling off piece by piece. Everyone froze. The scene fell into an eerie silence. Many people wanted to laugh, but felt that this was not a good time. The corners of Yuan Tiangong's mouth kept trembling, actually being treated like a monkey. The key was also in front of so many people. Thanks old Yuan. Lin Yan beckoned from the side, laughing recklessly. I'll kill you. Yuan Tiangang exploded with anger and continued to kill Lin Yan. Enough. I see that you really don't take me too seriously. After Wu Baihua was shaken back, the female Tyrannosaurus attribute erupted and directly turned on her core skill. Her body transformed into a fire phoenix and flew at Yuan Tiangang. Hoomph. Yuan Tiangang grunted angrily and could only give up on Lin Yan. Wu Baihua's melee ability was too terrifying. And now that the fire phoenix battle technique was turned on, he had to deal with it carefully. There's still me. Blacksmith Wan was holding a sledgehammer with seven gemstones set on it. These seven gems were Wang Blacksmith's core skill, the seven treasure glaze manifestation, each of which added a strong buff to him, causing his battle power to soar. Damn it! Yuan Tian Gang was under a lot of pressure, facing the two Dawn heroes who were going all out. It was simply difficult for him to fight against them in a lasting manner. Spatial passage, Lin Yan shouted. In the next moment, he once again arrived at the king's golem's chest with the help of Lin Feng's passage. Found you. His eyes brightened as he yanked out the remnant pages of the Book of Truth hidden in the King's Golem's hub. Two remnant pages. In hand. Boom. The King's Golem lost its divinity and could no longer move. Falling on its back with a loud crash, it smashed quite a few innocent players to death. As the dust cleared, Lin Yan held the magic sword Thousand Blades, stepping on the chest of the King's Golem as he looked around the room. The momentum is set. Who dares to resist? The domineering voice of questioning caused many truth religionists to be chilled. The great protector is dead, and the king's golem, which is regarded as the ultimate killing weapon, has also fallen. The end is indeed doomed. Many believers gradually began to put down their weapons and gave up their resistance. There were also many truth cultists who collapsed and ran madly in a rout in all directions. Many truth cult players also took advantage of the chaos to flee. In the crowd, two gray-headed men and women turned back. It was none other than Lord Poison and Mu Qingwan. The two of them had long been treated as minions who didn't know how many times they had been killed, and if they didn't hurry up and run, they were going to fall back to level 1 again. Damn, how can he be this strong? Poison Duke gritted his teeth, his back was against the big guild, but he was now weaker than cannon fodder. On the contrary, Lin Yan had grown to the point where he could act as a pivotal presence in any major plot twist like this. He was even a strong person who could fight with legendary figures and ultimate creations. Mu Ching Wan's eyes flowed and she had to admit that she had looked away, and that it was her mistake not to pay attention to Lin Yan from the start. Unfortunately, now that he's become such a glorious and shining powerhouse, even if I wanted to seduce him, I'm afraid it would be difficult to succeed. She regretted immensely and secretly said inwardly, it seems that I can only go and seek advice from my mother. With her skill in playing with men, she can definitely make Lin Yan fall in love with me again. The scene became more and more chaotic, and the momentum tumbled. Who dares to surrender? Yuan Tiangang battled until his hair fell out, roaring like thunder and fury. You can't even protect yourself. Stop screaming. Wang Bauer sneered, and Qing Daozi provided long-range support. A space archmage and a mind mage, both terrifyingly incomparable. Eh? Yuan Tiangang looked in shock and realized that several of the truth cult's top experts had already been disposed of by the blind monk's few combined efforts. The great power has gone. The great power is gone. He looked at the chaotic dungeon, his eyes filled with sadness and he couldn't help but exclaim angrily, I failed in my plan, it's not a crime of war, it's really the fate of heaven, he was right in saying this, Lin Yen, who was the biggest variable, was really too buggy, otherwise, with Yuan Tiangong scheming, he could definitely make a great plan, Lin Yen didn't deny this either, because, in the original timeline, Truth Sect managed to build the perfect king's puppet and used the mind puppet Wang Bauer to break down the underworld village from the inside, Yuan Tiangang personally broke down the altar and resurrected the zombie king Evil Chi from his seal. The remnants of King Lu's soul also revived and fought one last battle for Tsangshan. After that battle, the seal of life and death came out completely, triggering the next scourge plot. But now, everything has changed. Lin Yan whispered, past life. Blind monk mouthed the mantra of the past life, and the role was completely different from Fatty's. The entire underground city was enveloped by the scripture, golden light emanating. It truly looked like the western world of ultimate bliss had descended. Xun Feng, Qing Daozi roared out as well, 
The terrifying power of space forming layer after layer of spatial cocoons. What are you guys doing? Yuan Tian Gang roared. Nico, the fire phoenix phoenix claw transformed by Wu Baihua captured Yuan Tian Gang with one hand. Wang Blacksmith used all his arm strength to capture his other arm. Mind reconciliation. Wang Bauer's hands changed, and the terrifying power of the mind turned into substance, harmonizing and coalescing these several forces. In the end, the power of the past life, the power of the mind, and the cocoon of space merged into one, transforming into a terrifying seal. Yuan Tian Gang, who had his arms bound, was unable to resist the seal at all. I, Yuan Tian Gang, would rather die than be captured. Yuan Tian Gang wanted to explode himself, but under the combined power of the five dawn heroes, this struggle seemed pale and powerless. Soon, he was completely subdued in the cocoon of space, unable to move a single bit. Fatty, Shen Yuei, Chu Qing Xin, and Lin Feng all looked mesmerized. Although they had already learned the core skills, they were still too tender compared to the dawn hero himself. This kind of actual combat by a strong person was equivalent to teaching by example, and they had gained a lot. Lin Yan also had a serious face. Although he wasn't afraid of normal golden heroes anymore, he would still have a numb scalp when faced with an Aurora hero level powerhouse that went all out. One had to know that they didn't even have a third of their battle power left compared to when they were at their peak. Even so, five Aurora heroes united could be powerful to this extent. Yuan Tian Gang is already strong enough, but it's a pity that he met these five monsters. Lin Yan knew that he still had a long way to go. After all, the third page of the remnants of the Book of Truth would most likely have to be snatched from the hands of the Dragon Xia Imperial family, and his current strength was not enough. I understand, I understand. Lin Feng was the first to wake up from his epiphany. With a flip of his palm, a simple cocoon of space took shape in his hand. Even though he knew his oldest brother's potential, Lin Yan was still shocked. He had only pondered for a dozen seconds or so, and his oldest brother had actually directly realized a spatial forbidden spell. If I didn't have a hang up, I'm afraid that the protagonist of this life would be my younger brother. Lin Yan cried and laughed as he shook his head. It's finally over. Cheng Daozi looked at Yuan Tian Gang in the seal with emotion. After so many years, you have too many misunderstandings about your brother. If you know the truth of everything, you will regret it. Yuan Tian Gang couldn't move his body, but his eyes were bloodshot, obviously not believing Cheng Daozi's words at all. Return to the village. After a night of great victory, Cheng Daozi was unrestrained. The stone that had been pressed on his heart for so many years was finally empty. Until the crowd withdrew from the underground city, Qing Daozi sent out many forbidden spells to completely destroy the underground city. The sun also finally rose completely. Only the sun was not bright. Obviously the sun was in the sky, but it always made people feel gloomy. In the middle of the underworld village, Yuan Tianren sat at the altar, holding the heavenly chance plate in his hand, opening his heavenly eyes and peering into the heavens. The original face with a smile, but at this moment, came to an abrupt end. Everyone send power for love. You can send three free gifts per day. Zhou Yang will try to update. The star has just risen, while the dark star has fallen. The situation of light and darkness is getting more and more anxious. Yuan Tianren frowned and murmured. It seems that things are far from as simple as I thought. At the same time, at the bottom of a tomb, the man with a mask and a handsome robe slowly awoke. When he shook his eyes, he actually looked exactly like Yuan Tian Gang. Only his eyes were green, evil and eerie to the extreme. Back then, I took advantage of my fraudulent death to pass the position to Yuan Tian Gang, thus using him to realize a series of my purposes and plans. The masked man waved his hand, and a ruin appeared in the magic mirror in front of him. It seems that he failed. Godfather. Three people whose bodies were wrapped in cloaks and stiff and incomparable came out of the darkness. Although Yuan Tian Gang is a stubborn and stupid person, he is also top-notch in his layout and planning. Nowadays. He will actually end up in such a disastrous defeat. It's really surprising. The sect master behind the curtain let out a cold smile. However, all of this would have been within my calculations. Whether he wins or loses, he is nothing more than a pawn to advance my plans. The sect master stood up. Now that Wang Bauer has awakened, my king's seal must have loosened. The day of the duel will not be more than three days away. For this day, all of my subordinates have been waiting for a long time. The three figures wrapped in cloaks couldn't hide their excitement. Immediately open the king's awakening program and awaken all the warriors in the underground palace. With a wave of his handsome robe, the sect leader removed his mask. We no longer have to endure this dark and sunless tomb. The day my king returns will be the day we establish the stiff kingdom of the earth. The only sunlight in the underground palace flashed across his face. It was surprisingly a stiff green human face covered in dead people's hair. If Lin Yan were here, he would have recognized it at a glance. It was a thousand-year-old hairy stiff that was even higher than the rank of a blood corpse. 
Commander-in-Chief is wise. The three stiff shadows praised in unison. Afterward, they turned around, and with endless anticipation, they began to chant the corpse scripture. Capricorn Jia Jia, Nuan Corpse. The sound of chanting was like a whisper in another nest, echoing throughout the entire underground palace. Pair after pair of oily green eyes were awakened, and stiff white arms broke through the land. Densely packed zombie heads poked out eerily from the coffins in the underground palace. As far as the eye could see, the number was unknown. Death will eventually come to the world. Underworld Village. The Underworld Village team returned from a great victory, and Yuan Tianren greeted them at the entrance of the village with a lot of jubilation. Yuan Tianren's face was complicated, and he finally asked, that sinful animal, big brother Yuan, live up to your trust. Ching Daozi looked at Yuan Tianren's complicated expression and smiled faintly. With a flutter of his robe sleeve, he threw off the cocoon of space that sealed Yuan Tianren. It's been hard work. Yuan Tianren had a mixture of sadness and joy in his eyes as he deeply patted Ching Daozi's shoulder. The top management of the underworld village all came to the village chief's hut. The cocoon of space that sealed Yuan Tianren was placed in the middle, and the others sat around it in a circle. It's thanks to little friend Yan Di that it worked this time, otherwise it would have been dangerous. Blacksmith Wang lamented. That king's puppet was already close to its full form and was able to fight on its own, and it was only thanks to the joint efforts of our apprentice and Yan Di that it was crushed. Lin Yan smiled faintly, his mouth unforgiving. Don't talk about these falsehoods. Give me something real. You're a real scene stealer. Yuan Tianren spat. Then he seemed to have thought of something and asked hesitantly. So, the mission I gave you has been upgraded midway again. What did you think? Lin Yan rolled his eyes. This time, Yuan Tianren had given a fifth order gold quest, but it turned out that he hadn't expected the king's golem to be able to move, and the quest had directly upgraded to sixth order bronze again. Solid. You definitely have a special buff on you. Yuan Tianren had a hard time. It seems that he can't escape the fate of being hammered. Yen Di this old six was simply a mission nemesis. What do you want this time? The remnants of the book of truth that I brought back from Black Iron City. And then just give me any 10 or 8 3 star skill books. Lin Yan opened his price to the sky. The truth sect had all been destroyed. And it was the end of the line for old man Yuan to reap the benefits. If he didn't take advantage of the last time to ruthlessly slaughter him, his conscience wouldn't be satisfied. Yuan Tianren was exasperated and laughed, that book of truth remnant page, emptied our six people's wallets before auctioning it off, and you're going to give it away as soon as you open your mouth? There are also three star skill books, you think it's a cabbage, you're just going to ask for eight or ten books with one mouth, I say old man Yuan, you have to be conscientious, Lin Yan frowned, I almost died in your quest several times, all because you had problems raiding the quests, if it wasn't for my exceptional strength, I would have died several times already. You have to give this compensation, right? Yuan Tianren's nostrils were filled with smoke from his anger, and if he didn't care about his face, he really wanted to violently beat up Lin Yan. You're a player. You only lose one level when you die once. If you really can't, I'll make up for it by giving you a million experience beads, so I can always make up for this deficit of yours, right? It's a deal. Lin Yan was afraid that Yuan Tianren would back out and hurriedly slap the hammer. Yuan Tianren was completely dumbfounded. Feelings you're making a sound bite here? Put. Fatty was the first one who didn't break down and laughed out directly. Lin Yen grinned. You can't back out. One million experience points of beads. Hurry up and hand it over. How tiring it was to brush experience. In the future, if he wanted to form a force, he would definitely need a huge amount of experience beads as mission rewards for the force. It was definitely right to make preparations in advance. All right. Yuan Tianren's scalp was numb. He had to be careful in the future when he spoke after the black belly brat. A little bit of inattention and he would be cheated out of his bottom. Okay, 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 take these sword magnate's boots, the three-star skill book, and the experience beads, and get the hell out of here. Lin Yan received the quest rewards, smiled faintly, and left with a few of Xin Yue. Boss, you're absolutely brilliant. Pitted old Yuan too with a say and no squeak. Duanda gave Lin Yan then thumbs up. Lin Yan laughed, then his face was serious, don't slack off, go back and tighten up your cultivation. The real test is still behind. Ah, there's still a test? Didn't we all end the truth cult? Chu Qingxian could not understand. Yuan Tianren promised me that after Wang Bao awakens, he would give me a divine gift template. Lin Yan's voice was calm, but as far as I know, that divine bestowal template is used to suppress the zombie king. If you want to obtain the divine gift template, you must open the seal and fight the zombie king. What? Lin Feng shook his head. The reason why the old village head and the others have been guarding the underworld village even fighting with the truth cult, is to guard the altar. They would never agree to open the altar and release the zombie king. Hey, the time has come. 
it's no longer up to him to fight or not to open it. Lin Yan was aiming for the Divine Providence template, and who says we have to stand with the old village chief and the others? Don't forget, we're just players. Before, when I needed the legendary weapon, I would do his quest. Now that I need the Divine Providence template, I can naturally turn my guns around as well. He scanned a few people. Brother, I'll do whatever you say. Lin Foam nodded. I'll naturally listen to the boss. Duan did didn't hesitate either. Xin Yue grabbed Lin Yan's hand and made her feelings known. Only Chu Qing Xian was a bit torn. This real world of the divine soil, all the experiences were too real. She was also a person of nature, and it was indeed a bit difficult for her to betray Wu Baihua. But in the end, she looked at Lin Feng and nodded. Lin Yan smiled slightly and nodded in satisfaction. Just now, he was just doing a team cohesion test. He didn't want to really do anything to the old village chief and the several dawn heroes. He still respected them in his heart. Don't worry, I'm naturally saying this because I'm sure. This plan won't harm your master and old man Yuan. Lin Yan continued. If I'm right, they should be interrogating Yuan Tian Gang right now. After the information Yuan Tian Gang and Wang Bauer have converged, it will be impossible for them not to open the altar if they want to. If that's the case, that's great. Everyone put their hearts down and smiles appeared on their faces. Make sure to hurry. I have a premonition that the altar will soon be opened. By then, we'll all be facing a false king battle force at the very least. Lin Yan said in a deep voice. That will be a completely different battle from the past. I will seize the time to upgrade your main weapons. You guys also think more about your core skills. This is the key to reversing the battlefield. Good. Shin Yue's few nodded solemnly before leaving individually. Although the words are true, but that book of truth remnant page still has to find a chance to trick his way into it. Lin Yan searched for a fusion location while thinking about how to lay out a suitable 2,600 words big chapter. Begging for gifts. Buzz. In the village chief's hut. Wang Bauer opened the mind link. What else do you have to say now? Yuan Tianran asked his brother with a frown. You imperial hawks and dogs. Soft bones who work for the royal family. Yuan Tianran shouted angrily. I have nothing to say to you. Just kill me directly. Yuan Tianran shook his head. You are too impulsive. The Long Xia royal family can sit on such a large territory. Their strength is unfathomable. Is it not something we can shake at that time? So you guys just grovel and sue for old age? Let people bully you? Yuan Tiangang smiled coldly. I would rather die than suffer such humiliation, he said in a cold voice, in order to take revenge on the royal family. I have carefully constructed this plan. As long as I can release the zombie king, wouldn't it be better for it to dogfight with the Long Xia royal family? You're so obsessed that you're willing to be a dog yourself. So why are you stopping me from taking revenge? Asshole, what about the people in the sky? Have you ever considered them? Do they deserve to be the victims of this power struggle and become the withered bones on your path to revenge? Yuan Tianqi was so angry that his veins popped up. What's more, even if you release the zombie king, do you think that you can weaken the power of the Long Xiao royal family? How childish you are. He hated the iron. Pointing at his brother and cursing angrily. Those royals are so high and mighty that when things go wrong, they will only fool others into topping them, and fool the living people into selling their lives for them. How dare you expect them to go into danger themselves, against the zombie king? I'm telling you, even if all the people in the world died, they will never go down. Do you think that all kings are as benevolent as the ancient King Lu? A series of chants made Yuan Tian Gang dumbfounded at that moment, and only after a long time, did he coldly say in a low voice, then you are also an eagle dog of the royal family. A fact you cannot argue with. Yuan Tianrun was so infuriated that his lips trembled. You have misunderstood your brother. Qing Daozi shook his head. Brother Yuan's layout is far more profound than you can imagine. You are far worse compared to your brother. He he. Far-reaching layout? It means cowering in the tiny underworld village for 20 years. Yuan Tian Gang smiled disdainfully. You'll see that day. You'll regret everything you did before. The blind monk, who had always been a man of few words, even spoke out in a rare voice, apparently unable to look on either. Yuan Tianrun waved his hand. Things have come to this. We can only speak with facts. Let's leave the future matters aside for now. Let me ask you a few questions. What are the origins of the establishment of the truth sect? Who was your former sect master? Hum, Yuan Tian Gang honestly explained. With Wang Bauer, a mind mage, around, even if he didn't say anything with his mouth, he couldn't hide the secrets in his mind. On the surface, the Cult of Truth is an organization established by the Roland Empire to attack the Longxia Empire. As long as we can damage the Longxia Empire, we will do it. Yuan Tian Gang bristled, including releasing the zombie king. But that was just a front. In reality, the initial founders of the truth cult were actually a few of the zombie king's beloved generals, the four hairy stiffs who managed to escape that battle. 
Yuan Tianran immediately reacted. Not bad. Yuan Tianran nodded. No wonder your truth cult is all wrapped up so tightly. It turns out that it was those few hairy stiffs who were trying not to reveal their zombie identities. Wang Blacksmith mocked. After I joined the truth cult, those few hairy stiffs retreated to the background on the pretext of fraudulent death. This final battle, no matter how much I called out to them, they never responded. Perhaps they are already dead. Yuan Tian Gang sighed. Otherwise, with those few extra battle forces, it's not certain who will lose or win this time. Where are they now? Yuan Tianran asked eagerly. I don't know. Yuan Tian Gang shook his head. But you guys haven't won yet. The zombie king put a secret spell on Wang Bauer before he was sealed. And within the range of the underworld village, all the power of death can be absorbed by the altar. Even if we can't break through the underworld village, 